You just woke up from a nap and didn't hesitate to spend billions of dollars to invite hundreds of masters to tattoo yourself. A black dragon on your left arm, a white tiger on your right arm, a chilin on your chest, and an azura on your back. Sun Wukong on your left buttock, Neza on your right buttock, the god of death on your left leg, Luo Ho on your right leg, and the underworld and skulls on both sides of your waist. Even your brow is marked with a long blood red grass. This is because in this era of global mutation, all animals and plants have mutated. Not only insignificant ants have become enormous, even the small grass that can be seen everywhere on the roadside can instantly turn into towering trees, and humans can only become food for mutated creatures. Some humans with tattoos are surprised to find that they have acquired mutant powers. Some people tattoo Guan Er Yi and can transform into a martial saint, killing in all directions. There are also those who tattoo a dragon on their shoulder and become the guardian of a city with the soul of a dragon. And there are even those who tattoo General Yu and directly transform into a dog gang member selling roasted chicken. In your past life, although you were a billionaire chairman of a listed company, because you didn't have a tattoo, you ended up becoming food for mutant creatures. At this moment, you are standing on the bed, picking up your phone and dialing a number. Hello, chairman, may I ask what your orders are? After the call is connected, a rather pleasant voice comes through, get me the best tattoo artist in the world. Money is no object. I want to see them by 7 p.m. tonight. As you know, the more realistic the tattoos carried before the catastrophe, the stronger the power they can bring to the host after awakening. The strength of tattoos of the same type depends on the degree of realism in their depiction. Additionally, tattoos of the same type can absorb and enhance each other. Therefore, after the catastrophe, super tattooed individuals often engage in mutual killings. Okay, chairman, do you have any other orders? Not at the moment. Remember, what I want is the world's top-notch, unrivaled tattoo master. If you fail to complete the task and find someone randomly, you will bear the consequences. As you said these words, your voice became extremely sinister. As this is a matter of whether we can establish ourselves at the top of the world after the catastrophe. If she dares to ruin your plans, you will be the first to eliminate this woman after the catastrophe. After hanging up the phone, you come to the window and gaze at the clear sky, knowing that only now can you appreciate it. As June first approaches, the whole world will be shrouded in heavy smog. Although there is a distinction between day and night, the sky is filled with a gloomy twilight. At night, a blood moon hangs high, two months away from the cataclysmic event between heaven and earth. There should be enough time to build a large shelter. You walk towards the bathroom, knowing that it is necessary to construct a sturdy and indestructible shelter, and stockpile enough supplies, because once the cataclysm arrives, even a small blade of grass will become ferocious, leaving almost no place for human survival. Therefore, it is necessary, if financially capable, to create a large shelter and store an ample amount of resources. Afterwards, you made another phone call. Hello, chairman. Any instructions? Came the obsequious voice of a middle-aged man on the other end of the phone. You replied calmly. Please find out if there are any abandoned large-scale prisons for sale in Longjiang City. The Hun Yu group, which was left to you by your parents, is involved in several industries, including real estate. The person you are currently speaking to is Wu Rue the general manager in charge of the real estate sector. Chairman, as far as I know, there are two of them. One is located in the western suburbs in the Gobi district, with a total area of over 500, 000 square meters, which is much larger than Tiananmen Square in Beijing. It seems to be a product of the last century. The current selling price is 7 billion. Another. That's it. You interrupt the latter introduction. And the other one is not located in the desolate area of the western suburbs. Simple is just fine. Chairman, do you want, person in charge? Wu Rue's voice sounded puzzled. You have no nonsense. Calmly saying, immediately contact the person in charge of this prison and acquire it as quickly as possible. Then start construction. The height of the perimeter wall should be at least 500 meters, with a thickness of at least 10 meters, all made of reinforced concrete. The ground should also be the same, with steel plates laid on both the subsoil and the surface. Your goal is to create a large shelter that can store enough supplies for several thousand people to eat for three years. The more the better. Do you know how to do it? Wu Rue, who was sitting across, was confused after listening for a while, and returned to the chairman's office. I roughly calculated that. Based on your requirements for construction and the additional 7 billion from the acquisition, we would need to invest at least another 30 to 40 billion. Have you made up your mind? I will give you 10 billion. Make sure to complete it within 50 days. If this amount of money is not enough, call me anytime. The chairman reminded. Remember. Build it into a fortress-like existence for the end of the world. Money is not a problem. For you, money is just a string of numbers. 
Not to mention that Hainyu Group has a market value of hundreds of billions. The savings left by your parents alone amount to 170 billion. After the changes in the world, the United Nations will introduce a unified trading currency, and assets like gold will become more valuable. You have already planned to sell Hangyu Group and use all the remaining funds to acquire gold at a low price. Okay, Chairman, I understand what you said. As long as I can invest money without hesitation and personally supervise the construction, I will definitely show you an indestructible doomsday fortress within 50 days. Although Wu Rui was puzzled as to why the Chairman wanted to invest such a huge amount of money in building such a project, he knew the Chairman's character well and didn't ask too many questions. He agreed directly. As the richest man in Longjiang City, he didn't need anyone's guidance in his actions. On the finance department's side, I will grant you the authority to execute a 10 billion transaction. The sooner it is completed, the better, the chairman ordered, hanging up the call. With the matters regarding the shelter taken care of, all that was left was to wait for the world's top tattoo artist to arrive. After finishing your lunch, you sit on a luxurious large sofa, browsing through the coolest tattoos. In the end, you choose 10 of them, namely, Luo Ho, Chilin, White Tiger, Black Dragon, Grim Reaper, Azura, Hades, Skull, Sun Wukong, and Neza. The tattoos above are carved on the body, waiting for the changes of heaven and earth. The tattoos will awaken. You can't even imagine. Remember, those people in the past who were marked with patterns like the Azure Dragon and the Chilin were incredibly powerful beings beyond imagination. They were the top existences on this planet. But among the alien beasts, there are also some beings that can rival them. On the Kunlun Mountain, there is a golden thread snake. It transforms into a dragon every two years, and on the third year, it evolves into a golden dragon. On Mount Amei, a monkey king was born, incredibly powerful, and in control of all monkeys worldwide. After a series of strange occurrences, humans were no longer the sole rulers of this planet. Terrifying beast kings emerged, capable of effortlessly destroying entire cities. In the early stages, humans relied on powerful thermal weapons such as nuclear weapons for deterrence. In the later stages, they relied on the protection of the Ultra Weavers, who can also evolve into exotic beasts. Each Ultra Weaver has a crystal core within their body, which can be strengthened by absorbing energy. In the evening, a black luxury business sedan slowly stopped in the parking lot outside the villa. The door on the passenger side opened slowly, revealing a pair of long legs wrapped in black stockings. Following that, a beautiful woman dressed in a professional suit, with a tall and curvaceous figure, delicate and charming facial features, and long wine red hair came into view. At the same time, an elderly foreigner got out of the back seat, and two assistants opened the trunk of the car and took out a large pile of tools. Mr. Anil, please. Secretary Su Yuwei stepped forward and made a gesture of invitation. Anil glanced around the surroundings before taking a step towards the villa. The group entered a luxurious villa lobby, but there was no sign of the venerable Chan Qing. Mr. Anil, you rest first. I'll make a phone call. Su Yuwei gestured for him to rest then dialed the chairman's number. After more than 10 seconds, the call was connected, and a deep and magnetic voice of Chairman Gu Chanqing came through. I'll come down right away. He just finished working out and took a shower. Artificial intelligence has reminded him that four people have entered the villa. Therefore, he knows that Su Yue and others have arrived. Okay, she said, hanging up the phone. Su Yue personally made tea and smiled at the other person, saying, our chairman will be down soon. Please wait a moment. The price you offered is worth my weight. After a moment, footsteps could be heard from upstairs. Su Yue turned around and greeted. Introducing, this is Mr. Anil, a world-renowned tattoo master. Hello, Mr. Gu. Anil also stood up, smiling and extending his hand. Hello. After shaking hands, he sat down on the opposite sofa. Chairman, Mr. Anil, please have some tea. At this moment, Su Yue also brewed the tea and poured half a cup for each of them. Anil took a sip of tea and then looked at the chairman, and straightforwardly asked, Mr. Gu, what kind of tattoo do you want? You smiled faintly and said, I need to have 10 tattoos, namely Luo Ho, Chilin, White Tiger, Black Dragon, Grim Reaper, Azura, Bin Shin, Skeleton Great Sage, and Neza. Um, Mr. Gu, I wonder if you are superstitious. Even Anil, who is knowledgeable about many things, was surprised to hear that you want to have these tattoos engraved. Anil has also done quite a bit of research on the tattoos you mentioned. They are all terrifying entities. You took a sip of tea and said with a smile, All you need to do is concentrate and give me your best performance. Whether you can handle the pressure is my concern. Since Mr. Gu has already said so, then I won't say much more. When do you plan to carve? The chairman suggests. Sir, 
Why not take a rest for one night and meet tomorrow at noon? I think so too. Anil nodded in agreement. At this moment, Su Yue said, Chairman, I have already booked the hotel. When should we go? Although she was shocked by why the chairman had so many tattoos, she didn't dare to ask too much. The next afternoon, outside your door, Su Yue was waiting here. In the evening, when the sun was setting, the door opened and Anil walked out with his two disciples. Sir, how are you? Su Yue approached and asked. Anil nodded to her. Miss Su, the tattoo of your chairman is depicted perfectly, and this is the most focused I have ever been in my life. Mr. Gu has asked me to also tattoo you. May I ask what you like? I have already booked my flight back tonight, so I will leave after I finish tattooing you. Upon hearing that the chairman also wants her to get a tattoo, Su Yue was momentarily stunned and still hesitating. Must get a tattoo. Your stern voice rang out. Well, feeling the severity in your voice, Su Yue reluctantly agreed and said, Give me a tattoo on my arm. Carve a female Rakshasa for her. She was interrupted by you in the room before she finished speaking. Ah, this. Su Yue stood still for a moment. Then said, All right, let's all listen to the chairman. Miss Su, please. Anil gestured, leading them into the next room. After a moment, you walked out of the room with your upper body bare. Your left arm bears a black dragon, while your right arm bears a white tiger. A chilin is engraved on your chest, and a fierce demon is engraved on your back. The great sage is on your left hip, while Neza is on your right hip. The left leg bears the god of death, and the right leg bears Luo Ho. A skull is engraved on the back of your left hand, and the back of your right hand bears the god of the underworld. There is also a blood red mark on your forehead. Little did you know, when the tattoo awakens, the more intense the pain will be, corresponding to the severity of the tattoo on your body. In your past life, you were not a super tattooist, so you didn't know this. Having these tattoos on your body may cause it to explode and result in death. However, you have now decided to go all out, willing to risk everything, unbeknownst to you. It is already May 30th, and in the western suburbs of Longjiang City, a large-scale shelter costing nearly billions of dollars and covering an area of over 500, 000 square meters, stands like a small fortress, creating a tremendous visual impact. The heavy city wall is over 600 meters high and about 20 meters thick. It is made of reinforced concrete and has a layer of steel plates about 40 centimeters thick on both the outer and inner surfaces. At regular intervals, there are wind turbines standing tall, and the airspace above is covered with an electric grid to prevent attacks from predatory birds. Countless solar panels are fixed on the city wall. Not only the city walls are made of reinforced concrete, but also the ground inside the shelter. With even the bottom and surface covered with thick steel plates, the world is undergoing great changes, and everything is evolving except for those without tattoos. Rats and ants, these highly harmful creatures, are surrounded by towering buildings within the walls, providing a living for at least tens of thousands of people. Oh my god, why is the richest man in Longjiang City building a shelter like this? What is he planning to do? I heard that he sold the Hangyu group. Does this mean that the apocalypse depicted in novels and movies is really coming? End of the world? Ha ha, how is that possible? He just has money and nowhere to spend it. Maybe it's because of other reasons. Yes, the mindset of the wealthy is not something we can fathom. Perhaps it's just for fun. Outside the shelter, there were many anchors and crowds of people who had come from far away just to watch the excitement. Looking at this enormous structure in front of them, everyone was deeply impressed. Miss Su, considering your relationship with Gu Changqing, do you really not know the inside story behind the construction of this shelter? In a luxurious business sedan, a stunning woman with an air of elegance sat in the back seat. Her gaze shifted from a distant colossal structure and then turned towards Su Yue, who was sitting beside her. This woman was none other than Lin Shui Yao, the mastermind behind the acquisition of Hangyu Group and the daughter of the Lin family, one of the five major families in Kyoto. She had a tall and graceful figure, exuding an aura of nobility and elegance. With a flawless and enchanting face, Su Yue shook her head bitterly and said, Boss, he really didn't tell me anything. If you know him well, you should know what kind of person he is. He would never reveal any plans to his subordinates. Gu Chang Cheng, I am certain that I understand. I have dealt with him more than once, and he is indeed a man who is difficult to read. And at this moment, you seem to pay no attention to the outside voices. Inside the room, you see your phone exhaling a sigh, with 108 burly men beside you. Each of them is adorned with tattoos of different images. They, along with Su Yue, are all your confidants. You look at the time displayed on your phone and silently count down in your heart. Every tick of the clock makes your heart beat faster. Finally, as you were reciting, Suddenly a blood-red lightning flashed across the sky, seemingly splitting the entire planet's atmosphere, followed by a thunderous explosion, like the sound of the heavens collapsing. 
Holy shit! Zhang Hu was so scared that he jumped up and opened his mouth to let out an exclamation of shock. At this moment, not only him, but also more than 7 billion human beings around the globe. All of them were scared by the sound of thunder, their heartbeat nearly stopped, and they even died of an unknown number of people who possessed heart diseases. The demonic blood light illuminated the entire hemisphere black night. When its light disappeared, the original round of bright moon, at this moment is as bright as blood, reflecting the whole hemisphere black night, exuding a bizarre and strange atmosphere. Hemispheric black night, emitting a bizarre light. Ah! Suddenly, Zhang Hu held his head and screamed miserably, rolling on the ground, ah ah, his eyes were bloodshot, he clutched his head, bumping and thumping against the ground, his mouth constantly wailing and screaming, as if this could ease his pain, the black tiger engraved on his back, and the demon king tattoo engraved on his chest, as if there was a powerful and incomparable force to break out of his body, unable to bear the torment, he fainted, poof. Gu Changqing was about to go up and inquire when suddenly he opened his mouth and violently coughed out a large mouthful of blood. Damn. So swift? Gu Changqing's body stumbled. In his mind there were eleven raging and unparalleled spiritual power raging, seemingly wanting to tear his head apart. His eyes were instantly filled with blood, and his mouth let out an unbearable murmur. In the end, he couldn't help but let out a loud roar, and his head slammed hard against the top of the wall. At the same time, the black dragon on his left arm, the white tiger on his right arm, the unicorn engraved on his chest, the shura engraved on his back, the great sage on his left hip, neza on his right hip, the god of death on the left leg, the luo throat on the right leg, the skeleton carved on the back of the left hand, the god of the underworld carved on the back of the right hand, the blood spear engraved on his brow, all of them surged with an incomparably hot temperature, and raging power rushed through his body. Ah, Gu Changqing could no longer endure, rolling on the ground with his eyes bleeding, his bones crackling and breaking, his body surface cracked and oozing brightly colored blood, turning into a bloody man in the blink of an eye. The blood spear at the center of his brow emitted a demonic bloodlight, and his skull cracked as a result. In just a few short breaths, Gu Changqing was already on the verge of death. Roar! Inside his body, the roaring sounds of a black dragon, white tiger, and unicorn suddenly emanated, shaking his flesh as it crumbled and flowed out a large amount of blood. Dying? At this moment, Gu Changqing was desperate, and in a blur, he seemed to see a black dragon circling in front of him, a white tiger roaring, a unicorn swallowing the sky, the god of death looking down, Shura laughing cruelly, the great sage and Neza mocking, a skeleton laughing strangely, the god of the underworld slanting its gaze contemptuously, and the towering Luo Shuji looking at him as if he were a mole cricket. Sure enough, still can't take it? Gu Chongqing grinned bitterly, blood spurting out like a gushing spring, living a new life with great ambition. He never thought it would end up like this. Carrying a strong sense of unwillingness, he powerlessly closed his eyes. Buzz. However, right at this moment, the bizarre seal in the palm of his right hand was emitting a faint grayish white light that was injected into his body and mind. A miraculous scene appeared. As the bizarre mark in his palm glowed, Gu Changqing's life fluctuations that had fallen to the limit not only stabilized in the blink of an eye, but also began to recover rapidly. Everywhere in the tattoo, different colors of light were flickering at this moment. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Subsequently, Eleven tattoo shadows surged out from his body. They were cold, brutal, bloodthirsty, and evil. But in the end, all of them reverted back into him, seemingly all willing to submit. Chapter 6, The Age of Blood and Chaos. This begins. The night was deep and foggy, but it could not stop the demonic light emanating from the high-hanging blood moon. Across the globe, with the mutation, even a small plant evolved into a few meters tall in a matter of moments, tough and sharp enough to easily penetrate the human body. Roar. Outside the gobi of the sanctuary where one couldn't see a finger, berserk roars rose and fell, scarlet green eyes dotted one after another in the darkness of the night. The mutated scorpions, bugs, and sand lizards seemed to have suffered great pain during their mutation as well, constantly emitting sharp and high roars. Those who have pets at home are stunned, domestic cats and dogs and so on suddenly mutated, the size of the skyrocketed, looking more ferocious than a tiger, but few hurt their masters, although in the mutation, but all opened up the spirit, no once who was good to them, even when their masters were in danger, they fought to help and killed the danger for them, globally on this night, plunged into boundless chaos and trepidation, those animal farms, zoos and the like, one after another giant beasts broke out of their cages, roaring up to the sky, looking for the smell to locate the humans swept over, torn to pieces, and feasted on them, roar, Longjiang city, a zoo, three national treasure panda, body size as high as 20 to 30 meters huge, issued shocked the entire zoo roar, 
When they saw that their parents had been killed by the mutated animals, they roared and rushed over to them, tearing them apart. The vegetation was also mutating, and the trees that were usually a few meters tall skyrocketed to dozens or hundreds of meters in the blink of an eye. With the passage of time, the fence outside the shelter, one pair of glowing eyes after another pair of glowing eyes flickered, looking around densely let a person's scalp numb. Crackle, crackle. The power grid that enveloped the entire shelter high in the sky was ablaze with fire, and mutated mosquitoes, bugs, and the like, rushed inside like moths to a flame. The 100, 000 volt power grid was by no means something that these newly mutated mosquitoes, bugs, and birds could withstand. The sand lizards that had the ability to climb were also electrocuted by the 10 meters or more of electrified steel plates, and their bodies were scorched black and fell down. This shelter, for now, was absolutely free of danger. I don't know how much time had passed, but the 108 brethren engraved with demonic tattoos woke up one after another. Hiss, what a strong power. My god, this power, so powerful. Is this why boss let us carve tattoos? Thank you, boss. They woke up and felt the power that continuously flowed throughout their bodies within the demon tattoo behind them, and they all revealed unbelievable colors. Attempting to use the power of the demonic tattoo, all of a sudden, a demonic armor covered their entire body. On top of the heavenly observation platform, Jung who also woke up ghostly shortly afterward. Hmm, where's the boss? Looking around without seeing Gu Chang Ching, Zhang Hu frowned slightly, then sucked in a breath of cold air. This body of mine? He had a black tiger carved on his back and a demon king carved on his chest. Two streams of terrifying power intertwined within his body, attempting to utilize the power of the black tiger. Boom! Zhang Hu's eyes widened. His body was covered with a set of cool and overwhelming black tiger battle armor, and the surface of his body flowed with channels that looked like veins like tiger stripes. There's still this kind of operation? Bullish? Simply don't be too dense. He was truly stunned. Then, he tried to move the Demon King tattoo again. Buzz. At that moment, the Black Tiger armor evolved and turned into a more powerful and cooler Demon King Tiger armor. A pair of sci-fi flavored Tiger Tattoo King wings were born on his back. Between the slight vibration, it violently rushed up to the sky, exerting too much force and almost hitting the top of the power grid. Crap ah, bullish to the sky. The strength of the power brought by the Demon King Tiger armor shook Shang Hu for a hundred years. Standing tall, he saw the square and the 108 brethren gathered over there. Between gently lifting his wings, he landed here with a loud bang. Brother Tiger, it's too gripping. A group of brothers wearing demonic armor came forward, dispersing the helmets that covered their heads, with unspeakable excitement on their faces. It's indeed awesome. That said, have you guys seen the boss yet? Zhang Hu also dispersed his helmet and asked them with a face full of excitement. They shook their heads, all saying that they hadn't seen it. Brother Tiger, is the boss a prophet? The first captain, Lin Fong, whispered this, it's too divine. Hey, it's always right to follow the boss. Zhang who dispersed his armor and said, you guys wait here, I'll go to the boss's room to take a look. Central villa, third floor master bedroom. Gu Changqing had just been in the bathroom, washing the blood on his body and coming out to blow dry his hair. The tattoos on his body, after awakening, looked like living creatures, giving off a terrifying sense of oppression. Gu Changqing put on a black suit and looked at the gray and white bizarre mark in his hand, knowing that it had saved him. At the time when his consciousness was lax, he clearly sensed that it gave off a weird energy that restrained all eleven tattoos on his body. What exactly is your origin? Gu Changqing muttered to himself, feeling immensely curious about the mystery of this seal. The current him, even before he had utilized the true power of the tattoos, his physical strength was a strong mess. Even if it was an armor-piercing bullet, he felt that he could take it with his bare hands. With a thought, the blood spear tattoo at the center of his eyebrow emitted a demonic bloodlight. The tattoo then disappeared, turning into a spear-like weapon in front of him, close to two meters long, with bloodlines running across its surface and a ferocious aura. This blood spear, just like a part of his body, like an arm to make a finger, between the slightest movement of the idea, the sound of breaking air, the blood spear like a lightning, in the room shuttle. What a fierce weapon! Feeling its terror, Gu Changqing was very satisfied and proceeded to activate the Shura tattoo. Buzz, between the flashes of light on his body, a dark red dazzling to the extreme armor covered him. Black dragon tattoo. Buzz, black light surged. The Shura armor on his body changed, covered with a layer of black dragon tattoos, with many more black dragon features, and his helmet also transformed into the shape of a black divine warrior's dragon head, invisibly escaping a more tyrannical and ferocious breath. White tiger tattoo. Buzz, behind a burst of white light surging between, actually manifested 36, about 20 centimeters long, sharp and unparalleled, tiger stripes, 
cold flow of the white tiger flying sword, quietly floating with his back, are as if it was part of his body. Eh, you can only utilize the power of four tattoos at a time? Gu Changqing was surprised to find that he couldn't be in a position to catalyze the other tattoos. Immediately, dispersing all the tattoos, catalyzing the great sage tattoo. Boom! At that moment, a terrifying power rose from within his body, and behind him, the divine and majestic great sage silhouette emerged, and a source of berserk power raged in the body. Karin tattoo. Buzz. At that moment, on Gu Changqing's body, he was covered with a black flame flowing Karin armor, and his power suddenly increased. At this time, Gu Changqing realized that it was once again impossible to catalyze the other tattoos. Immediately, he dispersed the Karin armor and the great sage void. The death tattoo. Buzz. With a thought, Gu Changqing's body was filled with dark death aura, followed by the death god suit covering his body. Black robes, a cloak, a death mask, scarlet eyes flashing and the power of death surging within his body was like it came from the depths of hell. Skeleton tattoo. Buzz. In the center of his palm, a long skeletal scythe emerged, flowing with an eerie breath. After activating them, it was impossible to move the other tattoos. Gu Changqing dispersed them and tried to catalyze the Luo throat tattoo. Put. At that moment, a mouthful of old blood spurted out. With his current physical body, he was unable to catalyze it? Gu Changqing marveled. It was worthy of being the demon ancestor Luo throat and the other tattoos, they weren't even in the same class of existence. Underworld God Tattoo. Boom. A powerful force erupted from within his body, and a layer of gray underworld tattoos covered the surface of his body, flowing with an oppressive gray light. Neza Tattoo. Buzz. The Underworld God Tattoo disintegrated, and Gu Changqing's entire person underwent a radical change, unexpectedly turning into the awakened Neza in the demon child descendant. Both good and evil. In two words, cool. Gu Changqing knew that his current tattoos were only at the first level, not invincible. In his previous life, there were many super tattooed people who had cultivated to the ninth rank, and their strength was so terrifying that they could bulldoze a huge mountain with their hands. Next, Gu Changqing explored the characteristics of the various tattoos. The white tiger tattoo was activated alone and also appeared in the form of armor. With Gu Changqing's current physical strength, he simply couldn't withstand the triple armor addition. The strength of his Shura armor and black dragon armor were all too high. Pulling one out individually, their strength was higher than Zhang who's double armor. Chapter 7 This is a time for us. The blood moon hung high and the night was deep. The city was infested with alien beasts, rampaging across the roads and between the lanes, and those that had opened up their spiritual intelligence also knew how to rush into residential houses to hunt humans. Large numbers of troops, heavily armed, deployed tanks and fighter jets to rescue them. Mutant plants are still dormant. Their spiritual intelligence seems to be higher. A villa neighborhood in Longjiang City. Outside a luxury villa. A mutated Tibetan Mastiff dog. The size of a van. Lying on its back to hold down the fort. Similarly huge wild cats. Wild dogs and rats passed by here. Due to the Tibetan Mastiff dog, they did not dare to rush in. Ah, help. No, don't ah. Bastard. But inside the other villas, there were constant screams of fear and despair. The several meters high weeds on the lawn, and the sky high trees in the villa area are not yet seen to be ferocious. Inside the villa hall guarded by the Tibetan Mastiff, Lin Shuiyao was wearing a refreshing nightgown. Her face was pale, curled up on top of the sofa, a delicate and bright face full of pale color, listening to the roars outside, and those mournful cries from the villa next door. A deep fear and despair enveloped her. Fortunately, the Tibetan Mastiff dog she raised also mutated and did not harm her. She had called back just now, and the family was also in chaos, and didn't have the heart to care about her anymore. Roar. Suddenly at this moment, the Tibetan Mastiff outside the door let out a high and intimidating roar. Sister Shuiyao, are you inside? At the same time, Su Yowei's voice came out. At the sound, Lin Shuiyao Weiwei froze. How could she come here at this time? Hurriedly, she said, Xiao Bai, don't do it, it's one of our own. As she spoke, Lin Shuiyao got up and quickly went to open the door, only to see her Tibetan Mastiff dog, was showing its teeth and staring at a person not far away blue and black dual-colored armor covering her body. From its concave and convex figure it was a woman's person. Seeing her come out, Su Yuwei dispersed her helmet and said, Sister Shuiyao, it's me, you, this is. Lin Shuiyao looked at her with a face full of shock, wondering where the armor on her body came from. Go inside and talk. Su Yuwei quickly stepped forward and said, The entire city is in chaos. All sorts of animals have turned into ferocious foreign beasts hunting humans. Little White, watch the door well. Saying that, she closed the door and led Su Yue inside. Impatiently, she asked, Yue, 
This armor of yours, where did it come from? From a tattoo. Su Yue took a sip of water and informed what happened. This, Gu Chanqing really predicted that the end times would come, and also knew that the tattoo could awaken? After hearing Su Yue's words, Lin Shui Yao was dumbfounded. Su Yue smiled bitterly and said, But I, failed him. She didn't mention how much she regretted now, knowing what kind of character that man had. She didn't intend to go looking for him anymore. Going would be a self-indulgence. She also planned to wash off the tattoos on her body in the next two days. Now that she thought about it, she was really stupid. I really envy you. Lin Shui Yao looked at her very enviously and said, Thank you for caring about me at this time. Sister Shui Yao, let me send you over to the shelter. It's not necessarily safe to stay here. Send me? What about you? Hearing her say send, Lin Shui Yao was skeptical, confused. I don't have the face to see him. Su Yue's face showed bitterness as she said, The army has already entered the city. I want to help them with the rescue. She deeply understood that it was impossible to return to that man, having already sent her family to the army before coming here. Will he take me in? Lin Shui Yao was however worried. Su Yue analyzed, Your management skills are so outstanding. His shelter will definitely take in some people who work for him. He shouldn't refuse. Okay, go try. Lin Shui Yao nodded and went upstairs to change her clothes. Roar. In the midst of the night, the entire Longjiang city was filled with the roars of all sorts of foreign beasts and the desperate screams of humans. Rumble. The group of fighter jets did not take long to cut through the darkness of the night, and after entering the sky above the city, they turned on their radar and thermal imaging to lock on the alien beasts that were running rampant and shoot them, giving cover to the ground troops. The military was now saving as many people as they could, unable to save them all. Freshly mutated xenomorphs can rarely withstand bullets, but the army is not without pressure. The darkness of the earth chicken large mosquitoes ferocious, the slightest careless by them to bite on the blood sucking, will instantly lose combat power. Bugs are also deadly. The whole city, everywhere is filled with danger. Western suburb, shelter, outside the thick and towering walls, there were many alien beasts and bugs gathered. So many gerbils. This number, to say the least, is in the thousands, they're digging holes? Outrageous. A gerbil that can normally be trampled to death by lifting its foot can transform into something as big as a tiger? These animals, they want to dig a hole to get in. Laugh. 108 brothers. All wearing demonic armor here. Looking at the outside world raging beasts. All stupid. Want to go out and use them to try the power of their own armor. Ga 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 ga. Suddenly at this moment, a large group of fighter-sized crows swept in, heading straight for the power grid covering the entire shelter. Crack. At that moment, Electricity splashed everywhere. 100. 000, 000 volts of electricity is not something that they can withstand. Just touching on the body will be stiff. From the eggshell shaped grid rolled down. Not long after, Gu Changqing came up with Zhang Hu in quick steps. Boss. Seeing this, the crowd came forward to greet them. Well, can you be satisfied with this armor? Gu Changqing nodded slightly to them, then took out a cigarette and lit it. I can only say that it's bullish. You're really a prophet. Boss. The crowd sighed from the bottom of their hearts and looked at him with incomparable admiration. Gu Changqing said in a dignified voice, Light a cigarette first, then follow me out and clean up the foreign beasts and the like under the fence. They all contain a crystal core in their bodies. These cores can help us cultivate and raise the level of our tattoos. Our tattoos can still be upgraded? The crowd heard this and their eyes lit up. Then they accompanied their boss to light up their cigarettes. Gu Changqing nodded slightly, and within his deep eyes, a light of madness flashed. This is an era that belongs to us. With those words, between a thought, the Shura dragon armor was added to his body, a terrifying aura that impacted the hearts and minds of all the people, and it was as if the ultra patterns on his body were greatly suppressed. Boss, this armor of yours, is so fierce, Zhang Hu eyes wide, said, I just two tattoos, awakening almost lost my life, at that time I really think I'm going to die, one more I'm bound to die, no wonder boss you will stop me, you carved so much, how did you get through it, he only envied, not red-eyed, just now but awakened two tattoos, all almost took his life, he didn't dare to imagine how he could resist that kind of shock, where his head and body seemed to burst open, at that time, he also wanted to carve a few more, but was stopped by Gu Changqing, actually, I almost hung up too, or the king of hell wouldn't accept it, there was no way Gu Changqing could tell anyone about the bizarre mark in his palm, Newt, suddenly at this moment, a long whistle that pierced through gold and cracked stone swung in, ha, huh? the crowd looked up, only to see an airliner-sized two vulture, swooping across the sky under the reflection of the blood moon, with scarlet eyes and a ferocious aura, hovering outside the power grid. This was the Gobi, and there were quite a few varieties of animals that survived. 
sand lizards, sand tigers, gerbils, hares, yellow sheep, stone chickens, jumping mice, wild horses and so on, the most numerous were the gerbils. Chapter 8, Next, It's Our Time to Hunt and Kill. At night, in the sky above the refuge, a hu vulture the size of an airliner circled, its grim scarlet eye staring deathly at Gu Chanqing and the others on the observation deck. This vulture is so huge, what does it want? Zhang Hu's eyes narrowed slightly as he looked at the hu vulture hovering above the night sky. Newt, as his words fell, the hu vulture even opened its mouth and spat out a beam of energy from its mouth, shooting straight towards the power grid. Touch, the beam landed on the power grid, and did not imagine being blasted out of a whole scene, just shook a little, unharmed. Ha ha, this is the world's highest strength alloy power grid, and there is also a force unloading device. Just then, Wu Rui came up with a big smile. Damn, scared me. Zhang Hu let out a long sigh of relief, just now he really thought he was going to be blasted out of a big hole. These foreign beasts, they can still spit out energy? The first captain, Lin Feng, was surprised. He can only spit out energy, when they evolve for a while longer. They will also be able to perform some powerful aptitudes. Go to the armory and get your weapons. Next, it's our hunting moment. Gu Changqing threw away the cigarette in his hand and looked at the Hu vulture hovering out. This beast, leave it to me. Good. The crowd sniffed, nodded heavily, and went down in great numbers. Boss, can you fly? Why don't you leave it to me? Zhang Hu said, simultaneously activating the two super stripes of Black Tiger and Demon King, and with a buzzing sound, the winged Demon King Tiger armor attached itself. Fly? Can't spiritual power do that? Gu Changqing said, his black dragon helmet covering him. Then with a whoosh, he flew straight towards the thick gate of the refuge, when each ultra text awakened. It would bring a huge surge of spiritual power to the host. The vastness of the spiritual power brought by Gu Changqing's 11 super texts was terrifying. This is okay? Not bad for a boss. I'll go get an alloy machete first. Zhang Hu, on the other hand, flew towards the weapon course warehouse, where the super grains could manifest armor, but not weapons. In a few breaths, Gu Changqing arrived at the iron door and pressed the switch. The red and black Shura dragon armor, with black dragon lines running across its body flowed with a tyrannical breath. Between his thoughts, the blood spear ultra pattern at his brow awakened, transforming into a blood spear that appeared in his palm. At this time, the iron door had opened a crack that could go out. Gu Changqing carried the blood spear and stepped out of the crack in the door. Key, key, roar. As he appeared, the hundreds of tiger-sized gerbils, sand scorpions, sand tigers, etc. that had gathered here, their bloodthirsty and excited gazes locked onto him, and swarmed up with their mouths open and roaring seemingly scrambling to snatch their prey. Boom! A dull roar rang out. A burst of sand and soil splashed in all directions, and Gu Changqing's figure disappeared in place. Poof! When he appeared, the blood spear in his hand had already penetrated the head of a huge sand scorpion, followed by a terrifying burst of power. The sand scorpion's entire head exploded into pieces. Whoosh! Several nearby gerbils opened their mouths and pounced over. Pust! Gu Changqing's speed was very fast, between the slightest movement of his body. The light of the blood spear suddenly flashed, and the six gerbils that had just pounced in front of him, their heads were all separated from their bodies, and their brightly colored blood spilled all over the ground. Although his super text is only the first rank, but it is from Anil's hand, and it is the strongest tattoo in this world. Any one of these tattoos, the spiritual power that skyrocketed upon awakening, as well as the majestic power, could kill 90% of awakened people. Without the gray mark in his palm, Gu Changcheng would have died. Roar! Behind him, a sand tiger that was nearly two meters long opened its bloody mouth and tore straight at Gu Changqing's head. Whoosh! Gu Changqing shifted horizontally and came to the sky above the other party, and with a thud, ruthlessly crushed it on the ground. At the same time, the six gerbils on the left swept in, letting out shrill cries. Poof! The blood spear crossed the sky, its blood-colored thunder flashing. Sweeping across, the six gerbils burst into pieces and died. A milky white crystal core the size of an index finger fell down respectively. The hardness of these crystal cores was well understood by Gu Changqing, or else they wouldn't have been so brutally killed. Boss, I'm coming. That Hu vulture seems to be running away. Go after it. Gu Changqing abused dozens of alien beasts one after another. Only then did Zhang Hu rush out with an alloy battle knife. Over to you. Gu Changqing rose across the sky and chased after the Hu vulture in the direction of its fleeing string. Boom. Zhang Hu was exceptionally ferocious. The tiger fury breath stirring around his body, the power of the demon king flowing, carrying a machete and charging into the group of foreign beasts, hacking and butchering them. Don't think that the foreign beasts were weak. It was his ultra tattoo that was too strong. Kill. 
Zhang Hu had just hacked down a few fey beasts when 108 brethren in demonic armor swarmed out to join the slaughter. Whoosh! More than 2,000 meters above the sky, Gu Changqing was incredibly fast, frantically chasing after the Hu vulture that was fleeing the string. The Hu vulture turned its head to look, sensing a great threat from the human chasing it. Its spiritual intelligence was no less than that of a human's, and it ran as fast as it could, unable to raise half a bit of courage to fight with it. However, the distance was being drawn in very quickly. At this rate it would be caught up in less than a minute. Hu vulture anxious continuous long whistling, to the back of the open mouth spit out a number of energy beams, want to use this to block, but let it frightening scene appeared. The human chasing it, actually easily raised his hand, will destroy it spit out energy beams. Damn, how can this human fly? How can he be so strong? The Hu vulture cursed in its heart, its body trembling. Swoosh, crackle. Suddenly, the Hu vulture's feathers exploded, and he turned his head to look at it. What met his eyes was a thunderous, violet blood spear that swept close in the blink of an eye. Pooh snort. There was no time for it to react. The blood spear pierced through the air, but it had already ruthlessly penetrated its neck. I'm not willing. The Hu vulture's huge body fell into the air, full of unwillingness and closed its eyes powerlessly. The power of the blood spear had shattered all the bones in its body from the moment it penetrated its neck. Gu Changqing dodged over and threw a violent punch, destroying the Hu vulture's corpse. At once, blood filled the sky. A crystal core the size of a baby's fist came into view. A crystal core this big can be found at the early stages of mutation. If given some time to grow, it will be a great scourge to humanity. Gu Changqing took this crystal core and whispered as he folded back. Among the beasts, there were also beasts that were very powerful and had unlimited potential when they first mutated. This Hu vulture belonged to this category. However, at this stage, Gu Changqing was absolutely invincible. Any foreign beast that encountered him would never be able to resist. In the night, a black cat three times the size of a tiger was carrying a woman on its back. Its speed was incomparably fast, and it was heading over to the refuge. Little black, faster. The woman on the black cat's back was pale on a delicate white goose egg face and there seemed to be countless eyes staring at her in the dark night on the Gobi. This woman, is exactly the Netflix anchor little Tuan Tuan. To be able to live until now is due to her pet cat mutation. The current her was bent on entering that sanctuary, no matter what the cost. In her opinion, only that shelter is safe in Longjiang City now. Chapter 9 Desert Marching Ants Inferno Dragon Armor? The blood moon was high in the sky and the night was deep. Outside the 10 billion dollar shelter, Zhang Hu was leading more than a hundred of his brethren to sweep the alien beasts under the fence. At the early stage of the heaven and earth alteration, few alien beasts were able to hold back the super tattooed people who carried armor. The number of foreign beasts gathered under the dangerous wall was extremely huge, especially the gerbils. There were at least a few thousand tens of thousands of them. The brothers' armor was bathed in the blood of the beasts. All of them were like demons crawling up from the abyss. Their ferocity was even greater than that of the beasts. All of them were a bit red-eyed from the killing and the alloy blades and swords in their hands were cutting the blood straight to the point of flowing. Not long after, Gu Changqing came back across the sky to join the slaughter. He was undoubtedly powerful and untouchable, like a killing machine, killing at least dozens of fey beasts every minute. After half an hour had passed, the ground under the fence was stained with blood, and as far as the eye could see, there were incomplete and mutilated corpses of the beasts. After the massacre, the crowd began to collect the crystals on the ground and inside the beasts. Boss, it's too good to be true. Outside the heavy iron door that was the only way in and out of the shelter, Zhang Hu returned with a blood-dripping alloy battle knife, his armor also stained with the blood of the beasts, as if he hadn't had too much fun killing them. Gu Changqing looked into the distance, but he didn't know what he was thinking. Boss, what's wrong? Seeing that he didn't say anything, Zhang Hu inquired suspiciously, with our strength, is there anything that can make us feel afraid? Gu Changqing withdrew his gaze and said lightly, Desert marching ants, the threat is not really a threat. Ah, uh, isn't this a product of the black continent side? Zhang Hu sniffed, puzzled, it's hardly visible within our dragon kingdom. Don't forget, this was once a prison, in the last century to prevent fugitives from escaping out. A batch of them were brought in from the black continent and cultivated on top of this gobi to deter those criminals. Even though it's been almost a century, it's not easy to say whether they still exist or not, and with the smell of blood being so strong here, it might attract it here. Gu Changqing said in a dignified voice, just in case, let the brothers finish collecting the golden exotic beast crystals as soon as possible. If there really are desert marching ants appearing, the benefits outweigh the disadvantages for us. In his last life, he had heard that a few months after the heaven and earth had changed, there were desert marching ants, and their numbers were extremely large. 
And the first thing the military learned was that they immediately dispatched thousands of fighters, and their firepower covered this part of the Gobi. Gu Changqing knew that there were desert marching ants, but he still built the refuge here. The purpose was simple. Kill them slowly to take the crystal cores and rise quickly. Their numbers were large, but for now, they posed no threat to this refuge. He he he. Indeed the benefits outweigh the disadvantages. With our strength, although we can't eliminate them all at once, we can solve them slowly, take their crystal cores, and rise in the shortest possible time. Zhan Hu let out a hefty laugh after hearing this, and in the turn of his mind, he also saw the heavenly benefits. After saying that, he flashed away and explained that his brothers would finish collecting the crystal cores as soon as possible. Gu Changqing deeply understood that now was only the beginning. The beasts within the city were easy to deal with, but the beasts in the mountains, forests, and wilderness were tricky. The greatest threat was the 71% of the planet's waters, and when billions and billions of sea monsters climbed onto the land, that would be the moment of true despair for mankind. In the previous life, all the coastal cities were destroyed by the sea beasts, and the huge number was unstoppable. Because of this, this, rise in the shortest possible time. The brethren, after receiving Zhang Hu's notice, all collected the crystal cores as fast as they could. Around 10 minutes or so, everyone was carrying a few big bags of crystal cores in their hands gathered outside the gate. The quantity was yet to be admired. Boss, a great harvest, are there really desert marching ants? We still want to go out and hunt. Zhang Feng smiled as he stepped forward and inquired suspiciously. Gu Changqing faintly said, the smell of blood is so strong here. If we don't see them coming after tonight, then there shouldn't be any. Go back first and refine some crystal cores. Saying so, he led the crowd back to the refuge. Meow, roar. But just as they turned around, a meow roar suddenly came from not far away. Eh? Hearing the sound, the crowd followed the sound and looked, only to see in the field of vision. A huge black cat was running wildly at a speed of more than 10 meters per second. Above its back, there seemed to be a woman. In a few blinks of an eye, it had already arrived in front of the crowd. Yo, isn't this the big Netflix little Tuan Tuan? Zhang Hu recognized the woman on the black cat's back at a glance and teased. Is this the cat you raised? Phew. Seeing them, tightly grasping the hair on the back of the black cat, a taut heart before relaxing, long breath, biting the jade lips, pitifully said, Big brothers can you let me enter the shelter? Don't worry, I won't live in vain. I can do all these miscellaneous sweeping, just beg you guys to take in. Looking at them all wearing cool armor, as well as the large swaths of alien beast corpses on the ground, she was puzzled in her heart, but now was not the time to ask about that. With her gaze, she landed on Gu Changcheng, thinking that he should be Gu Changcheng, the richest man in Longjiang City and the owner of this refuge, that body with the aura of having been in the upper echelons for a long time, living like a domineering president. Sizing him up subtly, the little group realized that this man was really charming. I hope you can do what you say. I don't keep idle hands here. Gu Changqing was satisfied with her lowly attitude, but if she dared to show half of her so-called arrogance, she would never look at this woman more than once. Definitely, if big brother Gu tells me to go east, I definitely won't go west. Upon hearing his promise, little Tuan Tuan's hanging heart fell, following them into the shelter, leaving Longjiang City, on the national highway heading to the refuge in the western suburbs. A van-sized Tibetan mastiff dog is running in the wind. On the large back were two women. None other than Lin Shui Yao and Su Yue. Whoosh. However, right at this moment, a red figure, faster than the speed of the Tibetan Mastiff dog, blocked in front of them. Roar. The Tibetan Mastiff roared, opening its bloody mouth and pouncing towards the figure. However, the latter was extremely fast, dodging through with a slight horizontal shift, and said loudly, Sister, it's me, Lin Chen. Through the cell phone positioning, it's finally let me find you. The figure that flashed past the Tibetan Mastiff's pouncing dog dispersed its helmet. Eh? Lin Shui Yao, who had just been startled, fixed her eyes on it, and her face instantly revealed joy, only to see that it was a man wearing Inferno Dragon armor with a rather handsome look, seemingly 18 or 19 years old. Your Inferno Dragon armor? Su Yue looked at him in surprise, incredulous that someone would actually carve the armor tattoos from the armored warrior on their body. It was too middle-aged, right? At the sound of his voice, Lin Chen turned to look at her, looking at the armor on his body, knowing that she was also a tattoo awakened person, and laughed in a low voice, I also have an emperor's armor, sis, where are you guys going, to the refuge in the western suburb, brother you came at the right time, let's go there together, seeing that her own brother also had an armor, Lin Shuiyao only felt a sense of security, Lin Chen was very disdainful of that shelter, he said, going to that shelter is not necessarily safe, following the military is the right choice, 
With me there will never let my sister get half hurt. Su Yue agreed. Sister Xueyao, I think your brother is right. Following the military will be better. Lin Xueyao thought about it and said, That's. Well then, we won't go. Chapter 10, Marching Ants, Vastly Attacking. The western suburbs of the Gobi were actually mostly green. With the change in heaven and earth, all the plants grew wildly, and it was no longer like the desert Gobi. However, there are still many places where yellow sand rolls around, and on top of one side of the hill. At this time, through the light of the blood moon, one can vaguely see the dense, puppy-sized ants sweeping over the sand dune. The direction, it seems that the refuge side, grid covered, up to six or seven hundred meters inside the shelter. Bright lights. The external power had long been cut off, and now the power used was from the solar panels inside the shelter. In the hunt just now, a total of 21,321 crystal cores were obtained. Gu Changjing took 5,000, and the rest were given to them to distribute. After the distribution, they all went back to cultivate individually. Through their spiritual power, they could then absorb the pure power within the crystal cores. Central Villa. Inside the hall. What else do you do besides begging on the internet? Gu Changqing had already dispersed his armor, and was sitting back on the sofa with his long legs crossed, his cold and majestic, extremely perfect face holding a few playful colors as he looked at the small troop standing in front of him. To be honest, Gu Changqing didn't have a good feeling about those so-called anchors. Most of them were internet begging trash. Of course, the exceptions were those very powerful gain anchor types, so it was most, not all. Hearing him humiliate himself so much, little Tuan Tuan felt aggrieved for no reason gently biting her jade lips to look at him, and said in a low voice, I can learn it all. She was wearing a very simple outfit, a pair of short blue hip-hugging jeans with a white belly button revealing short-sleeved body shirt, one meter six or so. She is not high, but the body is very good. Erect peak size is very huge, belong to the slightly fat type, that quite curved peach buttocks. I do not know how many men who have seen her live have fantasized about it. After, round and white tender legs just right, not so thick and not very thin looking very fleshy, exquisite goose egg face white crystal, black jewel like big eyes, at the moment some aggrieved color, Gu Changqing faintly said, forget it, don't, hearing this, the little troop's heart trembled, sobbing, she went forward and knelt in front of Gu Changqing, hugging her thighs, full of tears, pitifully said, the situation will definitely stabilize, and then I'll open a live broadcast for you to make money, and all of it will be given to you, okay, Gu Changqing was impressed with her, and said, you're looking at the long term, although it's chaotic now, the situation will stabilize in a few months, and your live broadcasting industry will still be hot then, young master, why don't we, let her stay, at this time, Wang Rong, who was standing by the side and watching, whispered in a heartfelt voice, she was still wearing a nightgown on her body, which emphasized her plumpness to the fullest, aha, I'll leave her to you, Gu Changqing loosened the hand that was cupping little dumplings chin, then got up and walked upstairs, thank you, boss, Little Tuan Tuan busily thanked, her apprehensive and fearful heart finally quieting down. Wang Rong stepped forward and comforted. Girl, in the future, don't loiter, clean the villa every day and so on, or else the young master might blow you out. Thank you auntie, I know. Little Tuan Tuan couldn't stop thanking her. On the third floor of the villa, inside Gu Changqing's bedroom, he was sitting cross-legged, sitting on the bed. In the palms of his hands, he held five crystal cores respectively running his spiritual energy to absorb and refine them. The wisps of white energy entered his body, first traveling through his flesh and bones and cells, then it would be swallowed by each of the eleven tattoos. It was now more than three in the morning. Time passed extremely quickly in cultivation, and in the blink of an eye, dawn broke and the night receded like a tidal wave. However, the sky was dead, a thick gray haze shrouding it. Kyoto, conference hall, outside the hall, three dozens of meters tall national treasure pandas stood guard as well as heavily armed army tanks. These pandas in the zoo, originally 6 or 7 years old IQ, after the mutation of their IQ can be compared with human beings, and all know that they are national treasures, have been well fed, and now the country is in trouble, how can not help? At this stage, they are definitely the ceiling of the beasts. Next to the triangular conference table, three people sat opposite each other. These were three middle-aged men around the age of 50, with stalwart and majestic faces. All of them were full of gravity at the moment, looking at the dilapidated scene within the projected light screen on the table. Long Zhanghua of the military ministry said in a deep voice, This mutation came too suddenly, caught us off guard. I heard that in April, the richest man in Long Zhang City, Gu Chang Cheng, spent tens of billions of dollars to build a large shelter in advance. Could it be that he can foretell the future? 
The Ministry of Finance Xian Yuan Wang Rui nodded and said, Not bad, it wasn't even taken seriously at the time. Is he able to foresee the future? Or did he just happen to stumble upon it? Political Ministry Huang Mengwa said, Do you believe that under the sky, possesses such coincidences? This son, Gu Chang Cheng, is not simple. Saying that, he slid a few times on the virtual screen and switched the satellite video over to the shelter. Hiss, that's, upon seeing the scene over there, the three present, all of them sucked in a breath of cold air. The scene that came into their eyes was an infinite number of marching ants, all of which were the size of adult wolf dogs, surrounding the entire shelter in black, and frantically crawling towards the fence. But when they entered the height of more than 10 meters, they were all hit by the electrified steel plate and fell down. The Gobi in the western suburbs of Longjiang City is infested with marching ants? Should we send warplanes over to bombard and help that Gu Chongqing? He probably knows a lot, and it's not worth the loss if he dies in this. Let's see if Gu Chongqing has a solution first, and if not then send the warplanes over. The three men of words all stared at the light screen in front of them with heavy gazes. Long Zhanghua of the military ministry said, Turn on the satellite network first, so we can contact Gu Chongqing then. Hmm, almost forgot to be surprised by this scene. Chapter 11 Preparing to Start the Live Broadcast? Exposing the Dragon Kingdom Sea Pin. In Dragon River City, there were a total of six underground shelters, each of which could hold more than 100, 000 people. With the help of quite a few overworlders to rescue them, the military had saved nearly 400, 000 people from traveling to the shelters in this one night. Rumble, ta da da. In Longjiang City, somewhere in Long County District, hundreds of military personnel, heavily armed, drove 10 tanks, a dozen buses that could hold more than a hundred people, and several military jeeps, having just finished rescuing the survivors of this district to break out. High above, there were state-of-the-art fighter jets from the Dragon Kingdom to cover them. The buses were now almost all filled with people whose eyes were filled with fear and trepidation. Karakiri, ravaging through the small area, rats, bigger than tigers, defiantly stormed the army's formations, even though they were covered in fire, they were somewhat unable to clear them. The sounds of guns and rats were endless. These beasts, there are so many of them. Lin Chen was holding the Inferno Dragon Blade, and Su Yue was also here, helping to kill the rats that had rushed closer. Apart from the two of them, there were also a dozen or so supers helping out, but only one of them was an armored super scribe, and the rest were super tattoos that enhanced their own strength. With their assistance, they killed tens of thousands of rats surrounding them in less than an hour. None of them seemed to know that there was a crystal core within the fey beasts that could be provided for absorption by the ultra tattooed. None of them cared about the corpses of the foreign beasts. After killing their way out of the encirclement of rats, Lin Chen and Su Yue were sitting in the same jeep. Sister Yue, this armor of yours is fine. What's the tattoo? Lin Chen laughed. In the future, we can team up to hunt foreign beasts. The two of us teaming up. There's nothing we can't do. Good. Just don't drag me down. Su Yue laughed softly. She was comfortable with him and likewise had the idea of teaming up with him. Lin Chen said proudly, How could I possibly drag you down? But I still have an emperor's armor. He was a true armor fan. And because he liked the inferno dragon and the emperor armor so much, he had the emperor armor tattooed on his back and the inferno dragon armor tattooed on his chest. Never in a million years did he expect that there would be a day when his tattoo would awaken. At that time, he woke up after surviving the pain of awakening and was excited beyond words. Western Suburb Refuge on the observation platform that was higher than the city wall, Zhang Hu and the 108 brothers, all focused here, looked at the black pressurized marching ants outside the fence and all felt their scalps tingling. Wu Rui frowned. If this continues, the power consumption is just too great. Zhang Hu calmly said, Don't panic. 300, 000 to 400, 000 tons of oil, 50, 000 to 60, 000 large generators, plus power generating windmills and solar panels. As long as we can hold out for half a month, we will be able to clean up these mole ants, and they are the only ones that pose the greatest threat to us. The ones inside the shelter were all state-of-the-art solar electric panels, which could store power as long as there was sunlight, and didn't need the blazing sun to shine on them. Zhao Feng wasn't worried at all either as he said, this scene makes one's scalp numb just looking at it, but mole crickets are mole crickets after all. If we kill them, it's still not a massacre. All gather at the entrance. These mole crickets will become the nourishment for our rise. At this moment, Gu Changqing's deep voice rang out over the radio. Go! Zhang Hu sniffed and greeted the crowd as they went down. This, there's a network? Inside the hall of the central villa, Zhao Yuting, who had just finished working on the small group, suddenly found that the cell phone unexpectedly appeared on the network and could be networked. This made her incomparably surprised and shocked. At this time, 
Gu Chongcheng, who was dressed in a black suit, came down from upstairs with quick steps. Seeing this, Zhao Yuding smiled and stepped forward. Boss, suddenly there's internet. Just in time, go to the observatory to prepare for a live broadcast. All other platforms should be paralyzed, but the Dragon Network platform is available. Gu Changqing said indifferently, brushing past them. He wanted to show the world what it meant to be in this world, an absolutely safe haven. As for trees attracting the wind and such, it was all a joke. Under a nuclear bomb, he was invincible. Besides, he didn't believe that humans would throw nukes at him, but even if it was thrown, he would be able to catalyze the white tiger flying dagger and destroy it above a few thousand meters in the air before the nuclear bomb hit the ground. All right boss, just waiting for your big show. Zhao Yuding agreed with a smile, then went upstairs to change her clothes. Now wearing a nightgown, her deep gully visible to the naked eye, mouth watering. She was on Dragon Net, and also had an account with a few million fans. I just don't know, how many fans have died, and how many people can still watch. At this stage, all the provinces and cities had rescued hundreds of thousands of people into shelters, so there should be people watching the live broadcast at that time, but probably not many. Supreme Conference Hall, those people, are all wearing super striped armor? There are actually over a hundred of them. Solid, that Gu Changqing definitely knows the inside story of this mutation. If that's the case, why didn't he speak with us ahead of time so that he wouldn't be this passive? Even if he told, would we have believed it at that time? This, indeed, the image captured back by the satellite was none other than the front gate of the refuge. Zhang Hu, with his crowd, had already assembled here, and were all covered in ultra tattoo armor. Looking at the scene before them, these three were undoubtedly shocked. Finally, they dared to be certain that Gu Changqing knew the inside story. The Ministry of Government's talker, Xian Yuan Wang Rui, said, they seem to be going out to clean up those marching ants. Should we start a live broadcast? If they're all strong, we can use this to stabilize the people's emotions of fear and despair. Feasible. Account for it. Long Zhanghua and Huang Mengwei nodded. HM, this one walking towards us, should be Gu Changcheng, right? At this moment, they saw a man, who was perfect to the point of being impeccable regardless of his appearance or temperament, walking towards the group of ultra-tattooed people in demon armor. Suddenly, their eyes stomped and they blurted out. This is, the god of death? Only to see that within the screen, as the group of ultra tattooers stepped forward to greet them, the man who was walking towards them, instantly put on the god of death suit, holding a skeletal scythe, with a terrifying black aura of death filling his body. I'm really curious what tattoos are engraved on his body. In the end, Xian Yuan Wang Rui said curiously, definitely not less, and all of them have unparalleled combat power. If we can recruit him over, our dragon kingdom can quickly stabilize the situation in this calamity. Huang Meng was said with a face full of fire. Indeed it makes people curious. Let's first see how strong he is. Shouldn't be weak. I hope he can become the sea pin of our dragon kingdom. The three of them had high hopes for Gu Changqing. All of them very much hoping that he could lead the dragon kingdom out of this haze. Chapter 12, Official Live Broadcast, Ant King Appears. Long Zheng City, Underground Shelter Number 3. The huge space that can accommodate more than 100, 000 people is divided into 10 areas. Inside each area. More than 10, 000 three layer iron frame beds were placed, and as far as the eye could see it was densely packed with people. There are 10 large kitchens, bathrooms, etc. And the source of electricity is the official underground power grid, which is currently undamaged. Super Striker, here all have independent rooms, kitchens, bathrooms, etc. This is the different treatment. In any era, there is no fairness to speak of. The supplies stored here were only enough to feed so many people for about 10 days. The atmosphere here is very depressing. The survivors after the robbery are confused about the future, and they feel sorrowful about the loss of their loved ones. The sky outside is covered with a layer of gloom, and their hearts are not. With the opening of the satellite network, the survivors who still have their cell phones with them are on the dragon network, brushing the news about the disaster. The official announcement was nothing more than some words of comfort. Buzz. But right at this moment, the official live broadcasting room suddenly opened and popped up in full screen, and by clicking on it, one could enter into the live broadcasting room. Look, the official live stream is on. Really? Is it going to announce something? Suddenly, a cacophony of sounds rang out within the shelter, and the survivors who didn't have cell phones leaned towards those who did. Buzz. But right at this moment, those large screen televisions hanging inside the shelter lit up, broadcasting the very same image of the official live broadcast, the scene from Gu Changqing's side of the shelter. Seeing this, the survivors inside the shelter had their eyes fall on the nearest TV. Crap. So many ants. 
What came into view on the screen were huge ants so dense that it made one's scalp numb, waterlogged around a large refuge high wall. Just then, the screen switched to the group of ultra-tattooed people wearing ultra-tattooed armor inside the refuge, in front of the main door. These people, are they all ultra-tattooers? All wearing ultra-tattoo armor. Who are they if not ultra-tattooers? Looking at their battle, are they going to fight those mutated ants outside? Countless gazes, staring dead on at the group on the screen, in front of the shelter's main door. Boss, the crowd stepped forward, rubbing their fists together. Gu Chongqing's death ultra tattoo, skeleton ultra tattoo attachment, was now like a god of death from hell, and the aura emanating from his body made the crowd feel depressed and uncomfortable. Gu Chongqing's hoarse and low, truly death-like voice came out from under the hideous mask. Wu Rue, you take 50 people to collect the crystal cores, the rest of you just kill. Okay boss. Wu Rue, who was wearing the auger armor, nodded his head and then hand-picked out 50 of his brethren. When the division was complete, Gu Changqing pressed the button to open the door. Rumble. The thick iron door rumbled open. Gu Changqing stood alone in front of the iron door, while the rest of the men watched from behind him. When the iron door opened up to a gap that allowed the marching ants to enter, the latter crawled through the entire iron door in large batches. Gu Changqing carried a skeleton scythe and quietly looked at the thousands of marching ants that swept in each comparable in size to an adult wolf dog. When the door opened to a third of the way, countless ants had already swept up to seven paces below his feet. The survivors across the country who were watching the live broadcast couldn't help but hold their breath at this moment. Boom! The next moment, Gu Changcheng moved. Moved. The power of death, which was like a black mist, surged out wildly from his body, and the dark light of the skeleton scythe in his hand suddenly flashed as he violently swept forward. Rumble! At that moment, a dozens of meters long chain of death appeared, like ocean waves sweeping wildly over. Bang, bang, bang. In an instant, all of the marching ants that were in a row, at least thousands of them, were swept away and died, scattering milky white crystal cores all over the place. Kill. Cleaning up the incoming marching ants, Gu Changqing's hoarse and low voice rang out, and then he took the lead in rushing out with a loud bang. Just as they left the gate, they saw countless brownish black marching ants, covering them like a wave. Boom. Gu Changqing ruthlessly trampled his foot on the ground, and along with a roaring sound, a violent and extreme death haze surged up from the ground, rolling and sweeping towards the front. All the marching ants that came into contact with the death haze were unable to withstand it and exploded to their deaths. The death overstrike and skeleton overstrike were the most suitable for slaughtering and fighting in groups. Kill. At the same time, Zhang Hu and Zhao Feng, with more than 50 of their brethren, killed out, scattering to kill one side each. Wu Rue. On the other hand, followed closely behind with his men, their main objective was to collect the crystal cores. This was because the number of marching ants was simply too large to kill them all at once. As for whether or not they could be repelled, no one was sure. As they came out, the people who stayed behind closed the iron gate. A massacre against the alien beasts was kicked off. Zhang who held his long alloy sword and was able to slash and kill a few almost every second amongst the endless ant swarms. Even if there were marching ants that managed to get close enough to climb on him, not to mention causing damage to him, they couldn't even leave a mark on his armor. Boom! Gu Changqing was the fiercest one. Between the swinging of the skeleton scythe in his hand, the death haze blossomed, covering a large area, but all the marching ants that were caught in the wave, without exception, all of them exploded and died, leaving behind a field of crystal cores. Wherever he went, there was no grass, everything withered. Nearby vegetation that also changed, under the shroud of the death haze, also instantly withered and died. The brethren in demonic armor, each and every one of them was a ferocious mess. In their eyes, they only wielded their swords to slash and kill, and green blood spread all over the earth in the blink of an eye. It was a one-sided slaughter that would only end when they were exhausted. Hiss, that overstriker in the death god suit is so awesome, a random strike can obliterate large swaths of alien ants. These ultra tattooists are all ridiculously strong, but how long can they last? Can this ant tide be killed cleanly? That's right, if you take a machete, can you chop up millions of watermelons, or even more? Having said that, that death god overstriker, I dare say that absolutely no foreign beasts are his match. Countless survivors across the country were practically watching. There was no doubt that this group of people were powerful. But how long could they last in this endless swarm of ants? However, now that they had witnessed the group of people with that body's terrifying strength, the survivors across the country, it was as if they had seen some hope, and weren't as desperate as they were just now. Roar! Around ten minutes or so, on the distant earth, a long, Sharp and extreme roar suddenly swept in. Rumble. Subsequently, a van-sized, hard-scale covered, ferocious and mighty ant king was seen slowly appearing from under that hill. Standing proudly on it like an unearthly king, 
its lantern-like eyes staring dead on that, the human who was massively slaughtering its people. With a loud roar, he personally struck out and quickly pounced towards him. Chapter 13 Attack vs 4th Order and King, Long Zhang City, outside the western suburb of the refuge, waves of marching ants surged, a roar resounded, and the ant king as huge as a van appeared, ferocious and hostile, wherever it passed, the ants along the way all made way for it, my god, what a big ant, how can other ants be so much smaller than it, such a huge size, how terrifying must it be, it looks terrifying, can this death god overrider hold it back, the survivors watching the live stream looked at the van sized ant king in the video, all of them sucking in cold breaths and feeling worried for the ultra tattooist fighting over there, oh, Gu Changqing swept away the nearby ants, his scarlet eyes turning towards the ant king running towards him, to be able to evolve to this level in just one night, it was undoubtedly the result of devouring its own kind, the ant king in front of him was at least a peak third order existence, Gu Changqing's eyes blossomed with the light of madness and excitement as he dispersed the death god and skeleton ultra tattoos, and in the blink of an eye, he catalyzed the Shura Ultra Tattoo, Black Dragon Ultra Tattoo, Blood Spear Ultra Tattoo, and White Tiger Ultra Tattoo. Boom! In an instant, Gu Changqing's body was covered by the Shura Dragon Armor, the Blood Spear emerged in his palm, and the 36 White Tiger Flying Daggers sank behind him, lifting the Blood Spear to meet the slaying Ant King with a roar. Wherever he passed, the dragon might raged, the power of the cultivator stirred, and the aura formed a gale that exploded all the marching ants along the way, creating a tyrannical mess. Above the sky viewing platform, Zhao Yuting, Wang Rong, Wu Xiaoya, and her mother, Li Yuxia, were here watching. After Zhao Yuting knew that the official was broadcasting live, she had no intention of opening a live broadcast. Looking at Gu Changqing in the outside world, who was domineering and powerful enough to meet the marching Ant King, the little troop's beautiful eyes were filled with color, and her heart was greatly moved by his stance. Crap, just how many ultra tattoos does he possess? Bullshit, too fierce. What a damn cool and divine armor. Can he defeat the Ant King? Cheer up. Our Dragon Kingdom is relying on you. Countless survivors looked at the scene in front of them. All of them felt incomparably appalled. Gu Changqing's Shura Dragon Armor, holding the Berserker Blood Spear, meeting the Marching Ant King with that overbearing and strong. There is my invincible aura. Saw many women's crotches wet. Kyoto Highest Meeting Hall. How on earth did he manage to tattoo so many powerful tattoos without dying? Huang Mengwa stared with a face full of horror. Late last night they were informed that the process during the awakening of the super tattoos was very painful. Slightly more powerful tattoos awakened could directly take the life of the awakened person. After statistics, there are many awakened people. Because of their own tattoos are too powerful awakening failure death. This son, we must pull him in and become the sea pin of our dragon kingdom. Xian Yuan Wang Rui said with flickering eyes. Long Zhangguan nodded in agreement. Right. If we have him sitting in the town, it can give hope to all the survivors. It's the early stage of the mutation. It's only just begun. When the mountains and forests, and the foreign beasts in the oceans rage out, the situation will be very difficult to control. We need such a powerful overworlder to command all the overworlders. Huang Mengwa said, let's talk about this matter later. Let's look at his strength first. Eyes tightly fixed on the screen, the two figures of Ant King and Gu Changqing, who were getting closer and closer. Long Zhang City, underground shelter no. 3. Inside a separate room. This guy's super. Tattoo armor. Why can it exert such great power? Lin Chen was filled with unease. Looking at the raging figure within the television that could kill nearby marching ants with its aura alone. Not to mention how shocked and jealous he was. Originally thought that he was carrying the Yen Long and Emperor armor. And looking around the world. There was absolutely no superhuman that could be compared to him. But never thought that there would be an existence that he couldn't shake. It wasn't that the Emperor's armor was weak. But the super lines on Gu Changqing's body. None of them were simple. Black Dragon. Shora. White Tiger. When this thing was looked at in the metaphysical world, it was all beings among the top. His Emperor's Armor. When looking around the world, it was indeed difficult to find a few people who could match it. But comparing it to Gu Changqing, it was a self-inflicted humiliation. He's a god. Anticipating everything, don't compare yourself to him. Su Yue, who was next to him, seemed to be able to see through Lin Chen's small mind, and said in a low voice, he has 11 super tattoos, all of which are from myths and legends, and he was actually able to carry through the impact of the tattoos when they awakened. A human could never do that. He's definitely a god. 11 mythological level tattoos? How the hell did he withstand them? Tough guy. Lin Chen was stunned and filled with disbelief. Lin Shui Yao gave him a blank look and said, that's why Yu Wei said he's a god. Not to mention them, the nation's super tattoos that were watching were all incredulous that he could awaken so many super tattoos and not die. 
completely transcending the human realm. Boom! Right at this moment, a loud bang came out. Gu Changqing and the Ant King collided together, the blood spear ruthlessly pressing against the rows of sharp, knife-like teeth inside its bloody mouth. With a loud bang, a terrifying force erupted, and at that moment, yellow sand filled the sky, completely submerging their figures. Buzz! The 36 white tiger flying daggers flashed with a cold light, appearing at first through the ravaging yellow sand, followed by a resounding sound, as if they were striking on metal. Roar! The Ant King let out a roar, and the nine, blade-like spikes arranged on the inside of its six thick legs left its body, twisting towards Gu Changqing as it maneuvered with its mind. At the same time, energy coalesced in its mouth, violently ejecting a beam of energy as thick as a water tank. This guy's scale armor, even my white tiger flying dagger can't break through the defense, at least the late fourth stage level. In the end, how many of its kind has it swallowed? Does it know that swallowing those crystal cores in the body of its kind can evolve? Outside the armor Gu Changqing's scarlet eyes flickered. This Ant King's reaction was just too swift. It was already too late to dodge the beam of light it spat out, and the 54 sharp spikes it urged to kill. Buzz, raising his hand, a shield in the shape of a black dragon was presented in front of his body, and with a loud boom, the beam of energy in the 54 spikes struck. The raging power surged, and Gu Changqing was actually knocked back dozens of meters by it. Gu Changqing stabilized his stance, and really didn't expect that in just one night's time, it could actually evolve into a late fourth order beast. In his previous life, it was commonly referred to as an epic level fey beast. Roar! The ant king stepped out of the yellow sand, 54 half meter long spikes sinking in front of him, his lantern sized eyes full of playfulness staring at Gu Changqing. If it could speak human, it would definitely say a few words of mockery. A fourth order IQ, that really wasn't much different from a human. Chapter 14, God's Might Overflows, Shaking the Nation. At the place where Gu Changqing and the Ant King were fighting, not a single marching ant dared to come over. The Ant King, who had repelled Gu Changqing by more than 10 meters, looked at Gu Changqing with lantern-sized eyes that were quite teasing. This, undefeated? How could this be? This Ant King, just how strong is it? When the nation's survivors and overwatchers saw this, their hearts hung in their throats. If even this being couldn't kill that Ant King, then looking at all the ultra tattooists, who could do it? The answer was none. The ultra markers watching were all creeped out at the moment, feeling horrified by the Ant King's power. Four ultra marks were activated at the same time, and they were all mythic grade ultra marks. So if they couldn't defeat this Ant King, they would all be just sending food to the table. Young Master, on the observation platform, Wang Rong, who had taken care of Gu Chanqing for more than 10 years, had her fists clenched tightly, her face full of worry. Humans, are they really incapable of fighting against foreign beasts? Wu Rui's daughter, Wu Xiaoya, muttered to herself in despair. Don't panic, I believe the boss is absolutely fine. Little Dumpling, however, was incomparably convinced that this man, must not be able to stop here. Bastard, don't get carried away. Gu Changqing's eyes were intimidating, his voice was like the death knell of hell, and between his thoughts, the underworld god ultra tattoo activated. Boom, all of a sudden. A more violent force surged from Gu Changqing's body, and the dragon pattern on the surface of the Shura dragon armor disappeared, covered with gray bizarre underworld patterns. Aang, at the same time, behind Gu Changcheng, it seemed that from his spine, two hideous black dragons grew violently on the left and right. The dark blue eyes of the dragons were majestic and tyrannical, and the indestructible scales of their bodies flowed with an icy light. After Gu Changcheng refined 5,000 crystal cores last night, although the super stripe didn't evolve, the strength of his physical body had risen by a notch, and he could withstand the triple armor for a short period of time. The reason why it was a short period of time was because the load on the physical body was just too great, and he could only carry it for about half an hour in this body state. Crap, he activated another tattoo. How can he withstand it? Lin Chen's eyes were about to glaze over. His Inferno Dragon and Emperor Armor, both of them could only activate one right now, and activating two at the same time. He had tried it once and almost burst into flames and this guy in front of him, he could actually activate five at the same time. Is he really a god? Not only him, all the super tattooed people in the country who carried more than two tattoos were all shocked by this. To be able to activate four tattoos at the same time is already outrageous, but to be able to activate five? The three of them in the highest conference hall, who had seen many big storms, were also shocked beyond words. Regarding the super tattooists, they had gathered enough information last night. At this stage, not to mention activating five ultra tattoos at the same time. Even two, no ultra tattooist would be able to do so. All of this information was collected from the Dragon King group in the Dragon Kingdom. This was a very secretive organization, 
only under the control of three of them, with a total of 72 members, all of whom had the Inferno Dragon tattoo, and the Shadow tattoo engraved on their bodies, is he human? Huang Zhanghua swallowed a mouthful of saliva and said this, humans, it's absolutely impossible to make it this far, each member of our Dragon King group, whose physique surpasses that of ordinary people, can't activate both at the same time, this son, Gu Chang Cheng, is harboring a great secret, Xian Yuan Wan Rui, eyes flashing, roar, above the dunes, the Ant King let out a low, sharp roar, his large lantern-like eyes surfacing with scorn as he stared at Gu Changqing, scrupulous as it was, it was not the least bit fearless, fiercely contending its mouth, instantly sending countless sharp spikes sweeping toward the tiny human in the distance, whoosh, 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 Gu Changqing's eyes glowed eerily, shrinking like an ordinary human, dodging the Ant King's spikes sweeping across the room, in a flash of lightning, he appeared on its back, the blood spear in his hand flickered with thunder, blossoming with demonic light as he blasted down. Ka Ching, rumble, the unrivaled power of the impact caused the Ant King's limbs to bend and fall to the ground with a bang, the scale armor on its body rupturing. Roar, the Ant King roared angrily as it suffered pain, urging its 54 fundamental life spikes to strangle the human on its back. On, the twin dragons behind Gu Changqing whistled long and hard, violently tyrannizing away, as fast as lightning, opening their mouths to thump and bite those spikes. This then turned back and tore straight towards the Ant King's lantern-sized eyes. The speed was very fast. Less than a blink of an eye swept to its eyes. Give me death. At the same time, Gu Chang Cheng, who wanted to have a quick battle, used his spiritual power to fully activate the 36 white tiger flying daggers, which were like 36 bolts of lightning shooting towards the Ant King's buttocks, the weak point of reproduction. At the same time, running every drop of power that could be utilized within his body, he infused it into the blood spear for a desperate stab down. Poof, when it was too late, the twin dragons, blood spear, and white tiger flying dagger, almost simultaneously bit its eyes, penetrated its back, and slashed through its breeding place. Roar, accompanied by a mournful and incomparably sharp roar, the ant king's huge body collapsed to the ground and convulsed. After twitching for a while, it completely died. All the bones in his body had been shattered by Gu Chengqing's spear just now. Yay, one, boss one, boss is mighty, boss is invincible. On the observation platform, the little troop saw this scene and jumped up happily, letting out a leaping cheer. Phew, young master is truly awesome. Wang Rong lightly exhaled, her lifted heart falling, revealing a smile. Good, awesome, too awesome. Hang, strong and invincible. Ha ha, from now on, this big brother is my idol. At this moment, all the shelters in the country were filled with a tsunami of cheers. All of them stood up. It was like watching a ball game where one's favorite team won. This kind of joy was simply impossible to suppress, and needed to be let out in a loud chant in order to be completely released. The survivors at this moment had forgotten that they were in the middle of the end times. This guy, so invincible, I hope he will accept our invitation to form an alliance of overstrikers. Inside the highest conference room, the three highest echelons of the Dragon Kingdom all stood up, their faces filled with incomparable excitement and thrill. At this early stage of the calamity, there was a need for such a strong and invincible figure to appear allowing all the survivors to see hope and light. Chapter 15 Inexplicably, when the Dragon Country see pin, 7 chapters, delivery, requesting for votes, western suburb, outside the refuge, on top of that hill, like the giant and king of a van, its huge body suddenly collapsed. Gu Changqing held a blood spear in his hand, with twin black dragons circling behind him, and 36 white tiger flying swords sinking in, red, black, and gray, the cool and surprisingly oppressive Shura underworld dragon armor was added to his body, flowing with an intimidating breath. Standing quietly on the Ant King's back with blood gushing wildly, he was truly like an unearthly evil god standing proudly between heaven and earth. Boss is mighty and invincible. Zhang Hu, who was massacring the Ant Tide, looked at the figure standing on the Ant King's back in the distance, and let out a long whistle as his blood boiled, slaughtering even more vigorously. The reason why he was able to activate two ultra strikes at the same time was actually because he had dipped into Gu Changqing's favor. At that time, the energy emitted by the bizarre mark was absorbed by him a bit. Otherwise, at this stage, he wouldn't have been able to activate two. Boss is invincible. The brethren, too, were deeply impressed by Gu Changqing's stance. Somehow, with that Ant King dead, this Ant Tide had no intention of receding at all, and continued to charge the crowd fearlessly. Gu Changqing's deep eyes looked into the depths of the Gobi. The fact that this ant tide hadn't receded meant that there was still an ant king, but it shouldn't be as powerful as the one under his feet, otherwise it would have rushed out a long time ago. However, it was better if the ant tide didn't recede, 
In his eyes they could all be crystal cores. Right now, it was still too weak. I'm afraid that there are not a few of the late fourth stage like the Ant King among the foreign beasts, especially the Wang Ocean, the most threatening place for humans. Aang. At this moment, the left black dragon behind Gu Chanqing let out a low roar, opened its mouth and penetrated into the Ant King's body, taking out a crystal core the size of an adult's fist. Hmm. It's worthy of being a fourth order crystal core. The energy contained is so pure and huge. Gu Chongqing looked at the crystal core in front of him, feeling that after absorbing and refining it, it would allow him to promote his two ultra stripes to the second rank. Putting it away, he dispersed the five super grains that had been added to his body and activated the death god and skeleton super grains, joining in the slaughter. The speed of his massacre in the reaper state alone was faster than a dozen or so of his brethren. Where is this big brother? I'm going to join him. Too fierce ah, I'm also an overworlder, who knows where the big brother is currently. Why don't we form a group? I'm in Magic City. Are there any super tattooists in Magic City? Coincidentally, I'm also in Mordor. Which shelter are you in? Let's team up together to find the big brother. Are there any super tattooists in Guangcheng? Come and team up to go there. Private chat me. Wasn't this refuge a sensation all over the internet when it was built? I remember that it was in the western suburbs of Longjiang City. Are there any super strikers from the eastern province? Private chat me to go over together. Inside the live broadcast room, many overstrikers were posting pop-ups to form a group, preparing to go together to join the big brother. The number of ultra tattooists was, in fact, not quite a lot, and most of them had helped the country and rescued many, many survivors. Of course, there were certainly not a few vicious ultra tattooists. Sister, in the future, this person is bound to be the absolute overlord of this planet. Too fierce, why not me? Inside the third underground shelter, Lin Shen was envious to the extreme, his eyes full of jealousy. You don't want to die. Don't provoke him. Just live our own. Lin Shuiyao couldn't see that the deep cynicism in his eyes, color of jealousy, and instructed very seriously. Sister, I don't want to provoke him. Lin skimmed his lips. Next to her, Su Yue had a complicated mood. If she had been firm in her resolve at that time, she would have been able to fight side by side with him by now. However, there were no pills of regret to eat in this world. Kyoto's highest meeting hall. Prepare to contact Gu Changcheng with the strength he just displayed. As long as he raises his arm, he can gather most of the country's ultra tattooists to follow him. And it's just the right time to use this to establish an alliance of ultra tattooists. Long Zhangbo calmed down slightly and said in this low voice, What I'm worried about now is that he will reject us. Xian Yuan Wang Rui spoke out his heart. His only worry. Huang Mengwai nodded. This is indeed a problem. But one has to try isn't it? Let's contact him when he returns to the refuge. Hopefully, he will accept our invitation. Long Zhangguo was also worried that the other party would refuse. Xian Yuan Wang Rui narrowed his eyes and said, If he refuses, what shall we do? What can be done? We still have to maintain a polite attitude. Who knows how many powerful existences there are among the foreign beasts. And we might have to spend a great deal of money to ask for his help in the future. Huang Mengwa said in a deep voice, Offending, is never to be done. Long Zhangguo agreed. Not bad. It's fine if he refuses. We need a powerful overworlder like him to be the Dragon Kingdom sea fixer. Moreover, I'm only afraid that the survivors and super strikers of the Dragon Kingdom now regard him as a sea pin like existence. Time rushed by, and it was already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Over at the western suburb refuge, the crowd was also close to exhaustion, and began to kill while collecting the remaining crystal cores. Around 4 o'clock, under Gu Changqing's leadership, the crowd returned to the refuge without a single casualty. There was still a black wave of ants, still impacting and climbing the walls of the shelter. Roar! Not long after Gu Changqing and the others entered the refuge, a sharp cry came from the end of the horizon. As the sound rang out, the wave of ants that were pounding the walls began to retreat like a tidal wave. Finally showing up, Gu Changcheng, who had been waiting here at the shelter's gate, listened to this shout in his ears and directly activated the Shura, Black Dragon, Underworld God, and Blood Spear Ultra Tattoos, opened the door and then followed the place where the sound came from, killing furiously at the fastest speed possible. Along the way, it exploded large swarms of ants, and behind it, the dual black dragons crossed space, also harvesting the nearby ant swarms. Gu Changqing couldn't possibly let it leave, with such a high IQ, and knowing how to devour its own kind to evolve. If he gave it a few more days, he was afraid that even he would have trouble dealing with it. Therefore, it had to be eradicated, or else there would be endless trouble. What's the situation? The ant tide has receded. Why is this big brother killing out again? The people who were still watching the live broadcast looked at the berserk figure that was so fast that only remnants could be seen, and all of them revealed a puzzled look. 
Did you guys hear that roar just now? The ant tide receded as soon as it sounded. There must still be an ant king, or queen. This big brother is trying to exterminate the aftermath. Someone soon reacted. The satellite camera had been locking onto Gu Changqing, and people were staring intently, curious if there was still an ant king or queen. Chapter 16, Killing the Ant Queen, Fusion Supernet. Under the attention of the nation's survivors, Gu Changqing's cultivating underworld dragon armor covered his body, and his speed was incomparably fast as he rushed straight towards the screaming voice that had ordered the ant tide to retreat. The so-called ant tide could not stop him at all. The raging aura around him alone shattered large swarms of ants wherever he passed. At the end, it was berserk and unresolved. This kind of strong strength was beyond the reach of countless super-tattooed people. The ant swarms that had a little bit of intelligence actively made a path as he passed by. Under a distant hill, there was an ant queen that was two-thirds the size of the ant king lying dormant here. Seeing that the human who killed her other half was coming to kill her, it didn't even dare to roar and turned around to run away as fast as it could. However, its speed was no match for Gu Changqing. As it took off running, Gu Changqing saw its silhouette, slightly closing the distance. Gu Changqing's blood spear glowed in his hand, pouring 70% of its power into it, then violently throwing it over. Swoosh! Crackle! The blood spear pierced through the air, thunder flashing suddenly, illuminating the entire land. It broke through the air at several times the speed of sound. Roar! The ant queen in the fleeing string turned her head to look, and instantly died, opening her mouth to spit out a mouthful of energy beams, wanting to block the blood spear. Boom! However, the blood spear is unrivaled. The tyrannical thunder flashes, instantly destroying the energy beam it spat out. Unrivaled, like a lightning bolt, plopping sound, from its mouth through its body. It was too much weaker than the ant king. At most, it was in the middle of the third stage. Gu Changqing killed it, went over and dug out its crystal core, then turned back. On the huge square of the refuge, the crowd was gathered here. Sacks of crystal cores piled up, and it was hard to tell how many sacks there were. This wave, the crowd really had a great time killing. Big Brother Zhang, all these crystal cores, what are they good for? Little Tuan Tuan came over with Wang Rong and the others, and she, who was not an alien, asked curiously, of course it's for cultivation, the quantity is too much, there's no need to admire them, put them all into the warehouse, everyone carry a few sacks back to cultivate first. Looking at the great harvest in front of him, Zhang who smiled so much that his mouth couldn't close, there were at least a million of them, from around 8 in the morning, killing until 4 in the afternoon. In eight hours, Gu Chang Cheng, who was in the state of death, slaughtered 200, 000 to 300, 000 alien ants. Meow. The black cat raised by little Tuan Tuan came over at this time, looking at the crystal cores in front of him, his mouth drooling. Black treasure. You can also cultivate with these crystal cores? Little Dumpling looked at his pet cat, even drooling, and said with some surprise, Meow. The black cat nodded its huge head. This. Could it be that only ordinary people can't use these crystal cores to cultivate? Little Tuan Tuan said with some eagerness. Zhang who shook his head. Who knows? You'll have to ask the boss about this. Naturally, you can. But you need a super striker to use spiritual power to pull out the energy within the crystal cores and transfer it into your body to wash your flesh. At this time, Gu Changqing returned. She naturally knew that ordinary people could also get the energy within the crystal core to evolve. But they couldn't access the power within. They had to have the help of a super tattooer to do so. Boss, how's it going? Is there another ant king? Zhang Hu, Zhao Feng, and Wu Rui saw him return and took a few steps forward to inquire. Gu Changqing nodded his head and said faintly, There is one. Don't be complacent all of you. There are a lot of alien beasts whose evolutionary rate. Degree is far faster than us. Wang Rong, you few can go cook. Okay. Yu Xia, and Tuan Tuan and Xiaoya. You two little ninnies. Let's go. Wang Rong greeted them and headed to the kitchen. Wu Rui whispered, Boss, it's my negligence. I didn't recruit some cooks and others at that time. That's fine. Tomorrow you take someone to the underground refuge in Longjiang City and gather a group of laborers to come back to work for 12 hours with 3 meals a day. Gu Changqing lit a cigarette for himself and said in a dignified voice, The factories in the refuge need to be started, and the fields need to be planted. Wu Rui nodded heavily, Good, I'll personally bring people there tomorrow. I'll go back and wash up and focus on cultivation after eating, Gu Changqing said, and used his spiritual power to detain the five large sacks to go back, the one meter tall sacks were filled with at least four to five thousand crystal cores, the crystal cores in the bodies of ants were as big as peanuts, Gu Changqing knew very well that ordinary people were dangerous in the early stages of the mutation, but they were rarely a threat to the super striker, but after some more time, 
absorbing the knowledge that one could spit out blood moon essence at night to evolve, as well as devouring their own kind to evolve, the pressure faced by the super grainers would also be great. Therefore, they must rise in a short period of time. Gu Changqing had just returned to the villa when the cell phone in his pocket rang, taking it out and looking at it. Xinxer was actually a satellite phone. Sitting down on the sofa, he answered it. Hello, is this Mr. Gu? On the phone, the rather majestic voice of Xin Yuan Wang Rui came out. It's me. Who are you and what's the matter? Gu Changqing returned indifferently. Ha ha, I'm Regulus Wang Rui, one of the three highest talkers in the Dragon Kingdom. The image of you subduing the Ant King just now has been broadcast live across the country via satellite. It's really impressive. The other party laughed aloud. It's already this time. And you still have time to call me? Have you cleaned up all the alien beasts and the like in Kyoto? Gu Changqing didn't let the other party's esteemed status make him polite, and still spoke indifferently. It's still in progress. The 72 dual super strikers of the Dragon King group, along with the 10 national treasure pandas, those super strikers who are willing to do their part for the country, and the heavily armed military are clearing it out on a large scale. The alien beasts in the early stages of mutation are all relatively weak, and the army is fully capable of dealing with them, but I can't say the same for the future. Shen Yuan Wang Rui purposely raised the tone of super striker willing to serve the country by a few points, wanting to use this to test Gu Changqing's thoughts a bit. That's quite good. Gu Changqing's words were concise, but there was no response. Mr. Gu, we intend to establish an alliance of ultra tattooists. I wonder if you'd be interested in becoming the alliance leader? Seeing that he didn't give a response, Shen Yuan Wang Rui directly opened the door. I'm sorry, I'm a person who doesn't like constraints. But I won't stand idly by since the country is in trouble. You guys stabilize the situation in the country first. Gu Changqing said indifferently. Transfer the survivors within the coastal cities as soon as possible. I know that you have a fusion protection network that can withstand attacks by alien beasts below the 8th order. But it can only cover a city range at most. The swiftness of the evolution of the alien beasts is far beyond your imagination. I know what you guys are thinking. Afraid of being sabotaged by the alien beasts. You want to clean up the alien beasts within the city where the nuclear fusion supernet is located first. But this is a wrong idea. To clean up the alien beasts in a city, it will take at least half a month, or even longer. During that time, the alien beasts are all at least two or three orders of magnitude, many of which can already harden themselves against the bombardment of bullets, armor-piercing bullets, and artillery shells, and there won't be any less than four or five orders of magnitude. I'll tell you another secret. Under the shroud of the nuclear fusion supernet, none of the alien beasts and vegetation are able to spit out blood moon essence to evolve. In addition, ship me a small nuclear fusion supergrid generator. In exchange, I can have my brothers under my hand help you escort the survivors from the eight cities in the western city province to Longjiang City. After all, it was the motherland. There was a need to still have to help out, but wanting him to be a savior. There was no possible one thing. In his previous life, it was because they wanted to finish clearing out the alien beasts in the city before turning on the nuclear fusion supergrid that led to the death of more humans. There was only one nuclear fusion hypergrid device in each province of the Dragon Kingdom, and the hypergrid device in the western city province was precisely in the city of Longjiang. Okay, deal. Xian Yuan Wang Rui agreed without any hesitation after hearing his words. There was no doubt about what he said above. Chapter 17, Situation Stabilized, Overworlders Begin to Make Their Mark, Time Rushed By turning a month. During this period, the situation in the country finally stabilized. The Dragon Kingdom's population of nearly 1. 4 billion had plummeted to less than 700 million. The 700 million humans were all gathered in 12 cities covered by nuclear fusion supernetworks. In each city, there were more than 58 million people. The degree of crowding could be imagined. And under the country's allocation, every building was filled with people. Not even personal privacy. Even more important is food. Almost all of the nation's granaries and the like had been destroyed by the alien beasts, and all were living without a meal. Fortunately, a number of nuclear power plants have been protected. It was now a time when there were literally hundreds of wastes, and if you didn't farm, you didn't have food. Fortunately, the energy within the phase crystal cores catalyzed them to be able to promote plant growth, but in a short period of time, it wouldn't be able to supply so many people. Subsequently, there would definitely be starving people. Officially, there was nothing that could be done about it. The cities outside the hypergrid's coverage were infested with alien beasts, and were in a state of disrepair. After a month of evolution, most of these alien beasts were of the second or third order, and those of the first order were seldom seen anymore, especially the coastal cities, up to 100 meters high octopus hovering, growing limbs of fish beasts rampant, hundreds of meters of giant sharks rampage, 
Once the mouth of humans in the delicious seafood are no longer human beings can provoke, in the early stage of their evolution is extremely fast, but the follow-up will become slow down. After the situation stabilized, many super-striped people began to become superior. They all joined together to open meat processing factories, and the carcasses of alien beasts hunted and killed from outside need to be processed and stored. In addition to giving two meals a day, at the low cost of one can of meat per day, frantically squeezing the labor force of ordinary people. The new trading currency has not yet been introduced, and what can money do in this period? Being able to fill one's stomach is the most important thing. The real dark age of the ordinary people is coming. Gu Changqing's previous life is like this to survive. Every day, he worked hard for more than 10 hours, just to be able to eat a full meal and not starve to death. Most of the overworlders didn't even take ordinary people seriously, treating them as lowly laborers. When they met those who dared to disobey them, they secretly killed them, and they would not be sanctioned. In his previous life, Gu Changqing was killed the next day after he had disobeyed an overworlder. The government needs super tattooed people. The human race needs super tattooed people. And if they make a big deal out of it, they will only be sanctioned verbally at the most, and will not take any actual action at all. Kyoto, the highest meeting hall, Xian Yuan Wang Rui, Huang Mengua, and Long Zhangguo were sitting opposite each other. Their faces all very haggard. Long Zhangguo said in a deep voice, We need to establish an alliance of overworlders. And since Gu Changqing is unwilling to be the head of this alliance, then we'll find someone else to be the head. King Xian Yuan Rui nodded his head, his face full of gloom. Yes, the vast majority of self-righteous ultramarkers are just too rampant. We need to find someone to deter them. Although the Dragon King group had 72 twin-born ultra-tattooists, and their strength was relatively strong, it was not as if there were no ultra-tattooists that were stronger than them. They needed one now, an absolutely strong existence. Have you all heard of a super-grained one called Lin Chen recently? He carries the Inferno Dragon and Emperor armor and has been killing like crazy outside lately, and his strength is definitely the strongest batch of ultra tattooers amongst them, and the Dragon King, there are two members of the group that have looked for him to spar, and both were easily defeated by his emperor armor, as Huang Zhangguo spoke, he pulled up Lin Chen's battle screen using the emperor armor and said, this son is the Lin family's youngest and has always been friendly to the country, he shouldn't refuse, the line of development still went according to taking care of Changqing's development in his previous life, the same way Lin Chen had become the alliance leader of the Ultra Tattoo Alliance, the strength of his emperor armor was such that in his previous life, there were only a handful of people that could slightly compete with it. Having him as the alliance leader still wouldn't change the status quo, he would still harbor those criminal overworlders, turning a blind eye kind of thing. This son's character is very obsessed with power. It's fine now, but when he becomes the alliance leader of the overworlders alliance, he will be power obsessed. I just wanted to recommend this son as well. He has shown his strength during this period of time, and the number of ultra tattooist fans on Dragonnet is over 300, which is currently the most, except of course for Gu Changqing, who has yet to be stationed on Dragonnet. Long Zhangguo knew how influential Gu Changqing was, and if he was stationed on Dragonnet, 60 to 70 percent of the ultra tattooists in the Dragon Kingdom would definitely pay attention to him. Jun didn't see that during this period. I don't know how many super strikers had gone to join him. However. There were only a handful of them who were able to let him take them under his wing. All right, I'll contact him and ask. Xian Yuan Wang Rui nodded his head and dialed the satellite phone. In the western city province, within the dilapidated city of Wulong City, this city, which was adjacent to a mountain, had a very high number of foreign beasts. Boom! Lin Chen was in a fierce battle with three truck-sized, fourth-ranked ferocious wolves with hair that stood up like steel needles, and the body-covering imperial armor was incredibly oppressive. He had the Aurora Sword in one hand and the Emperor Halbert in the other. His speed was like displacement. His movements were very handsome and strong, beating these three ferocious wolves with blood-dripping wounds all over their bodies. And after more than a dozen rounds they had all been killed by his Emperor Halbert running through their heads. Ha ha, big brother is bullish. After he killed the three ferocious wolves, Lin Chen's three little brothers, who were also wearing super-striped armor, flew over from the building where they were watching the battle. Lin Chen shook off the wolf's blood from the emperor's halberd in his hand and commanded, have the trucks come over and transport the three beasts' corpses. He had hundreds of ultra-tattooist minions under his command, and he had also opened a large meat processing plant, similarly squeezing the labor of ordinary people. This was because he knew that the officials would soon release a new trading currency, and the more food he stored now, the more he would earn then. Coming from a wealthy family, plus his own powerful strength, he was very high-minded and proud and would never work for the benefit of ordinary people. All right, the three little brothers promised and flashed away respectively. Right at this moment, the cell phone integrated into his emperor armor rang. 
Lin Chen answered it and asked, Who is it? Lin Chen, I'm Regulus Wang Rui, one of the highest talkers in the Dragon Kingdom, interested in creating an alliance of overstrippers. I wonder if you're interested in the position of alliance leader? Xian Yuan Wang Rui directly opened the door, feeling certain that he wouldn't refuse. Lin Chen's heart stirred and he said, Is this matter certain? But do you guys think I'm up to the task? Knowing that his heart was moved, Xian Yuan Wang Rui said, If you agree, in a matter of days, you can announce the establishment of the alliance of ultra tattooed people, and widely invite ultra tattooed people from all sides to join. Hearing this, Lin Chen's heart was on fire. If he could become the helmsman of the alliance of ultra tattooists, he would be acting in an official capacity in the future. Thinking about this, he didn't hesitate for a second and said, If you guys think I have the qualifications, it's incumbent upon me to serve the country. He was righteous. You definitely have this qualification. Is this considered a promise? Yes. I'll rush back at once now. As soon as possible, we need to hold a press conference tomorrow to announce the formation of the Overstriker Alliance. Chapter 18 You announce the formation of the Super Tattoo Alliance? Then I'll slaughter the scaly scales in the West Sea. The following day, noon, in the Kyoto Media Hall, many reporters were waiting here with cameras in their hands. Yesterday, the official announcement was made that the press conference announcing the formation of the Super Tattooist Alliance would be broadcast live nationwide today. Union of Ultra Tattooists? Is it sanctioning the Ultra Tattooists? Is the Alliance leader Big Brother Gu? If not, I won't admit it. Yes, no one other than Big Brother Gu is qualified to sit in this position. I really hope Big Brother Gu will become the Alliance leader and suppress those bastards who are madly squeezing us. The Ultra Markers. Upstairs plus one. Inside the Dragon Network's live broadcasting room. Before the announcement conference had even begun, the pop-up screens were in full swing, and most people felt that the position of alliance leader was bound to be Big Brother Gu. Other than him, there was no one who had this qualification. Backstage hall, dressed in a white suit, the rather handsome Lin Shen looked at the pop-up screens in the live broadcast room of his cell phone, his face very gloomy. The pop-ups that popped up were almost all saying that only Big Brother Gu was qualified to sit in the position of the Super Strikers Alliance Master. Stinky brother, look at your face. Something doesn't look good ah. Su Yi Wei was sitting next to him, wearing a female professional suit, with a hip-hugging short skirt, black silk over her beautiful legs, and high heels on her feet. She was also watching the live broadcast, and over the past month with Lin Chen, the two had gotten a little close. Lin Chen cursed. Damn. It's useless for me to be any stronger. All these trash recognize that bastard Gu Changqing. Su Yi Wei held his hand and laughed. That's normal. The world worships the strong. This month Gu Changqing hasn't even ventured into the limelight. What you need to do now is to suppress his popularity as soon as possible. This month I've already made all sorts of high-profile displays of my own strength, but I'm still not recognized. What do you think I have to do to make it work? Sister Yu Wei? Lin Chen really hated Gu Changqing. Su Yu Wei comforted in a gentle voice. You do your own thing. What do you care what others say? Other than Gu Changqing, there's almost no super striker that can arm wrestle with you right now. Don't care about what others think. Lin Chen had so much potential that Su Yue, who was quite obsessed with power and wealth, although she couldn't talk about liking him, she had to keep it under control. That's why she would treat him like this. Crap. Little Tuan Tuan has opened a live broadcast. The title is Gu Big Brother West Sea Slaughter Jiao. Really? Big Brother Gu, who hasn't been heard from for a month, has finally shown up? Tuan Tuan is with Big Brother Gu? Damn it. Let's go check it out. Isn't Big Brother Gu going to be the Ultra Tattoo Alliance leader? Big Brother Gu is in the West Sea. It's obvious that there's someone else. Martyr. Let's go. I'm going to see Big Brother Gu. Go go go. There's nothing to see here. I want to see Big Brother Gu too. Right at this moment, the live broadcast room was popped up with all of the above pop-ups. At the same time, the number of people watching the live broadcast, in the blink of an eye, dropped from more than 200 million, to tens of millions, millions, hundreds of thousands, and finally only tens of thousands of people left watching. Damn, Lin Shen swept a glance at his phone, when he saw the pop-ups floating out, as well as the number of people who had disappeared in an instant. His face instantly became extremely hard to see, cursing, bastard Gu Changcheng, is he doing this on purpose? When Su Yue saw this scene, she also frowned slightly and said, his call to arms, it's just too terrifying, let's go see what he's doing as well. Saying this, she exited the official live room and turned into the little Tuan Duan live room. Hello hello hello, good noon Tai Zs. Today our boss is going to slaughter an auger beast evolved from a water snake to go back to barbecue. Just as she entered the live broadcast room, she heard little Tuan Tuan's very personalized voice ring out. She stood in front of the camera like a reporter, with the raging ocean in the background behind her, 
and she was standing on a boulder, introducing it to the crowd. This Jiao beast that my boss is going to kill is the absolute overlord of the sea. A terrifying existence at the early seventh stage. All right, knowing that Tai Zs all want to see my boss. Cameraman, cut the camera over. As her words fell, the cameraman turned the camera to a shore, only to see that over there, a line of ten people stood proudly. Gu Changqing was red, black, and gray, with his domineering Shura underworld dragon armor covering his body. Two hideous black dragons circling behind him, and a tyrannical thunder flashing blood spear in his hand, wearing the demon king tiger armor, Zhang Hu, and the Jiao dragon armor, Wu Rue, and seven members of the demon alliance wearing demonic armor stood behind him. Recently, there were quite a number of ultra tattooed people who had come to join him, and Gu Changqing had taken in dozens of stronger people and established a demon alliance, with Zhang Hu as its leader. During this month, the devil alliance had been developing and rising in a low key manner. The 158 members of the Demon Alliance were all currently in the middle to late 4th rank. Zhang Hu and Wu Rue were in the late 5th rank. Gu Changqing had too many tattoos on his body, and had only cultivated the Shura, Black Dragon, Underworld God, and Bloodspear Super Tattoos to the 4th rank at the moment, while the rest were all at the 3rd rank. His Super Tattoos were too powerful, and the Crystal Cores required to advance were more than 10 times that of the others, which was terrifying. More than a month ago, Gu Changqing had been able to kill a late 4th order and king with 1st order strength. How terrifying his strength was at the 4th rank. Even he wasn't quite sure. Ha ha, I haven't seen you for a month. Big brother Gu is still dominating. Idol, can you let me join your demon alliance as well? Ah, oh my god. There are now 7th order lord class beasts on earth? Is it evolving so fast? So what? Big brother Gu still goes straight to the hunt. Worthy of being a role model for my generation. Big brother Gu. I'm also an overworlder. I want to give you a bunch of monkeys. I have a big ass and I'm very good at giving birth. Scram. Big brother Gu is our male. The pop-ups in the live broadcast room were full of all sorts of words of adoration for Gu Changqing. Roar. Suddenly at this time. A berserk roar. The impact of the wild wolf monstrous. Against the sky tens of meters. Like a tsunami rushing. Boom. Rumble. Subsequently. We'll see a black behemoth. Boom from the bottom of the sea within the head. Sound amazing out of the air. Six or seven hundred meters of huge body rolled over the surface of the sea. Cold black scale armor covered. Such as a dragon like a snake's huge head is hideous and incomparable. Open mouth can swallow a bus. So it can be seen. What a behemoth. Roar. 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 It didn't come by itself. Followed by a dense. Unending number of minions. Consisting of sea snakes. Electric eels. And other long sea beasts. Both terrifying and disgusting. All of them were three or four orders upwards. If they were able to set foot on land, it would be a huge disaster for humanity. Tai Z's of the live broadcasting room. My boss's hunting target has come yo. Please look. It's this behemoth. Just by looking at it. Isn't it all scary? But it's okay. It can't get to you guys through the screen. Much less escape from my boss's hands. As her words fell, the cameraman turned the camera around. The horrifying scene on that side of the sea immediately made the entire live broadcast room boil. Chapter 19, Seventh Order. Only at this level. Pretty country, a certain palace, on the presidential seat, there sat a black strong man wearing a dark blue suit, stout and upright, topped with a large bald head, very oppressive, a bit interesting, I really didn't expect that the dragon country could stabilize the situation so quickly, as far as I know, none of their army allows tattoos, I'm afraid that they are regretting it, right, big brother goo, it seems to be the strongest super tattooed person in dragon kingdom at the moment, the super tattooed armor on his body is quite domineering, but don't be strong on the outside. Inside the projection light screen on Jamie Kohler's desk was none other than the live broadcasting room of Little Tuan Tuan. They, the pretty country, had almost universal tattoos, not to mention not stopping the military from engraving tattoos. Therefore, less than 10 days after the heaven and earth change, they cleaned up those alien beasts in the city where the supernet device was located and opened the supernet coverage, and almost all the people tattoo. This disaster their loss is very small. The town of large grain silos all over the army. Overnight become super tattooed. Kill foreign beasts like chopping melons and cutting vegetables. This Jamie Kohler, originally a general, is to take advantage of the chaos to usurp the throne up. Successfully survived death and awaken four tattoos. With his super tattoos fully open. Lin Chen's emperor's armor can only go 50 to 50 with him. One of the strongest batches of people on the planet. The people of the pretty country were now living a very prosperous life and only less than 30% of the people up and down the country had uninscribed tattoos. In addition, there was also the cool tattooed bear country, which had suffered very little loss and quickly stabilized the impact brought about by the Fey. 
President, should we have a national live broadcast? So that our people can see how this big brother goo from the dragon country was abused by the seventh order black auger. Jamie Kohler's deputy, sneered disdainfully. There was no way to believe that any human at this stage could resist a seventh order foreign beast. This was self-destruction. Open it. It's not a bad thing to let the people of the country also see the dragon kingdom make a fool of itself. Jamie Kohler lit a cigar for himself. He was only at the peak of the fourth order. And he didn't think that anyone among the humans could shake the seventh order alien beasts at the present stage. Good. His deputy answered and left. They and the dragon kingdom were not dealing with each other in the first place. Not long after, everyone in pretty country's cell phone popped up this headline, Dragon Country Monkey Slaughters Jiao. Quickly watch it make a fool of itself. When the people of pretty country saw this, they were curious and clicked in. Even the screens hanging on the square in the city were all images of the West Sea side of the Dragon Kingdom. In the West Sea, the wild waves were churning, and the sea beasts that covered the entire sea level were so dense and disgusting that it made people's scalp numb. The seventh-ranked Black Jiao's ferocious aura was monstrous, its body close to 700 meters huge, rolling in the waves, leading tens of thousands of third- and fourth-ranked sea beasts, stopping on the sea a few miles away from Gu Changqing and the others. Their eyes, bigger than lanterns, were turning around and staring at Gu Changqing. A roar shook the entire sea, its voice full of disdain and contempt. It really didn't expect that a human would dare to provoke itself. The Western Sea was dominated by it, and nuclear weapons could also harden it. So why would this human dare to come? Aang, the twin dragons behind Gu Changqing were not willing to show weakness and let out a deafening roar. Their tyrannical dragon eyes were majestic, and they wanted to devour this black auger. Crikey, what a ferocious black jiao. Can Big Brother Gu do it? Upstairs, don't question Big Brother Gu's strength. If Big Brother Gu dares to go hunting, it means he's definitely stronger than this black scaly auger. We'll see what happens. Right. You dare to question Big Brother Gu's strength? What kind of waves can such a small scaly snake turn up in front of Big Brother Gu? Admins, just ban the idiot who questioned Big Brother Gu. Plus one. Inside the live broadcast room, almost all of Gu Changqing's brainwashed fans felt that he was invincible and untouchable. Those who sent pop-ups questioning him were instantly sprayed with blood. Gu Changqing is bashing us? Long Zhanghua, who was about to head to the press conference, looked at the live broadcast of Little Tuan Duan, his face a bit ugly. It felt like Gu Changqing was specifically working against them. Regardless of whether he's smashing our field or not, the release will have to be delayed by a day. So maybe it's a coincidence or not. The threat of the oceans is too great. In just one month, there are even seventh order sea beasts. Should we use nuclear weapons to bombard them a bit and slow them down for a while? Huang Meng was said with great gravity. It is indeed necessary to bombard afterward. We can't let these beasts evolve recklessly. Shen Yuan Wang Rui and Long Zhangguo nodded in agreement, then quietly watched the live stream, wanting to see what level Gu Changqing had evolved to within this month. On the west coast, Zhang Hu whispered, Boss, are you sure? Sure, let's not say it's 7th order. Even if it's 8th order, it won't be able to run away today. The armor on Gu Changqing's body flowed with a tyrannical light, and after saying so blandly, he lifted his foot and stepped out, and could actually step in the air, carrying the blood spear and stepping straight towards that black jiao. Buzz, as he descended into that part of the sea, less than a hundred meters away from the black auger, a buzzing gray-colored underworld god field covered this space in an instant. As the field unfolded, the strength of all the sea beasts within the field dropped by one rank. Roar! The black jiao roared lowly and its size instantly became a circle smaller, transforming into a giant of 4 to 500 meters. The little brothers it brought along also hissed uneasily. Boom! Gu Changqing didn't give the black jiao time to react. Booming a step into the air, the twin dragons behind him roared, and the blood spear in his hand blossomed with immeasurable thunder. Breaking through six times the speed of sound, the air exploded. White mist surged, and even the satellites could only catch a shadow. Roar! The black jiao, however, saw clearly and reacted opening its mouth and spitting out a huge and furious energy beam. Rumble. Gu Chang Chang, however, stood motionless under the sweep of its energy light wave. A few moments later, when the energy light wave that split the sea into two dispersed, Gu Chang Ching stood intact in front of the Black Jiao. He couldn't even break through the defense. Sixth rank. That's the extent of it? Gu Chang Ching seemed to want to test his own strength, and immediately dispersed the underworld god's domain. Boom. The Black Jiao immediately regained its seventh order strength and between the flashes of its ferocious eyes, its thick tail broke through double the speed of sound and swept towards Gu Changqing. Bang! Gu Changqing looked at the tail that blew up the air and swept towards him, his left hand raised, and straightened up, with a loud bang. The Black Jiao's fierce and violent strike couldn't even make Gu Changqing, who was standing in the air, take half a step back, 
and was as steady as MT, tie with one hand against its tail, 7th rank, only this degree? Gu Chengqing's disappointed voice came out from under the armored helmet, Aang, the moment the words left his mouth, the twin dragons behind Gu Chengqing swept out horizontally, opening their mouths that could shatter everything in the world, and tore at the scale armor of the black scaly auger's tail like lightning, it shattered its scales and armor, penetrating into its body, and immediately, a large amount of blood burst out and spilled. Chapter 20 Shura Domain, Bermuda Triangle, 5 Chapters, I'm begging for votes, crap, is this big brother Gu, I haven't seen you for a month, but you're still strong and invincible, he's too fierce, he took a blow from a 7th order beast with his bare hands and didn't move a muscle, I mean, if you look around the world, who else is there, crap, bull, domineering, I'm a man who wants to do that, do you like men, Mr. Gu, so fucking invincible. The audience in the live broadcast room were all shocked and impressed by Gu Changqing's unrivaled strength. Who is this eastern super striker? So strong, so strong. Didn't we say we'd watch him make a fool of himself? How did it turn into watching him make a fool of himself? Oh, my god. What kind of tattoo is he carrying that he can easily take down a seventh order beast? The dragon kingdom is too terrifying. Worthy of being the number one country in the east with mysterious powers. Inside the pretty country's live broadcast room, there were similarly all sorts of shocked and unbelievable pop-ups. Human. I'll fight you. The black jaw roared in pain, even spitting out human words, completely falling into a state of berserkness. The dark light around its body flickered. Its eyes turned scarlet down, and as it roared up to the sky, its size instantly transformed into a gigantic thousand meters. Bastard. You dare to burn the crystal core? Gu Chang Chang, who had always been ancient and unperturbed, was shocked. He had come precisely for the seventh order crystal core in the other party's body. How dare this beast burn it? Boom! The furious Gu Changqing no longer had the heart to test his own strength. With a roar, the bloody Shura power, brutal black dragon power, and bizarre underworld god power fused together and intertwined, transforming into 99 divine super rings floating behind him, and the sweeping aura alone shattered countless sea beasts in the surroundings. Between one step and breaking through ten times the speed of sound, the blood spear pierced through the air. The extremely tyrannical thunder exploded and destroyed the sea area for miles around, but all the sea beasts that were struck by the blood-colored thunder all exploded and died. The black jiao that was locked by the blood spear had its eyes wide open, and the black light on its body exploded and flashed, and it directly utilized its own divine ability, the gate of the black prison. Roar! It opened its mouth and roared, violently spitting out a hundred meter huge, black inflammation raging, iron chains entangled, a terrifying portal of heavenly might. The portal then opened and unparalleled devouring power erupted, wanting to suck Gu Changqing in and refine him away. Ka Ching. However, when the blood spear approached the black prison gate offered by the black Zhao, it was shattered by the raging thunder before the blood spear even attacked it, cracks spreading across the landscape before shattering with a loud bang. How? The black Zhao's huge body trembled and roared out unwillingly, before the blood spear that came with a thousand feet of thunder through the air ran through its entire body from head to tail. Bang! Strongly subduing it, Gu Changqing lifted his foot and kicked the black jiao's kilometer large corpse above the coast. How? This human is terrifying. Run. The other sea beasts that were densely focused on this side of the sea saw the scene and were all scared to death and ran away without looking back. Their IQ was truly no lower than that of humans. Scattering in all directions. They fled. Shura hell. Gu Changcheng, however, had no intention of letting them go, and along with the fall of his chilling voice, the first divine ability of the Shura armor showed its ferocity. Buzz. Blood light appeared under the seabed, and a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood rose up to cover a dozen miles of sea area, the most evil to evil. Breath ravages the sky and earth, terrifying blood light reflects the entire sea, but all the sea beasts that are shrouded in it without exception, even a little resistance is not, directly be worn out into a mass of blood water. Tens of thousands of sea beasts were vaporized in just a few seconds, large swathes of fist-sized milky white crystal cores floated up, heavy blood dyed the waters red. Pretty country. A certain palace. Jamie Kohler stood up in an upright position. His gaze dead set on the magnificent figure within the screen with twin black dragons on its back. A tricolored divine super ring added to its body. And a tyrannical blood spear in its hand. Speaker. This. His deputy. Unable to swallow his saliva. Could not utter a single word. Jamie Kohler was silent for half a second before he said. Big brother goo. What a big brother. May contact him more often. Nothing matters now. What matters is to stand in this chaotic world of alien beasts. Yes, I also feel that. Just yesterday, our satellites in that part of the Atlantic Ocean, the Bermuda Triangle, detected a behemoth about to emerge. But I don't know what it is. If it's a behemoth, 
we in North America will be in danger. HM, why didn't you tell me about this matter earlier? Jamie Kohler glared, staring menacingly at the latter. I, I, I came just now and wanted to say it. But speaker, you were watching the live broadcast. Under the pressure of Jamie Cole's aura, the deputy trembled. Jamie Kohler took a deep breath and asked, Are you sure something is coming out of the Bermuda Triangle? The deputy nodded heavily. Yes, it's big, it's huge, and I can't detect what it is yet. It looks like we really need to contact this big goo from the Dragon Kingdom later. Jamie Kohler sat back in his chair, and his gaze returned inside the live broadcast. The deputy said, By the way speaker, Sakura and Stick asked us for help. Should we help them? Jamie Killer said indifferently. Let them fend for themselves, it's useless to keep them. In the past, helping them was a way to use it to restrict the Dragon Kingdom. Now that there was no need to restrict them, they were useless. Jamie Kohler continued. Before contacting Big Brother Goo, prepare enough supplies for me to feed a million people for a year to be shipped to the Dragon Kingdom. If you want to befriend them, you'll have to pay a price. Alright, I'll go prepare. The deputy answered and left. Because they were almost universally overwrought, the impact from the Fey Beasts wasn't too great, and the granaries and other places in the states were protected. This amount of resources in the district was nothing to them. Jamie, right at this moment, a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, tall and buoyant, extremely beautiful-looking white woman walked in from outside. Seeing who the visitor was, Jamie Kohler laughed. Athena, you're here for Big Brother Goo's formidable strength, aren't you? This woman, with the god of Wushu Athena engraved on her body, called her Athena in passing. Athena nodded her head. Not bad. Have to make friends with this person. As a sign of sincerity, I can personally go over there. That couldn't be better. I've just had a batch of supplies gathered and ready to send over. It'll be much safer with you following. Jamie Cole had just had a headache of who to send over, but he didn't expect Athena to deliver it right to his door. Athena said, Don't be stingy. Send more or I'll be embarrassed. Jane Cole laughed. Okay, then add an extra million people to eat for a year. With that, he dialed his deputy's phone. Chapter 21 Billion Dollar Petition Ambitious Woman Dragon Kingdom The scene of the press conference Big Brother Goo is so fierce, the lord of the Super Striker Alliance to be established, why isn't it him? Right, if I had known it wasn't him, I wouldn't have come. Gone gone gone, I'm leaving too. Our Dragon Kingdom still has to rely on Big Brother Goo in these chaotic times. The reporters and others in the hall, all carrying cameras and looking at the cell phone live broadcasts had left. As they said, if they knew in advance that it wasn't Big Brother Goo, they wouldn't have come over at all. In their hearts, other than Big Brother Goo, there was no one who was qualified to serve as the lord of the Overworlder Alliance. Gu Changqing had shown his strength one after another, and almost all of them, from the super tattooists down to the ordinary people, had become his fans. Right now, they only hoped that Big Brother Goo would take care of them and suppress those bastard ultra tattooists who were oppressing their ordinary people. If Gu Changqing really did this, his prestige would reach unprecedented levels in the country. It all depended on what he thought. In his previous life, he had been like such a commoner who was struggling to survive, so he should be able to work for the commoner's welfare. Although he didn't want to be a savior, he wouldn't let the people who worshipped him down. Inside the conference hall, Huang Zhangguo looked at the live broadcast on the screen and smiled bitterly. Gu Changqing's prestige can't be held back. If he's really willing to suppress the overworlders for the commoners, it will be even more terrifying. The pop-ups in the live broadcast room. Little Tuan Tuan. Can we talk to Big Brother Goo and ask him to suppress the ultra tattooers who are oppressing us? Yes Little Tuan Tuan. We work hard for 10 hours a day and they only give us a can of meat. But if we don't go and do it, we'll starve. Or even starve to death. Please speak to Big Brother Goo. Sister Tuan Tuan. I hope you must convey our words. Looking at these pop-ups, the three top leaders of the Dragon Kingdom showed bitter faces. There were simply too many super strikers who ran meat processing plants. They were able to suppress them, but if they shut down the plants because they held a grudge for it, it would starve even more people. Relying on the overstrippers who worked for the country would not be able to feed that many people. It would take at least a few months to harvest the rice paddies and such that were planted. But even if it was harvested, it didn't necessarily solve the food crisis. Within these few years, one would still have to rely on the meat of the foreign beasts in order to feed the huge population of the Dragon Kingdom. Tai Zs, I will definitely relay your words to my family's boss and I also hope that the boss can make your lives slightly better. Little Tuan Tuan looked at the pop-ups that popped up in the live broadcast room and sympathized with them, assuring them very firmly. Boss, if Big Brother Goo really steps in to fix things, we, inside a certain gang's compound, which was in a pandemonium, a group of mongrel ultrastripes were watching the live broadcast while gulping down alcohol and meat. 
Hundreds of their gang's minions had opened a meat processing plant as well. They were really afraid that Gu Changcheng would stand up for those ordinary people. Being addressed as the boss is an upright lanky man, bare upper body muscles longitudinal, arm carved with a black mamba viper, left and right embraced two wearing exposed voluptuous women. The lanky man's eyes were gloomy, and he said in a deep voice, if he really dares to stand up for those lowly laborers, he is making an enemy of the vast majority of the overstrippers. The tall and thin little brother said, though the words are like that, who can do anything about him? He he he. The stout man smiled grimly and said, do you think there will be fewer vicious and reckless maniacs? If big brother Goose squeezes us too hard, there might be some maniacs who will go to the three kingdoms and steal a few nukes to throw over to him. He might be able to blow up nukes in the sky, but the radiation could do a number on them as well. There are many gangs like them across the country gradually starting to let loose and do whatever they want. Backstage at the press conference, Gu Changqing strong and invincible, looking at Lin Chen gritted his teeth and said, he can't possibly be a human. I nearly died when I awakened two ultra stripes. If he's a human, how could he have awakened so many? And all of them are at the mythic level. It was hard to accept that Gu Changqing was so much stronger than him. Straight away, he looked up to him. That's why I told you, don't compare yourself with him. You can't beat him. Su Yue softly comforted. Why do we always have to compare ourselves to him? It's good that we don't mess with him. Sister Yue. I'm just not convinced. He was indeed unconvinced. If there was no Gu Changqing, the one in the limelight should be him. Then don't mess with him either. Or I'll clear the air with you. Su Yue said seriously. Fewer people understood Gu Changqing's character than she did. Before reaching his goal, he would not compromise. Anyone who messed with him would end up miserable. Dumping their family's money was the next best thing and they were basically framed until they were sent to jail. Fine, I won't mess with him. Seeing Su Yue say this, Lin Chen took a deep breath and nodded heavily. He, very much, liked Su Yue. That's right, you will soon become the lord of the Overworlder Alliance. Apart from Gu Chongqing, you are almost in existence on top of the globe. Aren't you satisfied yet? As I said before, she was a woman who was obsessed with power and wealth to be strong. If she couldn't get back on Gu Chongqing's side, then Lin Chen, a mere potential stock, would definitely have to hold him in the palm of her hand, West Sea, that side of the sea that was dyed red with blood, the smell of blood was very pungent, Gu Changqing had returned to the shore and dispersed his ultra tattoo armor, the black straight suit covered the body, 1 meter 85 body posture slender and magnificent, very way perfect face, show the cold and indifferent attitude, took out a cigarette and lit it for himself, boss, you can really fierce ah, Zhang who came over, his face full of admiration, Gu Changqing lightly inhaled the smoke and said lightly, Go dig out that black Jiao crystal core. It should have fallen to the fifth rank. Good. You few follow me. Zhang who greeted a few of his brethren and went over. Wu Ruei came forward and reported. Boss, the personnel to salvage the crystal core will be here soon. Leave it to you guys. Gu Changqing finished indifferently and headed for the helicopter not far away. The black Jiao had fallen to at least the fifth rank due to the spontaneous combustion of its crystal core. And he couldn't look at it anymore. He had a few of them on him at the sixth rank. It was a pity. At that time, he should have killed it with a direct thunderous strike. Learning from this lesson, he would never procrastinate next time. Seventh order falling to fifth order was too much of a loss. Seeing this, little Tuan greeted the photographer and followed. Chapter 22 One Word. Offending more than 70% of the Dragon Kingdom's super tattooed people. Buzz Flick. Inside the large helicopter that went back, the soundproofing was excellent. Boss. There are so many of your fans in the live broadcast room, wanting you to help them. Little Tuan Tuan was sitting next to Gu Changqing, who today was wearing a pair of black hip-hugging short jeans and a white short-sleeved body shirt that exposed his belly button. The round, snow-white legs, the plump peach buttocks, and the full two peaks in the deep gully, all of them were filled with mouth-watering temptation. The photographer was pointing the camera at them. The live broadcast room is very lively. Tuan Tuan's sister, you're so nice. You've done what you said you would do. I hope Big Brother Gu can help us out with our daily wages. Just give us two more cans of meat. Yes, in this chaotic world, we don't expect to go back to the old days, but we must be able to get a corresponding return for our efforts. So I beg Big Brother Gu to do us a favor. Big Brother Gu, please help us. Big Brother Gu, please help us. The subsequent pop-ups were all, Big Brother Gu, please help us. Gu Changqing took the small group's cell phone and looked at the pop-ups that floated out neatly and consistently. He said, Tell me how much you guys want to get in return. Not too much. I can help you. 12 hours of work. At least 3 meals a day. Plus 3 cans of meat. Before that it was 2 meals and 1 can of meat. Immediately such a pop-up popped up. Followed by all copy and paste. 
None of them were greedy and only took what they deserved. Okay, then three meals a day plus three canned goods. Gu Changqing nodded slightly and said, Today you are off work. If any factory gives you less than three canned goods and less than three meals for your labor, you are welcome to anonymously leave a message on the magic net, and I will make them pay for it. If any factories close on purpose because of this, let me find out. Speaking here, a touch of brutal arc appeared under the corner of his lips as he smiled faintly. I will kill all of you without leaving a single one behind. He had come from a previous life and knew how difficult it was for ordinary people in this chaotic world. Since he had the ability to do so, it was not a bad idea to help. Seeing him promise, the live broadcast instantly boiled over. Thank you big brother Gu, from now on, we'll all listen to you. You're the only one who treats us like human beings. Big brother Gu is mighty. Those ultra stripes who are squeezing us. Did you hear what big brother Gu just said? Big brother Gu, I sincerely wish you the best of luck in your journey as a super tattooist, and that you will always be invincible. At this moment, the close to 400 million viewers in the live broadcast room were undoubtedly excited, thrilled, and even cheering and shouting. Our dragon kingdom, he's basically in charge now, right? The three of them, Huang Mengwa, Long Zhanghua, and Xian Yuan Wang Rui, were both happy for the commoners and uncomfortable with Gu Changqing's high prestige and almost universal worship. Long Zhanghua said, why don't we contact him again and ask, begging him to become the lord of the Super Striker Alliance? Good, try again. Xian Yuan Wang Rui nodded and directly dialed Gu Changqing's phone. Inside the helicopter, Gu Changqing looked at the incoming call on his cell phone, directly hung up, and said, I know you guys are watching the live broadcast, what kind of lord of the League of Ultra Tattooed Ones? I have no interest in it, but I'll help just as much as I should, and those who wreak havoc on the people's damnation, I'll kill just as much, don't care what his status is, overbearing. She, Big Brother Gu is too domineering. I said, why isn't Big Brother Gu the leader of the Super Tattooed Alliance? These words of Big Brother Goo's are really too domineering. It's fortunate that we have a Big Brother Goo in the Dragon Kingdom. Otherwise I really don't know how to live. Ah, I've completely fallen into Big Brother Goo's little fangirl. What should I do? The viewers in the live broadcast room were all deeply impressed by Gu Changqing's domineering words. In such a chaotic world, having an existence like him, all felt it was their good fortune. Pretty country. A certain palace. This Big Brother Goo. He's very charismatic. Athena watched the live broadcast in the small group's live room, looking at Gu Changqing with eyes flashing with a strange color. Jamie Kohler nodded. Indeed. On him, I see an aura that makes people believe in him from the bottom of their hearts, not beyond strength, like a born leader. Athena smiled slightly and said, I'm a little impatient to see her. Fee, it's only good that you don't get so enamored by him that you don't want to come back. Jamie Kohler snickered at her, then said seriously, Satellites have captured a behemoth bubbling up under the Bermuda Triangle. Whatever it is, we need to get on good terms with Big Brother Goo first. That's your mission for this trip. Athena nodded. John told me about this. This mutation came too suddenly. The shock we received was small but we can't let our guard down. I'm going to go back and change into a set of clothes. Then I'll go see when the supplies will be shipped and loaded onto the plane. After saying that, she quickly left. Gu Chang Chung, do you really dare to go against more than 70% of the supers? Dragon Kingdom, Magic Capital, a hundred-story large summer building, inside a luxurious office, in front of the desk, there sat a handsome man in a suit, looking at the live broadcast in front of him, his face was very gloomy, this man's name was Su Gu, one of the three giants in the underground world of the Dragon Kingdom, not only did he carry two powerful ultra tattoos, he had more than 500 ultra tattoo minions under his hands, if one were to say who opened the most processing factories, it would definitely be him, boss, what should we do now? Do we really have to listen to Gu Changqing? His beautiful secretary frowned and said, If we listen, I'll send word down. Mu Gu fell into deep thought, his face uncertain. Gu Changqing's deterrent power was just too big, so big that he didn't dare to make a decision easily. Just then, his cell phone incoming call rang. Eyeing who it was, he answered, Brother Chu, what's the word? The person on the other end of the phone was none other than one of the other two of the three giants of the underground world. I can't decide either, so I specifically called to ask you. The voice of a bitter smile came out from the opposite side. Su Gu mused, why don't we? Let's just listen to him first, and think of a way to finish him off later? The opposite party hesitated. He's a godlike existence. Can we finish him off? Why don't we go to A's country and get some nuclear weapons back and launch a sneak attack at close range? Mu Ji's eyes flickered as he said, surprise him, so that he won't even have time to activate his super stripe. Relying on his physical body he will die for sure. Hmm, that's something we can try. Contact Brother Situ. 
Let's three personally make a trip to Agua. Fine. You contact him. I don't deal with him. No problem. Hang up first. Ending the conversation. Mu Gu sneered. Gu Chang Cheng, you brought this on yourself. Then he said to his secretary. Go on. Order it down according to the condition set by Ker Chang Ching. Okay boss. The secretary answered and left. At the same time, Almost all of the meat processing plants over strippers had grim faces, blocking them from making money and getting rich, itching to flay Gu Changqing alive. Chapter 23, Mysterious Mother and Daughter. Jamie Kohler calls. Long Zhang City, a residential building, inside a room of about 40 square feet. Mom, why are you crying? Is it because you miss little flower? On the sofa, a pink carved and packed, very delicate and cute three-year-old little girl, looking at her mother staring at her cell phone and shedding tears. She understandably and heartbreakingly hugged her mother's arm. Little Flower was the pet cat they used to keep, and after the heaven and earth changed, it also changed, but Little Flower ended up being expropriated by the state. After the expropriation, they were considered to be people who had contributed to the country, so they were given such a small but fully furnished house, and, every week, a batch of supplies would be sent to them. Seeing her mother crying, the little girl subconsciously thought that her mother was missing Little Flower. HM, mommy is thinking about little flower. The woman was long and beautiful. Choo 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 choo. I see pity. Speech and behavior. Does not look like an ordinary person origin. The line of sight left Gu Chang Ching within the live cell phone broadcast, wiped her tears clean, and barely revealed a hint of a smile as she rubbed her daughter's head. The little girl fluttered her big eyes and innocently said, Mom, when will I grow up? She had always remembered her mom saying before that her dad would come back when she grew up. She, who had never seen her dad since she was born, dreamed of her mysterious dad, listening to her daughter's words, the woman's gaze subconsciously looked at the man in the live broadcast, opening her mouth, but not knowing what to say, she could only comfort her in this way, soon, Yen Yen will soon grow up, she smiled brightly and said, then when Yun grows up, will dad really come back, yes, definitely, the woman held her in her arms and looked at the man in the live broadcast, she looked complicated, mom, who is this man? He gives me such a kind feeling. Gu Yin Yan looked at the man in the cell phone, blinking her big bright eyes and asked. The woman bit her jade lips and said, It's a stranger. Mom doesn't recognize it either. Knock knock knock. Just then, there was a knock on the door of the room. Who? The woman put down her daughter and got up to shout. It's me. Outside, a woman's voice came in. Mom, it's Auntie Wang bringing little flower back. Hearing this voice, Gu Yin Yan happily jogged to open the door. Outside the door, there stood a woman dressed in a black leotard. Seeing Gu Yan Yan walk out, she smiled dotingly. Little Yan Yan, did you miss Auntie? Yes, Auntie Wang. Where is Little Flower? Gu Yan Yan politely returned, her little head looking around the building. Little Flower is so big now, waiting for you downstairs. Go, Auntie Wang will take you to see it. Wang Shui Ling said and bent down to pick her up, dotingly rubbing her head. Sister Wang. Lin Yuayao also walked out of the room at this moment and greeted her with a smile. Wang Shui Ling nodded her head and smiled. Sister Yu Yao, how have you been this half month? I just returned from a mission with Little Flower. It's fine. It's so dangerous outside. Are you and Little Flower alright? The two of them chatted as they headed downstairs, just escorting the supplies. In addition to having the Dragon King Group's ultra tattooist guarding the area, what could happen? But Little Flower has made a merit this time, blocking a third ranked ferocious wolf attack for the team or else the caravan we're transporting the supplies in, might have all been, destroyed, Wang Shui Ling said with a palpitating heart, she was an ordinary super striker, and did not have super striker armor, her super striker was a snow lotus, her ability was freezing, and she now also had a peak strength of the second rank, now serving the country, Lin Yuayao frowned, is little flower alright, that was the pet she had raised for 5 years, and she was the one who accompanied her during the most difficult and saddest time, Wang Shui Ling laughed, Sister Yu Yao don't worry, Little Flower is at the peak level of the third order, nothing at all. Between a bout of small talk, the two had already arrived downstairs in front of the main door. Meow, the van size, the flower cat that was waiting here, when it saw Lin Yu Yao and Lil Yin Yin come out, happily let out a petulant meow. Wow, Little Flower how did you become so big? Lil Yin Yin looked at the behemoth in front of her eyes, her small mouth greatly opened, her small hand even rubbed her eyes, thinking that she had misread it. Remembering the last time they were separated, it was only a bit bigger than a tiger. Wang Shui Ling put her down, and the latter bumbled over to Little Flower. Little Flower lowered its head and gently arched over her. Little Flower. Mommy was crying just now because she missed you. Little Yin Yin stroked the soft fur on its head and said very seriously. 
Ha, Sister Yu Yao. Really? Wang Shuiling looked at her in shock. This dead ninny is talking nonsense. How could Lin Yue Yao admit it? It's good that it's not. Wang Shuiling sighed softly and said, Did you watch Big Brother Gu's live stream? I don't know why he doesn't want to be the alliance leader of the overwhelming tattoo alliance. How nice it would be if he did. She was also Gu Changqing's little fangirl. The adoring to the extreme kind. Hmm, just now. I was still looking at it. If he doesn't want to be, he should have his reasons. Lin Yue Yao nodded her head. A flash of complexity flashed across her delicate and bright pretty face. The live broadcast doesn't seem to be turned off yet. I'll look at it again. You go and catch up with Little Flower first. Her IQ isn't what it used to be. Wang Shui Ling took out her cell phone and sat down on the bench next to her to continue watching the live broadcast. Lin Yue Yao did miss Little Flower a little bit. She went up and over to rub its ears and smiled. When you go on a mission in the future, make sure you protect yourself. Okay? Meow. Little Flower nodded heavily. The two of them, mother and daughter, were teasing the cat over there, while Wang Shuiling was looking at the live broadcast with a face full of worship and admiration. Wow, Sister Yu Yao, come look. The president of the pretty country actually called Big Brother Gu. A moment later, Wang Zubel exclaimed out in shock. Worthy of being Big Brother Gu, his reputation has spread overseas. Really? Lin Yue Yao sniffed and quickly walked over to sit beside her to watch. Inside the helicopter, Gu Changqing listened to the caller's introduction of himself and said in a faint voice, Jamie Kohler? I remember the president of the pretty country. It doesn't seem to be you, does it? Ahem. It's me now. The opposite party coughed lightly and said, Big Brother Gu, we know that your dragon country is in dire need of supplies right now. I've ordered people to load up the plane, which can provide 2 million people and eat for a year's worth of supplies to be delivered to you. Gu Changqing said faintly, Without compensation? Jamie Kohler's laughter came out. Yes, gratuitous. I hope Big Brother Gu will accept it. Then I'd be honored. How could one not want something that was given for nothing? That's all for now then. After I'm done with the domestic mess, I'll be sure to fly over and have a few drinks with you. No problem. Bye. The other party said and hung up the call. Listening to their conversation, the live broadcast room exploded. Gu Changqing signaled Little Tuan Tuan that he could turn off the live broadcast. Chapter 24, Stargate, in fan calls, two chapters in one, requesting tickets, Long Jung City, International Airport, 100 large transport planes, neatly landing here, it was the day after Gu Changqing had slaughtered Zhao, and Athena had finally brought over supplies, there were a 100 large transport planes filled with all kinds of supplies, underneath the transportation plane at the head of the ship, Zhang who brought a few of his brethren to personally receive it, just then, the door of the cabin slowly opened. The first thing that came into view was a white woman wearing red and gold armor, with a tall and convex figure, full of blonde hair draped over her shoulders, very noble and beautiful. This was none other than Athena, flying all the way from the beautiful country. She had encountered a lot of ferocious bird attacks on the way. Without her to sit in the center, the fleet would not have been able to fly to the Dragon Kingdom. Welcome. Seeing this, Zhang Hu stepped forward to greet her with a smile and introduced himself. I'm the Demon Alliance's Master Zhang Hu and I've come to greet M.S. Athena by the order of my boss. The western woman in front of him brightened his eyes. Hello, I am Athena. Athena stepped off the plane with two armor-clad ultra-tattooed men and reached out her hand to smile back at Zhang Hu. Zhang Hu reached out, shook his hand and smiled. Thank you for your country's material support. Our boss is waiting for you at the base. Please. Athena nodded her head slightly, dispersing the super-striped armor she wore, and her main body was wearing a tight purple striped black split long dress will be the perfect proportion line of the body, set off the best, snow white long dress skirt under the hem of the hidden, plump buttocks on the thin waist without flab, on which is half hidden, gully deep two peaks, at the same time, Kyoto Hall, yesterday's delayed press conference, today again without incident unfolded, it was broadcast live across the country, announcing the establishment of the Ultra Tattoo Alliance, and its alliance leader, Lin Chen, and the nation's ultra tattooists were widely recruited to rebuild the crumbling nation, Lin Chen's speech at the press conference was impassioned, because Gu Changqing suppressed the ultra-tattooists for the commoners. Those who had a problem with him joined the ultra-tattoo alliance in droves. To become a member of the ultra-grain alliance, that was to act in an official capacity. Within the follow-up processing plant, deducting a laborer's canned meat. What did Gu Changqing he dare to say? In a factory of several hundred people, one deduction was several hundred. Many super-tattooed people had joined with the above mentality. Although after joining the Ultra Tattoo Alliance, they would need to follow the country's call and drive, but the membership of the alliance in exchange was worth it. In less than a day, there were more than a thousand members of the Ultra Tattoo Alliance rank on the Dragon Network. 
Gu Changqing wasn't even interested in paying attention to the Super Tattooist Alliance. His words had already been released, and anyone who dared to treat them as a whisper would be blamed for his cruelty. The western suburb, the base of the Demon Alliance. Unlike before, the base is now bustling with activity, with several factories operating at the same time, and more than eight, zero 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 laborers in the base. As long as they work, it's not a problem to have enough to eat every day, and they can all live in a house with a good environment, so they don't need to worry about any dangers, and how to live tomorrow's life. In the park of the base, there are many children playing. In the fields, there are women working. Every day, the sun rises, the sun sets, and the rest comes and goes in an orderly manner, and everyone's face is filled with smiles. Just then, a fleet of vehicles came from outside the base. All of them were heavy trucks, loaded with the corpses of all kinds of alien beasts. From time to time, there were also, large transportation helicopters landed at the airport, bringing back a large number of sea monster corpses and sending them to the meat processing plant. 158 members of the Demon Alliance, in teams of 10, 5 teams at a time, would take turns to bring a group of ordinary overstrippers out to hunt the foreign beasts. Those who hadn't been rotated yet were allowed to cultivate in the base. Ordinary ultra tattooists were not members of the Demon Alliance. There were about 300 ordinary overworlders in the base, and when they went out to hunt foreign beasts, most of them cleaned up the battlefield and transported supplies. Not everyone had the qualifications to join the Demon Alliance. Captain, this mission was completed perfectly. Can I go out for a trip? The convoy traveling in from outside. After stopping at the open square, a woman who was sitting in the same car as Wang Rong and was wearing the Luan bird armor, asked Wang Rong for instructions. Wang Rong was the captain of this team, and whatever you needed to go out and do, you had to report to her, even if you were going out to play. This woman, named Zhao Yufei, had impeccable looks and figure, and appeared to be 24 or 25 years old. It was a member of the Demon Alliance. Go do what? Wang Rong ordered someone to drive the car to the meat processing plant before asking her. On her body, she was wearing the Angel Queen armor, a red and gold dual-colored armor that covered her bumpy and plump body, making her look exceptionally noble and not to be desecrated. Zhao Yufei said in a low voice, Captain, I want to go see my best friend. She's alone and has a child with her. I want to take some food to her. Go, after seeing and catching up for a few moments, come back to cultivate as soon as possible. You should know how strict young master is. Wang Rong patted her shoulder, then turned to leave. Gu Changqing was very strict with all the members of the Demon Alliance. Outside of mission time, other than eating, drinking, and pulling oneself up, one must cultivate. As for ordinary overworlders, there weren't that many rules and regulations, whether they loved to cultivate or not. They were all just little people who cleaned up the battlefield and were responsible for transportation. Gu Changqing knew that there would soon be a vicious battle. Thank you, Captain. I'll definitely come back as soon as possible. Zhao Yufei shouted her thanks towards Wang Rong's back, then quickly walked back to her residence to wash and change. The central luxury villa, inside the gorgeous hall, Gu Chang Cheng, dressed in black pajamas, was sitting and leaning on the sofa, looking at the huge black shadow that slowly emerged from the depths of the Bermuda Triangle projected by the pretty country satellite. Big brother Gu, that's the guy, can you tell what it is? Janie Kohler, within the video, said with some gravity, Boss, why do I look at it, like the outline of a portal? Little Tuan Duan, with her legs crossed, sat on the sofa by Gu Changqing's side, wearing a relatively fresh nightgown, with most of her white and tender skin exposed. She stared at the image in the projection, and said with some hesitation, Well, it does look like it. Gu Changqing frowned slightly, three years in his previous life, he remembered this Bermuda Triangle, and there wasn't any strange movement. So what did it mean now? Could it be that many developments had changed because of him? Or did it mean that this behemoth under the Bermuda Triangle hadn't been able to come out during those three years? At this time, Wang Rong came back and saw that Gu Changqing was talking to someone. She didn't disturb and went upstairs to her room to wash up. I look like it too. Yesterday I drove a nuclear submarine down tomorrow to take a closer look, but just three to four hundred meters deep. I was destroyed by a mysterious magnetic field. Destroyed by a mysterious magnetic field, Janie Kohler said with a heavy face. This area of the sea is missing a sea beast. This giant thing is afraid to have a big head. When I have time, I'll personally go over and take a look. Gu Changqing became extremely interested in this, and decided to cultivate all of his ultra tattoos to the sixth rank, and personally go over to see what that thing was. He didn't feel much like a stargate, but rather like a portal from hell. Soon, he would confirm his suspicions. It shouldn't be able to come out in the short term, just in case something unexpected happens. Mr. Gu, You'd better raise your own strength a bit more first, Jamie Kohler whispered, 
If this is really a portal, I highly doubt it's a stargate. A stargate for an alien civilization that wants to enter Earth. But that's just my guess. Gu Changqing said lightly, Don't panic. We have at least three years. When God comes to kill God, I hope it will be that long worldly. I still have some things to take care of. Athena should be arriving soon. That's all for now. Gu Changqing nodded and hung up the video call. Boss, is there really an alien civilization? Little Tuan Tuan's small hands gently squeezed Gu Changqing's shoulders. Curious. Gu Changqing lit a cigarette for himself and said faintly, Don't rule out this possibility. You look at the devil's net more often. See if there are any anonymous messages. If there really are, have Zhao Feng bring someone over to make an example of me? And after I see Athena, I'll be in seclusion for four months. In his previous life, four months after the heaven and earth changed, an ancient relic was asked over in the golden triangle. Being an ordinary person in his previous life, he didn't know what was inside. It was only known that this relic had caused many deaths and injuries to the overworlders of all countries. It also obtained many weapons and other various devices that were years ahead of this planet, etc. In the end, what kind of a relic it was, Gu Chang Cheng, who was an ordinary person in his previous life, did not know. Three months later, there would be an extraterrestrial meteorite that would fall into the Pacific Ocean. Then, the sea beasts of the ocean, once again ushered in a rapid metamorphosis. There were many sea beasts of only six or seven stages that could transform into half-human, half-beasts and walk onto the land. Boss, right at this moment, outside the villa's main door, before Zhao Hu's people could be seen, his mellow voice was heard coming in. Afterward, he was seen bringing in a sexy and enchanting stunningly beautiful white woman. Hello, Mr. Gu. When Athena saw Gu Changqing, she revealed a bright and touching smile and quickly stepped forward to greet him with a smile. Boss, you guys chat. I'll go see how to place those supplies. After Zhang who brought Athena, he left in a hurry. Ding bell. Gu Changqing was about to respond to the latter when his cell phone's incoming spiritual sound suddenly rang, displaying a satellite phone, gesturing Athena to sit first. He then answered. Who? A satellite phone call. It couldn't be an ordinary person calling. Is it Mr. Gu? I'm President In Fan. Today there are three powerful overstrippers from your Dragon Kingdom who want to buy three nuclear bombs from us with a large amount of supplies. I have a feeling it's to deal with you. He had also watched that live broadcast yesterday, and knew that Gu Changqing had offended most of the supers in the Dragon Kingdom, and to come to them the next day wanting to purchase nuclear bombs, any fool would know who they were being used against. The reason why President In Fan called to inform him is entirely due to his invincible strength. If he can take this opportunity to make good friends with him, he can also beg him for help when he encounters any difficulties in the future. If we can make good friends with him, we will be able to ask for his help when we encounter any difficulties in the future. The current situation of their Indian fan country, more miserable than the dragon country, more than one billion people, only three or four hundred million left. Gu Changqing heard, eyes flashed a touch of tyrannical color, said, no surprise, must be used to deal with me. What is the name of those three people? President In Fan said, Mu Gu, Chu Lin, and Situ Hao, are the three giants of your dragon kingdom underground? Gu Changqing said, sell them the nukes. Good, then I'm going to talk to them now. President In Fan didn't ask why. Go ahead, I'll return this favor to you in the aftermath. All right, thank you big brother Gu. Hearing this, President In Fan smiled and hung up the call. It was these words that were wanted. Boss, why did you still let President In Fan sell them the nukes? Little Tuan Tuan said in disbelief. In my opinion, Mr. Gu is trying to use this to collect the industries of those three men. Athena opened her mouth with a smile, speaking a very standard Chinese. Gu Changqing sniffed and gave her an appreciative glance, saying lightly, not bad, if you take the initiative to send them to the door, how can you not collect them? He had long had plans to open several large-scale meat processing plants in various cities in the country, but to implement it, it would take some time. However, it was good now that the ready-made ones were delivered to his door. After that, Gu Changqing dialed Wu Rui's number and asked him to come over. In less than 10 minutes, Wu Rui breezed in and said, Boss, what are the instructions? Gu Changqing inquired, Are Tao Tai and Vermilion Bird at the base? These two were fierce men, a Tao Tai super strike and a Vermilion Bird super strike, and in their previous lives, they were among the group of people at the peak of this planet. However, both had come to defect to him now. Wu Rui nodded, Yes, boss, Gu Changqing said lightly, you should know something about the three underground giants of the Dragon Kingdom, right? I know. They almost always have several large meat processing plants in various cities. And the number of ultra tattooists is so high that it's no less than 500. Gu Changqing said in a dignified voice, It's good to know. You, Tao Tai, and Vermilion Bird, 
each take ten members of the Demon Alliance, and personally go to the headquarters of the three giants. I'm going to make them into our industry. Got it? He he he. Understand. I can understand too much. Hearing his boss's words, Wu Rui laughed in a heated voice. Go on. Okay, boss. You just sit back and wait for the good news. Wu Rui left with his fists pumping. It's time for lunch, MS. Athena, let's chat while we eat. Gu Changqing got up and headed for the dining room. Okay. Athena smiled faintly. Two chapters in one. 4,000 word chapter. Requesting for tickets. Thanks to Late Dust Maple for the 300 book coins reward. Chapter 25, Tao Dai, Vermilion Bird, Devil Alliance Base, a single villa, the third floor of the retreat room, quiet space, scattered with empty sacks, the corner also placed many sacks filled with crystal cores, on the futon on the ground, sitting cross-legged was a man with an upright posture, wearing pajamas, with a handsome and cold appearance, seemingly 25 or 26 years old, on the back of his right hand, there was a Tao Tai battle halberd engraved. Wisps of milky white gas were pulled out from within the crystal core in the sack into his body by him using his spiritual power. Ding bell. At this time, the incoming ringtone of the cell phone he placed next to him rang. At the sound, Tautai slowly opened a pair of dark and deep eyes, dropping his eyes to look at his cell phone, when he saw that it was Wu Rue calling, he picked it up and answered, saying, Brother Wu, what's the matter? There's a big mission. Come to the conference building quickly. Hold on. I'll be right there. Tautai sniffed and hung up with a reply. He then got up and left the retreat room. After returning to his room and putting on a handsome black suit, he headed to the conference building at the first opportunity. The fact that he could be deployed meant that this mission was not simple. There was no need to ask much at all. Looking around the base room, Zhang who was slightly weaker than him, and other than Gu Changcheng, he was the number one expert here. Council building, top floor conference hall, Wu Rui was already here. In addition, there was also a 16 or 17 year old girl with short hair wearing a ghost face mask. She was dressed in a crimson tight fitting power suit, with long slender legs, firm jade buttocks, a flat belly, and full peaks, all highlighting her perfect figure. This person, is precisely Vermilion Bird. She was aloof, and other than Gu Changcheng, no one had ever seen her under her mask. Crossing her legs and playing with a crimson feather, she sat quietly in a chair next to the conference table. Not long after, Tao Tai arrived. HM, Vermilion Bird is also here? What kind of mission is it that could send out Vermilion Bird and I? When he saw Vermilion Bird's figure, he was somewhat surprised as he went over to sit down. The two of them, could both be at the peak of the fifth rank, and they were so strong that they had killed a peak sixth order foreign beast when they were in the middle of the fifth order. Here we go. This is a task that the boss personally ordered and named you two to personally go over. As Wu Rue spoke, he called up the projection light screen. On it was the information of, Strong Dragon Group. Dongsheng Group, and Huang Yu Group respectively. The information was very detailed. How many ultra tattooists there were. How many processing plants there were. Who the strongest ultra tattooists of the three groups were. And where their headquarters were, were all detailed as well. The boss told us to bring people over separately to take control of these three groups. And we can kill those who meet those who don't obey. Wu Rue said. You guys choose first. Tao Tai Scan and said. Since the boss ordered it, this strong dragon group will be given to me. This was the group under Su Gu, and there were three of the strongest super strikers, who were at the middle, late, and peak of the fifth rank. The mainstay of the group had 30, all around the fourth rank. The overall strength was not to be underestimated. I'm going to the Imperial U group. Vermilion Bird's voice was a little hoarse. I don't know if it was done on purpose or if it was innate. This Wang Yu group, was a group under Sito Hao's command. There were two of the strongest ultra tattooists, late fifth stage and peak fifth stage. The mainstay of the group was 26. Fourth rank. Wu Rue nodded. Good. Then the Dongxing group will be handed over to me. Now you can go gather your squad. Hmm. Tao Tai nodded, took out his cell phone, and directly opened the group voice. Soon, the 10 team members under his command entered the voice group chat. Mission. Gather at the airport. Tao Tai finished speaking and ended the group voice call. He then got up and left. His 10 team members, all of whom were elites among elites, were located at the peak of the fourth rank and consisted of six demon ultramarines, two berserk lion ultramarines, and two storm scarlet ultramarines. After Vermilion Bird informed him, he also got up and followed him out. Yu Xia, you come over here and accompany me on a mission. After they left, Wu Rue contacted his wife to come over. Airport. Dozens of large helicopters were parked. By the time Tao Tai and Vermilion Bird arrived here, all of their teams were already possessed by their super striped armor and were waiting under their exclusive helicopters. On each of the helicopters, 
the logo label of the Demon Alliance was affixed. Vermilion Bird Girl, don't be too careless. Before going over, Tao Tai admonished her. The reason for this advice was because the last time she went to hunt two sixth rank alien beasts with her, she was so careless that she almost lost her life. And if it wasn't for Tao Tai freeing up his hands to help her, the consequences would have been very serious. Understood. Vermilion Bird nodded in response and headed towards the helicopter where her squad was. At the same time, the Vermilion Bird armor with crimson flames flowing through it attached itself. Buzz. The Tao Tai also armor possessed. A ferocious Tao Tai armor that was permeated with a tyrannical breath. The two brought their team members and boarded the helicopter separately. Seeing this, the pilot activated the helicopter and flew across the sky, towards the huge exit in the sky, which the Ultra Grid had specially set aside for the craft. Jubilee's helicopter followed close behind, coming out and going their separate ways, each going their own way. Captain, what kind of mission are we going on? Taotia's helicopter asked Tang Miao, the berserk lion over striker. Tao Tai dispersed his helmet, lit himself a cigarette, and said, Kyoto, Strong Dragon Group Headquarters, the boss told us to go over there and take down the Strong Dragon Group by force, there's going to be a vicious battle to follow, that's Kyoto, if we use force over there, will the Dragon King Group's Ultra Tattooers turn a blind eye? Also a Berserk Lion Ultra Tattooist, Tang Niao's younger brother, Tang Yen, said with some concern, Demon Ultra Tattooist Wu Dahai nodded his head, yes, there's also the recently formed Ultra Tattoo Alliance. That Lin Shin is something. He can kill a late stage 6 at the mid stage of the 5th rank. If he stops it with the Ultra Tattooists of the Ultra Tattoo Alliance, plus the Dragon King group, I'm afraid that it'll be tricky. Hoomph. They dare? Tyrannical Scarlet Ultra Tattooist Li Libo sneered. If the Ultra Tattoo Alliance and the Dragon King group dared to deal with us, do you believe that the boss would directly kill them and flatten them? They wouldn't dare even if they were given a hundred guts. Taudai took a deep drag on his cigarette and said with contempt, that's a good point, even if you give them a few guts, they wouldn't dare to intervene in this matter, that kid Lin Shen can indeed, but even if he dares to make a move, I don't see how I can lose him, he really had no fear of Lin Shen, when it came to life and death combat, it really wasn't certain who would live and who would die, that's true, other than the boss, who can defeat the captain, Li Lacoon, the younger brother of Storm Scarlet Super Striker Li Libo, smiled and said in compliment, for the boss, I, Tao Tai, am convinced from the bottom of my heart, a true man of God, mentioning the boss, Tao Tai was filled with adoration, it was Gu Changqing's downright little fan, to be able to awaken so many invincible tattoos without dying, in his mind the boss was a god, speaking of which, at that time, he was still the first ultra tattooist to come to his side, the second being Vermilion Bird, Vermilion Bird was a man of few words in front of others, with a look of rejection, only in front of the boss would she display the character she should have at the age of 16 or 17. Chapter 26 Lin Yuayao's Identity Gu Yin Yan's Identity You can skip this chapter if you don't like it, when you read the follow-up, then come back and read it. It'll be awesome, I'm not lying to you guys, there's no emotional drama in the follow-up. Long Zheng City, Second Class Residential Area Zhao Yufei drove here wearing a casual dress, carrying two large bags of things in her hands. Her figure quickly disappeared inside the third building. Outside the door of room 402, she gently knocked on the door and said, Little Yen Yen, Godmother brought you delicious food, open the door quickly. A moment after the words fell, the door of the room slowly opened a crack, and a cute little head poked out from inside, Godmother, it's really you ah, Little Yen Yen misses you oh. Seeing who was coming, Gu Yen Yen pushed the door open at once, and her small body was pouncing on Zhao Yufei, is it, Godmother also misses my Little Yen Yen. Zhao Yufei revealed a doting smile, carrying the bag with one hand and picking her up with one hand to enter the door. In the kitchen, Lin Yuayao was cooking lunch. Yufei, you came at a really good time. Lin Yuayao's laughing and cursing voice came out. Zhao Yufei laughed, as the saying goes, it's better to come early than coincidentally. Hurry up and take Yen Yen to wash her hands and get ready to eat. Okay, okay, little Yen Yen let's wash our hands. Zhao Yufei put down the bag and hugged Gu Yen Yen to wash her hands. Lin Yuayao at this time comes out with two dishes and one soup. The table is set up. Takes off her apron and hangs it back in the kitchen and serves the meal out. Sister Yao, have you been doing well for a while? Why don't you go over to the Demon Alliance base with me? Zhao Yufei hugged Gu Yen Yen and sat down. Looking at Lin Yuayao who was walking with the rice and said this, with my identity, I can still let you guys in. It's better to forget about it. There are weekly subsidies from the state here. It's not that difficult to get by. And it's hard to see little flower when you're over there. Lin Yuayao sat down and served them food, shaking her head slightly. Alright, if you can't get by, 
you must tell me, but don't force yourself to suffer little Yen Yen. Zhao Yufei respected her decision. In addition, her feelings with Little Flower were also very deep. It was really hard to see Little Flower again if she went over. Got it. Let's eat. Lin Yuayao gave her a blank stare and pushed the bowl over. On the Lin family's side, you, and that negative man, who exactly is it that could make you keep a secret for him for so many years? Zhao Yufei clamped vegetables and ate a mouthful of rice. This whispered, your hallowed Lin family's eldest miss, for her to suffer for so many years. And him? Where is he? I'm afraid that he has long forgotten about you and is with another woman. Zhao Yufei really felt unworthy for her persistence. Not bad. Lin Yuayao was none other than the Lin family's eldest miss. It was Lin Shuayao and Lin Chan's own sister. Back then, she, who was married by her family, ran away from home for more than a year because she couldn't accept it, and went back with a child in her arms, thinking that this would make the family terminate her marriage. Unexpectedly, the Lin family still had no intention of terminating it, and insisted on trying to find out from her, who the child's father was, and then directly silence her. Because Lin Yuayao kept her mouth shut, the Lin family had no choice but to directly expel her from the family and freeze all the funds on her card. Lin Yuayao lowered her head and said, Yu Fei, don't say anything, I only have one side of the story with him, it's normal for him to forget about me. It was indeed as she said. At that time, she was so angry that she ran away from home and got drunk in a high-end bar, and in her slightly drunken state, she saw a man who was very attractive to her, and she was the one who took the initiative to go over and strike up a conversation. When she woke up the next day, she tiptoed away without waking up the other person, only knowing that his last name was Gu, and she didn't even know what his first name was. It wasn't until that live broadcast yesterday that she realized what his name was. Not long after leaving, she found out. She was pregnant. At that time, she wanted to abort it, but she still couldn't bear it. During this time, she wanted to go over to him so that little Yin Yen could have a complete home. But, would he really remember himself? Does she have that much of a place in his heart? Thinking of these, she didn't have the courage to go to him. Sister Yao Yao, you are really pissing me off. Little Yin Yan's surname is Gu. How nice it would be if it was our bosses. Zhao Yufei, who knew what kind of character Lin Yuayao had, was helplessly furious. No. Suddenly, Zhao Yufei frowned, put down her chopsticks very suddenly and cupped Little Yin Yan's face beside her, carefully and seriously scrutinizing it. Godmother, what's wrong with you? Gu Yin Yan was full of doubts, blinking her big eyes at her. Nothing, keep eating. Zhao Yufei looked at it seriously before smiling and wiping off the rice grains around her mouth. Oh, Gu Yan Yan didn't think that much and continued to eliminate the rice in the bowl with her spoon. She couldn't understand any of the conversation between the two moms. Zhao Yufei stared at Lin Yuayao with a burning gaze and whispered, Sister Yao, is it our bosses? Lin Yuayao laughed. Do you think it's possible? Don't you pretend. Little Yin Yan's nose, eyes, chin, and he is really carved out in the same way. You dare to say it's not? Zhao Yufei stared at her dead on. Zhao Yufei laughed. Not, good, when I go back, I'll personally ask our boss. Hearing this, Lin Yuayao panicked and subconsciously said, Don't, is it really our boss? Zhao Yufei, who had not dared to be sure just now. At this moment, when she heard Lin Yuayao subconsciously say this word don't, she stared wide-eyed, her face full of incredulity. It was really just a suspicion, not daring to be sure at all. When she went back and asked her boss, it was also something she said on purpose. I didn't expect her to be exposed in a direct panic. Zhao Yufei's current mood was undoubtedly flipping. You converse me? At this time, Lin Yuayao realized that she had fallen for a big trick. Zhao Yufei lightly exhaled and said, I really didn't expect it. Why don't you go find him? Lin Yuayao smiled bitterly. I'll tell you, I've only had one night with him. Apart from knowing his surname Gu, I don't even know what his name is. Do you believe me? Zhao Yufei was surprised. No way? Lin Yuayao drank a mouthful of soup and said indifferently, that's the truth. Just as you said earlier, he probably doesn't even remember that there's someone like me, and has had other women for a long time. This, Zhao Yufei opened her mouth and said, then we have to try, right? Maybe he's always remembered you? It's just that he doesn't know what your name is either, and there's no way to start looking for it? Forget it, Lin Yuayao said seriously, don't go talking nonsense, wait until I figure it out. Alas, Zhao Yufei sighed lightly and said, all right, it's rather bitter for Yan Yan. Godmother, I'm not bitter. Hearing her mention herself, Gu Yan Yan innocently said, Yes, my little Yan Yan is not bitter. Zhao Yufei dotingly rubbed her head, then looked at Lin Yuayao and said, Hurry up and figure it out. Yan Yan needs a father's love. Lin Yuayao nodded. Aha, I will. After they finished lunch, they went out for a stroll. 
It was only in the evening that Zhao Yufei went back. On the way back, she was torn as to whether or not to listen to her good girlfriend and not tell her boss for now. After thinking about it for a while, she decided to let Ling Yuayao figure it out on her own. Chapter 27 Demons, Dirty Hookups, Please Subscribe, Monthly Tickets. In the evening, the twilight sky, dead silent. Sunlight was hard to see in this era. The Demon Alliance base room, inside the central villa. Gu Changqing had just finished chatting with Athena about cooperation. Ding bell. Right at this moment, a call came in from the Sinorian shaman of the indomitable. Big brother Gu, they've returned with the nukes. May I ask if there are any more instructions? The phone was connected, and the other party's slightly ingratiating voice came out. Don't think that how could a president of this hall stoop so low? If you were the strongest person in this world, whoever met you would have to be polite and grovel to please. Gu Changqing said lightly, I want to know where their planes landed. Shaman Zino said as he did, they are very bold. Through satellite capture, the plane's route is exactly Longjiang City International Airport. It seems that they are preparing to bombard at close range, so that you don't even have time to react. Gu Changqing asked, about when can we land? Zino Shaman returned, around three hours, that's a private airplane. Good, does President Shaman have anything else? Not at the moment, but if I encounter something I can't solve in the future, I hope Mr. Gu will help. No problem. Then I'll hang up. Gu Changqing finished and ended the call. Seeing this, Athena volunteered. Mr. Gu, why don't I help you go to the airport to suppress them? Gu Changqing smiled faintly and said, I'm not yet at the point where I have no one available to let my guests step in. Athena busily said, No, I don't mean that. I just want the world to know how good our country's relationship with Mr. Gu is. I understand, but I can't trouble you to make a move. Gu Changqing nodded slightly, then softly shouted, Spirits and demons, buzz. As his voice fell, outside the half-covered villa gate, an airy black gas was suddenly rolled in, and then not far in front of Gu Changqing, it transformed into a man with a black robe covering his body, a cloak, a hideous mask on his face, and a morose aura all around him, just like an evil spirit from hell. Boss, the visitor greeted respectfully, his voice was both sharp and hoarse, unable to hear if it was a man or a woman, very hard to hear. This is, Athena looked at the mysterious man in front of her, her beautiful eyes narrowed slightly, sensing an incomparable threat from him. You personally go to the international airport of Longjiang City, if there is a private plane landing, wait for others to come out, all suppressed and brought back, I want to live lynch them. Toward the end, Gu Changqing's voice was extremely cold. Good. The black-robed man said, buzzing as he turned into black gas and left. Phew, under Mr. Gu's hand, there are truly crouching tigers and hidden dragons. I admire that. After he left, Athena lightly exhaled, looking at Gu Changqing with a look of admiration and worship. That's something I love to hear. Gu Changqing smiled faintly, taking out a cigarette and putting it to his lips, and little Tuan Duan saw this and lit it for him. The demon just now, who had demons carved into his body and managed to survive the awakening was a downright fierce person, she had also come to join on her own accord, but on the condition that Gu Changqing could defeat her, at that time, he fought with her and beat her to a pulp before she was willing to be driven by him, Athena pursed her lips and said, few people love to, to hear the truth, I would like to stay for a few days, I don't know if Mr. Gu will take me in, how long you stay is up to you, but I'm going to be in seclusion for a while starting tonight, so I'm sorry I can't accompany you, Gu Changqing could see that this woman was interested in herself, the way she looked at herself was too naked. Was this the boldness of a western woman? In Kyoto, a reddish-colored supernet shrouded the city. At this moment, the helicopter that Tao Tai and the others were traveling in was rapidly flying in from the distance, but it was blocked out by the supernet. This is a helicopter from the Demon Alliance. Quickly release it. Seeing this, the person in charge of monitoring the high altitude of the ultranet immediately ordered the release. As he ordered, a huge net opening opened. The helicopter pilot saw this and pulled in. It entered Kyoto's airspace and headed straight for strong dragon group Stasha. Not long after, a hundred-story grand summer appeared in view. The helicopter circled around, meeting the gazes of many passers-by, and stopped at the open area outside the strong dragon grand summer. After stabilizing, the hatch slowly opened. Tautai walked out of the helicopter in his thick, domineering and hideous Tautai armor, leading ten squad members. This is, the overstriker from the Demon Alliance? Strange, how did they come here, still fully armed? Even the ultra tattoo armor is on. Could it be that the strong dragon group has offended big brother Gu? The crowd of onlookers, looking at the demon alliance's group of ultra tattooers coming in force, were whispering in whispers. The strong dragon group, hey, will soon be renamed. The berserk lion ultra tattooist, Tang Miao, 
looked at the magnificent grand summer in front of him, and his teasing laughter came out from under his helmet. Be serious, don't be gullible, Tao Tai said in a deep voice, leading them straight inside the grand summer. He was a very cautious person, and knew the principle that a tiger fighting a rabbit also uses its full strength. Yes, the crowd solemnly replied back, Gentlemen, may I ask what's the matter? The waiter in the first floor hall, seeing such a group of terrifying overstrippers come in, stiffly stepped forward and asked, Tao Tai droned, the demon alliance is on business, idle people quickly retreat, move, the super tattooists and ordinary people present who did not belong to the strong dragon group left as fast as they could, seeing that all the idlers had left, Tao Tai's intimidating eyes stared at the several attendants and said in a cold voice, call out to the person in charge of your strong dragon group to come down, and if you don't see anyone coming within 5 minutes, don't blame us for killing us up one layer at a time, yes, 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 I'll call now, the counter lady with a slightly higher rank, busily nodded her head, and picked up the phone with trembling hands to dial, this group of existences in front of them, each with their terrifying super tattooed armor covering their bodies, gave ordinary people like them too much pressure, just that aura alone pressured them to breathe hard, on the 99th floor, inside a luxurious office, alliance leader Lin, it's only your first day in office, why did you come to my place, in front of the desk, the only one from the strong dragon group, that peak fifth order ultra tattooist Subadian looked at the opposite side of the room, at Lin Chen, who had just taken up his position today, in a very puzzled manner, Lin Chen smiled faintly, of course it's a good thing, the United Nations, at noon today, has reached an agreement to issue a unified trading currency in a week's time, and the previous generation's trading currency, which can be exchanged at a ratio of 10 for 1, although all the banks, have been paralyzed, but by simply entering one's ID number and swiping one's face to log in on Dragonnet, one's personal assets will be displayed. Dragnet is now able to log into personal accounts, but it requires the privilege I gave. See the business opportunity? After Su Badi and heard Lin Chen's words, a brilliant aura appeared within his eyes. What Alliance Master Lin means is to let those ordinary people with tens of billions of dollars in their pockets buy our food at sky-high prices. Lin Chen smiled evilly. Not bad. Right now they don't know that old money can still be exchanged for new money after the unification of currency issuance. In order to have enough to eat, do you think they'll exchange it? Subadian clapped his hands and laughed. Change, how could they not change? They will also be grateful to us. Alliance Master Lin, the login privileges are all in your hands now. Say your conditions, Lin Shen said in a low voice. I want 20% of your group's shares. It's not too much, right? Subadian frowned. 20, would that be too much? How much? With me covering you, wait to get rich. Lin Chen got up. If you can't accept it, farewell. Don't go. It's a deal. Very good. Lin Chen smiled with satisfaction, then took out a laptop from his bag and said, With it, you can log into everyone's personal accounts, and you can also transfer all of their money to our account. See? These so-called big shots don't give a damn about ordinary people. Gu Changqing's assets in her previous life were swindled away by them in this way. Otherwise, how could it be possible to live so miserably? Ring ring ring. At this time, the phone in front of Su Boshan's desk rang. He answered it and said, What is it, chief? Someone from the Demon Alliance is here, asking you to come down to see him within five minutes, or else you will kill up from the first floor. On the phone, a trembling, trembling voice came out. Chapter 28 Swords are drawn. Chaotic battle is imminent. Strong Dragon Grand Xia. Inside the 99th floor office. Subadian covered down the phone and looked at Lin Chen, who was seated across from him, and said, Did you hear that? Why did the Demon Alliance come looking? I didn't violate Gu Changqing's words. Lin Chen frowned slightly and said, Could it be something else? Or is it that, secretly, you guys have done something to offend them? He firmly believed that as long as they didn't provoke Gu Changqing, people would definitely be too lazy to care about them. Now that they were coming to the door in a rage, saying that they didn't have some problems, Lin Chen didn't even believe it. I'll go down and take a look. Do you want to join me? Su Badian wanted to pull on Lin Chen and inquired in this manner. This is your business. I don't want to get involved. Lin Chen didn't take his bait and said indifferently. You go and settle it yourself. Seeing him say this, Su Badian cursed. But on the surface, he said. All right. Saying that, he got up and left the office, taking the elevator down. On the way to the elevator, he gave his phone brother Su Yen and asked him to bring someone down. With the other party coming to the door so forcefully, the only thing Su Badian could think of was that his big brother might have exposed the matter of buying nukes to bomb the Demon Alliance's base. Other than that, he couldn't think of anything else. If the other party really came here because of this, then there was bound to be a bloody battle later on. First Floor Hall. 
Taodai glanced at the time and saw that five minutes were approaching, but no one had come down yet. Outside his helmet, his eyes were like black holes, with a tyrannical light flashing. He was ready to take action and kill them layer by layer. In this cowering in the corner of the service lady, are shivering hiding in the corner. However, at this moment, the elevator door slowly opened. A line of more than ten people came out from inside. The leader was Su Badian and Su Yen. Behind them, there were thirteen peak fourth order overworlders. Su Badian and the others who walked out from the elevator looked at the Demon Alliance's group of people who were merged in the super stripe armor, and their eyes all narrowed slightly. Su Badian stepped forward and said, May I ask why all of you are here? My strong dragon group, it seems that I have not offended your Demon Alliance, right? Whether I have offended or not I don't know. I only know that the boss has sent us here to give you two paths to choose from, one to die, one to obey, and from now on, the strong dragon group will be owned by my demon alliance. Tautai quietly looked at the opposite group of people, palm black light surging between, heavy and domineering Tautai halberd emerged in the palm of the heart, up to two meters long, body surface Tautai runes flow, filled with tyrannical breath. Hearing this, Su Boshan's face was gloomy, and he said in a loud voice, this move of yours is too overbearing. Do you really think that I, the strong dragon group, am easy to bully? After saying that, the black hydra armor was added to his body, with nine hideous black pythons on his back, his gaze was fierce and gloomy, and one of them, between the surges of dark light, was transformed into a serpentine spear that was gripped by him in his palm. Make us submit, then it depends on how many kilograms you have. Su Bo Tian's younger brother, Su Yen, snorted coldly, the fifth stage late stage overgrowth the fire lin armor attached to his body, and the art of divine ability, the fire lin spear, appeared in his palm. Buzz, buzz, buzz. At the same time, the thirteen minions behind the two of them also had their ultra tattoo armor attachment, in various colors. When the attendants present saw this, they all ran outside with trembling bodies. Oh, you guys mean to make enemies of my demon alliance? Looking at them all, armored up, the sound of Tao Tai brutality came out from under their helmets. Su Badian said in a deep voice, we have no intention to be enemies with the demon alliance, but you guys are bullying us too much, so what if we break the net with fish death? Fish death? With you guys? Boom! Tao Tai said disdainfully, suddenly rose up, surrounded by terrifying Tao Tai power stirring, killing across the sky, breaking through five times the speed of sound, the halberd in his hand, seemingly a Tao Tai shadow roaring, locking Su Badian and Su Yen bombarded to kill, five times the speed of sound, how fast, in the eyes of ordinary people is almost instant. But in the eyes of Su Badian and Su Yen, who are also fifth ranked, they can still react, and their faces change slightly when they can't dodge, and they can only push their strength to resist with the weapons in their hands. A roar, Tao Tai hegemony is unrivaled. Su Badian two brothers, under the impact of this force, the whole person flying horizontally and crashed through one wall after another, until it crashed through the building before stabilizing their position. Kill, Tao Tai bellowed, charging through the walls that the two brothers had crashed through. Brothers. It's on. Demon warrior Li Da Hai shouted fiercely, manifesting a demon battle blade in his hand and locking onto an opposing green turtle armored ultra striker to kill. Rumble. The chaotic battle between the ultra tattooists started immediately, and all of them broke through the speed of sound to kill out of this dasha. In the distance, the two brothers of the Su clan, who had just stabilized themselves, looked at the Tao Tai that burst through the air to kill. Incomparably grave. Su Badian said in a deep voice, this person is not simple. I'll be the main attacker in you, brother, will be the side attacker, without any reservation, we must solve him as fast as possible, boom, as he spoke, he directly turned on the other divine ability of his own ultra tattoo armor, black python hegemony body, and carried his snake spear to meet Tao Tai, both of them were at unrivaled speeds and met together in less than the blink of an eye, clang, clang, heavy halberds and spears intertwined, berserk power erupted, the ground exploded from the impact, and rubble flew about, Within a short second, they exchanged dozens of moves, hitting the ground and collapsing it, spreading over miles of land. The crowds nearby were fleeing in fear. Bang! Just as Su Yen found the right moment to carry the Fire Lin gun and perform the divine ability Fire Lin Chaotic Sky to charge over, his brother could no longer withstand the Taoya's wide open, heavy as a mountain pressurized attack, and was tragically swept backwards by the Taoya's 10,000 pound halberd. Boom! At the same time, Su Yen killed with his divine ability Fire Lin Chaotic Sky. The horrifying flames transformed into three fire unicorns, roaring with divine might as they pounced over. Tao Tai step. Tao Tai looked sideways, and while shouting furiously, he fiercely stepped forward. Boom! A loud bang shook the ground for miles. V-A-O-O. Immediately saw a hideous and unparalleled, 
Berserk and incomparable Taudai silhouette emerged to meet the three-headed fire Chilin that pounced. The first time I saw it, I saw the Taudia's silhouette emerge to meet the three fire Chilin. The Taudai collided with the fire Chilin. The former was incomparably ferocious, lifting his foot to trample two heads, opening his mouth to bite one head, and then pouncing straight at Su Yen. There was no stronger Chilin than the five elements Chilin. Gu Changqing's carving was the five elements Chilin. The fire Chilin, which was still a small level weaker than the Taotai, was naturally destroyed. Give me a break. Su Yan's eyes bloomed with fire. His body was covered in flames, and the infinite light of the fire Lin spear in his hand bloomed, heading straight for the Taotai's shadow that came to kill him. Rumble. A deafening roar rose. The Taotai's shadow exploded, and Su Yan's entire body was also knocked back a few steps by the former's overbearing force. Die for me. However, at the next moment, Taotai himself killed. The dark light raged, and the hideous sound of the halberd weighing thousands of pounds roared. With a bang, it ruthlessly impacted on top of Su Yan's front chest armor, accompanied by a click. Su Yan whole person like a cannonball flying backwards, body armor disintegration, rumbling between the crash through an unknown number of buildings, landed after the shock out of a deep pit, completely lifeless. Chapter 29, Strong and Unsolvable, Killing to Silence, The Hall of the Military Ministry, Long Zhangwa's Office, Minister Long, it's not good. The Demon Alliance and the Strong Dragon Group's Ultra Tattooed, fought in Kyoto, and many of the buildings and constructions in the neighborhood, were destroyed by them. At this moment, a female deaconess hurriedly came in from outside the door. Her voice came before she arrived. Long Zhangwa who was reviewing all kinds of information and documents heard the words, raised his eyes to look, frowned and asked, why did the fight start? Can there be injuries to innocent people? The female deaconess shook her head and said, the reason is not clear for now. If this continues, more than 10 miles in a radius may be destroyed by them. The places that can provide the people with a place to live are already less now. Long Zhangwa listened to a burst of headache and got up to head towards the highest meeting hall with quick steps. When he came here, he only saw that Xian Yuan Wang Rui and Huang Mengwa were all here. And looking at the satellite projection, playing the picture of the very same furious killing over there. What the hell is going on? It's really making people's heads spin. Long Zhangwa didn't even close his eyes for a day and a night. Too many things to deal with at this stage. Sat down and shook his head and said. Xian Yuan Wang Rui said helplessly. Ghost knows this strong group. How to offend the devil alliance. Just as he finished speaking. The phone on the table rang. Answering it. He said. What is it again? It's not good minister Xian Yuan. Members of the devil alliance. In the devil's capital and the royal Yu group. Also in Jiang Du and the Dongsheng group group fought. The ripple effect is very large. What? Listening to the report on the phone. The three present felt a headache. Huang Mengwa said in a deep voice. What is the demon alliance trying to do here? Xian Yuan Wang Rui said. On the Kyoto side, we can get Lin Chen to step in and stop it. But the devil's capital and Zhang Du are no good. Long Zhangwa, however, shook his head and said. It can't be stopped. Once Lin Chen steps in, do you believe that Gu Changqing will come over right away and kill all of the Ultra Tattoo Alliance? Then let them do whatever they want? Other than that, what better solution do you have? Alas, this mutation has made us too passive. We really can't stop it. We can't afford to stop it. Huang Mengwa sighed heavily, looking at the chaotic battle in the projection with great concern. Boom! The chaotic battle outside the strong dragon group was raging, and the sounds of ordinary people screaming were everywhere. Whoosh! The ultra tattooed of the dragon king group rushed to the scene at this moment, saving those ordinary people who couldn't escape in time. Little trash! How dare you go against our demon alliance? Berserk Lion Ultra Tattooist Tang Miao. He held the Lion Tattoo Berserk Blade. Opening and closing between swinging dozens of meters of the blade suddenly flashed. Really like a kingly lion. Chopping the two Ultra Tattooists of the Strong Shang group couldn't hold back. And was repeatedly hit by the awe-inspiring blade flying. Cracks on the armor. And it looked as if it was about to be unable to block. Some of the indiscriminately sweeping blade awnings rippled into the nearby buildings. Blasting out big holes one after another. Hundred foot demon blade. Die for me. A demonic warrior, catalyzed the super stripe aptitude. All of a sudden, the demonic battle knife in his hand turned into a hundred feet huge, with a loud bang, destroying and decapitating the strong dragon group super striper that was fighting with him. The horrifying blade aura, cutting a four-story building in two in front of him. The battle was fierce, but it was only a one-sided slaughter. Rumble. On the other side, Su Yen was tragically sent flying by Taotia's halberd, crashing through several buildings before coming to a stop flying out at least several hundred meters. And, a deep pit was shaken out when he landed, and he lay motionless inside. Falling, bastard, I'll fight you, ultra tattoo burning. At this time, 
Su body and fell ruins exploded. Armor body surface outside the black inflammation raging. Backborn of the eight black python hissed and whistled. The breath continues to climb. You don't have a chance. Tao Tai raised his eyes to look. Raised his hand Halberd. Boomed violently to overdrive it. Boom. Halberd stormed the air. Tao Tai hegemony suddenly flash. Hideous roar resounded. Fast as lightning. Bang. Before Su Boshan's ultra tattoo even had time to burn. The unrivaled war Halberd fiercely blasted onto his chest. Accompanied by the sound of banging. His armor was covered by that horrible force shattered. The whole person flew backward out several hundred meters. Ruthlessly crashed into the once thick wall dying. This is what happens when you refuse to drink wine and eat punishment wine. The boss told you to obey honestly. You have nothing to do but to die. Only to obey. Tao Tai snorted coldly. Beckoning the air at intervals to retrieve his war halberd. His Tao Tai armor. Belonging to the weight shaped armor. Was a terrifying mess of defense and power. Giving a very sufficient sense of oppression. A peak 6th ranked foreign beast wouldn't be able to carry a blow from him at full strength. Against these two little Kalamis. Half of Tao Ye's power had yet to be utilized. Cough cough cough. Su Badian still had a breath left in him. Coughing up blood in large gulps as he said loudly. Alliance Master Lin. If you don't step in to help. I won't be blamed for talking too much. He felt that he was still saved and could only threaten Lin Chen in order to survive. Whom? Lin Chen. Who was overlooking the entire scene on the strong dragon grand summer stage. Heard his threatening words like this. And a flash of coldness flashed within his eyes. With a whoosh. He flew and landed not far from Tao Tai. And smiled. This brother. Let's forgive others where we can. Sell me a face. You guys take away the strong dragon group. How about letting it go like this? You're teaching my demon alliance to do things. Are you worthy? Taudia's black hole like intimidating eyes stared at Lin Chen with great contempt. And said in a cold voice. I advise you not to mind your own business. Or else you'll suffer the consequences. Hearing such arrogant words from the other party. Lin Chen's face sunk slightly. Swoosh. Suddenly. He raised his hand and shot an energy beam towards Su Badian who was embedded in the wall, and with a poof, he penetrated his chest, you, Su Boshin's eyes widened as he spat out blood in a large mouth, spitting out the word you and completely losing his breath, seeing this scene, Tao Tai laughed coldly, killing to silence, it seems that between you guys, there are some unseen dirty deeds, this is the so-called alliance leader of the overwhelming tattoo alliance, laughable to the extreme, you're overthinking it, the bones in his entire body, his five organs and six bowels have long been crushed by you, I'm just helping him out. Lin Chen said indifferently. I won't bother you with your business. Farewell. After saying that, he flashed away. Just now, he was really afraid that Tao Tai would stand in front of Su Badian and leave him alive. In that case, he would lose his reputation. In his heart, he secretly pinched a sweat. Captain, it's all settled. It's all crushing. There's no point. It's better to kill foreign beasts. Indeed. I didn't even take out most of my strength. They can't. At this time, Li Dahai and the other ten people. Flashed over. All bummed out. Go. Tao Dai led them and re-entered the strong dragon group building. Under Gu Changqing's command. Just how many powerful ultra tattooists that resemble that powerful one are there? Inside the supreme conference hall. Xian Yuan Wang Rue and the others faces were somber. Then they looked through the satellite and watched the battle over in magic capital. Their faces became even more ugly. That woman in the vermilion bird armor was as strong as it was outrageous. And by herself. She had beaten those two fifth-ranked ultra-tattooists of the Huangyu group without any resistance. Five chapters delivered. Don't any of the Tai Zs give any votes? Chapter 30 Combatant Kingdom 6 Stripes Adder. Wants to pit Gu Chongcheng? The Devil's Capital. Outside the Imperial Yudashia. Was filled with devastation. With buildings collapsing within miles of land. Inside a deep pit. The vermilion bird armor covered his body. The blazing vermilion bird fire flowing on his body surface and trampling underneath his feet was a man covered in scorched black. The armor worn on his body had all been forcefully smashed by the vermilion bird. Next to it, there was a pile of ashes, left by another fifth order super striker. On the pit, vermilion bird's ten team members, who had also resolved the other ultra tattooists of the Huangyu group, watched quietly. Cough cough cough. Spare my life. I'm willing to submit to the demon alliance from now on. Please leave me alive. The man who was tragically stepped on by the vermilion bird, who thought he was still saved, coughed up blood while weakly begging for mercy. Hearing his words, the vermilion bird indifferently let go of his foot and then dropped a few third order crystal cores in front of him. Seeing this, the man gratefully said, Thank you, big brother. In the future, I, Situ Xian, would do anything for Boss Gu? Saying that, he urged his spiritual power to absorb the four third order crystal cores near the ground. These foreign beast crystal cores could not only be used for cultivation, 
but could also absorb their energy to heal injuries. Who knows what's going on here? How did the Demon Alliance make a move against the Huangyu group? Could it be that it's violating the rules set by Big Brother Gu? I haven't heard that the factories of the Huangyu group have deducted the pay of their workers. Then what's going on here? The Demon Alliance is using force to take over Huangyu group's rhythm. You have a point, but it must also be that they offended Big Brother Gu first. People in the distance saw the battle end. Quite a number of super tattooed people approached and took out their cell phones to take videos, preparing to upload them to Dragon Net. Around 10 minutes or so, Situ Xian recovered most of his injuries, his clothes were burned off, and he hurriedly urged his ultra tattoo armor to attach itself. What is your name? Situ Xian armor attachment got up and inquired to Vermilion Bird in a very reverent manner. Her voice was hoarse as she said faintly, Demon Alliance, Vermilion Bird, thank you Lord Vermilion Bird for sparing my life. This matter of Sita how going to the Indovan country to purchase nuclear bombs in preparation for bombing the Devil Alliance. I definitely wasn't involved in it. And I implore Lord Vermilion Bird to put in a good word for me in front of Bosku. Situ Xian knew in his heart why they were killing. It must be that the matter had been exposed. Otherwise it would be impossible to kill them over in such an aggressive manner. Vermilion Bird said coldly. Look at your attitude. Good. Lord Vermilion Bird. Please talk in detail inside the office. Situ Xian groveled full of respect, and invited. Vermilion Bird was indifferent and left with his team members with him. Magic City, Strong Dragon Group, on the 99th floor, inside Su Boshan's office, Tao Tai was sitting in front of his desk, opposite to the fourth helmsman of Strong Dragon Group, Su Ming, who stood trembling and said respectfully, Lord Tao Tai, Su Badian and Su Yan are dead, and if Su Gu can't come back as well, then the Strong Dragon Group will be my say. I am willing to look up to Boss Gu and the strong dragon group will be the assets of the devil alliance from now on, so I hope that lord Tao Tai is lenient and leaves us with our I hope mister, Tao Tai will be lenient and spare our lives, Su Gu, he is dead, I came here on the orders of the boss, not to slaughter you all, if you are willing to sincerely serve the boss, this strong dragon group will be under your management, and you will be the general manager here, Tao Tai deep eyes, flashed a touch of danger, light, smiled, are you sincere, Su Ming hurriedly stated, saying, sincerely, absolutely sincerely, I was also a fan of Boss Gu, and now that I can work for him, I am happy from the bottom of my heart. This was his big truth. Not only was Gu Changqing's strength strong and insurmountable, his charisma was also so high. What male wouldn't worship and what female wouldn't like it? So very good. Seeing that he didn't look like he was lying, Tao Tai said, the boss wants to know how much assets your group had before the heaven and earth alteration in your name? Is it possible to find out? On his way here, he received a call from Gu Changqing. He was told to ask about the assets under their group's name after taking down the strong dragon group. Hence this question. This. What's the use of pre-mutiny assets when the bank collapsed? Su Ming, who was not aware of this, was puzzled. Tao Tai said. The global unified currency will be issued soon. And the old currency can be exchanged 10 for 1 for the new currency. So that's how it is. But now that the banks have all collapsed, we can't find out. Su Ming frowned. Knock knock. Right at this moment. Tang Niao knocked on the door and came in, holding a notebook in his hand. He had just returned from the Kyoto Hall. Captain, the notebook is back. Tang Niao quickly came in and placed the notebook on the desk. Tao Tai operated the laptop with one hand, opened the website on it, and typed in Strong Dragon Group. This was a group website, not a personal account website, so it could be queried by simply typing in the name of the group. The words were turned around and displayed within the screen. Strong Dragon Group. Registrant, Su Gu. Available assets outside of shares, 189 billion, convertible, 18, 9 billion united coins. This was not counting the shares. If they were counted, it would have to be more than 5 or 600 billion. Below that, there are two login boxes. It required the registrant's identity number, as well as a face swipe. In order to log in and exchange, Tao Tai glanced at it, then covered the laptop, lifted it up, and said to Su Ming, the strong dragon group will be handed over to you to manage. No one from my demon alliance will be stationed in it. Don't make any small moves in the dark, or else you will be responsible for the consequences. In the face of absolute force, any small action could bring them to their doom. Thus, there was no need to keep anyone down. Please rest assured. Lord Tao Tai, I will definitely report the situation to my boss on time. Su Ming patted his chest in assurance and sent them downstairs until he watched the helicopter disappear in front of his eyes. Then he breathed a huge sigh of relief. General Manager, in the future, we belong to the Demon Alliance, right? Behind Su Ming, his beautiful secretary, said with a smile. She was also Gu Changqing's little fangirl, and being able to do things for the man she worshipped and admired. 
Her mood was much happier. Su Ming also laughed. Right. Notify down. Tonight at 10 o'clock sharp. All the top management must be there. Get some more people to decorate the dilapidated hall. Okay, general manager. The secretary answered and went back. Kyoto Hall. Meeting room. Three of you. How's the consideration going? Taking him out is the best option. Just a moment ago, the speaker of country E contacted over. He threatened that their country, E, had produced a terrifying existence with six lines of awakening. This existence was none other than his younger brother. Chapter 31, Can you afford to treat me to mushrooms? Seeing that they were still hesitating, Puggy ripped them off and assured them, Can you guys really let him just get away with it? Our relationship is so friendly. I just want to solve a scourge for you guys. Whether you want to solve him or not, it's up to you guys anyway. After a moment of silence, Xian Yuan Wang Rui said, Brother Pu, we need to think about it for a while. No problem at all. Contact me when you figured it out and we'll set up a trap to kill him. Pu Guri said in a deep voice, such an uncertainty, keeping it might cause your dragon kingdom to split up, part of it listening to your officialdom, and part of it listening to the demon alliance's Gu Changqing, I'm sure you wouldn't want to see such a situation, right? Huang Mengwa returned, say it again, furthermore, are you really sure that your brother can beat Gu Changqing? Upon hearing this, Pugs Ri Ri laughed, my brother has seen the video of Gu Changqing's battle with that 7th ranked Black Jiao many times, and he's 60% sure that he can take him down. If we combine with some more high-ranked overworlders, he'll die for sure. So it depends on your attitudes. You guys think about it for a few days. My younger brother, the day before yesterday, also strongly killed a 7th-ranked foreign beast. Huang Mengwei nodded. All right then for now. Ending the video call, Xian Yuan Wang Rui said in a deep voice, Can we trust him? You really want to kill Gu Chongqing? Speaking with him just now about considering it was just being polite. Long Zhang was said in a deep voice. If Gu Changqing wants the supreme control of the Dragon Kingdom, I'm willing to give up my position. To kill something like him, you guys still really want to do it? He had never had an opinion or animosity towards Gu Changqing. Not to mention, the other Gu Changqing had no interest in meddling in official matters. Well, that's what I think too. The intent of Pugri's move is obvious. It's to weaken our Dragon Kingdom's strength. And as long as they kill Gu Changqing, who is the biggest threat, they'll become the hegemon of this world. Xian Yuan Wang Rui was ashamed. It's me who is narrow-minded. As long as the people can live in peace and happiness, it's fine for us to step down. Huang Mengwo whispered. Contact Gu Changcheng. Pugs ripped him off for the sake of world supremacy, and it might not be in his favor. Good. I'll contact him now. Wang Rui nodded and dialed the satellite phone over. It was now around 7 o'clock in the evening. The night was deep and dark. Within the dilapidated city, the furious roars of the foreign beasts were unceasing. The sky-high ancient trees were shaded and the vine manes were entwined, spitting out the essence of the blood moon. Don't look at the calm inside the city. The city outside the super net coverage was full of eyes emitting a fierce light in the night. Between the beasts, they were also killing and devouring each other to evolve. Aang, on the Kunlun mountain, the roaring sound of a half-dragon's roar resounded at this time. That golden thread snake should, at this moment, have successfully evolved into a half-dragon state. The reason why Gu Changqing hadn't rushed to hunt it was because he wanted to wait for it to evolve into a dragon and capture it as a mount. Otherwise, it would have gone to finish it off long ago. Roar! Inside a dilapidated city, two 600-meter giant pandas were ferociously and incomparably hunting foreign beasts, devouring the crystal cores inside them to evolve. They used to be national treasures, but now they were the town beasts of the Dragon Kingdom. Long Zhang City, the international airport, was brightly lit. Zhang who had hired many ordinary people to move the supplies, and they hadn't even finished moving them by now. Above the tower of the airport, there stood a shadow that blended in with the darkness of the night. Zhang who couldn't even detect it. Just then, a large private airplane, guided by the tower, slowly landed at the airport. The black shadow on the tower saw this, and its morose black aura surged slightly. When that airplane landed and stabilized, the door of the cabin slowly opened, and a line of people walked down from it. The three men at the head of the group were well suited and appeared to be around 30 years old, with an extraordinary demeanor, leading several people. They walked out of the airplane. Why are there so many large transportation planes? Sugu looked at the hot airport, his brows tightened together. They were still thinking of secretly transporting the nukes out in the dead of night. It doesn't matter. No one knows anyway. We have three large nuclear bombs on our planes. Just wait for these planes to leave. Sitohao laughed coldly. Soon we will be able to enjoy a grand fireworks ceremony. There is no rush for this moment. Chu Yuan nodded and smiled. Let's go have a meal first. There's no rush. Not realizing that their own group had already changed ownership, 
They left two people to guard this place and wanted to leave to have a meal first. Buzz. However, just as they took a few steps out, an eerie black mist suddenly enveloped them, blocking them not far in front of them, and transforming into a person wearing a black robe, a cloak, and a mask. Aha! Uh -huh. Su Ji's crowd, looking at the figure in front of them with a shocking sense of oppression, as if he was from the abyssal hell, his complexion changed slightly and inquired, May I ask who you are? Why are you blocking us? Buzz. Spirits and demons did not speak, wearing black robes bulging, buzzing swept out several channels of black mist, like a giant mouth of the abyss, in the blink of an eye enveloped in this everyone, including the two who stayed behind to guard, strong as the peak of the fifth order Sugu, Chu Yuan, said to how could not react in time, they were swallowed by the black mist, they were detained, and the demons and ghosts turned into black mist and disappeared into the night in a flash, the people moving supplies at the next airport didn't even notice this side, it's really silent, coming and going quickly, in the western suburb, the demon alliance base, the lights were bright, the workers within the various factories were getting off work at exactly this point or so, 8 in the morning and 8 in the evening, after eating, they would all meet in the park to chat and play with their cell phones, in this era, this kind of day could be said to be very cozy for them, at this point in time, there were all still convoys or coming back from outside, or traveling missions, buzz, during this time, a black mist swept in from outside the net entrance, within a few breaths, it entered the central villa, Gu Changqing was chatting with Athena about the world's pattern and who would become the world's hegemon in the future. The demons and monsters returned, and behind them, eight clusters of black mist surged, and it was Su Gu and the other eight people. Throwing these people on the ground with a bang, she left without saying a word. Ah, stop sucking me. Their faces were yellow and withered, and most of their lives had been sucked away by the demons. Trying to get up, they couldn't even stand. Looking up and scanning around, when they saw the man sitting on the sofa, Staring at them playfully, Su Gu, Chu Yuan, and Situ Hao died. Gu, Gu, Boss Gu, what are you? Why are you arresting us? Su Gu braced his body and asked in a feigned puzzlement, Why have you been arrested here? Isn't it clear in your hearts? Gu Changqing said with a wry smile, You want to treat me to mushrooms, can you afford it? Hearing these words, they were like falling into an ice cave, only feeling cold all over. Chu Yuan tried his best to explain, Boss Gu. How could we dare to treat you to mushrooms? The nukes that we purchased back from Indo-Philippines were all prepared to deal with the alien beasts, and we definitely didn't think of dealing with you. Sito Hao and Su Gu hurriedly agreed, saying, Right, right, right. Even if we were given a hundred guts, we wouldn't dare to go against you. Chapter 32 If you dare to mess with it, the territory of the Dragon Kingdom will double. Pray for votes. Please, subscribe to this book in its entirety. The Devil Alliance Base Inside the Central Villa Su Gu, Chu Yuan, Si Tu Hao, and a few of their men were trembling very badly. All of them knew that things had been exposed and that Bastardine Fan had betrayed them. In order to survive, the lowly couldn't stop begging for mercy and explaining. Gu Changqing listened to their terrified explanations, picked up the teacup on the coffee table and put it to his lips to take a sip, smiling lightly, whether or not you want to treat me to those three mushrooms, you guys know better than anyone else. Speaking here, he revealed a dangerous smile. Know what tactics I usually use when dealing with my enemies? Boss Gu, we really aren't out to deal with you. Please make sure you believe us. It must be that bastard stirring up trouble and wanting to use it to weaken us. Sugu was still explaining and backbiting the Xeno Shaman. Ding bell. Just then, the incoming call from Gu Changqing's cell phone placed on the table rang. Looking at it as a satellite phone, he put it on speakerphone and answered. Who is it? What is it? Big brother Gu. This is Regulus Wang Rue. So it's Minister Xian Yuan. You're here to raise the offense? Calling him at this time, Gu Changqing couldn't think of anything other than what was going on over at Tao Tai and the others. Boss Gu is overthinking it. There's a very important thing to tell you. Xian Yuan Wang Rue opened the door. Just a moment ago, the people of E contacted us, saying that their country had a six stripe added ultra striker, and asked if we wanted their help in taking you down. Hearing this, Gu Changqing was dumbfounded. Would it be too underestimating of me to want to take me out with six stripes? What do you guys mean by that? Xian Yuan Wang Rue laughed bitterly. Doesn't giving you this phone call show what we mean? Pug's ambition to become the world's hegemon is obvious, and the only thing that can stop them is you. Subsequently, they will definitely try to kill you off. You have to be careful. Our dragon kingdom cannot afford to lose you. With these words, he spoke sincerely. Gu Changqing said with satisfaction. Your attitudes didn't let me down. As long as I'm here in the dragon kingdom, anyone who comes has to be honest. That's true. You're the linchpin of our dragon kingdom. Xian Yuan Wang Rui gave a compliment from the bottom of his heart. 
I won't meddle in your official affairs. If there are matters that can't be resolved, feel free to call. If I'm in seclusion, I can contact Wu Rue. Gu Changqing said blandly, As for E country, I haven't put them in my eyes yet. If they dare to mess with me, the dragon country's territory will double. He wasn't joking at all with this sentence. If he really dared to assassinate him secretly, the dragon kingdom's territory would be doubled. Ahem, it's good to have this sentence from you. I won't bother you if there's nothing else. As Xian Yuan Wang Rui and the others listened to Gu Changqing's words, the slight preconceived notions about him in their hearts were gone. Gu Changqing reminded, This son Lin Chen is not a good person. Keep an eye on him more. If he dares to touch my bottom line, I will personally go over and finish him off. Good, we'll keep an eye on him. That's all for now then. We have a meeting. Gu Changqing hung up the communication with a soft m. Boss Gu, is there really a six strike plus super striker in country E? Seeing them end the call, Athena said with some gravity, should be true. Scared? Gu Changqing smiled faintly. The relationship between them, looking at this planet, who could not know? It's a lie to say I'm not afraid. But thankfully, our enemies are all him. Athena's gruff color stretched, revealing a touching smile. Gu Changqing was silent, and his sight turned to Su Gu and the others. Boss Gu, we know we're wrong. Please give us a chance. From now on, we're willing to look up to you, and we're willing to offer the entire group. Sitohao didn't want to be sophomoric anymore prancing down on his knees to admit his mistake, his trembling body begging for forgiveness. Us too, please give us a chance. Su Gu and Xu Yuan followed suit and knelt down, knowing that there was no point in weaseling anymore. Perhaps admitting their mistake and begging for forgiveness would keep them alive. Boss, not waiting for Gu Changqing to pronounce their death sentence. At this moment, the three of them, Tao Tai, Xu Bird, and Wu Rue, came in from the door with quick steps. In Tao Ye's hands, he carried a notebook. He glanced at the kneeling group, placed the notebook on the table near Gu Changqing, and said, The strong dragon group has been taken down by me, and the current administrator is Su Ming. Boss, Huang Yu group has also been taken down by me. The administrator is called Situ Xian. Zhu Yao's voice was no longer hoarse and unpleasant. It was a very nice lowly voice. Wu Rui also said, Dongsheng group is also in our possession. The administrator's name is Chu Lord. What? Hearing this, Su Gu, Chu Yuan and Sitohao's body stumbled and their asses went limp. Gu Changqing laughed with satisfaction. Very well, Wu Rue, call out for people to drag these people out. Make a video, crack all the bones in their bodies, then chop off their heads and post the video on the magic net. He wanted the world to see what would happen if they were his enemy. Okay, Wu Rue nodded and dialed a phone number. Ha ha ha, you can't live with yourself. They stopped begging for mercy, knowing it was useless, and laughed sadly. Tao Tai reminded. Wait, you need to sweep their faces to log into their group's account. Wu Rui laughed, Tao Tai old brother. For this kind of thing, wouldn't a direct call to Kyoto be the perfect solution? It's me who's too pedantic. With the boss's identity, it's really only a phone call away. Tao Tai coughed lightly in embarrassment. As his words fell, a few ordinary ultra tattooists who were already guarding a short distance outside the villa came in, and after calling out respectfully to Gu Changqing as boss, they dragged the person on the ground out one after another. Wu Rue also followed and left to shoot the video. Tao Tai suddenly thought of something and said, By the way boss, I passed through the Kunlun Mountains on my way back, and I happened to hear a dragon's roar at that time. There must be a dragon on the mountain. Should I go and slaughter it? Gu Changqing lit a cigarette for himself and said, I know, no need to slaughter it. After a while, I'm going to catch it as a mount. Hearing this, Tao Tai froze slightly, then gave a thumbs up and said, Worthy of being the boss, domineering, with an empty stomach. I'll go eat first. Gu Changqing nodded, go. Tao Tai answered and left quickly. Athena's heart was unsettled. The feeling that Tao Tai had just given her could be on par with her. Truly curious about how many fierce people were under Gu Changqing's command. She got up and said, Boss Gu, I'm going to go back to my room to bathe first, and I'll go back in the morning. Saying that, he headed upstairs. Only Gu Changqing and Vermilion Bird were left here, and little Tuan Duan went to bathe. Gu Changqing looked at her and smiled. There's a meal left for you in the dining room. Go eat. Good. Vermilion Bird waited for these words, and with a petulant like promise, she headed for the dining room. Gu Changqing was also preparing to close down. There was a great battle waiting for him in four months. Chapter 33 An alliance to kill Gu was reached. Who will be the winner? It is yet to be known. The night was deep, and from time to time, there were huge ferocious birds that flew over Kyoto. Inside Lin Chen's office on the top floor of the 30 story Super Tattoo Alliance Dasha, Lin Chen had finished dealing with the matters of the alliance and was about to go back. Lin Chen had finished dealing with the matters of the alliance. 
and was about to go back to his training when he, suddenly, the phone showed a satellite call. Lin Chen was puzzled. Which country with a satellite was calling? Answering it, he asked, who? Hello Lin Chen, this is E Country Pugri. On the phone, a middle-aged man's voice came out, speaking standard Mandarin, very dignified. Pog Ri Ri? Lin Chen heard the voice and said in surprise, what can I do for you? He was puzzled as to why the other party would call him. If he was seeking cooperation, shouldn't he be looking for the strongest person in the Dragon Kingdom, Gu Chang Cheng? How did the call come to him? The voice on the phone smiled. Gu Chang Cheng, do you want to kill? What do you mean? Lin Chen was slightly wary. He was afraid that this was a plot by Gu Chang Cheng to test himself with E Country. Puggy seemed to have heard the vigilance in Lin Chen's words and said this, Don't worry, I'm not in league with Gu Chang Cheng, and I have someone on my side who can kill him. So if you can help out as well, then you'll have a better grasp of what's going on. The reason why he contacted Lin Chen was because he didn't believe that Long Zhanghua and the others would cooperate with them to kill Gu Chang Cheng. Thus, it was only possible to come to Lin Chen, the Lord of the Dragon Kingdom's Ultra Tattoo Alliance. Lin Chen snorted. Any of you can kill him? What a joke. Do you know anything about his strength? Carrying 11 of my Dragon Kingdom's mythical and legendary Ultra Tattoos, what are you guys going to kill him with? Frankly speaking, Having seen Gu Changqing's strength, he didn't have the guts to go against him even if he wanted to, Pug Ri Ri said in a deep voice, so what if there are eleven of them, I also have one on my side, awakened, the sun god, the thunder god, the three-headed divine eagle, the undead Kozish, the nine-headed gargoyle, and the black god ultra tattoo, also our country's mythic tattoos, so how is it that we can't fight against Gu Changqing, after hearing this, Lin Chen's heart moved slightly and confirmed, you didn't frame me? What's the point of framing you? I've read your information. Bearing the Emperor Armor Super Tattoo, your potential is not to be underestimated. But it's a pity that you're only in the late fifth stage. Are you not very slow in your cultivation? Indeed a bit slack. I'm going to be in seclusion in the near future. Lin Shen also admitted that he had indeed deserted his cultivation during this period of time. How about raising your super stripe level first, and then joining forces to pit and kill Gu Changqing? Pugs riveted and seduced. As long as you finish off Gu Changqing, you, who are carrying the emperor's armor, will be able to inherit his prestige. Listening to the other party's words, Lin Chen was indeed tempted. After pondering for half a second, he said, whether or not to cooperate, I'll give you a call within an hour. That's all for now. After saying that, he hung up the phone, then went back, planning to ask Su Yue and see what she said. Lin Chen was already somewhat dependent on her. It felt like if the other party hadn't lied to him, when he cultivated to the sixth rank and awakened the semi-ultimate state of the emperor's armor, it would still be very simple to kill Gu Changqing. Country E, capital city, the ultra net was shrouded, and it was around two in the morning here. The Yanari Palace, the office. Brother, do you think that kid Lin Chen, will he agree? On top of the soft and luxurious sofa sat a man who was two meters tall, with muscles, developed, giving people an unparalleled sense of oppression just from his appearance. He took a puff of his cigar and said to the middle-aged man in front of the office, who had a tough and dignified face, sipping his tea, Puggy smiled and said, as long as he has ambition, he can't refuse, just wait for the news, regardless of whether he agrees or not, Gu Changqing must die, and starting tomorrow I'm also going to go into seclusion to break through the seventh rank, Pogdian's voice was low, saying, pretty country and Gu Changqing have a great relationship, sending him a large amount of substances for free, with such a relationship, we can't make a move against pretty country without doing away with Gu Changqing. Pug Ri Ri nodded. Killing him is inevitable. Even if Lin Chen doesn't agree. There's still the one from the Sakura country. You guys should be under no pressure if you join forces. Cherry Blossom country had also produced a remarkable character named Demon Snowheim, who had awakened three tattoos, respectively, eight. But the stronger is also just her one. The overall strength is weak to the extreme. The population is still left less than 30%. After being abandoned by the pretty country, they approached the E country, Dragon Country, Kyoto, a certain villa area, inside a luxurious villa. Brother, you're back. There's a meal left for you in the dining room. Go eat it yourself. Lin Shueya was sitting on the sofa watching the news. When she saw Lin Chen coming back, she said in a low voice, I'll talk to Sister Yue about something first. Lin Chen hurriedly went upstairs and entered Su Yue's room. She had just come out of the shower, dressed in a refreshing nightgown, and was blow drying her hair. Sister Yue, without waiting for her to speak, Lin Chen took the lead in telling what Puggins had just approached him about, succinctly, saying, what do you say, should we agree to him, this is a good opportunity to get rid of Gu Changqing, after listening to Lin Chen's words, 
Su Yue put down the hairdryer, her pretty eyes flickering as she slightly wrinkled, saying, if it's true, it's a good opportunity. Lin Chen, however, said, well, aren't you worried that it's a plot by Gu Changcheng to find a suitable reason to kill me? Su Yue shook her head and laughed, I know him too well, that's an extremely conceited man, if he wanted to kill you he would have come straight over, there's no way he'd make any plots to kill you. Having followed Gu Changcheng for more than six years, she really knew him too well. Lin Chen whispered, you mean, promise him? Su Yue pondered for a moment, her beautiful eyes flashing, saying, promise, this is your only chance. Knowing that she would not be able to return to Gu Changcheng's side, she had long since bred a strong evil thought towards him. Previously, she had been advising Lin Chen not to mess with him because she couldn't see any hope of being able to kill him. Now that there was such a chance, how could she let it go? As long as he was killed, Lin Chen would then become the strongest super striker in the Dragon Kingdom. And as the woman behind Lin Chen, the days of growing up fantasizing would be upon them. All right, I'll give the phone call to the other side. Lin Chen was practically obedient to Su Yahweh's words. At 20 years old, he was still too young. Hey, Alliance Master Lin, how's the consideration going? The phone was connected, and Pugri Ri's friendly voice came out. Lin Chen took a light breath and said, If you really have a super tattooed person who can counter Gu Changqing, I promise you that we'll set up a pattern together to kill him. Pugri laughed and said, Good, besides you, there's another strong super striker joining us, so if the three of you join forces, it's hard for Gu Changqing to escape death even if he has a lot of energy. Who's the other one? Lin Chen inquired. From the Cherry Blossom Kingdom, with three super tattoos and all of them are extraordinary. There's no such thing as an accident. So you can rest assured. Pug Ri Ri said. During this period of time, you should first focus on your cultivation. And when the time comes, don't drag your feet. Don't worry. Speaker Pugs Ri Ri, when I reach the sixth level, I will undergo a transformation. Good. Then happy cooperation. Happy cooperation. The Zhanggu Alliance was concluded. However, it was yet to be seen who was going to die. Chapter 34, Pretty Country in Distress. Peak 7th Order Seed Beast Attacks. In Kyoto, inside the lobby of the villa where Lin Shuaya was, Lin Shuaya was sitting on the sofa with her cell phone in her hand, typing rapidly. It displayed, Dragon its social friend, sister. After typing the line, she sent it out. Content, sis. This world is so chaotic right now. My brother is amazing and the family is all under my brother's control. You really should come back. No one dares to restrain you anymore. For many years, they had been in contact, and Lin Shuiyao had always helped her sister. Ding dong. Half a minute later, a message came from the opposite side. It's been six years. Does brother still remember me? Lin Shuiyao returned. Back then you favored him so much. How could you not remember? These days he still read you. Afraid of you in danger. Has decided in the Dragon Network. Released your photo information to find you. Really should come back. A few minutes later. The opposite side of the message. Really? Lin Shui Yao back. If you don't believe me, I'll call my brother to come and video with you. The opposite side was silent again for a while. Before returning. Okay, if my brother really supports me to go back, let him send someone to Longjiang City Lin County. The second class residential area? Building 3, room 40 to pick me up. Lin Shui Yao saw this. Surprised back. Good. I'll call out to my younger brother and let him personally pick you up and come back. Let's see who dares to say anything. Seeing this message, she was really too surprised. She had been urging her sister to come back all these years, but she had been rejected. Sis, what are you so happy about? Right at this moment, Lin Chen came downstairs and looked at Lin Shuiyao's face full of smiles and asked curiously. Lin Shuiyao looked at him and said, Brother, do you want to miss your big sister? I want to. Lin Chen didn't hesitate at all and said, In the wee hours of the morning tonight, before I close the door, I'll post my sister's picture and all the information to find him at Dragon Watch. Since he was a child, his big sister had never forgotten how good she was to him. Lin Chen had never forgotten, but it just couldn't be contacted, completely unable to find any semblance of news about her, as if she had evaporated. Unbeknownst to him, it was Lin Shuiyao who had interfered, deliberately making it impossible for him to find her. This was Lin Yuiyao letting her do this, afraid of letting her brother find it, and forcefully pulling her back. Brother? You don't need to look for it. Sister is currently in Jung City Lin County. Second class residential area. Building 3. Room 402. Asking you to go pick her up. Really? Don't lie to me. Hearing his second sister's words. Lin Chen almost jumped up in surprise. Lin Shuiyao laughed and scolded. Truer than a pearl. Hurry up and go fetch your big sister back. Okay. I'll go now and personally go over there. Lin Chen was so happy that he didn't even have time to eat again. 
he hurriedly left the villa, his emperor armor attached, and headed for the Super Tattoo Alliance airport as fast as he could. After he left, Lin Shuiyao messaged her sister back. Sister, brother moved over. Don't back out. Little Yan Yan needs a lively home. Ding dong. Lin Yuiyao stood back. Don't worry. I'm not going to hide anymore. The relationship between them, plus a Gu Changqing. If Gu Changqing killed Lin Chen when the time came, that kind of scene might be chaotic just thinking about it. That day would probably come very soon. Lin Yuiyao still didn't intend to meet Gu Changqing. Otherwise she couldn't have chosen to come back. She was afraid that Gu Changqing would disown her. And not only would she humiliate herself then, she would also hurt her daughter. Gu Changcheng, who was at the base of the Demon Alliance, naturally didn't know about these things. To be honest, that incident back then, he only had so much of an impression now. Occasionally, he would think about it, but even if he remembered, he hadn't put it on his mind, let alone thinking that he already had a daughter. Boss, I'm full. I'll go back to cultivate first. Inside the villa, Vermilion Bird finished eating and walked out from the restaurant. When she came out, she put her mask back on. Gu Changqing looked at her back as she left and said, Cultivate at ease during this time, and take you to a dry run in four months. Good, I'll make sure not to drag my boss back and charge into battle for you. Boss, he he he. Vermilion Bird turned around and winked at him playfully before quickly stepping out of the villa hall. In the end, she was still a 16 or 17 year old girl who had suffered too much since she was a child, and it was Gu Changqing who opened her heart for her. That face was so disfigured that it was shocking for him to look at it. It would take at least the crystal core of an 8th rank foreign beast to help her repair that hideous face that was completely necrotic and deep to the bone. It was truly horrifying, and it was a miracle that she had survived. Gu Changqing was shocked when she saw it. Boss Gu, I need to go back overnight, and I need to ask for your help. Just then, Athena came down from upstairs quickly in her armor. Looking anxious, what happened? Seeing her in such a hurry, Gu Changqing inquired. Damned sea creatures, massively impacting one of our seaside cities with a peak 7th order sea beast among them, Boss Gu, at this stage, I'm afraid you're the only one who can kill a peak 7th order beast at this stage, looking around the world, Athena's face was unpleasant as she said, in that city, so many supplies were too late to be transferred, and if we let the sea beast breach it, the losses will be great, is this considered returning the favor of sending you supplies for free, Gu Changqing wouldn't help anyone for no reason, but the favor owed would inevitably be returned, Athena said without hesitation, Count on it. After you help us solve this crisis, we'll send you another batch of supplies. Gu Changqing took his cell phone and got up, saying, All right, let's go then. Returning the favor this time was one thing. It was more for that peak 7th order crystal core. It just so happened that he was going into seclusion. And the higher the level of the crystal core, the faster it would help him cultivate. Leaving the villa, Gu Changqing's cultivating underworld dragon armor attached itself to his body. And then he and Athena rose up horizontally like two bolts of lightning out of the opening separating the super network, and headed straight for the Longjiang City International Airport. It didn't take long to arrive at this side of the hot airport, where Zhang who was directing the porters, Boss, MS, Athena, what brings you here? Seeing them drop down from a high altitude, Zhang who inquired suspiciously, Athena grabbed the lead and said, Brother Zhang, the incident happened suddenly. Our country is being attacked by a peak 7th stage sea beast with numerous sea beasts attacking a coastal city and we need to ask for your boss's help. When Zhang Hu heard this, he solemnly said, Is that so? Then boss, you guys should set off quickly. Just leave the matters at home to me. No problem guaranteed. Boss Gu, let's go. Athena was really in a hundred thousand percent hurry, terrified that if she went back one step late, that city would be overrun. I might stay over there for a few days, so don't leave your cultivation behind. Gu Changqing admonished Zhang Hu and boarded her private jet along with Athena. His strictness towards the members of the Demon Alliance never relaxed, especially Zhang Hu, Tao Tai, Vermilion Bird, Wu Rue and the others were even stricter. The two boarded the plane and quickly took off under the guidance of the tower. Chapter 35, Deep Sea Black Turtle, Eighth Order Beast, Six Chapters Delivered, Request for Full, Order This Book, A Blood Moon Hung High in the Pale Night, Mom, Who Are We Waiting For, People Are So Sleepy, It Was More Than 10 O'Clock in the Night, In Longjiang City Lin County, Inside room 402 of building 3 of the 2nd class residential area, Gu Yan Yan was lying on the sofa, rubbing her big eyes and yawning, saying, wait for your brother-in-law, let's leave here tonight and go live with your uncle and sister-in-law, okay? Lin Yuayao gently softened her back and smiled dotingly, your uncle will be here soon, wait until we get on the plane and then go to sleep, okay? Her face like the moon, skin like snow fat, long black hair draped over her shoulders, 
both with the youthful beauty of a young girl, but also with the mature flavor of a young woman. Her appearance is beautiful. Tonight she, wearing a tight blue silk purple split long dress, tall figure curve graceful floating convex, did not change because of the birth of a child. She really didn't dare to gamble and go to Gu Changqing. Once she brought her daughter over and he disowned her, it would break her daughter's heart. It would be better to not see it and leave some thoughts for her daughter. Gu Yan Yan sat up, full of curiosity and asked, Mom, who are sister-in-law and uncle? The beautiful and moving Lin Yue Yao rubbed her head and laughed. It's mom's sister and brother. All our relatives owe. Knock knock knock. Sister, are you there? Right at this moment, the door to the room was knocked on and came Lin Chen's somewhat excited voice. In, coming, Lin Yue Yao heard the sound and hurriedly got up and went to open the door. Gu Yan Yan also got up and put on her shoes and followed her out. Phew, outside the door, Lin Chen listened to his sister's familiar voice and stared at the door of the room tightly in anticipation. At this time, outside the door, a figure that was both familiar and somewhat unfamiliar came into view. Sister, Lin Chen's eyes reddened slightly with excitement, staring at the figure in front of him in a daze, shouting in a somewhat choked voice. Lin Yue Yao laughed and scolded, shouldn't you be happy to see your sister? Why are you so sentimental? Saying that, she went up to him to straighten the crooked tie of his suit, patted his shoulder and said in a low voice, Xiao Chen, it's been a long time since I've seen you, I made you worry, it's really been a long time, I couldn't find you no matter how I looked for you, I thought you, towards the end, Lin Chen's voice choked a little, are you uncle? At this time, Gu Yan Yan came out and hid behind her mom, poking her head out, her big eyes sizing up Lin Chen and asking in a milky voice, yes, it's uncle, Lin Chen looked at his cute niece, wiped his moist eyes, squatted down and asked with a soft smile, what's your name, my name is Gu Yan Yan yet, Gu Yan Yan, when he heard the word Gu, Lin Chen's mind couldn't help but conjure up Gu Changqing's domineering figure, yes, is there any problem uncle, no problem, come, let uncle hug you, Lin Chen reached out and smiled, no, Gu Yan Yan, however, refused and shook her head, ah, uh, Lin Chen froze, all right little Chen, Yan Yan is afraid of strangers, if you want her to play with you, you have to play with her more, Lin Yue Yao said, picked up Gu Yan Yan and said, let's go, other than some useless clothes, there was no luggage, good, the car is waiting downstairs, Lin Chen closed the door behind him and led them downstairs, sister and brother, the two of them were so close, but Lin Chen insisted on being a deadbeat, I really don't know how sad Lin Yue Yao would be when Gu Changqing killed him, with Gu Changqing's character, there was no way he would spare anyone who dealt with him, if Lin Chen really dared to get involved in the pit to kill him, it was a certain death, even if Lin Yue Yao showed her identity, it wouldn't help, after they entered the black sedan downstairs, they headed straight for the Lin County Airport. On Athena's private plane to M, Gu Changqing was looking at the view that Jamie Kohler had cast by satellite. It was 23 o'clock in the evening at Dragon Country Time, which was exactly 11 o'clock in the morning in M Country. In the projection screen, a city shrouded by a hypernet was less than 7 kilometers from the sea. Sea beasts of various colors, densely packed and huge in size, spread out within a radius of 6 or 7 miles, spitting out energy beams constantly bombarding the super net covering the city. At such a close distance, it was impossible to utilize nuclear bombs, otherwise it would also affect the entire city. In the back, the army was moving the supplies here in large batches, but there were just too many, and it would take two days for any less, so it was simply impossible to move them all away in a short period of time. At the very back of the sea beast, a black hideous turtle that was infinitely close to 800 meters in size stood in the beach like a big mountain. If it could break through 800 meters, then it would be an eighth order beast. How many orders were linked to size? The protruding angles on top of its turtle shell constantly ejected energy beams several times larger than a water tank, continuously bombarding the city's super net. Boss Gu, this dead turtle animal looks hard to deal with. With the intensity of their current bombardment, we should be able to wait until you come over. Jamie Kohler stood on top of a hundred story dasha, looking at the giant beast on the beach in the distance, only to feel his scalp tingle as he hesitantly said, are you sure you can deal with it? Such a terrifying beast. He was truly afraid that Gu Changqing wouldn't be able to deal with it. This beast is infinitely close to the 8th rank, but it's not much of a threat. Gu Changqing looked at its thick turtle shell, which was the only thing that made him feel slightly tricky. It was hard to lay hands on such a beast with super perverted defense. Shrinking its head turtle in, those raised angles on its shell could also emit energy beams, making it completely invincible. However, once his underworld god's domain was opened, the tricky problem would no longer be tricky. By the way, Jamie, when I'm almost there, you release a nuke into the sky to block satellite signal capture. Gu Changqing smiled faintly and said, 
There's a six awareness super striker in the country of E who wants to hunt me down, and if I let him see my strength now, his little bit of self-confidence and courage might just be lost, since they wanted to play. Gu Chongqing didn't mind playing with them. Hmm, Athena told me about this matter, and I immediately ordered the nukes to be racked. If Boss Gu can take it out, from now on, we'll be the best of friends to each other. After knowing that under the Bermuda Triangle, perhaps a Stargate was about to be introduced, in Jamie Kohler's mind, the fight between countries no longer mattered. What mattered was to firmly hold on to Gu Chengqing's thick leg. Rumble. Right at the moment when Jane Cole's words fell, a deafening boom suddenly came. What was that? Jane Cole's eyes widened, only to see a Godzilla-like terrifying beast, over 800 meters in size, emerge from the bottom of the sea in the ocean outside the city and walk up to the land one big step at a time. Shatterfuck. An eighth order behemoth? Jamie Kohler's eyes glazed over as he growled with an ugly face. How can an eighth order beast evolve in just over a month? He couldn't believe his eyes. Eighth rank? Gu Changqing saw the scene, but he revealed a look of excitement and got up. Quickly opened the cabin. I'll fly over there myself. What was in front of him was an eighth order crystal core. Ah, he was now able to add two hours to his fifth rank armor, and he should barely be able to deal with an eighth rank alien beast. Chapter 6 delivered. Requesting for votes. Thanks to OOBJ, Gunai, Bookie B, Bookie 182131, Quan Nai, XXXX, Bookie Ad, Bookie AB, Why Not Be Happy, Certain Chen, S Reward, and all of you for your monthly and recommendation votes, plus one more chapter. Chapter 36, Terrifying Monster, Destroying Half of the City Between Mouth Lifts, Request Full Subscription to This Book, The Eighth Ranked Beast That Came Out of Nowhere. This made Gu Chaiching's heart flutter, the higher the order of the Crystal Core, the more massive and pure the energy it contained, and it was incomparable to even more low-order crystal cores. This, Boss Gu, are you really sure you can kill it? Athena worriedly said, why don't we just give up the supplies over there and evacuate that city? Eighth rank, it was too terrifying, the ultra grid couldn't even resist it, it belonged to the beast king level, with one's own strength, one could easily destroy a city. Yes, Boss Gu, we can withdraw, there's no need to risk it. Almost all of the cities on my side are filled with ultra gritters, and they're all retreating to the back now. In addition I highly doubt that the reason why the sea beasts within this Atlantic Ocean have evolved so quickly is unrelated to that portal deep within the Great Triangle. Jamie Kohler also proposed to withdraw first and spoke his thoughts out. You guys retreat first, I'm going to meet them for a while. This monster, perhaps it's not a product of Earth. Gu Changqing did not have the thought of retreating. His body buzzed with the Shura, Black Dragon, Underworld God and Kirin fourfold super tattooed armor attached to his body, and then he personally went to open the cabin door. The reason for this was that as far as Gu Chanqing knew, before that heavenly meteorite landed, the highest level of foreign beasts were only at the top of the seventh order. He suspected that it was due to his rebirth that had disturbed the course of his previous life. Buzzing rumble. As the hatch was pulled open by Gu Chanqing with one hand, violent hurricane turbulence swept in. The terrifying aura around Gu Chanqing erupted, forcing the rolled-in hurricane back and then flew out as fast as he could. Be careful. Athena hurriedly closed the door of the cabin after she stepped forward and shouted. As a peak fifth order supernaturalist, her physical strength could then withstand the powerful suction force from the outside world. Rumble. Gu Changqing was on top of the clouds, staring at the demonic blood moon, transforming into a four-colored ray of light, and at more than 15 times the speed of sound. It was like a four-colored thunderbolt slicing through the night sky, disappearing without a trace in a flash. Wearing the Shura Dragon Lin Underworld Armor, compared to the Shura Underworld Dragon Armor change is not big, just the chest more of 5 elements Chilin Wheel, which flickers with 5 different colors of light points, corresponding to the 5 kinds of power of gold, wood, water, fire and earth. In addition, the Black Dragon Helmet also has some more unicorn symbols, overall more domineering and cool, full of sci-fi flavor. With his 15 times the speed of sound, it would only take him about 20 minutes to reach his destination. Those two seventh and eighth rank crystal cores, he was set to take them. In the Blood Triangle region, mysterious ancient ruins were about to be revealed. Gu Changqing desperately wanted to raise his strength. Most importantly still, that eighth order crystal core could just be used to treat the vermilion bird. In addition, three months later, an extraterrestrial meteorite crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Sea beasts would also begin to set foot on land. He needed to have the strength to suppress everything. Pretty country. Haizhou city. Roar. Suddenly, a roar that shook the heavens and earth resounded, frightening all the sea beasts on the beach to prostrate themselves on the ground, their bodies shivering as they didn't even dare to move a bit. Boom, boom, boom. The beast that was 800 meters high and resembled Godzilla stepped on the coast, 
and every time it stepped out, the ground shook, leaving behind a huge footprint, and headed straight to Haizhou City. Its back is covered with rows of steel spikes, its body surface is covered with one piece of hexagonal black scale armor after another, and its tail, which is three to four hundred meters long, is so thick that it makes people feel afraid, and it walks upright on both feet. The head is relatively small, the mouth fangs are dense, dark blue eyes penetrate the incomparable wisdom, four chest and arms, more thick and long than Godzilla's, sharp claws flashed with a cold light, that black turtle in front of it, all shrunk their heads and prostrated. Oh by God, what is this thing? Shatfark, there's this kind of monster in the ocean? Eighth order, how did it evolve? Who can stop him? It'll have no problem pushing across our cities, right? Cut the crap and run. The ultra-tattooed within the city who were fleeing to the back turned their heads to look at the monster that was as high as 800 meters out. All of them were scared out of their wits and left the city as fast as they could. Whoosh. Above the Dasha where Jamie Kohler was, more than a dozen powerful fifth order mid to late stage ultra-tattooists flew over to the place. Speaker. What the hell is this? Total to can't write or it will be blocked. A super striker wearing jersey devil armor. His eyes outside his helmet flashed with fear. It's the damn thing. Jamie Kohler's face was grim. I'm afraid it's really as Bosku said. It's a monster from that portal deep within the Great Triangle. Actually, their guess was good. This monster, indeed, did not belong to Earth. Speaker, withdraw. A bat and lion dual armor covered over striker said with some trepidation. Facing that giant thing outside the city, anyone who saw it would have fear in their heart and lose all will to fight. Being so far away from each other, they could all feel a sense of oppression that went straight to their souls. Jamie Kohler shook his head. Wait a little longer. Bosku is on his way here. He'll be here in a moment. We can't keep this bulky monster if we want to leave. An overstriker with tiger and leopard armor covering his body said suspiciously, He can defeat this monster? Roar! Accompanying his words, a sky-shaking roar rolled in from outside the city in the distance. The crowd lifted their eyes to look, and their faces changed drastically, turning around without saying a word and leaving as fast as they could. Buzz! Only to see that outside the city, the monster that was as high as 800 meters tall violently opened its huge bloody mouth, the spine on its back flickered with blue light, and its mouth crazily condensed energy. A few seconds later, a thunderous explosion echoed, shaking the body of the sea monster prostrate at the feet of the monster. Rumble. In the monster's mouth, a huge pillar of energy light came out, annihilating the super net protecting the city in the blink of an eye, and exploding towards the depths of that city. Wherever it passed, the earth turned into a bottomless pit, and the buildings in the way vaporized in an instant. Extreme blue light, reflecting the entire sky and earth, piercing the eyes and making it difficult for people to see straight. A few moments later, the extinction of all the energy light wave, a loud bang fell in the center of the city. After the loud bang, a mushroom cloud covering dozens of miles rose up in fear. The wild energy storm that swept and drowned everything swept across, sweeping a large portion of the entire city in an instant. Beast, what a beast, Jamie Kohler and the others, who had just escaped from the range of the monster's attack stood high in the air, looking at the not-too-distant berserk scene all of their scalps tingling, rumble, suddenly at this moment, the popping sound of air exploding in the distant air behind them resounded, whoosh, Gu Chongqing finally descended, appearing in front of Jamie Kohler and the others, the armor on his body, gusts of dazzling light flowed, escaping with a tyrannical breath, the twin dragons born on their backs stared eerily at the big explosion in the distance, Gu Chongqing sacrificed his blood spear and said indifferently, still a step too late, Chapter 37, We're from the planet Hell. Your planet. It's so beautiful. The mysterious monster's mouthful of spit seemed more terrifying than a nuclear bomb, destroying half of Haizhou City. The brilliant mushroom cloud, reaching right above the clouds, was spectacular. Gu Changqing was ultimately one step too late. So many supplies within this city were destroyed by that beast. Terrifying. What kind of monster is that? Is that one the Dragon Kingdom's big brother Gu? The armor he's wearing. Looks so advanced compared to us. The ultra-tattooed who had already escaped from the city all felt their hearts skip a beat as they looked at the mushroom cloud rising on the horizon, and their gazes landed on the figure carrying the blood spear high in the sky. Jamie, where are the nukes? Gu Changqing glanced away from the monsters across the street, then turned his eyes toward Jamie Kohler, one black and one red eye intimidating. Sorry, I was so frightened just now that I forgot, Jamie Kohler said with embarrassment, taking out a remote control switch and pressing it down. Boom! Inside the military base in Haizhou City, which had not been destroyed, a jamming nuclear bomb suddenly rose into the air and exploded at an altitude of 20, 000 meters. Extremely brilliant flames swept across the sky for an unknown number of miles in an instant. Ha, a jamming bomb? The capital of E, the Kirin Palace, 
Inside the speaker's office, Poseidon Peculiar had just captured the satellite footage, when the signal suddenly disappeared, causing him to frown deeply. Big brother, what is this M country doing that it needs to block our viewing? Could it be that there is some kind of ulterior secret? Poseidon Poseidon, the strongest ultra tattooist in country E, rose from the sofa and said, do you want me to go over there personally? With my strength, I can arrive in about 40 minutes. All right, go and take a look. Don't expose it for now. Pog Tranquility also wanted to know what M Country was secretly up to. Peggy Diamond ripped his head off and left quickly, his mountain-like figure quickly disappearing into the area. At the same time, the satellites of Dragon, Indo-Pacific, D, F, and Y were also interfered with when they sensed a horrible energy fluctuation and switched over, before they could even see what was going on. The signal was completely lost. In this end of the mutation, the impact on countries D, F and Y was not that big. Westerners do not resist tattoos like Easterners. They only have a love for tattoos. Therefore, the number of super tattooed people is very high. Country M, Haizhou City. The mysterious monster looked up at the explosion in the sky, revealing a few disdainful glances within its deep blue eyes. Afterward, its gaze locked on the Guchangqing in the sky above the city. Guchangqing locked eyes with it his red and black eyes displaying an intimidating light, and on the unicorn breastplate in front of his chest, the five elemental forces of different colors slowly rotated. Roar! Abruptly, the mysterious beast opened its mouth and roared, its spine blowing, the vast dark blue energy in its mouth coalescing, and with a boom, it locked Gu Changqing and spat. All of a sudden, a wave of energy light that was even more ferocious than just a moment ago, so piercing that people couldn't see straight, rolled in like the sun. Boss Gu, can you block it? Jamie Kohler subconsciously swallowed a mouthful of saliva, his body instinctively wanting to run away. The others did the same, and if Gu Changqing hadn't been in front of them, they would have run away long ago. Gu Changcheng, however, was indifferent, and with a single movement of his mind, the Kirin turntable in front of his chest erupted with five-colored light, followed by a humming sound, manifesting a large five-planet planetary arrays, which was even more gigantic than the energy light wave that blasted and killed him. Buzz. As soon as the energy light waves touched the five planetary arrays, a strange scene appeared, unexpectedly in the twinkling of an eye, all of them were absorbed into it. Boom! The moment it was absorbed, Gu Changqing struck with a thunderous blow, stepping on the air under his feet, disappearing in the blink of an eye, killing the mysterious monster in a flash. The god of the underworld domain unfolded, covering a ten-mile radius, under the cover of the god of the underworld's domain, the mysterious monster's body shook and its size instantly dropped 700 meters out of its head. Human. Something. I just wanted to come up here to eat some meat, not expecting to encounter a monster like you. Gu Changqing was about to strike to finish it off when the latter actually spat out human words, and then between a burst of black light surging around his body, he actually turned into a monster-armored creature. Not bad. In his eyes, humans were exactly neat. Hmm. Gu Changqing stopped, his eyes flashing as he stared at the other party. Monstrous beasts could also possess armor? How did he not know that in his previous life? Surprised aren't you? The monster armored creature let out a light laugh. And after the armor possessed it, it was surprisingly not suppressed by the underworld god's domain. A fourth ranked underworld god armor was strong and invincible at the same rank or a rank or two beyond. But the rank was ultimately too low. If Gu Changqing was also at the eighth rank, he would be able to abuse the other party with the use of a single super stripe. Gu Changqing didn't rush to make a move, quietly looking at the latter, faintly saying, you came from that portal in the deep sea? He was fearless, and was now able to slightly utilize the power of demon ancestor Luothroat's super grain, but it was only a throw. But even with this one throw, its greatness was astounding. It was his absolute bottom card. Listening to Gu Changqing's inquiry, the monster armored creature spoke with great intoxication. Not bad, we come from the hell star. Your planet, it's really beautiful. Around two years or so, my clan's 11th order star breaking level existence will be able to descend. The monster armored creature didn't hide anything, and looked at Gu Changqing as if he was looking at a piece of meat on a chopping board. Gu Changqing smiled playfully, really, looks like I need to cultivate to the seventh level within half a year. Ha! The monster armored creature laughed like a cat playing with a mouse. You don't have that chance, buzz. After saying that, dark light surged in his palm, manifesting two weapons with beast patterns flowing and violent breath stirring, resembling a sword but not a knife, resembling a blade but not a blade. Meat ready to accept death? Boom! The monstrous armored creature laughed lowly as he instantly killed Gu Changqing with his blades. His power was overbearing, permeated with an incomparable killing breath, and the blades in his hands were like scissors as they clamped down on Gu Changqing's neck. Clang! Gu Changqing's eyes flickered, 
and in the nick of time, the blood spear in his hand crossed the air, clanging with an incomparably swift sound, forcefully striking away the horrifying blade that strangled him. Afterwards, Gu Changcheng moved like thunder, taking advantage of the other party's inability to react. The blood spear was like a dragon like a snake, and struck hard at its armor in a tricky manner. The monster armored creature was caught off guard due to its arrogance, and the entire person was blown away by Gu Changcheng's blow, flying backwards like a kite with broken strings a hundred meters into the air. Is that all you can do? Gu Changcheng's eyes were deep, the armor around his body flamed with light, and the twin dragons behind him whistled as he chased after them with his blood spear. Kill! The monster armored creature that had stabilized its stance, its entire body's ebony light sword as it rushed forward to meet the killing Gu Changqing. Rumble! The two of them fought together at the top of the long sky, like two bolts of lightning chasing after each other, blood spears and blades intertwining, armor colliding with armor, striking that side of the sky with lightning and thunder, deafening bursts of booming sounds. What level of battle is this? I can't even see their silhouettes. My god, if we were to go up there, we would have been killed in seconds long ago right? Boss Gu of the Dragon Kingdom, so fierce. The ultra-tattooed who were watching the battle in the four fields felt their scalps tingle as they watched the two rays of light flickering thousands and thousands of meters above the sky, as well as the energy aftermath of their collision, which swept across the entire sky. Worthy of being Big Brother Gu, this body strength is truly beyond one's reach. Even Jamie Kohler couldn't see the figures of their battle. The speed was just too fast, and they could only see the sword ons and blood ons that they wielded, tipping over the entire sky. If they fought on the ground, an unknown number of kilometers in a circle would be crushed by them. Chapter 38 Able to take someone's super stripe? Interesting, please, order this book. The battle in the sky intensified, and in just a few minutes or less, they exchanged thousands of rounds. The sword ons and blood spear divine ons that came out of the collision destroyed the entire land the moment they landed. Irregularly raging energy aftershocks fell from the heights like raindrops. Boom! Gu Changqing suddenly applied a killing move. All kinds of power within his armor were pushed to the extreme, and the twin dragons behind him hideously broke through the air, viciously biting into the twin blade blades in the hands of the monstrous armored creature. Roll! The monster armored creature roared, crazily urging the power within his body, wanting to shake away the two black dragons. Boom! However, at this moment, Gu Changqing's berserk and heavenly figure appeared in front of him, carrying the thunder intertwined blood spear and came, killing him in an instant, bringing a destructive strike. Blood Prison Transportation Strike. Shun Kai. Gu Changqing's eyes bloomed with an intimidating light, his entire body raging to the peak. The thunderous blood spear was ferocious and unparalleled, striking the monstrous armored creature's chest with a clang. Ka Ching. Gu Changqing's blow was unparalleled, destroying and suppressing, shattering a large piece of armor on the latter's chest, and blasting it down into the air like a cannonball. You deserve to die. Gu Changqing's voice echoed like a death knell from hell, not giving him any chance to catch his breath. His armored body blossomed with various colors of light, and he swooped down in an unstoppable manner. The blood spear in his hand pierced through the air, and the power of the black dragon, unicorn, god of the underworld, and the power of the cultivator intermingled with each other, transforming into four-colored thunder, with the power to shake the entire sky, strong and domineering, chasing and killing the monster armored creature that was falling to the ground and killing it. At the same time, the double dragons behind him whistled, like lightning-like extension breaking through the air opened their bloody mouths, their speed was incomparably fast, thumping and biting the two shoulders of the monstrous beast armored creature, fixing it and unable to escape, roar, you monster, if we don't get rid of you today, there will be endless troubles in the coming days, the monster armored creature that was tragically bitten on the shoulders by the twin dragons looked at the strike that Gu Changqing was suppressing, incredulous that a peak of the fourth rank in the district was able to force him, an eighth ranked being, to the brink of extinction, his eyes outside his helmet were crimson as he suddenly shouted, Heavenly Abyss, Hell's Hammer. As the sound of his violent drink fell, an immeasurable amount of dark light appeared behind him, instantly presenting a horrifying vortex of hellfire raging like a black hole. Damn you, district meat, don't get carried away. As the sound of the monster armored creature's furious shout sounded, the vortex behind him rioted, and an extremely horrifying breath overflowed from it. Boom! In the next moment, within the black hole of the hell vortex, a giant hammer that was a hundred feet in size, with hell flames burning, the power of the abyss swirling, and a terrifyingly ferocious power that ravaged the heavens and abused the earth swept out from it, it locked onto Gu Changcheng, pressurizing the entire sky, rising against the sky, unrivaled, and crushing straight towards him, if it bombarded the earth, destroying a city would be absolutely no difficulty, suffer death meat, even if you are a 10th order superstar level, 
you will have to die in front of this ferocious weapon. The monstrous armored creature stabilized its stance and touched the shattered part of its chest, its gaze turning ferocious, after you die. I will leave no one behind and eat all of you human carnivores. It was truly frightened by this fellow. Obviously, he was only at the peak of the fourth rank. How could he exert that kind of powerful force? It was forced to use a killing move. It could only be catalyzed once in 10 years. After this time, it would have to wait 10 years. What is that thing? What a terrifying aura. Just the aura that cleansed it made my legs go weak. Big brother goo. Can you block it? The ultra tattooed ones watching the battle in the four fields, as well as Jamie Kohler and the others, all pinched a cold sweat for Gu Changqing as they looked at the heavenly might emanating from the giant hammer. Gu Changcheng, who was swooping down, looked at the hell hammer that was about to blast his way to the front, and felt the threat of death from it, as he was confined by a strange force that prevented him from moving at all. However, there was no fear in his eyes, calm like a pool of stagnant water. He slowly spat out two words, demon, tattoo, buzz. In a flash, the armor Gu Changqing was wearing and the blood spear he was holding instantly turned black with its appearance unchanged, regaining its mobility. Boom. At the same time, his entire body's aura skyrocketed, raising 30 times in the blink of an eye. The surface of the armor surfaced with one devilish pattern after another like a living thing, while a brutal, bloody, killing breath swept the sky with an ancestral level devil flame. The void was slightly distorted under its scorching. Gu Changqing's eyes were raging with demonic flames and he felt the soaring power within his body. It was simply unbelievable that the power of just the tip of the iceberg of the second-ranked demon ancestor Luo Throat Ultra Tattoo was so strong and invincible. If one day he could have the Luo Throat armor covering his body, he couldn't believe what kind of power that would be. Gu Changqing lowered his eyes and looked at the inferno hammer that had already arrived in front of him, disrupting the entire sky. Whoosh. Instead, he disappeared into thin air. Poof. Ha. Ah. Very suddenly, the monster armored creature was suddenly pierced through the back by a magic spear. How? How? How did you do that? Feeling the force that was ravaging his body and was grinding away his vitality, it couldn't figure out why this human was able to break free from the Hell Hammer's confinement. A 10th stage superstar level wouldn't be able to do it either. Gu Changqing stood behind the other party, indifferent, and slowly drew out his magic spear. Then with one hand, he probed into its body and bloodily took out a piece of dark blue crystal core as big as a rice bowl. The monstrous armored creature's vitality lapsed, changing back to its 800 meter giant body crashing down into the air. The hellish hammer on the 10,000 meter height dissolved with the death of the host. However, suddenly, at this moment, a burst of heat flowed from the bizarre seal in Gu Changqing's right palm. Buzz. Immediately afterward, a scene that made the eyes of Jamie Kohler and the others in the distance widen roundly appeared, as the monstrous beast's huge body was suddenly sucked into his palm. Gu Changqing was also confused by this sudden and bizarre event. However, now was not the time to study it. The seventh ranked black turtle in the distance, seeing that the monster's armor had been finished off, it turned around and fled towards the sea with its legs pulled out. Gu Changqing let out a light snort, flipped his hand and threw the magic spear in his hand over. Swoosh. A flash of black light flashed by. Rumble. Where the black turtle was about to dive into the sea, a black mushroom cloud rose up with a roar, and the demonic aura was so great that it covered the entire sky, blowing out a deep, bottomless crater into which the seawater that had been separated from the sea was madly pouring in. When Gu Changqing beckoned, the blood spear and a milky white crystal core flew back. Put. After doing this, Gu Changqing's body stumbled and violently coughed out a large mouthful of blood. The body was too weak, and it had suffered a backlash. This is, when Gu Changqing dispersed his entire body's ultra tattoo and pushed his spiritual power to leave. He actually discovered that in the sea of consciousness, there was a monster ultra tattoo floating silently it seemed to be able to communicate. Gu Changqing forced himself to endure the pain of the backlash in his body and attempted to intentionally trigger the monster ultra tattoo in the sea of consciousness. With a buzzing sound, a direct monstrous beast armor attached itself. This caused Gu Changqing to reveal a strange color, completely not expecting the bizarre mark in his palm to actually work like this, and it was still of the eighth level. Gu Changqing dispersed the monstrous beast armor and whispered to himself, being able to see someone else's ultra tattoo. Interesting. This weird mark this function, it's a bit perverted. Yesterday I wrote all day, up to now a total of 10 updates, sat for 10 hours. Tonight I can't write, really can't write. The first two chapters will be updated, and today there are three more chapters, which will be updated at 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening, and as long as you guys give it your best shot, five chapters a day will be a lot less. I'd like to ask for some votes. Thanks to, remote don't, 203051, book club 20230424. Vulgar Man, Book Club 20230320, 
Assistant Phone, Book Friend 20230510, Book Friend 20230227, Book Friend 20230415 Wang So Anso, So Anso Chin, Book Club 20230206, Nine Tailed Star, Love to Read, Rewards from All the Big Brothers, Chapter 39, Another Mystery Man, Wants to Converge Lin Chan's Hands to Kill Gu, Chang Ching, The Battle Ended and the entire Haizhou city was almost destroyed by the fallout that fell from Gu Chaingqing's battle with the monstrous armored creatures. Shortly after Gu Chaingqing and the others left, boom, on the sea level, a terrifying armor descended. This armor, with the power of the sun flowing and the power of thunder raging, bore a pair of undead black wings on its back. The tyrannical aura around it impacted the sea below and rioted, blazing golden eyes, looking at the distant city that was reduced to rubble. Poseidon ripped into his own voice, What's the situation? A great battle happened here? A battle that can destroy a city is at least of the seventh rank or above. Damn it, is there already a seventh rank powerhouse in M country? Not knowing what was going on, his voice was filled with gravity. Gotta go back to my seclusion. I can't go out until I enter the seventh rank. Poseidon Riparian felt a deep sense of urgency and did not stay here for much longer. He was carrying the six ultra marks of the sun god, thunder god, three-headed divine eagle, undead kozish, nine-headed dragon, and black god all of which were the strongest ultramarks in their country. The reason why he was able to survive the shock of awakening was because he first awakened the undead Kosaiche super tattoo and died three times before his awakening was completed. However, this tattoo, the number of deaths brought to him also had an upper limit. Right now, with his mid-sixth order strength, he can die seven times, truly undead, no one could do it. Gu Changqing now knew one of the effects of the weird mark in his palm, his undead tattoo, perhaps it would soon belong to Gu Changqing. There was also Lin Chen, if he really dared to get involved in pitting him, his emperor's armor tattoo, which had infinite potential, would also be in his pocket. He would never spare anyone who was his enemy. It was useless for anyone to plead for mercy. Damn Sane got it. No matter what identity. Inside Athena's villa in the capital of M country. It was past 3 in the afternoon. Gu Changqing was healing in a room, absorbing that peak 7th order crystal core. After an hour of repairing the wounds in his body. He slowly opened his eyes at this time. He marveled. The demon ancestor Luo throat super line. There are a total of 99 demonic lines in one ancestor line. The power of just one demonic line is so terrifying. It's a bit outrageous. If I had known, I would have engraved another discus. The reason why Gu Changqing didn't carve a pangu at that time was because he was afraid that the karma would be too great and that he would simply go up and smoke when he awakened. That was an existence that opened up the heavens and the earth. Repairing the injuries in his body, he entered the bathroom. Coming out half an hour later, Gu Changqing put on his suit and exited his room to go downstairs. Boss Gu, how's the injury recovery going? Jamie Kohler had been waiting in the hall, and Athena was here as well. Seeing him come down they all rose to welcome him. Gu Changqing said lightly, unhindered. Saying this, he sat down on the sofa and took out a cigarette and put it to his lips. Jamie Kohler took the initiative to pull out a lighter to light it for him when he saw this. Although it is the speaker of the M country, but in this chaotic world where strength is supreme, this kind of identity is of no use, and everything is spoken in terms of strength. Athena whispered, Boss Gu, what do you think of that portal under the Great Triangle, and the creature that you just decapitated, claiming to be from the Hell Star? Gu Changqing took a deep drag on his cigarette and said in a dignified voice, they shouldn't be able to come out on a large scale for the time being, or else there will definitely be support coming over when I kill the other side, and in the short term there shouldn't be, there will be that kind of creatures coming out again, in this chaotic world. Strength is king, don't delay your cultivation to deal with various matters, just leave it to the people under your hands. Speaking here, Gu Changqing got up from his seat and said lightly, I'll go back first, cultivate well. He wasn't used to living in someone else's place, and it would only take more than 10 minutes to fly back by himself. Boss Gu, won't you stay for a day? Athena retained. The way she looked at Gu Changqing was very naked, thinking that if he dared to stay tonight, she would definitely climb into his bed. Gu Changqing said lightly, no, the strength is too weak. I won't even show up for the next four months. Saying that, he directly possessed his Shura, Chilin, Black Dragon, and Underworld God armor and lifted his steps towards the outside. Exiting out of the gate, he disappeared into the sky with a roar. The trip here was entirely for the peak 7th order crystal cores. He had thought of staying for a few days, but after encountering the creatures from the Hellstar, he was not in the mood. One must first cultivate the Underworld armor. Suppressing all creatures within the realm's range by one rank, a very domineering aptitude. Without him, we're almost finished. Outside the doorway, looking at Gu Changqing's disappearing figure, 
Jamie Kohler said. After explaining the matter, I'm also going to retreat. Athena nodded. At least the seventh rank to have the power to defend yourself. Encountering that monster from the Hellstar today brought them a deep sense of powerlessness. The desire for power was even stronger. Dragon Kingdom. Kyoto. Lin Yuan Villa. Lin Yuayao had returned. The three siblings were reunited, and there was a lot of laughter inside. Ding Bell Bell. Inside the villa. Lin Chen, who was playing with Gu Yan Yan, had an incoming call ringing from the cell phone in his pocket. Little Yan Yan. Uncle will take a call first. Lin Chen dotingly rubbed her little head. Just a few hours together. The more he looked at this niece, the more he loved her. Okay, uncle. Gu Yan Yan also nodded her head understandingly and ran to find her mom. After sleeping for a few hours on the airplane, she wasn't sleepy now, either. Who? Lin Shen looked at the fact that it was an unfamiliar call and answered it and asked. Alliance Master Lin, how are you? Within the phone, a young man's voice came out. Lin Shen said, speak your mind. I don't have time to bullshit with you. To be able to get my private number, I guess you have some status. How about joining forces? To take out Gu Chanqing? The other party directly stated their intentions. Hearing this, Lin Chen went upstairs. The person inside the phone dared to say kill Gu Chanqing. Either he was a fool or a strong person. Only after returning to his room did he say, Interesting, how are you going to kill? Tell me your plan. I'm stronger than you. Although your emperor armor has infinite potential, you haven't reached the 13th rank yet, and before you completely awaken the emperor armor. You're still no match for me at the same rank. I also have quite a few powerful brothers under me. But I'm not sure about it alone. The person on the phone was confident. Saying, if you don't believe me, we can come out and talk. Imperial Sky Hotel Box 508. This person, seemed to know Lin Chen's Emperor Armor very well. It even knew that the 13th rank could awaken the ultimate form. As Lin Chen listened to the other person's words, he smiled lightly and said, Your words have completely piqued my curiosity. Wait a moment. I'll be right over. All right, waiting for you, come quickly. The conversation ends said and closed the call. So many ruthless people want to kill Gu Chanqing. Too interesting. Putting away his cell phone, Lin Chen laughed in a low voice and quickly walked out of his room and downstairs. Brother Chen, it's so late. You still want to go out? Lin Chen had just arrived at the hall. When Lin Yuayao saw that he was going out, she inquired suspiciously. Going to see an old friend. Sister you guys go to bed early. Saying that, he quickly left. I'm going to start writing now and write and post a chapter until 7 p.m. Request for recommendation votes. Please ask for monthly tickets. I won't send out the thanks for the rewards. It's a bit of a waste of time for us to code. Thank you for your rewards. Chapter 40, The Fierce Man with the Immortal Bird on His Chest and the Nine Dragons Coffin on His Back. Kyoto, Imperial Sky Hotel, Box 508. Big Brother, do you think Lin Chen will come? Inside the luxurious box, there were three people sitting. Two men and one woman. The one in the lead was a man with dyed white hair, wearing a white suit, a thunder tattoo under the corner of his eye, and a heavenly fire tattoo on the right side of his neck, with a rather evil look, who appeared to be 25 or 26 years old. On the chair on the left, there was a blue-haired lowly wearing a black power suit and standing 1 meter 4 and a half tall. On the exposed skin on her back, what appeared to be a drought demon was faintly visible tattooed. On the chair to the right sat a large bald man in a suit with a very large body. It was impossible to tell what he had tattooed. The white-haired handsome man picked up the wine cup on the table, put it to his lips and took a mouthful of it, faintly smiled and said, He will come. What kind of character this son has? I know it better than that. The stout man's voice was low, saying, Big brother, I personally feel that he doesn't have the guts to make an enemy of Gu Changqing. The blue-haired lowly nodded her head and said, I also feel that. He's now the Super Tattoo Alliance Alliance leader, almost standing on top of the Dragon Kingdom finger. I just took a look at the official website of the alliance, and there are 2,000 members now. He'll come and agree. The white-haired man, however, was certain. The burly man, however, was disdainful, saying, most of them are just trash. 2,000 isn't enough for our 300 white alliance brothers to kill. This is not a false statement. They're white alliance's brothers. Each and every one of them is fierce. The reason why they were so low-key was because White Star had told them not to let them be too high-profile. White Star hadn't actually intended to be so low profile, and only chose to keep a low profile for the time being because he had seen Gu Changqing decapitate the Ant King through the livestream at the time. After waiting for about 20 or so minutes, a waitress lady came in and said, There's a guest outside who is said to be a friend of yours, right? White Star nodded and said, Yes, please ask him to come in. Okay, the waitress lady answered and left. Not long after, Lin Chen pushed the door in. Alliance Master Lin, welcome, please take your seat. 
Bai Xing rose from his seat and gave him a faint smile, raising his hand to signal him to take his seat. Lin Chen shot a glance at the three here and sat down opposite them, looking at Bai Xing. What's your name? Bai Xing. He introduced himself with a smile and sat down. You guys want to kill Gu Chancheng? Have that strength? Lin Chen didn't bullshit with them and looked at them with questioning eyes. Bai Xing took a sip of wine and laughed softly. I don't have that strength alone, but if I add you, there's definitely no pressure. Boom. After saying that, he directly exploded his clothes. Only his chest was engraved with the immortal bird, and behind him was engraved with the nine dragons pulling coffin. It was lifelike, and the pressure was astonishing. When Lin Chen saw this, his eyes narrowed slightly. Then he laughed. I didn't realize that in our dragon kingdom, we really have crouching tigers and hidden dragons. Seeing the super lines on the other party's body, Lin Chen no longer questioned it. The nine dragons pulling coffin, the immortal bird, they were all terrifying existences. One did not expect that amongst the dragon kingdom's ultra tattoos, there was a ruthless person like him. White Star laughed in a low voice. How about it? Do you need me to activate the ultra tattoo to try? The skepticism on Lin Chen's face was gone as he nodded. Not bad. Why do you want to kill Gu Chongcheng? He moved my interests, blocking me from getting rich, like killing my closest relatives. Old. Sun's nine processing plants. Because of his words, the loss is too much. Bai Xing sneered. If you don't kill him, who will you kill? Lin Chen sniffed and laughed. Heroes see eye to eye. How do you plan to kill him? He came to be interested. White Star took out a cigarette and threw it to Lin Chen. Then lit one for himself and said with a faint smile. First make a move on the Demon Alliance's team outside to force him out. We'll ambush in the dark. And Thunder will make a sneak attack. Lin Chen took his cigarette and lit it. What if we can't force him out? White Star smiled evilly. Then kill his men. I don't believe he can sit still. Lin Chen nodded and said. Not a bad plan. But we can't do it now. First close up for a few months. I'm going to advance to the seventh rank first. I'll have a better grasp then. In addition, there is a fierce person who also wants to kill Gu Chanqing. Bai Xing sniffed and inquired. Who? How fierce? Lin Chen took a deep drag on his cigarette and said. E country. Poseidon Poseidon ripped. Carrying six strong super stripes. If the three of us join forces, Gu Chanqing will find it hard to escape. Six tattoos? Bai Xing's eyes narrowed slightly. Are you sure? That's what the Speaker of State he said, and it shouldn't be false that Yen Posey I ripped off his brother. Good, if he really has the sixth stripe, then with the three of us joining forces, Gu Chongqing will surely die. Bai Xinglang laughed in a loud voice and raised his cup. Come on, let's go. Wish us a happy cooperation and get rid of the bastard who is in the way of our fortune. Happy cooperation. Lin Chen smiled and raised his cup, drinking it all in one go, saying, How do you know that my emperor armor? Needs to reach the 11th rank before it can awaken its final form? This was what he was most puzzled about. Guess, White Star laughed perfunctorily. Lin Chen lowered his voice and said, I don't believe it. White Star revealed a look of helplessness and said, If I don't say that, with your status, will you come to see me? Hearing him say that, Lin Chen didn't doubt him and said, Next I'm going to be in seclusion. I won't be able to get out until I'm at the 7th rank. So you too, brother Bai, should race to the 7th rank as soon as possible. Coincidentally, that's what I'm planning to do as well. The seventh rank is a huge watershed between super stripe levels. When I come out of the seventh rank, how about we spar? Yes, no problem. Come on, drink. Bai Xing raised his cup and said, bottoms up. Next, they chatted and fooled around, complimented each other a few times, and left their contact information with each other before Lin Chen excused himself and left. Big brother, he won't turn around and expose us to Gu Chongqing, right? After Lin Chen left, the blue-haired lowly worried. Bai Xing, however, smiled confidently. He won't. I dare say that he wants to take out Gu Changqing even more than I do. Seeing that her big brother was saying so confidently, the blue-haired lowly didn't say much more. Bai Xing looked at the burly man beside him and said, Kuei Shan, tell the brothers to keep an extra eye on the Demon Alliance's team outside. Don't make any moves for now. Kuei Shan nodded and said, I know. Right now we'll keep an eye on where several of their teams are going. Gu Changcheng, he he. Bai Xing laughed demonically, drank the wine in his cup, got up and said, let's go, back to cultivation. Coming to the counter on the first floor, he paid for the food stamps and left, taking an Audi RS8 and heading off. Now that the new currency hadn't come out yet, the things traded were all food stamps. Taking food would be exchanged for food stamps, and food stamps could be purchased for all sorts of things. When the new currency came out, food stamps and food could be exchanged for money. Boom. A loud boom cut through the night sky of the western suburb of Longjiang City as Gu Changqing returned at this time. It was quiet in the base. At three in the morning, those who should be sleeping were asleep. 
Only the ordinary ultra tattooists on duty patrol were active. Gu Changqing descended from the net entrance and landed outside the villa's main door, dispersing all his ultra tattoo armor to enter. There was no one in the living room, so Gu Changqing went back to his room to bathe, then loaded up hundreds of fifth and sixth order crystal cores to enter the retreat room. The night was few and far between, and countless ultra tattooed people in the dilapidated city teamed up to hunt and kill foreign beasts. The back will continue to update. Sitting with the intention of writing until 3 in the morning tomorrow, write one and post a chapter. If you have a ticket, you can give it. Chapter 41, Starcoin Issue, Claiming Simon the Third's Moonblan. Ask for a full subscription to this book. Time rushed by, six days later. On this day, the countries that still existed around the globe announced the issuance of a new trading currency on the same day. The old currency was exchanged 10 to 1. The new trading currency, because it was the unified currency of this planet, was named, Starcoin. Star coins were issued, and by going to the official website and registering a unique account, one could receive 2,000 star coins. During the period when the star coins had yet to be released, Lin Chen had sent people to screw over an unknown number of rich people. With the public release of the star coins today, when those who had been cheated knew that the old coins could be exchanged for star coins, they all cried without tears and wanted to die. Gu Changqing's previous life was like this. More than $70 billion were cheated out. After the issuance of the star coin, Countries around the world are considered to be standing firm in this chaotic world. Country M had secretly transported a lot of supplies over in the past few days, handing them over to the Magic Alliance's three main groups, Strong Dragon Group, Huang Yu Group, and Dongsheng Group, to sell to the outside world at normal prices. Damn Demon Alliance, Asshole Thing, M Metropolis, White Dragon Group, inside the 36th floor office, a mature and beautiful woman, looking at the contents of the report in her hands, fiercely slammed it on the ground. This white dragon group was a group created by White Star, storing an extremely large amount of grain and canned meat. In addition, also he had cooperated with country F. Because F country was hit very small, the population is still relatively small, but the material is a lot. From there to transport over a very large amount of material, ready to sell at a high price in the dragon country, 4 or 6 points, white dragon group 4, F country side 6, the secretary standing in front of the desk, said in a low voice, general manager, the three major groups of the Magic Alliance, are all selling food supplies at normal prices, do we want to press down the price as well, otherwise, this secretary was respectful on the surface, but in her heart, she was frantically cursing this woman as an animal, selling canned goods, food and such at three times the normal price, simply don't be too much of an animal, Lu Shuehan cursed, pressing my ass, do you think that with that little stuff from the Demon Alliance, you can supply so many people in the country? All right, there's nothing going on. Then I'll go out first. Scram. Lu Shuehan's face was gloomy to the extreme. Bastard. The secretary cursed in his heart. While on the surface, he left with trepidation. Lu Shuehan sat down and dialed the chairman's phone. A few moments later, the phone was connected and by Xing's voice came out. I'm in the middle of cultivation. What's the matter? Chairman. The matter is like this. Lu Shuehan succinctly informed the matter, saying, What do you think about this matter? Should we sell it at a normal price? Bai Xing said in a deep voice, No need to follow the ordinary price. The Demon Alliance can't bounce for long. Love to buy or not. Okay, that won't disturb your cultivation. Da, the opposite party hung up the call first. These days, Gu Changqing and the Demon Alliance were cursed by many unscrupulous overwatchers who raised their prices and even opened a thread specifically on the Dragon Network to scold them. The ordinary people, on the other hand, were grateful to the Demon Alliance and to Gu Changqing. Where's Lin Chen? In Dashia, the headquarters of the Ultra Tattoo Alliance. Xian Yuan Wan Roy personally came to Lin Chen's office. Minister, the Alliance Master has been cultivating recently. Su Yue replied back, I'm the one handling Alliance matters lately. So it's you. Xian Yuan Wan Roy stared at her and said, The sky high prices of endive food outside. Aren't you going to take care of it? It's, Minister, a lot of the Alliance's overstrippers are, said Su Yue, wanting to speak. Hearing this, even if she didn't say it down, Xian Yuan Wan Rui could also guess a generalization. His face turned gloomy and said in a cold voice, This is the Super Lines Alliance that you manage? Taking in anyone who is a super striker, regardless of character? Or is it that you and Lin Chen are also involved in this? Taking the big headache of squeezing the people? Within today, if the price doesn't come down, you and Lin Chen can get the hell out of here. And I'll have the Demon Alliance come in with two random people to serve as the alliance leader and vice alliance leader. After saying that, Xian Yuan Wang Rui didn't give her a chance to speak, snorted coldly and turned around to leave in quick steps. 
He really didn't expect that this Ultra Tattoo Alliance was so pandemonious. Looking at his back as he left, Su Yue let out a cold smile in her heart. The Demon Alliance will soon be finished. Let's see how you will beg us then. Although she thought so in her heart, she knew that if she didn't solve the problem of food prices in the outside world, she might really be kicked out. She sat back down in front of her computer and quickly tapped the keyboard, posting an announcement on Dragon Net. Content, please ask manufacturers and stores that sell grain and canned goods at high prices to stop selling them at high prices immediately. After today, if they do not return to normal prices, the alliance will directly go to their doors and seize them. Super Tattooist Alliance. Then, Su Yue took the cell phone on the table, and within a group of 36 people, sent this message, Gentlemen, you should close your doors for this period of time, and wait for the overthrow of the Demon Alliance before taking it out to sell. I was warned just now. The people within this group had at least two meat processing plants in their hands, all of whom hated the Devil Alliance with a passion. Roger that. All right, let's close up first. No one is coming to buy now anyway. Close down and close up. Sit back and wait for the Demon Alliance to be destroyed. Within the group, a message popped up. Su Yue looked at the messages in the group and laughed in a low voice, since we are not allowed to sell at high prices. Closing the door is always fine, right? Rather, let's see how many resources the Devil Alliance has that can be provided to 6 or 700 million people. Shen Yuan Wang Rui left the Ultra Tattoo Alliance Dasha and dialed Wu Rui's phone on his way back by car. The phone dialed, and Wu Rui's voice came out. Minister Shen Yuan, may I ask what I can do for you? Shen Yuan Wang Rui sighed lightly and said, I shouldn't have chosen Lin Chen as the alliance leader. Now it's a mess. Alas, regret. Wu Rui laughed and said, Could it be that the manufacturers and merchants who are roaming the world are still related to the Ultra Tattoo Alliance? Not only related, Lin Chen and Su Yue are afraid that they are all involved. Too inhuman. Shen Yuan Wang Rui hated the iron and said, If it wasn't for Boss Gu and the Demon Alliance deterring them, they might have been even more heartless, and we haven't been able to do anything at all. Just now, I took her threatened by your demon alliance. Wu Rue said, like this, brother Wu, if they don't know how to repent, I want to ask you to become the lord of the overwhelming tattoo alliance. I don't know what you mean. I'll forget it. Not that interested. Wu Rue politely declined and said, if there's anything I need to help, I can help you. By the way, there's one more thing. Our boss wants to raise a panda. Raise a panda? Which one do you want? I'll immediately contact someone to bring it over. Xian Yuan Wang Rui agreed with bravado. Most of the pandas, which were now high-end combatants in the country, were at the sixth class level, and were very strong. Wu Rui said, the boss named Meng Lan, the third prince of Ximen. It, it just so happens that it's nanny and daddy, all perished in that mutation. I'll order someone to bring it there later. Most of the pandas in the country, led by their nanny and daddy, were guarding the more dangerous cities. Wu Rui smiled. Good, I'll wait. Do you guys need any help? It can't be collected for nothing. Not at the moment for now. The only thing that's pulling at my heartstrings is the Ultra Tattoo Alliance. Xian Yuan Wang Rui sighed. This is not convenient for us to intervene. There are other needs to help as much as you can call. I still have some things to do. So I'll leave it at that. Okay. Bye. Chapter 42. Ferocious Munglen. Secretly tailed. Delivered. East City Province. Fallen City. It was a coastal city that had now been occupied by sea creatures that had mutated in grown legs. The dilapidated city was full of all sorts of sea beasts of huge size. Some were sunbathing, some were killing each other, and some were doing damage. Rumble, roar, in a corner of the city, a panda that was more than 300 meters tall, covered in white and black bicolored hair that looked like steel spikes, and was incredibly ferocious, was fighting with an octopus that was about the same size as it. Not all the size of the foreign beasts are linked to the class just the individual ones. The 300 meter huge Mungland was now at the 6th rank level. Its furious roar deterred all the nearby sea beasts from approaching. The octopus, which was even bigger than Menglan, had its three legs ripped off by Menglan, and was about to be unable to hold on under Menglan's tearing and wild bombardment. Two miles away on a collapsed building, stood a fourth order super striker woman wearing blue whale armor watching the battle. Right at this moment, a voice came from the blue whale armored ultra tattooist's communication earpiece. Zhongli, where are you? Immediately take Meng Lan to the Magic Alliance base in the western suburb of Longjiang City. Big Brother Gu asked for it by name. Zhang Li was a bit surprised when she heard this, and replied back, Captain, we are currently in the city of Lakjiang. Meng Lan is fighting a sixth order octopus. I'll bring it there when the battle is over. Okay, as soon as possible. The opposite party finished speaking and hung up the call. Roar. A roar came from the other side. Zhang Li raised her eyes and looked only to see Meng Lan being ferocious and roaring, while at the same time, 
She hardened and ripped off two more tentacles of the octopus. The octopus' long howl of pain resounded through the four fields, fighting to try to counterattack, two tentacles propping up the body, and another several hundred meters of tentacles, bursting through the air and sweeping across towards Munglan. Poof. But I did not expect Menglan ferocious to the extreme. Open mouth tearing past, accompanied by a poof. Blood splash. Menglan hands to grab at this tentacle. Roar will be swung up. Crazy smashed on the ground, smashed in the dilapidated high-rise dasha on the sound of rumbling endlessly. A few moments later, the octopus was completely abused and killed by Menglan. Killing it. Dragging it. Molan came close to a collapsed building and sat down with his back against the building. Grabbing one of the octopus tentacles, he nibbled on it with relish. Seeing this, Zhongli flew over and landed on a high building not far away, saying loudly, Menglan, I'll take you to a place after eating. At the sound, Menglan glanced at her, nodded, and continued to eat. Zhongli waited patiently for it to eat its fill. Its huge body was very intimidating. It was like a monster sitting here. Just the might it invisibly exuded made the surrounding sea beasts not dare to approach. After the mutation, it ate very slowly, chewing slowly. It took about two hours before it was full. Then, from the octopus that had a small half of its body left, it pulled out a sixth-order crystal core, put it in its mouth and swallowed it. After eating its fill, Menglan got up, looked at Zhang Li across the room, and gave two low barks as if to say that it was time to go. Good, let's go. Seeing this, Zhang Li flew across the sky in a direction quickly. Rumble. Moonblan, on the other hand, followed behind, his huge size running with a loud sound. As they passed by on the way, no foreign beasts dared to attack them at all. Three hours later, night was about to cover the land, and the blood moon was gradually rising. Outside the western suburb of the Demon Alliance's base, the sound of huge footsteps resounded. Menglan's ponderous body slowly came into view. Under Zhang Li's leadership, they stopped outside the shelter gate. Moonblan looked at the shelter fence that was even taller than it was, then looked around, and a color of puzzlement flashed within his large eyes. It wasn't like there were any monsters in the four fields, so I didn't understand why they had to come here. There was also that hundred meter gate, barely enough for it to burrow through. Zhang Li, on the other hand, contacted the captain and said, Captain, I'm outside the Demon Alliance base with Menglan. The opposite party said, Okay, wait, good. Ending the call, Zhang Li waited with Menglan. This is, a panda? Crap, the Xingua Divine Beast. How did it come here? Is the boss going to raise a Xingua Divine Beast? At this time, a fleet of vehicles came back in great numbers. When they saw Meng Lan, they were all very surprised. The convoy stopped outside the gate. Zhao Feng got down from above and took out his cell phone to open the door with remote control. Then he looked at Zhang Li who was high up in the sky and inquired. You brought a Jingua Divine Beast here. Is there something you want? May I ask who you are? Zhang Li slowly fell down and stood close to Zhao Feng, dispersing her helmet and inquiring. Zhao Feng said. I'm the Demon Alliance Grand Captain Zhao Feng. Zhang Li laughed. So it's Grand Captain Zhao. My name is Zhang Li, a member of the Overwhelming Tattoo Alliance. Bosku asked for Meng Lan by name, so I brought him here. Crap. Moonblan, I'm a fan of it. Zhao Feng was surprised and looked Moonblan up and down, saying, How majestic, boss has a good eye. Sorry, sorry for keeping you guys waiting. Just then, Wu Rue quickly flew out. He came out as fast as he could when he heard from the monitor. The fences were equipped with surveillance. Zhang Li stepped forward and said, Chief Wu, Meng Lan is in your hands. Roar. As her words fell, Meng Lan gave a low roar as if he was unwilling to stay. Zhang Li helplessly looked up at it and said, Don't worry, Meng Lan, during this period of time, I will stay and accompany you. Only then did Meng Lan nod its head. It had been with Zhang Li for over a month, so it was not normal to say that it had no feelings. Wu Rue said, Come in first, I've arranged all the accommodations for Meng Lan. This door has to be raised and enlarged. I'll order people to do the construction later. Menglan, let's go. Zhang Li nodded and greeted Moonblan. Menglan let out a low growl and burrowed towards the gate that could barely let it in. Brother Wu, we're being watched by a group of people who have been secretly watching us. After they went inside, Zhao Feng whispered to Wu Rue. There is such a thing? Wu Rue frowned and said, Is it possible that they want to make a move against you guys? Do they dare? Zhao Feng said seriously, I don't know if they dare, but they are all very strong. This is a hidden danger. The boss is in seclusion. This matter can't be told to him for the time being either. If it's really a dangerous element. Wu Rue pondered. Notify down. Let the teams traveling during this period of time be careful. If they encounter an unbeatable danger run away if they can. If someone really dares to make a move against us. It's self-destruction. Zhao Feng nodded. Good. Saying that, 
he led the convoy into the base. Wu Rue, on the other hand, caught up with Zhang Li and said, the boss is currently in seclusion, so you can also take it out every day to hunt alien beasts for evolution, so its strength can't be left behind. Like this, so good, Menglan really can't be idle every day, it can't go out for a day without going out. Zhang Li helplessly said, indeed, Menglan was the most idle, and it was hard not to go out and kill foreign beasts for a day. As a result, its strength was the highest rank among all pandas, late sixth rank. As for the other pandas, they were all around the early sixth order. Six chapters delivered. Chapter 43 What? Brother, you want to kill Gu Chongqing? It was night, the highest meeting hall in Kyoto. Damn. It's all damn stuff. Long Zhangguo looked at the media news. Except for the Demon Alliance de San Group, almost all the manufacturers and merchants had closed down and stopped selling canned food. He was so angry that his face turned red and he slapped the table. Huang Mengwa looked gloomy and said in a fierce voice. It seems that we can't restrain these unscrupulous manufacturers and merchants without using some thunderous means. Xian Yuan Wang Rui was full of cold colors and said, I support the use of thunderous means. How is it a thunderous method? To start a killing spree? I also support doing so. These inhuman super striker. Long Zhanghua really couldn't look at them anymore. It was too hateful to make money from the country's difficulties. Xian Yuan Wang Rui laughed coldly and said, I have a method that is more relieving than killing them, but it requires Gu Changqing's help. What method? The two men looked at him. Xian Yuan Wang Rui took a sip of tea and smiled. Send out an announcement that since tomorrow, the Dragon Kingdom will only recognize the three major groups of the Devil Alliance selling canned food as legitimate, and whoever dares to sell in large quantities privately will be punished by capital punishment. This, the three major groups of the Magic Alliance can't provide that much. Huang Mengwa spelled out the key point. That's why Gu Changqing's help is needed. Xian Yuan Wang Rui smiled mysteriously and said, I remember that Boss Gu has a close relationship with them. They're diametrically opposed to us, with more cans of food but fewer people. As long as Boss Gu steps in and ships canned food from Country M, coupled with the fact that four months later, we will have a bumper harvest of domestically grown rice and the like, the food crisis will be resolved. When the food crisis is resolved, what's the use of the canned food in the hands of those brutes? In the end, they can only be sold to the three major groups of the Demon Alliance at low prices. In this way, Bosku will also be able to gain great benefits. What do you guys think of this plan? How is it? Shen Yuan Wan Rue finished, lifting his teacup to take a light sip. Good, this is a good move. It can make them lose their blood money. Huang Mengwa and Long Zhanghua both clapped their hands. Shen Yuan Wang Rue laughed. Since you guys also think it's good, then I'll contact Wu Rue. It just so happens that he owes us a panda as a favor. Good. In addition I think that the overwhelming tattoo alliance doesn't need to exist anymore. It's all useless trash. Huang Mengwa said in a deep voice. Long Zhanghua nodded. Indeed useless. I support the dissolution. Then let's announce it together tomorrow. Xian Yuan Wang Rue agreed. Then dialed Wu Rue's phone. Hello, Minister Xian Yuan. What can I do for you? Wu Rue's voice came out. It's like this. Xian Yuan Wang Rue spoke out his plan. Wu Rue's laughter came out. Our boss guessed it a long time ago. All you need to do is to announce that only the sale of canned food by the three major groups of my demon alliance is legal. Ha ha, worthy of being boss goo. You can really see the long term. So it's decided then. Okay, I'm going to take a shower. Bye. Wu Rue finished and hung up the call. At noon the following day, a press conference was held by Xian Yuan Wang Rue. Its content was exactly what they had discussed last night. Content 1, only the three major groups of the Magic Alliance sell canned food legally and whoever dares to sell it privately will be punished with capital punishment. Content 2, the Ultra Tattoo Alliance was declared dissolved. Starting today, there will be no more Alliance Ultra Tattooists. This, press conference came out like a small stone thrown in the ocean, not setting off half a storm. Those treacherous merchants didn't panic at all because they all knew that the Demon Alliance was about to be disintegrated. Humph, three old guys, after that you will beg us to set up the Ultra Tattoo Alliance again. Su Yue just sneered after watching this press conference and didn't take it to heart. Time passed like a white horse, and in the blink of an eye more than two months passed. Boom! On this very day, the dome of the sky roared. A fiery meteorite broke through the atmosphere and plummeted straight down into the Pacific Ocean. It plunged into the vast horizon with a loud bang, and for a while, huge waves and violent tsunamis rose up, disrupting the entire ocean. Sea beasts that were too close to the meteorite's fall. None of those below the fifth level were spared and all of them were drowned by the energy that erupted when it fell. When the sea calmed down, large pieces of charred and incomplete corpses of sea beasts surfaced on the sea level. Deep under the sea, a 300 meters in diameter azure meteorite, quietly lying in a huge pit below, 
The body surface escapes a soft azure energy, through the seawater diffusion. I don't know how long it had been, but a large number of sea beasts were attracted by the energy diffused by the meteorite. What is this? What a strange meteorite. The energy escaping from its body surface makes me feel so comfortable. It's as if something in my body is trying to break its shackles. It's amazing. The closer I lean to it, the stronger that feeling is. I wonder if I can absorb and exhale this energy. Ah, it can actually be absorbed. Around the meteorite, in just a few minutes, countless sea beasts gathered, communicating in their own way. And when they found out that they could spit out the energy that escaped from the meteorite, they were even more frantically approaching the past. Roar. In order to fight for a close position, they fought amongst themselves. All of a sudden, all sorts of roars resounded under the seabed of this side. Not long after, a large area of corpses with blood floated. Roar. Suddenly, at this moment, a furious and extreme roar came from the rear. Rumble. A whale shark that was six to seven hundred meters in size came barreling in with its bloody mouth open, and an unknown number of sea beasts were swallowed into its belly. Seeing it, the sea beasts scattered and fled, stopping to watch from afar. The whale shark didn't bother hunting them, but instead floated on that meteorite, closing its eyes to exhale and absorb its escaping energy. Seeing this, the sea beasts stationed in the distance were careful to lean over, but they didn't dare to get too close. The stronger they are, the closer they are, and after this whale shark came, they didn't dare to kill each other anymore. One after another, they found a good position and closed their eyes to exhale. With the help of this mysterious meteorite, marine life will usher in a great metamorphosis. As the day passes, the meteorite is located in this side of the sea, gathered a dense, countless number of sea beasts, the strongest priority. Next to the meteorite, hibernating a dozen seventh order sea beasts, time was in a hurry, turning half a month. During these close to four months, whether it was humans or foreign beasts, the overall strength was rising. In addition, the canned food from the three major groups of the Demon Alliance were not sold out at all, and there seemed to be as much as they wanted. This made those treacherous merchants panic that the first round of rice and the like in the country was about to mature. At that time, the canned food in their hands would be worthless and could not be sold legally. Kyoto, Lin Yuan Villa, Lin Chen was in the retreat room. At this time the closed door slowly opened. A terrifying aura swept out from inside. Afterwards, Lin Chen, who had broken through to the late seventh stage, walked out from inside with a smile on his lips. Lin Chen, you finally come out of the gate. We've been punked. Hearing the commotion, Su Yue walked over and said with a somewhat ugly face, Lin Chen was surprised. How so? Su Yue informed him of the dissolution of the overwrought alliance and the official announcement that only the three major groups of the demon alliance could legally sell canned food. Unreasonable. Lin Chen finished listening and said, The magic alliance can afford to provide it? Su Yue gritted her teeth and said, M country can. Damn it. It looks like we need to eradicate Gu Changqing as soon as possible. Lin Chen's face was also bloomy and having broken through to the seventh rank, he had more confidence in dealing with Gu Chanqing. I'm going to take a shower first, then contact Poseidon Poseidon and White Star. Lin Chen sneered, Gu Chanqing, deserve to die. What, brother you want to kill Gu Chanqing? Suddenly at this moment, Lin Yueya's voice came, today's seventh chapter delivered, request for recommendation tickets, begging for monthly tickets, grateful for the reward, I'll go write two more chapters. Chapter 44 Deadly Lies, The Triumvirate Prepares to Gather, Request. Full subscription for this book, Lin Yue Yao happened to be passing by, and when she heard that Lin Chen was going to kill Gu Changqing, her heart tightened for no reason, and she quickly stepped forward to confirm her inquiry. Chen Di, what did you just say? You're going to kill Gu Changqing? Yes sister, he's too arrogant. Lin Chen laughed, there's no need to worry about my safety. After uniting two fierce men and adding me, he'll die for sure. Not knowing about Lin Yue Yao and Gu Changqing's relationship, he looked at the worry on his sister's face and thought that she was afraid that she wouldn't be able to defeat him. Hearing this, Lin Yue Yao's jade hand subconsciously clenched, frowning as she asked, Why do you want to kill him? What grudge do you have with him? I have. To say that I have any grudges with him, I don't. But if he stops me from making money, it's like killing my closest relative. So he must die. Lin Chen laughed in a low voice. There are far too many overworlders who want him dead. This is what happens when you're arrogant and have no one in your sight. Lin Yueyao lightly bit her silver teeth and said, He was working for the benefit of ordinary people. Chen Di, how did you become so selfish? Sister, you stop talking. I will kill him. Lin Chen didn't really want to explain anything. He really thought that she was worried about himself. And said, The three of us are joining forces. Gu Changqing won't be able to escape with his wings. I'll be fine. Sister can rest assured. As for seeking the welfare of ordinary people, when I kill him, 
I will do the same. If I tell you not to get involved in this matter, will you listen? Lin Yueyao stared at him tightly and, Sister Yueyao, you don't have to worry. Lin Chen and Bai Xing and Poseidon Poseidon are the strongest batch of existences in this world. There won't be any danger. Su Yuei also thought that Lin Yueyao was afraid that Lin Chen would be killed back, and also spoke out to persuade him. Lin Yueyao ignored Su Yuei and said, Brother, you speak, sister, you really don't need to worry. Lin Chen said bitterly, I'll be fine, if you really want to go, I'll take Yen Yen and leave now. Lin Yueyao looked at him very firmly. Lin Chen didn't think in terms of his sister having a relationship with Gu Changqing, and when he saw her like this, he had no choice but to lie and say, That's fine, I won't kill. Seeing him promise, Lin Xueyao's serious face only then spread a smile. That's my good brother. Gu Changqing is so strong. Don't mess with him or else your sister will worry. Okay? She was afraid of being seen for something and deliberately said this. And La sister, I won't mess with him. Lin Chen mouth. I'm going to take a bath first. Saying this, he headed to the bedroom without looking back. He was also afraid of being seen to have lied. Sister Yu Yao, I'll go organize his clothes. Su Yue casually found an excuse and quickly followed Lin Chen. Lin Yue Yao didn't think much about it either, and lifted her steps to go downstairs, because Lin Chen had never lied to her since he was a child. Such a good opportunity, you really want to give up? Su Yue came in and after closing the door behind her, she said this, Ha ha, you didn't see that I lied either, that sister can't see it even more. Lin Chen was also relieved to see her ask herself this, When did you become so good at acting? Su Yue went up and whacked his chest scolding in a low voice. Lin Chen, however, hugged her and said with a bad smile, what do you care? Follow me to the bath. Saying this, he picked her up and entered the bathroom. An hour or so, Lin Chen finished, stood in front of the window and lit a cigarette, dialing by Xing's phone. Hey, brother Lin, how many steps have you gotten out? As soon as the call was connected, by Xing directly inquired. Lin Chen lightly inhaled his cigarette and smiled. Late seventh rank, what about you, brother Bai? Bai Xing said, yes, I'm at the peak of the seventh order, I just got out of customs yesterday, you contact the one from e-country, ask him if he's ready, we'll meet together and talk, okay, hang up first, I'll contact by phone to ask, okay, you contact, hang up, Lin Chen hung up the call and directly dialed the satellite phone of e-country, Lin Chen, you're out, what rank are you at now, Poseidon's voice came out, coming up to also ask him what rank he was at, late seventh order, what about your side? Have you gotten out yet? Lin Chen asked. Posigri said, Yes, he left the prison a few days ago at the peak of the seventh order, and is waiting for your call. Very well, have him come over. The three of us will talk face to face. Location? Kyoto, Imperial Sky Hotel. When can they come? Now is fine. It depends on your side of the arrangement. Hearing this, Lin Chen glanced at the time and said, Three o'clock in the afternoon. Gather at the Imperial Sky Hotel in Kyoto. How about it? No problem. I'll go talk to him. Good. Then that's all for now. After saying that, Lin Chen hung up the call. Then he sent a message to Bai Xing, telling him to gather at 3 in the afternoon, at the Imperial Sky Hotel. It was now past 1 in the afternoon. Talked it out? Su Yue got dressed and came up to inquire. Lin Chen smiled lightly and said, All right, just waiting to meet up with them. Su Yue admonished. I heard that Gu Changqing raised a panda. This has to be defended as well. A mutated panda's fighting strength was also terrifying. It's useless to raise anything. It should die or die. Lin Chan sneered and said, Go, go down. I'll eat some first, then tease my cute niece. White Dragon Group, Chairman's Office. Bai Xing, still in a white suit, was sitting in his office chair, listening to Lu Xueihan's report from across the room. After Lu Xueihan gave him a report on the situation over the past few months, he said, Chairman, we can't sell any more of our stuff and we won't be able to hold on any longer. Bai Xing lit a cigarette, took a deep breath and smiled lightly. It's okay, it's good that we can hold on for a few more days. The Demon Alliance is going to fall apart soon. Lu Shuihan said, I hope there will be no accidents. Bai Xing said confidently, there are no accidents. Big brother. Just then, Kuishan knocked on the door and walked in. Sit. Bai Xing gestured for him to sit down, and then asked, the Demon Alliance's teams outside are paying attention, right? Well. I have people keeping an eye on it. The Demon Alliance has five teams outside right now. Kuishan rubbed his fists and said, Big brother, can we do it now? Bai Xing nodded. It's ready. The five teams of the Demon Alliance that are outside. You choose a team and come one by one. There's no rush. Slowly force Gu Changqing to come out. They didn't have the courage to kill the door personally yet. 
Hell knows how many powerful overworlders the Demon Alliance had besides Gu Changqing. Luring them out to kill them was the most stable and safe, with no surprises. In addition, there was a seventh order panda. Whoever dared to kill over there would be acting brainlessly and foolishly. Kuei Shan hemmed and hawed. Demon Alliance Grand Captain Zhao Feng. Move someone of sufficient weight to force out Gu Changqing. Bai Xing extinguished the cigarette in his hand and said, Then pick him, let the brethren go over first. Wait for me to come over with Lin Chan and Poseidon before we do anything. Good. I'll gather the brethren here. Kuei Shan excitedly agreed and got up to leave quickly. Lu Shuehan, who had finished his report, said, Chairman, there's nothing else. I'll go down first. Bai Xing waved his hand. Go. She nodded and turned around to leave the office. After she left, Bai Xing smiled evilly. I hope those two pawns can give a little more strength. After Gu Changqing dies, it will be your two turns. Chapter 45 The three strongest people in the world at this stage join forces to hunt and kill. Kyoto, Imperial Sky Hotel. At 2.50 p.m., Lin Chen drove here, getting out of the car and entering the hotel. He went straight to box 508. Just a moment ago, White Star sent a message saying that the two of them had arrived, and that they should come directly to box 508. Lin Chen entered the elevator and pressed the fifth floor, came out and went straight to the 508 box, then pushed the door in. When he came in, he saw Bai Xing chatting with Poseidon Poseidon. It's quite early. You guys. Lin Chen smiled as he walked in and sat down in an empty seat. White Star said with a smile. Poseidon Ribsh and I happened to meet at the door. This might be a kind of fate. His purpose was, indeed, impure. When they helped him kill Gu Changqing, White Star would take them out one by one. However, Poseidon Riparian had never thought otherwise. Only Lin Chen. This youngster had a pure purpose, and that was to kill Gu Changqing. Poseidon said, let's get straight to the point, how do we lure out Gu Changqing? Bai Xing laughed, I've already made arrangements, I've sent out a squad that's heading to where the Demon Alliance's Grand Captain Zhao Feng squad is, so when we capture and kill a few of them, and then release one to go back and report the news, I don't believe that Gu Changqing won't come, Lin Chen nodded and said, good plan, they've only just gotten on the road, right, with our speed, it's not too late to slowly eat a meal in the past, that's what I was thinking. When we finish off Gu Changcheng, we'll come back and celebrate. We won't get drunk then. White Star took out two cigarettes and ripped them off for Lin Chen and Poseidon respectively. I only smoke this. Poseidon ripped out a cigar. Good taste. White Star smiled and handed the cigarette to Lin Chen. Lin Chen took it, put it to his lips and lit it, took a deep breath and said, Gu Changcheng's strength should not be underestimated. Don't be careless at that time. All of you should take out your killer weapons directly. It's best if you can kill them with one blow. Bai Xing nodded his head in agreement. Right. All of you don't have any reservations. Directly execute the strongest strike, and don't give him half a chance to catch his breath. It was a good opportunity to see how powerful Lin Chen and Poseidon Poseidon Ri Ri's strongest killing moves were. Poseidon Riparian nodded in agreement and took a puff of his cigar, harboring the same small thoughts as White Star. Lin Chen is the most innocent, or too young. Between their bursts of small talk, the waiter began to serve the food. After about an hour or so, they were full of wine and food. Bai Xing took out a cigarette and threw it to Lin Chen. Glancing at the time, he said, light a cigarette and then set off. A little excited, Lin Chen lit the cigarette and took a light drag on it, saying, in the future, the three of us will join forces, and who in the world will be able to rival us? Bai Xing nodded his head and smiled. That's a good point. Kill Gu Chong Chung, and we'll be in charge of this planet. Poseidon ripped a deep breath from his cigar, but he didn't say anything. Not long after, they finished lighting a cigarette, and White Star got up and said, Let's go, the moment of the hunt is here. With a greeting, the three of them quickly left the box, leaving the Imperial Sky Hotel. They had armor covering their bodies, meeting the horrified gazes of many passers-by, blasting across the sky, blinking out of the ultra net and disappearing into the sky. These three, at present, could truly be said to be the strongest group in the world, even if it was a peak Ninth Order foreign beast, under their joint efforts. There was not a single chance of survival. Western City Province, Coastal, the city, Jiangyun City. This city was originally the most prosperous city in the Western City Province, but now, under the ravages of the sea beasts, it had turned dilapidated. Rumble, a sky high giant tree that was over 800 meters tall with branches extending for miles, was located. The scene here was furious, and the tree's tough and thick branches were like long steel whips sweeping across the space. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ten figures shuttled under the interlacing sweeps of the tree's branches, frantically launching attacks against it. Dozens and hundreds of branches swept. The sound of breaking air was like thunderous explosions, like lightning intertwined. 
and once it touched the ground, it would all crumble into a long and deep gully. The buildings in the four fields were all flattened by its branches. Nine of the ten figures that surrounded it were wearing demonic armor and carrying demonic battle blades, frantically dodging plus resisting, charging towards the tree's main body. After half an hour of siege, the nine demonic warriors of the Demon Alliance only attacked 500 meters away from the tree's main body. However, there is a figure is very strong, that is Zhao Feng, wearing crimson hideous evil Yan Luo armor, holding Yan Luo soul suppressor gun, speed perversion, dodging and shifting, has been killed to the big tree body a few meters. Don't think Xiao Feng appear less, will underestimate his strength? This is the most low profile a person, in addition to once a month out of the three day mission, basically in the cultivation of the time. Originally, he didn't show off, but after he broke through to the early 7th rank, his Yen Demon Ultra Tattoo, advanced to become the Yen Luo Ultra Tattoo, and his strength increased so terribly that it was comparable to the Vermilion Bird. This big tree is the middle stage of the 8th order. The demon warriors can only get close to 500 meters away from it, slightly holding the branches of the big tree for their captain. With their strength, even if they can get close, they can't do any harm to it. Purgatory Obliterating Blade after Zhao Feng got close to the big tree's main body three meters away, the terrifying Yama power ran around his body. The Yama soul suppressor gun in his hand glowed greatly. The terrifying power seemed to come from the 18 layers of hell, and it vaguely seemed to be able to hear the roar of evil spirits, and it blasted straight into the big tree's gigantic main body piercing through the air. Humans, sooner or later you will be extinct one day. Big tree body, at this moment came out roaring voice. Extinction or not, you won't be able to see it. Zhao Feng snorted coldly, plop, rumble, unparalleled strike, tyrannical peak of the gun, ruthlessly penetrated its thick tree body, pierced out the gun, rumbling destroyed dozens of miles of earth in the distance, a horrible energy storm swept that side of the space, so that the city of this dilapidated and unbearable is even more full of pallor, buzzing rumble, the big tree broke with a sound and smashed heavily on the ground, Captain Mighty, watching the big tree fall to the ground, the crowd of demonic warriors laughed and went forward, this guy, so strong, a few miles away from this side, on top of a pile of hundreds of meters of ruins, there was a line of 20 people hiding here, Zhao Feng's strong strength deeply shocked them, damn it, if he was at his full strength, I might not even be able to beat him, Kuei Shan was also here, fearing that he would be found out that he hadn't worn his ultra tattoo armor yet, and felt tricky for Zhao Feng's body of strength, the blue haired lowly said lightly, there's still me, what are you afraid of, big brother and the others are coming soon, let's go, meet them for a while, buzz, with those words, her drought demon armor possessed her body, hideous and horrible gray and black armor, the temperature of this place instantly skyrocketed to a few hundred degrees, the crowd saw this and had their armor attached, who, Zhao Feng had just dug out the large tree's late eighth order crystal and core, when he suddenly felt the scent of armor nearby, and turned around to look towards where the scent was coming from, the nine demon warriors, too, looked warily, what came into their eyes was the hideous and ghastly figure of the drought demon, as well as the gusts of scorching heat that came to their faces. Chapter 46, The Squad Was Hunted, Gu Changqing's tattoo begins to evolve. Zhao Feng looked at the group of people who had stepped out, especially the woman in the drought demon armor. There was no doubt that they were the same people who had been secretly staring at them over the past few months. Zhao Feng spoke in a deep voice, Who are you guys? After secretly staring at my demon alliance team for months, you finally couldn't help but show yourselves? Of course it's the people who killed you guys, the blue-haired lowly, blue Meng Meng, looked at her mouth, the body covering drought demon armor emitted an increasing temperature, and a 50 to 60 centimeter dagger appeared in each of her palms between the light surges, behind her, Kuei Shan, wearing a thick earth dragon armor, the remaining 18 juniors, all wearing dragon snake armor, stared at Zhao Feng and the others as if they were prey, hidden rats, do you dare to give your names and from what power? Zhao Feng wanted to figure out the identity of this group of people. If he was lucky enough to escape with his life today, he would definitely have his boss come to his door and exterminate them all in the future. Now that he was only half of his state, he knew deep down that he couldn't defeat the drought demon woman and the man in earth dragon armor. Wait, only run, can't get attached to the battle. A person who is about to die, doesn't need to know that much, just suffer death. Boom, Lan Meng Meng didn't speak nonsense, and between the words, she killed Zhao Feng scatter and run, if you can run one is one, seeing this, Zhao Feng shouted in without any hesitation, he disappeared across the sky as fast as he could, the nine demon warriors heard this and also scattered and ran away at the same time, chase, don't let them run away, Kashan bellowed, quickly chasing towards one of the demonic warriors, the others locked onto other demonic warriors and chased after them as fast as they could, you can't run away, 
Lan Meng Meng, on the other hand, followed Zhao Feng, and the two of them fled and chased each other above the long sky, their speeds were both quite astonishing. Die for me, Kueishan carried a huge battle sword, and with his strength, he caught up with a demon warrior in a few breaths, raising his sword across the sky and slashing it with force, you will not die well either. Rumble, with a rumble, the demonic warrior, was tragically destroyed by Kashan's powerful slash, the strength of the sixth rank, how could it defeat Kashan's mid-seventh rank, killing one, Kashan then went after the other demonic warriors, damn it, if you let the boss find out the identity of your group, all of you will be left begging for your lives, Zhao Feng, who was galloping like lightning in the long air, realized that one of his brethren's chi had disappeared, and he roared with incomparable anger, they were all brothers who had been born and died with him, his heart was dripping blood, and he was so angry that he wanted to turn around and go back to fight with them for his life, but reason told him that he couldn't die here, he didn't hesitate to burn his ultra tattoo and burst into a faster speed to run away, eh, Blue Meng Meng, who was chasing after him, looked at his suddenly surging speed, and was surprised that he wanted to run back even though he burned his ultra tattoo, but she didn't have the courage to burn it, and as she watched the distance grow farther and farther, she was ready to give up the chase, once you burned the ultra tattoo, there was no stopping it until it disappeared from your body, in addition, she was going to let one person go back to report, since she couldn't catch up there was no need to chase after them, boom, run, however, right at this moment, in the direction where Zhao Feng was fleeing, there was a sudden burst of incomparably blazing, dignified, and terrifying pressure and power that looked like an emperor was approaching the dust, after the loud noise, after that, Lin Chen, who was covered by the emperor's armor, was seen hardening Zhao Feng's armor and lifting his neck. Humph, how can I lure out Gu Changqing if I let you run away? Lin Chen looked at him and snorted lightly. You're Lin Chen? Zhao Feng stared dead at the person in front of him. Lin Chen laughed coldly. It's me right, is it surprising? In the meantime, Bai Xing, wearing the immortal bird armor that was as holy as a white angel, and Poseidon Poseidon, who was wearing the fourfold ultra tattoo enhanced, Thunder Sun Death Armor, arrived. Zhao Feng said in a chilling voice. Lin Chen, with this move, aren't you afraid that you're going to get your whole family killed? He he, I'm definitely afraid, but can you guys do it? Lin Chen sneered disdainfully. From today onwards, your demon alliance will cease to exist. Zhao Feng was even more disdainful. Ridiculous, with a few of you ants, in front of the boss. They're all trash that can't rise to the top and only dare to make small moves in secret. Bang, Lin Chen didn't want to do a verbal battle with it. He subdued him with a slap, then looked at Lan Meng Meng and said, don't kill them all, leave one to go back and report. Lan Meng Meng came over and said, Don't worry, we've already let one go. Lin Chen nodded, carrying Zhao Feng between flashes, landing on top of a collapsed building within the city, throwing it casually to the ground, smiling, Just wait for Gu Chang Cheng, let's disperse our armor first and find a place to hide. Blue Meng Meng you watch here. Lan Meng Meng said, Good, you guys find a suitable ambush spot, brother Bai, brother Posey I, Let's hide in three different directions, using Blue Ming Ming's cry of ridiculous as a signal. At that time, we'll simultaneously execute our strongest strikes, and take advantage of his defenses to finish him off. Good. No problem. After saying that, the three of them spread out, finding a location that was hidden and suitable for launching an attack. The distance between Lakjiang City and Longjiang City was less than half an hour at most for a sixth order overgrown tattooist to travel back and forth. Not long after, Kashan and the other 19 people returned one after another. How's it going? Lan Meng Meng inquired. Kueishan smiled sullenly. Let one go. The rest were all taken out by me with a single slash. Good. Now it's just a matter of keeping watch. Lan Meng Meng dispersed her armor, found a place to sit, and took out her phone to play idly. Captain. Brothers. Lu Zhang. The demon warrior who had been spared by them and had already run away, had his fists clenched and was filled with grief, feeling Zhao Feng sent still there he yelled in his heart, Captain, I'll definitely run back and get the boss to come over and break them into pieces, Lu Zhang, who did not know that it was the other party who intentionally let himself go, in order to be able to escape back to report the news, he did not hesitate to turn into an ordinary person, burning his own super tattoo, and his speed suddenly increased, quickly disappearing, at the same time, within Gu Changqing's retreat room, ah, an incomparably agonizing scream resounded inside the extremely soundproofed retreat room, only to see that on the ground, Gu Changqing was holding his head with both hands, constantly rolling on the ground, his mouth emitting a hoarse and hysterical roar of pain, his body was red, like a red-hot iron bar, and the nine tattoos on his body were all emitting a ferocious, bloodthirsty, tyrannical light, 
The incomparably high temperature burned every cell, every drop of blood, and every bone in his body. The spiritual power that seemed to be tearing his head apart was like a tsunami raging inside his head. The double torture of his soul and physical body made him beg for life and death. Such torment began last night when he managed to break through all the ultra stripes to the seventh order except for Luo Throat, and they suddenly rioted with ferocity. Gu Changqing knew it was because they were evolving, because between last night and now, the cultivating Luo Super Stripe behind him had successfully evolved into the cultivating Luo Emperor Super Stripe. There were still nine more lined up to evolve, and the one evolving now was the Black Dragon Super Stripe. If it was evolving one a day, he would have to suffer in this pain for ten more days. Chapter 47 This Beast in self-destruction, request for full subscription. This book, in less than 10 minutes, Lu Zhang, who had been released back by Lin Chen and the others, looked like a long rainbow flying from afar, flying straight inside the shelter and yelling, our team has been attacked, and senior captain Zhao Feng has been brutally suppressed by the opposite side, asking for help, he landed on the square, and after this yelling, his ultra tattoo completely burned clean, and his entire body went limp, completely reduced to an ordinary person. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. As his yell fell for a moment, one figure after another swept in violently. Who did this? The first to arrive was Tao Tai, who had achieved the peak of the seventh stage yesterday and left the gate. His armor also ushered in an evolution. And looking at the brother in front of him who had run back to report that his ultra tattoo had burned, boundless killing intent filled his eyes. Who dares to make a move against our people? Taking their own lives isn't it? Vermilion Bird, who was wearing a mask, also appeared here at this moment his hoarse voice boiling with killing intent. Damn it, do you know who did this? Is Zhao Feng alive? Wu Rui followed closely behind, his face very somber, killing intent showing on his face. At the same time, there were so many other members of the Demon Alliance who were in the base who came over, all of them raging. I don't know who they are. Over in Lokjiang City, all the other brethren are dead. Where's the boss? Go save senior captain Zhao Feng. He was suppressed by that group of people. He's probably still over there now. Go save the captain. Make sure to break them into pieces and kill their entire family. Saying that, Lu Zhan let out a loud cry. They were all his brothers who were born to die. Watching them being killed one by one with his own eyes. He couldn't tense up anymore. Outside the square in a dark place. A black robed man appeared here on the official website. Damn beasts. Why do we need the boss to take action? I'll go and behead them. Boom. Tao Tai said and charged up into the sky in a rage. I'll go too. Vermilion Bird said and followed right behind Tao Tai. In the blink of an eye. It rushed out of the ultra net and disappeared into the sky. The black robed man in the dark also chased after him. Before Gu Changqing's seclusion, he had instructed her that if there were any accidents, he would definitely make a move. Who on earth dares to make a move against our demon alliance? Really fucking aid bear heart and leopard gall. They're looking for death. The members of the devil alliance who were here in the square were all filled with killing intent. Chief Steward Wu. What happened? Zhang Li walked over at this time and inquired in a somewhat puzzled manner. Originally, her name was Li Li, but she shared the same name with a reader's mom. So she changed it a bit. There are trash who don't know how to die and attack my demon alliance members. Wu Rue grimly assisted Lu Zhang on the ground and said, You let Meng Lan get ready. There might be a bloody battle next. The other party dares to blatantly make a move against us. Their strength is definitely not to be underestimated. He knew that the boss was in seclusion. And even more so, he knew that the boss was now evolving the super stripe unable to come out. Good. Zhang Li nodded gravely before turning to leave. Everyone disperse? Those rats that can't see the light of day won't be able to hop around for long. Wu Rui spoke to the crowd outside, then helped Lu Zhang, who was still in tears, to leave. Little Tuan Tuan left from the square and arrived outside the gate of Villa Gu Changqing's retreat room. Roar, vaguely audible, an agonizing hiss could be heard coming from inside. The sound insulation, fruit such a good door, can be heard the boss's agonizing low roar? What exactly is he going through? The little troop, Zhang Yuting, was a bit disturbed and said through the sound transmission device, Boss, there are mysterious overworlders, who struck out at senior captain Zhao Feng's team. With a team of ten, senior captain Zhao Feng was suppressed and only one escaped back. The rest are dead. Roar, did Tao Tai and the others go over? Gu Changqing's low roar came out. He was really in pain right now. His body was red and his eyes were red. Tao Tai and Vermilion Bird, both went to rescue the others. After rescuing them, Find out those people for me. I'm going to kill their entire family. Gu Chang Chung, who was already deep in infinite pain, heard that someone had dared to kill the members of his demon alliance, and his emotions were violent to the extreme. Good, boss, are you, all right? Little Tuan asked with concern. Can't die. You go. Gu Changqing didn't want anyone, 
to hear his wretched death hiss. After this time, he would become even more invincible. The gray mark in his palm was also filled with wisps of bizarre ability to evolve the super lines on his body. After Nirvana, that was new life. Okay, I'm leaving. Little Dumpling quickly turned around and left. Wait, Gu Changqing suddenly called out to her. What's wrong? Boom. The moment she turned around, the door to the retreat room boomed open. When little Tuan Tuan saw her current boss, her unclothed body covered in crimson, her eyes cracked inside, she was shocked and her heart tightened. Gu Changqing didn't say anything, forcibly enduring the pain in her body and in her mind, she directly pulled out the 8th order monster ultra tattoo in her sea of consciousness, and swooshed it into little Tuan Tuan's brow. Boom. At once, little Tuan Tuan's body shook, her sea of consciousness opened up, soft and violent spiritual power raged, and an incomparably powerful force appeared steeply within her body, washing the bones, cells, blood, organs and bowels of her entire body in an instant, and at the clavicle of her chest, a monster beast imprint surfaced, this was the ultra tattoo that Gu Changqing had refined, and it didn't hurt at all for her to fuse it, instead it was very comfortable and ethereal, just in case, you go over there for me as well. Gu Changqing said and closed the door with a loud roar. Not only could the tricky seal absorb other people's super grains, it could also fuse the absorbed super grains to others. It was very counterintuitive. This monstrous ultra mark was of no use to him at all. Instead of keeping it as a decoration, it would be better to give it to little Tuan Tuan, adding a new powerful battle force to the demon alliance. What a powerful force. Little Tuan Tuan felt the power flowing on the surface of her body and raging in her body. Her delicate goose egg face was covered with shock and excitement. And with a thought the monster armor attached itself, covering her concave and convex body, outlining the perfect curves of the lines. This is the power of the super stripe? Boss, thank you. She was moved beyond words and bowed three times deeply to the retreat room. Go! Gu Changqing's hoarse voice came out. Okay boss, I'll catch up with them. Little Tuan answered back and went downstairs in his monster armor. More than ten minutes ago. That's Lin Chen. Who are the rest of these people? Damn bastards. Daring to make a move against the Demon Alliance? The highest hall in Kyoto, Xian Yuan Wang Rui who sensed the satellite's disturbance, was the first one to come here. When he saw the scene projected by the satellite, his eyes widened. In it was the very scene where Lin Chen had forcefully smashed Zhao Feng's armor, and the two of them were conversing. Damn Lin Chen, you're taking your own life? Xian Yuan Wang Rui was enraged. The entire Lin family will be heading for extinction because of you. What's going on? At this time, Huang Mengwa and Long Zhangwe came in. Listening to Xian Yuan Wang Rui's rant, they asked in confusion, Come see for yourselves. King Xian Yuan Rui gritted his teeth. Eh? They were surprised and went up to watch. Damn. Upon seeing the scene within the projection, they simultaneously bellowed. This beast, is taking his own life? Chapter 48, Chaotic Battle. Ancient relics are revealed. Gu Changqing forces his way out of the, Guan, Long Zhanghua and Huang Mengwa, looking at Lin Chen, who was suppressing Zhao Feng within the satellite projection said in a deep voice, how dare he? Next, hearing the words that they were going to hunt Gu Changqing, Shen Yuan Wang Rui and the others' faces were as gloomy as water as they said, Boss Gu's guess was indeed correct. This son Lin Chen has a rebel bone. Huang Mengwa frowned and said, who are those other super strikers? Should we contact Gu Changqing to tell him not to go over there? He's still in seclusion. He shouldn't be able to pass. Long Zhangguo was puzzled. Why have all the sea beasts in the coastal cities disappeared in recent months? Where have they gone? Xian Yuan Wang Rui shook his head and said, forget about the sea beasts for now, what we need to do now is to stop Gu Changqing from going over there, he might have come out of seclusion as well, Huang Mengwa pondered, I think that Gu Changqing is not necessarily false to them, his strength is obvious to all, and he's also been in seclusion for so long, hell knows to what point he's grown, Long Zhangwa thought about it and also said, you have a point, as far as I know, Gu Changqing is an extremely protective person, his men were brutally murdered, even if we call over, we won't be able to stop him at all. Then let's watch it first. Xian Yuan Wang Rui nodded, and the three of them sat down, watching with gloomy faces. Country E, the capital city. Poseidon Drain Drain was also watching. Rumble. Right at this moment, in the sky above the city of Fallen City, two extremely violent figures appeared and swept straight towards where Zhao Feng's aura was. Ha! On top of the ruins of that building, Lan Meng Meng, who was playing with her cell phone, gave a low hmm and then got up, her armor attached to her body, and lifted her eyes to look into the distance. The figures of Tao Tai and Vermilion Bird came into view. The one who came wasn't Gu Chanqing, but these two are also strong. Seeing this, Kuei Shan frowned. In the dark, Lin Chen and the others, who had restrained all their own auras, 
looked at the visitor who wasn't Gu Changqing and narrowed their eyes slightly. That aura of the visitor was extraordinary. Boom. In the meantime, Tao Tai and Vermilion Bird landed in the sky above that building. After evolving once at the seventh stage, two more chest armor in the shape of Tao Tai fangs appeared on the front chest of the Tao Ya's armor. A tyrannical Tao Tai totem also appeared on the surface of the Tao Ya shaped armor. It had evolved into the Tao Tai King armor. After the Vermilion Bird evolved, a pair of Vermilion Bird light wings were born on her back, and a lifelike Vermilion Bird totem covered the front of her armor. Courageous, daring to wait here for us to come over. Tautya's ghastly eyes stared at those mole crickets on the mansion, then saw that Zhao Feng had no fear for his life, and slightly let go of his heart. Gu Changqing didn't come, but two mole crickets came instead. Laugh to death. Lan Mengmeng let out a cold laugh and offered a dagger across the sky, preemptively killing Tao Tai. The burning breath permeating the armor was like dusk descending to envelop this space. I don't know how to die. The furious Tao Tai snorted coldly and rushed to meet him, not even offering up his weapon. The devouring power raged in his armor-covered hands bursting the sky and suppressing the front. A loud bang. He collided with the vermilion bird. Ah. Immediately after, a miserable scream rang out. When that energy aftershock dissipated, a shocking scene appeared. Tao Ye's hand pinched Lan Meng Ming's neck, and the dry demon armor she wore had long since exploded. With this, you dare to make a move against a member of my demon alliance? Tao Tai lifted her up high and pinched. The deformation of her neck, and a subtle clicking sound sounded. Oh. Lan Mengming's eyes turned white as she was pinched, and whimpering sounds continuously came out of her mouth. Stop it. Seeing that Lan Mengmeng was about to be pinched to death alive, White Star could not care less, rushed out with a loud bang. The immortal bird armor on his body, transformed into the nine dragons armor in the blink of an eye, with nine different colors of dragon patterns running across the landscape. The hideous and divine dragon armor was of great divine majesty, and he held the dragon spear and assaulted the Tao Tai. Eh? When Tao Tai reacted, the spear blade that pierced through the sky had already arrived behind him. The moment he pinched off Lan Mengming's neck with a click, he bellowed. Tao Tai Overlord. Boom. A hegemony body shadow violently manifested from within his body. At the same time, the spear blade, which seemed to be able to pierce through everything, violently struck his Tao Tai hegemony body. A huge sound rose up, and the Tao Tai hegemony body shattered. The entire Tao Tai flew hundreds of meters across the sky. Asshole. Killing my sister. You deserve to die. Looking at Lan Meng Meng whose breath was all but gone, White Star's rage was overwhelming. Blood Dragon Burial Sky. On. He violently raised his hand. Blood-colored light surged in his palm, as if he had opened the Dragon Realm portal, and a blood dragon several hundred feet in size pressed down on the entire sky, with a great momentum, opening its mouth and whistling longingly as it lunged at Tao Tai. Boom. Tao Tai, who had just stabilized his body, looked at the terrifying blood dragon that was locking him in, and shouted. You're the ones who deserve to die. Boom. Tao Ye's eyes blossomed with bloodlight, and between his open mouth, he let out a roar that shook heaven and earth, and offered up his Tao Tai halberd, and with a loud bang, his halberd united, transforming into a Tao Tai that was several hundred feet in size to meet him. The next moment, along with the Tao Tai and the blood dragon collision, exploded the sky for an unknown number of miles. Whoosh. The Tao Tai rushed out from the ripples of the explosion with his war halberd, still raging and unresolved. Charging straight at Bai Xing. I will make your life worse than death. Bai Xing's killing intent was boundless as he whistled long and loud. The nine dragon's armor erupted with infinite light. Nine different kinds of dragon power intertwined. And he unstoppably met it. Rumble. The two fought together at the top of the long sky. Each strike seemingly destroying a city. Die for me. Taiji Ray. Lin Chen suddenly killed out. And between the surges of light in his palm. He manifested a Taiji diagram and went straight to kill the vermilion bird. Bang. The vermilion bird, who was watching the battle, didn't even think that there was someone hiding in the dark, and was viciously struck by the Taiji diagram, flying horizontally to the ground in shock, and crashing out of a huge deep pit with a loud bang. In the pit, she wanted to stand up, but could not do it no matter what. Being hit by the Emperor Armor's killing move without any defense, even White Star would be seriously injured. The armor's surface was riddled with cracks, seemingly ready to shatter at any time. I didn't expect it. Lin Chen flew down and ruthlessly trampled on the vermilion bird with his foot. Under his foot, her armor finally couldn't withstand shattering and dispersing. Put, the vermilion bird, whose mask had also shattered, opened her mouth to let out a large mouthful of blood. It was a pale, bloodless, delicate and bright face. The 8th order crystal core that Gu Changqing had obtained had already been refined away by her. If not for the sneak attack, it would have taken a while to deal with you. Suffer death. 
A hideous voice resounded from within the helmet of Linchen's armor as he offered the sword of Aurora and stabbed straight at her heart without any mercy. Buzz. However, suddenly at this moment, an eerie black gas rolled away from behind Lin Chen and, condensing into four black spears, it was so abrupt that it fiercely blasted onto his back. Bang! Terrifying power erupted. Cracks surfaced in the armor behind Lin Chen who was sneak attacked, and his entire person was like a cannonball rumbling towards the distance, looking for death. Seeing this, the Poseidon Poseidon, who had been watching all along, saw a sun god cone emerge in his palm, piercing straight through the humanoid black mist. Don't be wild. At the same time, Lin Chen, who had stabilized his body, directly opened the semi-ultimate state of the emperor armor. Raising his hand, the five elemental emperor carousel appeared in front of him, blasting towards the humanoid black mist with great force. Go away, wait for the boss to come out, then abuse them. A hoarse voice sounded as the humanoid black mist rolled over the vermilion bird on the ground, then transformed into black mist and vanished. Good. On that dilapidated mansion, the little troop appeared at an unknown time and had already killed Kuei Shan and the others, carrying Zhao Feng to follow along and leave. I can't get away. You guys go. Tao Tai was facing a nine dragons pulling coffin plus immortal bird ultra stripe existence. He was now being blasted and his armor was shattered in many places. He couldn't get rid of it at all. Buzz. A black mist coming from nowhere, instantly wrapped around Tao Tai, then buzzed and dissipated. In the next moment, Tao Tai had appeared beside the humanoid black mist, and they were far away. Kill, I will kill them all today. The death of his sister caused by Xing to completely lose his mind, and the power of the nine dragons roared, chasing them straight in the direction they had fled. Good, give it up. Lin Chen agreed and chased after them with him. Be sensible, don't chase after them. A large ancient relic has just emerged in the blood triangle. There seems to be alien technology, let's go and look for some opportunities first. Poseidon ripped into them and yelled at them. Ancient ruins of alien technology? Upon hearing this, they all stopped. And White Star, who had died his sister, was not even on top. Turning his eyes to him, sure? A thousand times sure. Satellite capture. Just asked out. If you guys don't go I'll go over there myself first. Saying that, he turned around and crossed the sky, heading straight for the blood triangle. The reason why he didn't make a move just now was that he was trying to understand the situation with Poseidon. First come, first served. In his mind, nothing, nothing was as important as that relic. People could be killed later, but the treasures of alien technology would be gone if they went too late. Lin Chen followed without saying a word. After White Star collected his sister's corpse, he also followed closely behind. Meanwhile, inside the Demon Alliance base, rumble, very suddenly, nine different colors of evil light boomed out of the central villa, rushing upwards in trepidation, penetrating through the atmosphere straight into the extraterrestrial realm. Chapter 49 Gathering Manpower The boss is going on a killing spree, request all. Order this book. Kyoto, inside a certain deserted alley. Who are you? Su Yuei looked at the one across from her, dressed in a black robe and cloak with a mask. She had just returned from purchasing something outside, and was suddenly brought here by this black-robed man. Where I come from, as for who I am, you don't even need to know. A low voice came out from under the black-robed man's mask. Su Yue said in a cold voice, Then what did you bring me here for? The black-robed man said, I calculated a fortune for you. You will die soon. Bullshit. Hearing the other party's words, Su Yue carried the bag and turned around to leave. Do you really think that Lin Chen can kill that deviant Gu Chanqing? The black-robed man said playfully. At the sound of his voice, Su Yue stopped in her tracks and turned back to look at him. What do you mean? Currently, if you want to kill him, you definitely can't do it by force. I can help you kill him. The only condition is, give me the Rakshasa super tattoo on your body. The black-robed man's voice was hoarse and low, unable to hear male or female gender. Su Yue hesitated. You can take my super pattern? The black-robed man said quietly. Yes, but only if you volunteer. After taking your super pattern, I can guarantee your life without worry and give you a new super pattern. Sure you didn't lie to me? Lin Chen and the others really can't kill Gu Chanqing? Su Yue was a little heartbroken. She was a fickle woman. And she was only with Lin Chen because she valued his potential. If she could evening out a more powerful one, she would not hesitate. Otherwise, she wouldn't have. Jumped ship when Gu Changqing sold the group. She hated Gu Changqing so much because he hadn't told her in advance of the news that the end times were coming. It caused her to quit her job and lose her great future. The black-robed man said disdainfully, Like you, an ant that I can abuse with a lift of my hand. Is there a need to lie to you? I can give you my ultra tattoo, provided that I kill Gu Changqing first. Su Yue put forward her own conditions. Ha, no problem. The black-robed man's horse laughter came out from under his mask, then snapping his fingers, 
he shot a mysterious crimson mark towards Su Yue. This is? Su Yue looked at the small seal floating in front of her. Baby palm size. Strange shape. Like some kind of small snake organization. The black robed man laughed lowly. You don't need to know what this is. Just put it on Gu Yan Yan. Gu Changqing will die for sure. Why? What is Gu Yan Yan's relationship with Gu Changqing? Su Yue was full of questions. The black robed man laughed eerily. She is Gu Changqing's daughter. As long as you put this seal, touch Gu Yan Yan's skin, it will hibernate into her body. When their father and daughter are close to within 2 meters, this seal will erupt to abrade Gu Changqing's soul's robbing light. Even if he super stripe armor to cover his body can't be blocked. Gu Changqing's daughter? Su Yue was stunned. Why didn't I know that Gu Changqing and Lin Yue Yao had been together? She had become Gu Changqing's secretary at the age of 19 and really had no impression of this at all. Don't worry about this. Just integrate this seal into Gu Yin Yan's body. Remember, only when the bloodline's closest relatives are close to each other, it will explode out of the dormant person's body. Whom? Why did you kill him? Su Yu. Wei asked the doubt in her heart. I needed the ultra stripe on his body. Doesn't it have to be voluntary? How are you going to take it if he dies? Theoretically, but, the ultra tattoo on his body is worth any price I have to pay. Like that. If there's nothing else to explain, then I'll go back first. Go, follow me, and you have an open future. Go. Su Yue took the soul suppressor seal, then turned to leave. My super sorcerer race, exiled for so long, has finally revisited the ancestral star. After Su Yue left, the black robed man let out a deep whisper. Then his figure disappeared in place between flashes. Western suburb, Demon Alliance base. The nine colored evil light that broke straight through the domain was overbearing. Bloody, brutal, and unbeatable. What's the situation? Hiss, this is. What class has the boss broken through? What a terrifying aura. Worthy of being the boss. The ultra tattooists within the base were all filled with shock as they looked at the nine colored light that rushed skyward. It lasted for several whole minutes before it gradually dissipated. The reason why he was in such a hurry was because after handing over the monster armor to Little Dumpling, he could actually see the scene over there in his mind as well. Watching the vermilion bird almost get killed, watching the Tao Tai covered in wounds, watching Zhao Feng dying, and watching the other party being so arrogant that they still dare to chase after them. Gu Changqing spared the danger of bursting and dying, and forcefully urged the power of the weird seal to finish evolving the ultra tattoo on his body. Boom! The door inside the retreat chamber slowly opened. The unclothed Gu Changqing stepped out of it, and on his slender and robust treasure body, the tattoos were all flowing with evil light, becoming more and more like living creatures. At the corners of his eyes on both sides, there was an additional gray stripe, adding a bit of demonic dominance to him. With the exception of the Luo Throat Ultra Tattoo, all of them had evolved into Emperor-level Ultra Tattoos. The frightening increase in strength was so great that Gu Changqing didn't quite dare to imagine it. With the addition of the bizarre marks, it felt like even a single Black Dragon Imperial Armor could abuse all enemies, compared to before he had even evolved. It was truly a world of difference. He almost fell this time with his evolution, and when he awakened as well. Xiao, Wang Rong came up at this time, just in time to see Gu Changqing, who didn't cover a single thread, come out, and froze, stopping the words that came to her mouth. Gu Changqing, however, was calm, his deep and majestic eyes looking at her, faintly saying, go gather all the members of the Demon Alliance to assemble. I'm going to take down the Lin family first, forcing that Lin Shen to come back, kill them all. Saying so, he walked straight towards his bedroom. Gu Changqing was able to see what she saw through the small group's perspective, but she couldn't hear the sound and didn't know that they were traveling to the blood triangle. Okay. Wang Rong turned around and quickly walked downstairs after returning to her senses in some surprise. Why surprised? Of course it was because she had never seen anything that majestic before. Buzz. In the sky above the outside of the Demon Alliance base, a black fog came in here and there, and a few blinks of an eye came in through the hypergrid. Spirits and demons landed outside the villa's gates with a tau tie in tattered armor and a badly injured vermilion bird, the little dumpling, whose monster armor covered his body, carried the dying Zhao Feng down. Why are you guys in such a sorry state? At that exact moment, Wang Rong walked out of the villa, ready to go find Wu Rui and ask him to gather all the Demon Alliance members. When she saw the wretched Tao Tai and vermilion bird, she couldn't help but show a surprised look, how strong the two of them were. How could Wang Rong not know? What kind of enemy was it that could beat them like this? I've met a ruthless person. I'm not as good as myself. Tao Tai was ashamed. That guy, I'm afraid only the boss can finish him off. When he fought me, I could feel that although he was furious, he didn't use his true strength. At most 40% to half, like he was hiding his clumsiness. Little Tuan Duan dispersed his helmet and said, Auntie Wang, is the boss out of the gate? Just now, from far away, 
We could see a pillar of nine colored light rushing into the sky. Yes, it's bathing. I'll go find Wu Rui first and tell him to gather his men. The boss is going on a killing spree. Wang Rong nodded his head and finished, leaving with quick steps. After he left, the crowd entered the villa. The spirits and demons threw the vermilion bird on the sofa, casually dropping a few seventh order crystal cores. The vermilion bird lay on the sofa, running his spiritual energy to absorb the energy in the crystal cores to heal his wounds. Tao Tai sat on the side and also took out the crystal cores to heal his wounds. He wasn't as badly injured as Vermilion Bird. Senior Captain Zhao is super strike burned out and he's in a heavy coma. What should we do? Little Dumpling said with a slight frown as he laid Zhao Feng flat on the sofa and felt his state. Spirits and monsters said faintly. Wait for the boss to come down. Lin Chen's move against Zhao Feng's squad and deliberately releasing one back was undoubtedly a setup for hunting the boss. And we bumped into it. Tao Tai cursed as he healed his wounds. Damn. That guy's nine dragons pulling coffin ultra tattoo. It's truly terrifying. If only the boss could take out that guy and get the other party's ultra tattoo out for me. He did have great thoughts about White Star's ultra tattoo. And the reason why he knew about it is because on the way back from the small group of mouth to learn that the boss not only can seize other people's tattoos, but also can give the seized tattoos to others. Chapter 50 Future City Kill the Lin family in Kyoto. Kyoto, the highest meeting hall. The three of them, Xian Yuan Wan Roy, we're looking at the scene over at the Blood Triangle. An ancient relic that occupied two-thirds of the Blood Triangle's land had suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Humans who were within the range of its emergence couldn't even escape from the super tattooed, and were brutally killed by the layer of energy light curtains that enveloped the relic. This relic, like a city of the future, was covered by a lavender energy light screen, through the satellite's image capture, only to see that there were no living people in the city. Many robot armies several meters high roamed. The technological atmosphere of the city was incomparably strong, with a succession of high-rise buildings. In the center of the city, there was a magnificent building that was a thousand meters high and covered an extremely large area. The outside of the building was shrouded by a star ring, on top of which were arranged long-range weapons that did not exist on this planet. What is this? A future city? Long John Gua's eyes widened as he looked on with horror. Does this mean that our planet, other than our generation of human civilization, has also had a human civilization? Xian Yuan Wan Rui also looked with eyes full of incredulity. Huang Mengwa, on the other hand, laughed. The heaven and earth anomalies have all come and gone, and coming out with something even more fantastic. I don't feel that it's a surprise. That's, what, a half-man, half-beast? At this time, within the range captured by the satellite lens, they saw many, many, half-beast, half-human sea creatures, in extremely large numbers, heading towards that future city. Judging from the features, they were all sea beasts, Xian Yuan Wang Rui hesitantly said. Sea beasts can turn into half-human forms now? Long Zhanghua frowned, regardless of whether they can change or not. This future city has a lot at stake. Let the Dragon King group bring a few pandas over there. Ding bell. Suddenly at this moment, the satellite phone on the table in front of Xian Yuan Wang Rui rang, displaying Gu Chongqing. Seeing this, he hurriedly answered it and said, Boss Gu. Gu Changqing's bland and deep voice came out. Do you know where Lin Chen is located? Xian Yuan Wang Rui replied back. I know. That brute Lin Chen, along with the two that hunted your demon alliance, have traveled to the Blood Triangle. And just now, not long ago, there was a future city that came out. Can you take the satellite projection and present it over on one of the largest screens? Yes. Boss Gu. What are you going to do? Lock the satellite onto the Kyoto Lin family. You'll know later. Ah, uh, good. Xian Yuan Wang Rui agreed. As his words fell, the call was hung up by Gu Changqing. Long Zhanghua laughed coldly. He's going to exterminate the Lin family. That animal Lin Chen. He might only feel remorse when he sees one of his closest relatives die under Gu Changqing's butcher's knife. He deserves it. Prepare to turn the satellite around. Huang Zhanghua didn't sympathize at all. Inside the villa's hall, the demons and ghosts and little Tuan Duan sat and waited, while Tao Tai and Vermilion Bird were healing their wounds. After half an hour of healing, Tao Tai's injuries had basically recovered and was lighting a cigarette. The 68 members who were in the base of the Demon Alliance, led by their captains, were all waiting outside the villa gate. The Lin family was a large family, and the number of bases and outer families added up to at least a hundred people. Due to Lin Chen's identity, many overworlders had defected to the Lin family, numbering at least two to three hundred. Lin Chen's move to kill his Demon Alliance brothers, it wouldn't be him, Gu Chang Cheng, if he didn't kill his entire family. There were also the remaining two and one of them was undoubtedly the sixth awareness super striker from the E-Country. First destroy the Lin family, then kill the E-Country. He had said that as long as Country E dared to make a move against him, 
the Dragon Country's territory would be doubled. At this time, Gu Changqing walked down dressed in a special black suit, 1 meter 85 head of the slender stature of the great and upright, very way face is cold color, deep eyes sometimes flashed a few tyrannical, even if he was not wearing armor, the feeling he gave people was full of oppression. Boss, seeing this, the spirits, demons, Tao Tai, and little Tuan Duan got up and shouted. Vermilion Bird was too badly injured and was still concentrating on absorbing the crystal cores to heal. Gu Changqing nodded slightly towards them, then came to the sofa and looked at the heavily unconscious Xiao Feng. Tao Tai whispered, Boss, can Xiao Feng still be saved? Unhindered, all that's needed is to color him a super stripe and he'll wake up. Gu Changqing used his own vast spiritual power to check it up and down before heading towards the door. Tao Tai and Little Dumpling followed behind him. As for the demons and ghosts, they turned into black mist and left first. Boss, on the open ground outside the villa, with Wu Rui Wang Rong at the head, the 68 members of the Demon Alliance gathered here. Both men and women were wearing black suits, their bodies stood straight, and when they saw their boss come out, they all shouted in unison. Lin Yueya's best friend Qin Yufei was also there. Gu Changqing's deep eyes swept over the 68 brothers in front of him and spoke in a dignified voice. Gentlemen, I don't want to talk too much about nonsense, I just want to say one thing, whoever commits a crime against my Demon Alliance, no matter who, no matter the identity, I will kill his entire clan to the core. Those who violate my demon alliance, kill. The crowd looked solemn and shouted with murderous auras. Wang Rong, Wu Rue, you stay behind to look after Vermilion Bird and Zhao Feng. Tao Tai, you take all the members of his congregation to the Lin family in Kyoto. Dig three feet into the ground for me. Catch anyone related to the Lin family together. And kill anyone who resists without amnesty. I'll go to the Kunlun Mountains. I'll be right there afterward. That beast should have transformed into a dragon. Gu Changqing said, the black dragon imperial armor covered his body. A horrible aura of tyranny and majesty, shocking the hearts and minds of everyone present. The evolved black dragon imperial armor didn't need the fourfold armor to cover its body. And there were also two black dragons circling behind it. This set of armor was incredibly oppressive just by its appearance. Let's go. You guys set off over there as well. Gu Changqing faintly left behind a sentence. And with a loud bang, he broke through the air and disappeared into the side of space, the speed of which was astonishing. Depart, Tao Tai, his armor possessed, gave an order and rushed up into the sky. The members of the crowd see this, have armor possession to follow. The momentum left the base. Kun Lun Mountain, haze shrouded, majestic mountains magnificent 10,000 feet, such as dragons and snakes circling. This Kun Lun Mountain is very quiet, not a single roar of a foreign beast can be heard. Boom! At this moment, Gu Changqing descended from the sky and landed high above the sky outside the Kunlun Mountains. Aang, the deep blue dragon eyes of the twin dragons behind him stared eerily at the distant mountains, before opening their mouths and letting out a deafening roar. On, as the sound of the double black dragon's roar fell, the depths of the Kunlun Mountains, even immediately responded with a roar. Rumble. After that, a huge object was seen rushing out from the sky blanketing clouds in the depths of the Kunlun Mountains. This is an eighth order true dragon, up to a thousand meters long covered in black and blue dragon scales, seems to come from the clouds, the hideous and martial dragon head was majestic, and the two black dragon whiskers swung like steel whips, it hovered over the Kunlun mountains, its blue eyes staring tightly at, wearing the black dragon imperial armor of Gu Changqing, and did not launch an attack, chapter 51, slaying the dragon, boss arrives, you don't have a chance, in the sky above the Kunlun mountains, a thousand meter large true dragon, a figure wearing the black dragon imperial armor, they looked at each other from afar. After staring at it for a moment, Gu Chongqing finally spoke. Come with me, how about it? Anan, hearing his words, the Kunlun true dragon's eyes glowed ferociously, its body tumbling as it opened its mouth and let out a roar towards Gu Chongqing. Rumble. Afterward, it opened its teeth and claws, pouncing over with extreme ferocity. Oh, since you want to be brutally beaten up, I can loosen your bones. Seeing this, Gu Chongqing's eyes flashed and he disappeared out of thin air with a bang. The speed was unrivaled, and in less than an instant, he came to the near front of the Kunlun true dragon, raising his hand into a fist, he pressed forward, boom, a loud sound, swinging heaven's fist power burst out, enveloping the huge body of the Kunlun true dragon, in a scene of destruction, it is like a small loach, falling in the Kunlun mountains, it smashed and collapsed several mountains before stopping, if you don't come with me today, there's only one way to die, in a flash, Gu Changqing descended into the sky above where the Kunlun true dragon had fallen, looking down on it from above. Anan, the true dragon of Kunlun remained defiant, opening its mouth and spitting out a mouthful of dragon's breath that seemed to be capable of cracking the sky. 
Gu Chongqing stood still, letting its breath drown him. When the dragon's breath dissipated, he was unharmed and couldn't even leave a mark on his black dragon imperial armor. Forget it, it's useless to keep you. I haven't eaten dragon meat yet. Seeing that it was so obstinate, Gu Chongqing slowly raised his hand, and a buzzing sound resounded, and he saw that around the Kunlun true dragon, one black dragon imperial seal after another emerged. Roar! The Kunlun true dragon looked at its surroundings, the dragon seals that densely enveloped it, and it finally lowered its head, letting out a submissive low roar. You owe a beating don't you? Why did you agree to this earlier? Gu Chongqing spoke indifferently, dispersing the dragon seal that covered its body and raising her hand to signal it to come up. It nodded and slowly flew towards Gu Chongqing. Roar! However, just as it wasn't too far away from Gu Chongqing, it suddenly opened its bloody mouth and violently spat out a mouthful of long brewing dragon breath, drowning Gu Chongqing's entire being in it. Sure enough, it seems like all of you beasts are incapable of being used by humans. Gu Chongqing let out a violent shout, and all of a sudden, there was a burst of buzzing sounds, and an endless number of black dragon imperial seals, densely enveloping this area of space. Subsequently, in a series of roaring sounds, a magnificent and extremely large explosion, like an ocean tumbling down, ravaged high above the Kunlun mountain. Whoosh! Gu Chongqing flew out from the explosion, seven soccer ball-sized dragon beads sinking behind him, and lifted off, disappearing in the twinkling of an eye. It had wanted to come here to subdue this true dragon and head to the blood triangle after it finished with Lin Chen, but the beasts are beasts after all, unless they are very close to humans, like cats and dogs of the pet class, otherwise even if they die, it is impossible to compromise with humans. The dragon pearl is also good. This thing is just in line with his black dragon royal armor. On the way to Kyoto, the double black dragon hovering behind him, then quickly ate it all up. This allowed his black dragon imperial tattoo to directly advance from the early 7th stage to the peak of the 7th stage. Dragons also had strengths and weaknesses. It had only just evolved to this level, and was still too weak in front of Gu Changqing. Late afternoon, around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, in Kyoto, the Lin family was located in a row of villas, Lin Yuan Villa. What's going on outside? Why is it so noisy? Lin Shuayao had just come down to the hall after her nap and was about to open the door to go out and take a look. Bang! The door of the villa was suddenly pushed open, frightening Lin Shuayao with a startled cry. Who? The one who barged in was a, a woman in lawn bird armor. Seeing that it was Lin Shuayao, the woman dispersed her helmet and asked, Shuayao, where is your sister? The Devil Alliance came over to exterminate your entire clan. Hurry up and call out to her to bring little Yen Yen. I'll cover your departure. Ah, sister Yu Fei. Lin Shuayao whimpered. Why are you here? Why did the Devil Alliance come to destroy my Lin family? She was filled with fog and didn't remember that the Lin family had offended them. Xin Yufei said in a cold voice, It's still not your good brother who caused the trouble. How dare he join hands with others to brutally kill my demon alliance members. If you guys don't die, who will? What? He still went against the demon alliance? Right at this moment, Lin Yuayao came down from her nap. Hearing Qin Yufei's cold words, her face was ugly as she accelerated her steps downstairs. More than opposing, he also personally wasted our great captain. Stop talking. Quickly follow me. Qin Yufei stepped forward and pulled Lin Yuayao and headed out, not caring if Lin Shuayao would follow. Bang! Where are you guys going? Suddenly, the door of the villa was kicked open viciously from outside. Tang Miao, a member of the Tao Tai squad, a berserker lion over striker, walked in from outside with a blood-dripping greatsword and looked at Qin Yufei. I've seen that you weren't right since I came here. You've been sneaking around all this time. I didn't realize that you were here to save someone. Are you still a member of my demon alliance? Seeing who it was, Qin Yufei stepped forward and whispered, Tang Miao, listen to me, this Lin Yuayao is my bosom friend, can you, close one eye and turn a blind eye, Qin Yufei, I won't tell the boss about this matter, I advise you not to destroy your own future, it's not like you don't know what kind of character the boss has, if he knows that you're privately letting the people of the Lin family go, you might die, the devil alliance managed by Gu Chang Qin were all very united without any collusion, Tang Miao advised in a serious tone, boom, Suddenly at this moment, an extremely tyrannical, ferocious, and bloodthirsty pressure swept in from outside. The boss is here. You don't have a chance. Feeling the familiar pressure surging in, Tang Miao shook his head. Take them to the square over there. They're bound to die. So don't bury yourself because of this. Saying that, he turned around and left. As he said, the boss had come. Who could escape from under his eyes? A thing that was absolutely impossible. Xin Yufei's face was unsightly as she looked at her best friend and said, if you want to stay alive, you can only reveal your identity. I can't help you. She also knew the terror of the boss, and it was impossible to take them away anymore. 
It's okay. I'll go wake up Yin Yin. You take us out. Lin Yao went upstairs with a complicated mood. She really didn't expect her brother to lie to her. Outside, the roar of the battle and the curses and pleas for mercy from the people of the Lin family had stopped. On the square of this row of villas, a group of members of the Demon Alliance had almost all escorted the people of the Lin family who were still alive here. They were shocked and knelt on the ground, their bodies trembling terribly. 76 in total. All of the Lin family's recruited overwhelming tattooists had been taken out, sprawled out all over the place. In the sky above the square, a Shura throne floated. The Black Dragon Emperor armor-adorned Gu Chaingqing leaned sideways on it, as if looking down on a group of corpses. Outside the townhouse, there were many passers-by onlookers. The one on the Shura throne, is that big brother Gu? Definitely. Didn't you see the two black dragons hovering behind him? What's the situation with the Lin family? How could they let big brother Gu personally destroy them? It must be something unforgivable. Let's watch it first. Big brother Gu, the Dragon Kingdom C pin. I didn't expect to have the honor of seeing him so close. The onlookers were all filled with respect and admiration as they looked at the figure on the Shura throne. Just then, Qin Yufei brought Lin Yueyao and Lin Shueyao over. Mommy, these people are so scary. Gu Yan Yan was a bit scared of life. His little head buried in her mother's arms, especially the one on the throne of Shura high in the sky, wearing armor and the black dragon behind him, all of them made him feel scared. He didn't dare to look at him again after just a glance. Lin Yueyao gently stroked her daughter's back without saying anything her gaze looking towards Gu Changqing on the throne of Shura. Chapter 52 Parties Converge Satellite Projection Request for Full Subscription This book, Blood Triangle, The Ancient Relic, it had only been introduced for a few hours, and outside the three entrances of the relic, there were already many ultra-tattooed people from all over the world in focus. The first entrance was full of half-human, half-beast sea people. At the second entrance, most of them were evolvers from the Sakura country, the Stick country, the E country and ultra-tattooists from the Dragon Country. The third entrance, on the other hand, was filled with evolvers from Country Y, Country F, Country D, and so on. Of course, there were also quite a few small country super strikers. Hard to list, there were just too many. Outside the second entrance, there were tens of thousands of ultra-tattooists converging here, to say the least. Is this an ancient relic, or a city from the future? Too mysterious. Everywhere is filled with the flavor of technology. I don't know how many years ahead of us, inside the city, there is even a robot army patrolling. Where exactly did this city come from? All over the mountains, the earth, high above the sky, full of novelty surveying the ancient ruins in front of the eyes, like the city of the future. Familiar people talking about it. On top of one of the peaks, Lin Chen, Poseidon ripped off, and White Star were here. What a city of technology. If I can take it, I'll become its city lord, Lin Chen said with flashing eyes. White Star also had this thought. It's indeed inspiring. I wonder if it's a city without a master. This city, perhaps thousands or tens of thousands of years ahead of humanity. Who wouldn't be tempted to become the owner of this city? Poseidon frowned and said, I don't know when the energy light curtain that shrouds the city will disperse. If we had known that we couldn't go in, we would have gone after the group of people from the Demon Alliance. When they came, they thought they could go in directly, but they didn't realize that even the entrance was shrouded by that energy light curtain. This made them depressed. Roar. Suddenly at this moment, a berserk roar came out. What is it? The ultra tattooists who were at the second entrance heard the sound, and they all followed the sound. Is that the Dragon Kingdom's panda? When they saw three huge beasts of five to six hundred meters, black and white in color, trampling the earth and coming. No, one of the pandas, which was brown and white, seemed to have lost its color. Those present were all shocked by the might of their rush. 30 members of the Dragon King group wearing Dragon Shadow Armor arrived with 3 8th rank pandas. They were 7, Pa, and Fatty High. The lure of this city was too great for the countries of the world. The secrets contained within it could be amazing. Upon learning the news, all the countries sent their strongest evolvers over at the first opportunity. Those who were able to come so quickly were all the stronger existences of the countries, and they all possessed super striped armor. Teacher, what is the origin of this city? A relatively hidden corner. The mysterious black-robed man and Su Yue were here. After Su Yue placed the soul suppressor seal given by the black-robed man into Gu Yan Yan's body, she followed this black-robed man. Its origin is not small. The black-robed man didn't say much and whispered to himself. I didn't expect it to come out so quickly after the group star seal was lifted. Interesting. Listening to his self-talk, Su Yue knew that she had hugged the right thigh. This person's origin was by no means simple. In the Dragon King group, the one at the head looked around the entire room then took out a, a projection device that could resonate with the satellite and opened it, 
open. As the signaling device in his hand turned on, the largest satellite in the Dragon Kingdom turned towards this place, and then shone a beam of light towards this place. Buzz, that ray of light, in a matter of seconds, transformed into a huge and incomparable projection light screen over the second entrance. Eh? The Ultra Tattooists present saw the scene and raised their heads to watch. The image within the projection light screen was precisely the scene in the square of the Kyoto Lin family's villa area. What is this? Is this what the Dragon Kingdom satellites put down? Wow, who is the person leaning sideways on that throne high in the sky? It's so domineering. Who knows what's going on here? That man on the throne seems to be exterminating someone's clan. How could the Dragon Kingdom put something like this over? The first gazes of the Ultra Tattooists present, looking at the scene within the projection, were all attracted to the figure leaning sideways on the Shura throne. At the scene, a not-so-small commotion resounded. This, teacher, you are truly divine. Su Yue looked at the scene in front of her, and for no reason felt grateful. If there was no this black-robed man, she didn't dare to think further. The black-robed man stared at Gu Changqing on the Shura throne. A fiery light flashed within his eyes as he whispered, What a handsome and domineering armor. Lin Chen looked at the screen of light in the projection. His eyes reddened and his body trembled. In a deep voice, he said, Both of you. Now is the best time to kill Gu Changqing. What do you say? Poseidon ripped it off. Brother Lin. I don't think now is the time to kill him. Hearing his words, Lin Chen's eyes narrowed slightly. This is the alliance that was promised? Bai Xing also said, Poseidon Riparian. Are you afraid? When he saw the Tao Tai who killed his sister, his anger went straight to his head. Poseidon ripped into a low voice. I'm not afraid of Gu Changqing. I'm just afraid that the city will suddenly open up. Lin Chen. Pose Tan Ri Ri. There's another one called what's his name. I know you're watching from the blood triangle. Don't you all want to kill me? Come over here all of you. At this moment, Gu Changqing's indifferent and majestic voice came out from within the projection screen. Lin Chen, if you don't come back, every 10 minutes I'll behead one of your clansmen. And if you don't come back after the beheading, I'll go and look for you myself. Within the projected light screen, Gu Changqing's eyes were downcast, and from the perspective he was looking at from here, the light of his profound eyes, at the end of it, was one of defiance and contempt. It was like looking at a group of mole crickets. What kind of person is this? So loaded? What kind of eyes? It makes me feel upset. Why don't you go fuck him? What's the point of pushing here? Right. This lord is obviously not to be messed with. On the scene, quite a few ultra tattooists felt offended by Gu Changqing's defiant eyes. However, they only dared to push here. But no one dared to actually go over and fuck him. Poseidon ripped. Did you hear that? He knows that you're involved. So forget it if you don't go. If White Star and I get killed by him, you'll be next. Lin Chan sneered and said, Brother Bai, let's go. Let's go meet him for a while. Go. The revenge of killing his sister had to be avenged. In addition, he also had incomparable confidence in his own strength. The two of them went across the sky, and in an instant, they were already far away. Poseidon Dunry did not intend to follow them in the slightest, for fear that the city would suddenly open up. Is that, the armor of the Gotra clan? A man wearing Thunderflame Beast armor, looking at the projection of the small group of figures, intimidating eyes filled with murderous intent, so it is they killed Gotra Huang. Finally let me find you. The sound of his own voice fell as he traveled to entrance number one. The half-human, half-beast see beast side. Big brother, how is the situation poking around? Have you found the person who killed you? At the forefront of the sea tribe, a sea tribe wearing a whale shark storm armor. I'd the one who came out from the mysterious portal and returned, inquired in this manner. Because of that meteorite from the sky, many sea beasts were not only able to transform into half-human, half-heads, but were even able to attach themselves with their own super-strong armor in their own form. This one wearing the whale shark tyrannical armor was one of them. Chapter 53, The Emperor's Armor on You. It's dropping, for chapters. Please subscribe. Kyoto, Lin Family Villa Complex, Above the Square. More than a dozen members of the Demon Alliance had suppressed the Lin Family's 76, plus Lin Yue Yao, Lin Shue Yao and Gu Yen Yen who were 79. Boss Gu, it was Lin Chen alone who provoked you. It has nothing to do with us. I beg you to be magnanimous and spare us as a dog. The contemporary helmsman of the Lin family, the profather of Lin Chen and the others, tremblingly begged for mercy to the figure leaning sideways on the cultivator throne high above. Who are you? Gu Changqing lowered his eyes and stared at the latter. Recall boss, I'm Lin Jinxiong, the modern head of the Lin family. I beg you to let go of one side. He introduced himself while not forgetting to beg for mercy. Boss Gu, I beg you to spare us. We really don't know anything about what Lin Chen did. Yes Boss Gu, please. The rest of the Lin family also out and begged for mercy. Gu Changqing's eyes were indifferent as he spoke indifferently. 
Drag out the woman by Lin Chenxiong's side. If Lin Chen isn't there in 10 minutes, then behead her. No, don't go. Lin Chen's mother, Nan Gan Yulin, sniffed and was instantly frightened to the point where her face turned pale and she let out a shrill cry. Yes, a demonic warrior stepped forward, but regardless of how she screamed in fear and despair, grabbed her by the hair and dragged her out, stepping on her back and kicking her to the ground. Tao Tai looked at the group of people in front of him, and coldly grunted, Your future young family head, dared to kill a member of my demon alliance. From the moment he made his move, he has already declared your death sentence, and you still want to live. Ridiculous. Mom. Similarly suppressed and kneeling on the ground, Lin Shuiyao's face was ugly. Looking at her mother being ruthlessly stepped on the ground, her fists couldn't help but clench. Mom, drag that woman out as well. Hearing the latter's words, Gu Changqing faintly said, the second one will kill her. Yes. Qin Yufei took the lead and went up to drag Lin Shuiyao out with a relatively light hand. Woo woo, mommy, I'm scared. Gu Yin Yin, who was only three years old, watched as her sister-in-law was grabbed out. She finally cried out in Lin Yuyao's arms in fear. The members of the Demon Alliance were all fierce and vicious. How could she not be scared at such an age? What are you crying for? Be careful I'll get you killed. Instantly, a demon warrior angrily rebuked. If you don't let her shut up again, believe it or not, I'll chop her up first? Yen Yen good boy, don't cry, it's fine. Lin Yuyao gently stroked her daughter's back and comforted her in a low voice. Gu Chongqing's gaze fell onto them. It always felt like this woman, deja vu, and the child in her arms also gave him a very inexplicable feeling. Seeing him look at him, Lin Yuyao also looked at him. The two of them looked at each other, but Gu Chongqing's eyes were calm, while hers were full of complexity. Qin Yufei wanted to open her mouth to speak, but after some thought, she didn't. As time passed in dribs and drabs, there was still no sign of Lin Chan returning. Chop her up. Gu Chongqing looked at the 10 minutes approaching and signaled the one trampling on Nangon Yulin that he could make a move. No, don't, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Her eyes were filled with desperate trepidation as she kept struggling, yelling hysterically. This demonic warrior, ignoring her struggles, and yelling, raised his sword to slash down. Wait, seeing that her mother was about to die. Lin Yuayao finally couldn't help herself and got up and stood out. Put. However, how could the demonic warrior who beheaded her mother listen to the orders of an outsider? Without half a pause, he ruthlessly chopped off her head with a single slash. The sound of screaming came to an abrupt end as blood dripped all over the ground. Lin Yuayao and Lin Shuayao's bodies trembled. What do you have to say? Gu Changqing quietly looked at the latter and asked, Have we met somewhere? More than having met, but also, Gu Changcheng, come out and die. Before Lin Yuayao could finish her sentence, suddenly the sound of Lin Chen's murderous bellowing outside of Kyoto City came. At the sound, Gu Changqing's eyes outside of his helmet flickered deeply for a few moments, slowly rose from his seat, and then disappeared from the cultivator throne with a bang. When he appeared, he had already left the capital city of the capital, in the semi-ultimate state of the emperor armor, and the nine dragons armor stopped a thousand meters away. Gu Changqing faced them alone and spoke quietly. Lin Chen, I've never even seen your face. Why are you hunting my demon alliance members? Who's the other one? Tell me about my grudge against you. Bai Xing sneered. A grudge is nothing to speak of. It's only because you've harmed our interests, so you must die. Hearing this, Gu Changqing nodded and looked at Lin Chen. You too? If I remember correctly, Su Yue had been with you before. Where is she? Did she also give you ideas on how to kill me? Yes, she and I. We both want to kill you. Your unseemly gesture is disgusting. I hate to break you into pieces. Lin Chen's eyes were gloomy as he stormed out, today, I'll make you give my mom a burial, no one will be able to save you, this beast, animal, shouldn't it be you guys, Gu Changqing said indifferently, next, you guys can die, boom, as his words fell, he displaced to Lin Chen's near front with a roar, his left hand grabbed towards his face, his right hand formed a fist and blasted towards his chest, and none of the satellites were able to capture his terrifying speed, snap, bang, Lin Chen's eyes widened in horror, and by the time he reacted, he had already been pinched by Gu Changqing's head with one hand, and his fist fiercely bombarded his chest. With a loud bang, his emperor armor broke. Put. Lin Chen violently spat out a large mouthful of blood, his face pale to the extreme, his eyes filled with horror as he looked at the terrifying person in front of him. With this amount of strength, who gave you the courage to kill my demon alliance members? The emperor's armor wears on you. It's a waste of money. The left black dragon behind Gu Changqing spookily poked its head out biting Lin Chen's shoulder and lifting him in midair. You, me, Lin Chen, who was suppressed by the black dragon's bite, was unable to speak a word, 
How could he not expect that the gap between himself and Gu Changqing was so huge? Unable to take a single blow. Unable to accept this result. Gu Changqing said indifferently, The emperor armor represents the light of all living beings. You have evil thoughts. You oppress the people. You make wild profits from the national disaster. You are devoid of any humanity. You can't even exert half of the power of this armor. Indeed, as he said, the emperor's armor was not something that anyone could bring out its full power. Only a true heart of redemption could move it to the greatness it should have. This Lin Chen was full of evil thoughts and wickedness, and really couldn't even utilize half of its power. Bang! After saying that, Gu Changqing shattered its bones with a palm, and the black dragon threw him into Kyoto City between flinging his head, and on the side of the Lin family crowd, he fell here with a bang and a dying breath. Lin Chen's spiritual power was suppressed and sealed by Gu Changqing, and even if he wanted to burn the super stripe, he couldn't do it. When they finished off White Star, it would be the time to take their super grains. Your turn. After finishing off Lin Chen, Gu Changqing's eyes fell to the far side, filled with scornful gaze on White Star, and said lightly, You are much stronger than Lin Chen, so perhaps you can slightly force me to use a few percent of my strength. Chapter 54 With this level, you can't kill me, 5 chapters. Please subscribe. On the Blood Triangle side, Ancient Ruins and Trance Number 2. Who is this fierce person from the Dragon Kingdom? My god, so strong, that's the Emperor's armor. Even though I'm not from the Dragon Kingdom, I've seen the Armored Warrior before. That's a universe level armor. Yes, such a powerful armor. In front of this being from the Dragon Kingdom wearing the Black Dragon armor. It's all so unbeatable. Worthy of being a mysterious power in the East, no matter what era, there are always strong people. To say that he's a country, it's better to say that he's a civilization in the disguise of a country. Here at the second entrance, there came many super strikers from the third entrance or sea beasts from the first entrance. The scene of Gu Changqing killing Lin Chen in seconds and the projection surprised an unknown number of ultra tattooists present. No wonder he was able to kill Gatra Huang. This person is not simple. The man in the Thunderflame beast armor looked at Gu Changqing's domineering stance, his eyes flickering without knowing what he was thinking. Big brother, are you not sure how to deal with him either? The whale shark wearing the whale shark storm armor, said with some hesitation. The Thunderflame Beast Armor Man said in a faint voice, Haven't fought yet, who knows? He was a 10th order superstar level, and was not afraid of the person in front of him. Not only that, his armor was also an armor that had evolved to the king level. In a corner, Su Yue whispered, Teacher, do you think that man in the 9 dragons armor is Gu Changqing's opponent? He's a 9 dragon, while Gu Changqing only has a black dragon armor. The chances of winning would be great, right? As for Lynch and being suppressed and about to die, she didn't give it a second thought. Ignorant, the black-robed man said. The strength of the supergrain is linked to what type of supergrain you have is there. But not much, it depends on the subsequent evolution. For the same supergrain, some can evolve, but some cannot. This nine dragons armor, it obviously didn't evolve after the seventh rank. And Gu Changqing's black dragon armor, do you know what level it is? Speaking of this, he sold his words. Su Yuwei inquired curiously. The black-robed man took a light breath and said. Emperor level. The puzzled Su Yue marveled. Then the super grain evolution. How is the level divided? The black robed man slowly said. Epic. King. Imperial. Saint. God. And emperor levels. Gu Chang Cheng. This alien. The first evolution of the seventh rank. Even jumped directly to the emperor level. I'll take the ultra tattoo on him. An incomparable fervor flickered within his eyes. And his voice was laced with incomparable excitement. That is to say. If one can keep evolving. Even the most ordinary ultra tattoo can rise? Su Yue was surprised. The black robed man nodded his head. Not bad. A super striker that possesses the potential to evolve super strike. That's a potential stock. Boom. Right at this moment, a huge sound came out from the projection. At the sound, they all looked up. They only saw that Bai Xing was already fighting with Gu Changqing. Boom. The nine dragons armor that Bai Xing wore was soaked in light and flames, with nine different kinds of dragon power mingling and he held the nine dragons battle spear as he opened and closed and swept across the room, crazily blasting and killing Gu Changqing. However, Gu Changqing merely stood in place, only the twin dragons behind him crossing the sky, blocking his furious attack. Against his fierce attack, Gu Changqing did not move, and not even a single spear blade was able to break through the blockade of his twin black dragons. Dragon's blockade. Hmm, your armor didn't evolve after your seventh rank? Gu Changqing looked at the latter with only this degree and softly hummed. Somewhat surprised, there was no doubt about the power of the nine dragon armor. Just in its normal state, the Tao Tai that had evolved once was no match for it. Being poked to the sore spot, White Star roared angrily. Even without evolving, I can still finish you off. 
Bronze Ancient Coffin, Nine Dragons Bury the Sky, in order to shake Gu Chang Cheng, Bai Xing had no more reservations and unleashed his strongest divine ability. On, accompanied by the sound of nine dragon chants emanating from his body, the sky-destroying nine ultra dragons broke out of his body, spreading their teeth and claws, strangling and locking Gu Chang in a vertical and horizontal stranglehold. Boom! At the same time, in the sky above Gu Chang head, a bronze ancient coffin hundreds of meters in size emerged, mysterious runes flowing on its body surface, illuminating a terrifying greatness that imprisoned him and buckled upside down, wanting to bury him in the coffin. Good, good ah! Taotia's eyes were filled with fervor at this scene, and he was even more eager for Bai Xing's nine dragons pulling coffin super pattern. My god, what kind of greatness is this? Hiss, even through the projection, it makes my scalp feel numb. This nine dragons armored existence is tough enough. The dreadfulness of the divine ability that White Star had unleashed left the ultra tattooed ones on the blood triangle side shocked beyond words. This is also a good super grain. The black robed man's gaze flickered as he also stared at this super grain. Die for me, Gu Chang Cheng. White Star's eyes blossomed with a nine colored divine aura, and a deafening roar resounded, urging every drop of power in his body, wanting to forcefully suppress Gu Chang Cheng. With this level, you can't kill me. Gu Changqing's black hole-like eyes were as calm as water, and between the roars of the twin dragons behind him, he forcibly broke free from the suppression of the bronze ancient coffin. Aang. Subsequently, the two black dragons that were born on Gu Changqing's back had a great black light on their bodies, and tyrannical black dragon power flowed as one met the nine dragons that came blasting down, and one roared as it rushed up to the bronze ancient coffin that was suppressing it. Your super strike is very good, it's a pity that it failed to evolve, otherwise it would allow me to use a small half of my strength. Daring to hunt my demon alliance members, today I will let you die in endless pain. Rumble. As Gu Changqing's indifferent words fell, the left black dragon was ferocious and unrivaled, entangling with those nine super dragons, tearing two of them apart in the blink of an eye. Boom. At the same time, the right black dragon tore fiercely on top of the bronze ancient coffin, unrivaled dragon breath erupting from its mouth, blasting and destroying and crumbling this bronze coffin. Rumble. The violent energy aftermath instantly swept across an unknown number of miles of sky, like dozens of nuclear bombs exploding, the scene was intimidating. The nine super dragons were also all torn apart by the left black dragon at this moment. Shu, after tearing apart those nine ultra dragons, the left black dragon's ferocious light was revealed as it tore straight towards White Star. What? Bang! White Star's figure staggered, and his shocked words had just been uttered when the left black dragon approached, opening its mouth and biting off its head in one gulp, killing it instantly. The body whistled and fell into the air. Gu Changqing was just about to use the bizarre seal in his palm to absorb the ultra lines in his body when he did so. Buzz. A burst of white light surged through White Star's headless corpse, and his head unexpectedly grew back, and his life breath returned. Eh? Seeing this scene, Gu Changqing tasted playfully, there's still a resurrection super grain? Not bad. Big brother begs for mercy. I was wrong. From now on, I, White Star, would like to be at your head. The resurrected White Star, prancing in the air kowtowed continuously towards Gu Changqing, begging for forgiveness and recognizing his mistake. This man in front of him was too strong and insurmountable. That strike from the left black dragon just now had consumed four chances of his nirvana. It was simply not too terrifying. To go against him, one's intestines repented. He didn't want to die. As long as there was a chance to live, he didn't want to let go. Chapter 55, No, He's a Bad Guy, Not a Dad. In the Blood Triangle, the ultra-tattooed who were present to watch the projections looked at White Star, who was kneeling and begging for mercy. None of them had expected that such a powerful being could actually be beaten to his knees, shivering and begging for mercy. Those present looked at Gu Changqing's stance and were all in awe, wondering just how strong this fellow was. I might not be able to beat him. The Thunderflame armored man from the Hellstar had a scornful look within his eyes. The Whale Shark armored sea beast whispered, What if we join forces? He was in the middle of the ninth stage and was able to ascend so quickly all because of that mysterious meteorite, which ushered in a huge metamorphosis in the marine life. The Thunderflame Armored Man pondered, if we join forces, maybe we can. If he knew that Gu Changqing had more than just this one super stripe, he definitely wouldn't have dared to say so. Poseidon hissed where he was, his face showing fear. Looking at Gu Changqing's figure within the projection, even his torso trembled. Strong as White Star, he was abused by him without any power to fight back. So what about him? What was even more terrifying was that it was also Gu Changqing who knew his identity. He began to panic, and cold sweat surfaced on his forehead. Gu Chang Cheng, quickly identify yourself with your daughter. The black-robed man's grim gaze stared dead on at the man in the projection, longing more and more for the ultra tattoo on his body. In the sky outside Kyoto, 
Gu Changqing looked at the kneeling white star, who was begging for mercy, and said indifferently, If I had known this, why would I have bothered? Boom! With those words, the twin black dragons behind him pierced through the air and came lightning fast to bite his shoulders close to him, before tearing them apart with a poof. Buzz! Unsurprisingly, White Star came back to life in Nirvana. Reanimated. He was filled with pallor and despair as he realized that he wouldn't be able to be resurrected if he died again. And he yelled, Xian Ling, save me, what are you still looking at? Xian Ling? Gu Changqing listened to the name he shouted out of his mouth and teased. What other helpers do you have? Shout them all out. I'll give you a chance. The current him was fearless of everything. Not to mention the fact that he was already fearless of any enemy since he was at the seventh stage of the emperor level for all his super tattoos. The demon ancestor Luo Throat Ultra Tattoo, with its 99 demonic tattoos, could also easily use one of them now without suffering any backlash. Shen Ling, are you still watching? If you don't come out again, don't blame me for telling your secrets. In the face of death, Bai Xing couldn't care less. The current him only wanted to live. However, no one responded to him. Shen Ling, could it be? On the blood triangle's side, the black-robed man's eyes turned very somber as he listened to the name that came out of Bai Xing's mouth. Waiting for a moment, Gu Changqing spoke with a few moments of impatience in his eyes. Your companions, it seems, have no intention of stepping in to save you. After saying that, the left black dragon crossed the air, not giving him half a chance again. Swift as lightning, it bit off his shoulder, suppressing him to faint. As for who the Xian Ling in his mouth was, Gu Changqing didn't want to know at all. Don't come to mess with him, and be at peace with each other. Gu Changqing didn't kill him now. She wanted to torture him to death. It was too cheap to kill him like this. Wang Rue, find out the details of this by Xing for me. I want all those who are related to him to die. Gu Changqing said indifferently, and the left black dragon bit White Star's corpse, a displacement back to the Shura throne high in the sky in the Kyoto Villa district. Spare my life, Boss Gu. As soon as he returned, the Lin family's group of people were kowtowing uncontrollably in fear and despair, begging for mercy. That was all they could do. Hating Lin Chen so much. They all wanted to kill him with their own hands if they could. Gu Chang Chang, what I did has nothing to do with them. One person does everything. Please spare my clan. Lin Chen, who was dying on the ground, opened his mouth with a low gulp and wail. Then why did you take action against the members of my demon alliance, let alone killing eight? Even if you injure one, I will kill your entire clan. Gu Chang Chang, spoke indifferently, behead them all in front of him. Wait. Lin Yuayao spoke out to stop, saying, this is your daughter. Are you going to kill her too? The moment these words came out, whether it was the onlookers outside the villa area or those watching from the blood triangle side, all of them revealed a look of surprise, which was then replaced with an expression of watching a good show. What's the situation? Tao Tai was dumbfounded as his gaze fell on Gu Yin Yin, but she was currently burying her little head in her mother's arms, unable to see what she looked like. Crap, I just threatened to behead her first, if she's really the boss's daughter. The demonic warrior who had just berated Gu Yan Yan and Lin Yu Yao instantly had cold sweat cover his entire body, secretly praying in his heart that the boss would not take this matter to heart. My daughter? Gu Changqing's eyes outside his dragon helmet flashed. Lin Yu Yao lightly bit her jade lips as she looked at him and said, That night in the bar, do you still remember? If you don't believe she's your daughter, you can go for a paternity test. Hearing this, Gu Changqing smiled faintly. I remember. No wonder you look a little familiar. So it's the woman who took the initiative to come to me for pleasure back then. Frankly speaking, Gu Changqing had no feelings for her. It was just for fun. Over the years, very little thought had been given to this matter. Lin Yuayao didn't deny it and said, Yes, it was me who took the initiative to seek pleasure from you. This I admit. But do you recognize this daughter? Although I don't have much affection for you, and have even forgotten that you are such a person. But if she is truly my daughter, wouldn't there be a reason not to recognize her? Gu Changqing said, dispersing the dragon helmet, revealing a perfect and overwhelming, without any semblance of incongruity of a very great face, picking off one of his own strands of hair, and then also picking off one of Gu Yan Yan's through the air. Ah, uh, mom, I'm scared. Gu Yan Yan, who had been hiding in Lin Yuaya's arms, trembling her body, sensing that someone was suddenly picking her hair, her scared little body trembled and cried out with a wow, being only three years old. It was normal to be scared in the face of so many ferocious overgrowns. Adults were trembling, let alone a three-year-old child. Tao Tai, take it to the hospital for identification. Gu Changqing sent two strands of hair, through the air, to Tao Ye's nearness. Okay boss, Tao Tai took the hair strands and dashed away from the area. If she really is your daughter, can. No, if it's true, all but you and my daughter must die. Gu Changqing coldly refused, 
Fine, but just please spare my sister. She's absolutely no threat to you. Please. Lin Yuayao knelt down with Gu Yan Yan in her arms, glanced at Lin Shuayao, and begged Gu Changqing bitterly. I'm your own father. Why don't you plead for me? Lin Jinxiang roared at her hideously. Noisy. Gu Changqing's eyes turned cold, and with a snap of her fingers, an invisible energy swept across the latter's neck. With a snort, a hideous head fell to the ground along with blood. Ah, the terrified Lin family and the others let out shrieks of shock, and there were even individuals with wet crotches. Please, in order to save her sister, Lin Yuayao didn't hesitate to kowtow to Gu Changqing. Gu Changqing said indifferently, if the one in your arms is really my daughter, for the sake of my daughter, I may spare her life. Okay, thanks. Finally saving her sister's life, Lin Yuayao couldn't stop thanking him. As for Lin Chen, she didn't even bother to look at him, not from the beginning. How dare he lie to her? Self-inflicted sins, can't live. Sister, I'm so sorry, I should have known that I would have listened to you. Lin Chen, who was lying paralyzed on the ground, tears of remorse flowed from his eyes. Lin Yuayao gritted her teeth and said, I don't have a brother like you. She was disappointed to the core. What a dog's blood. Indeed, do you guys think they'll be father and daughter? It's hard to say. Looking at Lin Yuayao, it's about eight or nine. One shot. Too awesome. As awesome as this man's strength. Ha ha, I didn't expect to be able to watch such a good show while waiting here in boredom and idleness. Can can can. Right. Sit and wait for the paternity test. The people watching in the blood triangle were dogged by the sight before them. Right. Right. You father and daughter recognize each other as soon as possible. Underneath the black robed man's mask, he let out an eerie, raspy laugh and said, wait here, I'll make a trip over there and get ready to collect his ultra tattoo. With that, he disappeared in place. This is, really, Boss Gu. At this moment, Jamie Kohler and Athena, who were originally at the second entrance, were the first to rush over when they heard that Big Brother Gu was live streaming over here. Too late, what just happened? The sexy and beautiful Athena, her beautiful eyes gleaming, looked at Gu Changqing and said with some remorse, back to Lord Athena. The matter is like this. An ultra tattooist behind Athena informed her succinctly of what had just passed. A one night stand. Daughter? This. Athena froze slightly in place after hearing this. The hyper striker said. Yes. Now we're just waiting for the paternity test. Jamie Kohler laughed. Ha ha. I didn't realize that boss Gu. Too. Played with such panache. Around two hours or so. Whoosh. Tao Tai returned and handed Gu Changqing the paternity test in his hand. Gu Changqing took it and flipped it open to view it. Looking at the degree of match, which reached 99, 99%, between the black fire surging in Gu Changqing's palm, the paternity certificate turned into pieces in his hands. What's the situation? Does it mean it's not? When people saw him burn the paternity certificate in his hands, they couldn't help but show strange colors. Lin Yuaya was calm. The only man in her life was Gu Changqing. Whose daughter could it be if not his? Gu Changqing said lightly, carry my daughter away. The bloody scene here later will create a psychological shadow for her. Okay, Xu Wei Yao, let's go back. Aha, Lin Xu Wei Yao nodded her head in shock and went back to Lin Yuan Villa with her. Only after they walked away did Gu Changqing say, all cut. No, don't, bastards, I'll fight you all. Hearing this, the Lin family members were desperate, helpless, some were still begging for mercy, while some roared and pounced on the nearest Demon Alliance member. Die for me. The members of the Demon Alliance were all ferocious wielding their swords and slashing without mercy. In just over 10 seconds, blood flowed from the city here, and ambushed corpses were everywhere. Whoosh. In the meantime, an official super tattooed person quickly flew in and reported to Gu Changqing on his seat. Boss Gu, White Star's identity query has arrived. It is the chairman of the White Dragon Group. This White Dragon Group's energy is not to be underestimated. With over 300 powerful ultra tattooists, Gu Changqing nodded to the latter, then looked downward with downcast eyes. Tao Tai. Do you hear me? Brothers, let's go and slaughter the white dragon group. Tao Tai sniffed, greeted the crowd, and with great vigor, headed straight for the white dragon group. Wang Rue, call out for people to come and collect the corpses. The projection can be turned off. Gu Changqing said, dispersing the Shura throne and slowly landing on the ground. As his words fell, the members of the dragon king group who were on the blood triangle side directly turned off the instruments in their hands. The projection then disappeared. Gu Changqing brought Lin Chen and Bai Xing, who were still alive, into a building. Ah, 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 roar. Just as they entered, the sounds of screams that were worse than death came out from inside. What? What is Boss Gu doing? Hiss. This screaming. This tactic. Is too. Worthy of being Big Brother Gu. Ruthless enough. 
The people outside the villa area who hadn't left yet had goosebumps all over their bodies as they listened to the agonizing screams in their ears. From the screams alone, the people couldn't help but conjure up a horrifying scene in their minds. It was only after a full 10 minutes or so that the sounds inside faded away. Gu Chengqing's armor was covered in blood as he walked out from inside. After coming out, he dispersed his armor and went straight to Lin Yuan Villa. He had no feelings for Lin Yue Yao, but that didn't stop him from liking his daughter. Lin Chen and Bai Xing both died horribly. When the people who came to collect the corpses later saw them, they would definitely be frozen in place. The Nine Dragons Pulling Coffin Ultra Tattoo, Immortal Bird Ultra Tattoo, Emperor Armor Ultra Tattoo, and Inferno Dragon Armor Ultra Tattoo had all arrived. Lin Yuan Villa, inside the living room, Sister, I really thank you for saving me. Lin Shui Yao, who had just cried a lot, with tear stains on her face that hadn't even dried up yet, sat beside Lin Yue Yao, holding her hand tightly, with the fear of escaping from death still on her face. Lin Shui Yao said with a complicated face, I'm your own sister, what's there to be thankful for? We'll all be good in the future. Auntie isn't afraid, the bad guys are gone. The innocent Gu Yin Yen, in Lin Shui Yao's arms, comforted her in a milky voice. She had just been outside, only frightened, a hiding in her mother's arms and hadn't seen the image of Gu Changqing chopping off Lin Xinxiong's head. Therefore, when she returned home, she wasn't scared anymore. Just then, the door of the villa was pushed open. Gu Changcheng, who had already dispersed his armor, came in from outside. Ah, the bad guys are here. Upon seeing Gu Changcheng, Gu Yan Yan was scared and hid behind her mom in a flash. Bad man? Hearing her daughter address herself like this, Gu Changqing was slightly stunned. Lin Yuayao smiled bitterly. Yan Yan don't be afraid, he's your father. Gu Yan Yan buried her little head and said, No, he's a bad guy, not dad. With this reaction, she was undoubtedly frightened by Gu Changqing just now, and now she didn't even dare to look at him. Look, Lin Yue Yao looked at Gu Changqing helplessly. I just came to take a look, since she's scared. Forget it, take good care of her. I'll send someone to protect you, don't let my daughter suffer. After Gu Changqing said that, she turned around and left. Between them, they didn't get as close as two meters. Thus, the soul-suppressing seal was not triggered. Gu Yan Yan heard no movement and asked in a small voice, Mom, is the bad guy gone? Gone. He's not a bad guy. He's your dad. Got it? Lin Yue Yao rubbed her head and said in a serious tone, Just now your dad was fighting the bad guy. Really? Then am I wrong to blame dad? Gu Yan Yan's delicate and cute face said half-heartedly, Really? You hey? Lin Yue Yao helplessly rubbed her head. Chapter 56, Gathering All the Pandas Preparing to attack Tech City, City Kyoto, Lin Family Villa Area, Whoosh, Gu Changqing flew out of it at this moment, heading straight for the official Supreme Meeting Hall, what the hell, why isn't he dead, somewhere in a hidden corner, the black robed man who had just arrived here looked at Gu Changqing's distant back, his eyes gloomy and extremely puzzled, what the hell is going on, he froze in place, exerting his spiritual power to cover towards that villa, Damn, could it be that they didn't get closer than two meters? Could it be that they didn't recognize each other? The black-robed man's eyes were gloomy to the extreme, clouded in thought. Humph, a moment later, he let out a cold snort, Gu Changqing, you forced me to do this, so don't blame me for kidnapping your daughter and then asking you to save her. Despite his words, he didn't dare to make a move right now. Gu Changqing hadn't gone far yet. In addition, he began to tell his fortune. A moment later, his face was ugly. How could it be? kidnapping her daughter, I actually have a 90% crisis of falling, is he really that powerful, forget it, I'll just wait a little longer, I don't believe you father and daughter, never recognize each other, if you guys don't recognize each other, wait for me to get back my ultra tattoo armor, and then kill you directly, after whispering in a low voice, he flashed away, now that he was all flesh, he wasn't the least bit sure that he could beat Gu Changqing, however, if he was allowed to retrieve the ultra tattoo armor that had been sealed in the group star, that would not necessarily be the case. Meanwhile, on the White Dragon Group's side, rumble, high above the sky, the two parties were fighting madly. There were less than a hundred ultra tattooists who were at the White Dragon Group's headquarters, with Tao Tai and Little Dumpling in attendance. It was simply a lopsided slaughter. There was no suspense. Officially, the highest meeting hall. Gu Changqing arrived here. Boss Gu, what brings you here? The ultra tattooist who was guarding the outside, when he saw Gu Changqing arrive, greeted him with a face full of admiration as if he had seen an idol. Gu Changqing nodded slightly, take me to see Xian Yuan Wang Rui and the others. Yes, please. This official overstriker, without any intention of asking for instructions, directly led Gu Changqing to the Supreme Conference Hall. Upon arriving outside the main door, 
This ultra tattooist knocked on the door and said, Three ministers, Bosku is here. What? Quickly please. A surprised voice came out from inside. Bosku, can you give an autograph? This ultra tattooist looked at him hopefully. I don't have a pen. I do. He had waited for this day for too long and busily took out a pen and a piece of paper from his pocket. Gu Chengqing nodded, took the pen and paper, and brushed down his name. Then he returned it to the other party and pushed the door open. Boss Gu, welcome welcome welcome. The three Situ Wang Rui, who were watching the blood triangle projection, all stood up and smiled when they saw Gu Chengqing enter. Gu Chengqing nodded slightly and came to the table of the projected light screen, looking at the technological city within, and said lightly, what do you guys think of this city? Boss Gu, sit down first. Xian Yuan Wang Rui left his place and raised his hand to signal. There were just three chairs here. Gu Changqing wasn't polite. He had the qualifications to sit here. After taking his seat, he lit a cigarette for himself, looked at the projected scene, and said faintly, if we can capture this technological city, we will usher in an unprecedented technological and evolutionary outbreak, and ordinary people can also awaken to the super lines. Hearing Gu Changqing's words, the three of them were shocked. What? Ordinary people can? Isn't it true that after the heaven and earth have changed, engraving tattoos again won't help? What principle? I'm not sure for the moment. You'll know when we take this city. Gu Changqing inhaled deeply on his cigarette and said indifferently. In his previous life, he was just an ordinary person at the bottom. It was not yet possible to touch such secrets. He only knew that in his previous life, the world's ultra striplings had united and only managed to penetrate less than a third of the city of technology despite heavy losses. But even so, it also allowed the countries to enter a period of technological and evolutionary explosion. Many rich people, as a result, had awakened their ultra tattoos. More than that he didn't know. If ordinary people can also awaken the ultra tattoo, it will be a prehistoric rise for humanity. The three of them, their eyes were on fire. Gu Changqing was indifferent, inhaling a cigarette and looking at the army of robots patrolling the technological city, as well as the central building that stood out from the rest. The astral ring that enveloped this building was bound to be extraordinary. In his previous life, he hadn't heard of anyone among the overworlders being able to completely take down this tech city. Gu Changqing now moved with great intentions to take it down and use it as their Demon Alliance's exclusive city. A moment later, seeing that he didn't say anything, Huang Mengwo whispered, Boss Gu, what do you want us to do? Just tell us. Yes, we'll all listen to your instructions. Xian Yuan Wang Rui and Long Zhangwa both nodded. Gu Changqing's long, Slender fingers gently tapped the table, then extinguished the cigarette in his hand and said, trying to take the city is a hard battle, and, if it can't be controlled within two months, it will leave the planet at that time. In his previous life, he had heard that it was two months later that this technological city lifted off and left, with only two months to go, he could at most cultivate a few ultra tattoos, up to the eighth rank, which wasn't a big boost in strength for him, the higher the rank, the harder it would be to improve, he sand sniffed and frowned it will still leave, then no matter how hard the DD is, it's going to fight, Ku Changqing nodded, that's what I was thinking, gather all the pandas over there, there may be losses, but if we can take down the city, the benefits gained will be even greater, Long Zhangwa didn't hesitate for half a second and replied back, good, I'll have someone contact all the panda milkmen and milkwomen and have them all rally to the blood triangle, after saying that, he left with quick steps, give me a sip of tea, Ku Changqing leaned back in his chair, his gaze still lingering on the city in the projection, as if trying to find any weaknesses in it. Good. Xian Yuan Wang Rui immediately made him tea. A moment later, tea was brought to him. Gu Changqing picked it up and gently took half a sip, saying, You've all decided to fight, haven't you? Yes. Xian Yuan Wang Rui and Huang Mengwei nodded heavily, their words resounding. Gu Changqing nodded slightly. Fine. Then let's fight. Have your Dragon King group members ultra tattoos evolved after the seventh order? Xian Yuan Wang Rui said, only a small number of them have evolved. That's a pity. Gu Changqing shook his head sadly, the ultra tattoos he absorbed could evolve through his hands, but he had to beat people to death in order to absorb them, so he couldn't help them. Only 20 were able to evolve. Huang Mengwa smiled bitterly, too, by the way boss Gu, when will this technological city open? Do you have any idea? Two days from now, gather the pandas first, there's no need to go over there so quickly. Gu Changqing got up and said, since you've all decided to attack, I'll go back and prepare first. All right, we'll see you off. The two of them nodded and sent Gu Changqing all the way out of the official hall. They didn't go back until they watched his back, disappearing from view. Chapter 57, Establishing a Relationship with Menglan, Taking You to a Dry Run the Day After Tomorrow.
Gu Changqing left the official hall and headed straight for the White Dragon Group. When he arrived, the fight had already ended. Tao Tai and the others were waiting outside the building. Boss, the battle is over. All of the White Alliance Ultra Tattooists who are here have been dealt with. This woman is the general manager here. What should we do with her? Seeing Gu Changqing come over, Tao Tai escorted Lu Xuehan forward. Boss Gu, I intentionally raised the price of grain. It was all because of Bai Xing who forced me to ah. I'm just a part-timer. It's none of my business. Seeing this, Lu Xuehan hurriedly spoke out to explain. Don't listen to her bullshit. She's more black-hearted than anyone else. Right at this moment, Lu Xuehan's secretary quickly stepped out and said, Meet Boss Gu. I'm this woman's secretary. I know too well how black-hearted she is. Bitch, shut up. Seeing her say that, Lu Xuehan's face went white with fear and she scolded her sternly. Gu Changqing scanned the woman and spoke faintly. Kill it, put. Without waiting for her to beg for mercy, Tao Tai raised his hand and shattered her heavenly aura, casually tossing the body aside. Someone would naturally come to collect it later. Gu Changqing looked at the woman in front of her and said lightly, What's your name? How much do you know about the White Dragon Group? She said respectfully, Recall boss, my name is Zhang Ya. I know all the channels of the White Dragon Group. If you look favorably upon me, I am willing to manage the White Dragon Group for you. She could also be Gu Changqing's little fangirl. And now that she was in such close contact, it made her so nervous. Gu Changqing nodded, prepared to butt heads with Wu Rue and look for him for anything in the future. Zhang Ya smiled. Her heart was overjoyed, bowing. Thank you boss for giving me this opportunity. I will definitely not let you down. Over to you. The group's materials can be sold. I'll speak to the official side. After saying that, Gu Changqing led the crowd back. Boss, take care. Zhang Ya looked at their silhouettes that gradually disappeared into the sky and ruthlessly leapt a few feet over the corpse of Lu Xuehan on the ground before returning to the group to prepare for the reorganization. More than 10 minutes later, Gu Changqing brought Tao Tai and Little Tuan Tai back to the front door of the central villa. Boss, which one? This one. Just after coming down, Tao Tai wanted to speak. Give it to you. Why are you squirming like a little girl? Gu Changqing laughed and scolded, and in a burst of light surging in the center of his eyebrows, the nine dragons pulling coffin ultra tattoo that had undergone an evolution flew out and directly disappeared into the heart of the Tao Ye's eyebrows. Although this nine dragons pulling coffin ultra pattern was strong, Gu Changqing had little interest in it. Besides, Tao Tai was his right-hand man. When he fought with the White Star, he didn't beg for mercy even though he knew he couldn't escape, and instead planned to burn the ultra marks and fight them to the death. Such a subordinate could not be treated poorly. Gu Changqing was thin-skinned towards outsiders, but he was protective of his own people to the extreme. Buzz, the super stripe had just entered Tao Ye's brow and he was instantly shaken in spirit, as an unrivaled spiritual power surged upwards, and a massive power flowed through his body all over his body. At the same time, a nine dragons pulling the coffin super stripe surfaced under the clothes on his chest. It's worthy of being the nine dragons pulling coffin ultra pattern. It's too awesome. The Tao Tai, who had finished fusing, had an incomparably excited look on his face before saying to Gu Changqing, Thank you, boss, for making it happen. It's really too strong. Gu Changqing patted him on the shoulder and said with a faint smile, That mysterious city will be opening soon, and there'll be a time for you to show off the strength of this super stripe. Tao Tai grinned. He he he, I'll definitely not let boss down. Your Tao Tai super stripe is not bad either. Don't neglect not to repair it because of that. Gu Changqing admonished him, then entered the villa. He only saw Zhao Feng, still unconscious, lying on the sofa. Wu Rue, Wang Rong, Vermilion Bird and the others were having lunch in the dining room. Wow. Back just in time. Seeing this, little Duan Duan smiled and quickly walked towards the restaurant. Gu Changqing taunted first. You go eat first too. Good. He nodded and quickly walked over as well. Gu Changqing looked at Zhao Feng and pulled the Immortal Bird Ultra Tattoo, as well as the Inferno Dragon Armor Ultra Tattoo, from his eyebrows and pulled it into the sea of consciousness in his brow. He was an old member who had followed Gu Changqing for six years, and whoever he dared to harm the brothers around him would have to die. After successfully hauling it over, Gu Changqing knew that he wouldn't be able to wake up right away, and also headed over to the dining room. As for the emperor's armor, he had to find someone with a red heart, otherwise it would be a waste to give it to anyone. Gu Changqing arrived at the restaurant and took his seat, strangely saying, Say, where's that Zhang Hu kid? How come I haven't seen him? After such a big incident, there was no reason for him not to show up. Wu Rue laughed, he's still in seclusion. I don't know how many ranks he's broken through to. Is Zhao Feng alright? Gu Changqing moved his chopsticks and said, It's fine. After we finish eating, Wu Rue, you go and gather all the Demon Alliance members who are outside back. 
Wu Rui nodded. Good, by the way boss, the giant panda you wanted, Meng Lun, came back just now, do you want to go take a look? Yeah, wait and go see, what strength is it now, peak of the 8th order, this guy, Meng Lun, can't be idle at all, not bad, after a meal, Zhao Feng hadn't even awakened yet, after Gu Changqing ate his fill, he went straight over to where Meng Lun was, not long after, a huge object came into view, Moonblan, which was as tall as 700 meters, was napping under the fence. Gu Changqing flew up horizontally and scanned it before arriving not far in front of its head, only to see that it had opened its eyes and was staring at Gu Changqing. Gu Changqing smiled faintly and said, Little Menglan, how about coming out for a fight and whoever wins is the boss? With that, Gu Changqing flew out of the enclosure. The base's super net was now lifted during the day and caged at night. Roar! Menglan let out a low roar and climbed out from above the fence to follow Gu Changqing. The figures of one person and one bear quickly disappeared near the base. Rumble. Not long after, a loud boom suddenly came from the horizon. There was no doubt that they had fought. The fight didn't last long, ending in less than three short minutes. A few moments later, Gu Changqing returned on Meng Lan. In less than three minutes, Meng Lan was beaten into submission. There was no temper left at all. It crawled back inside the base with Gu Changqing, full of depression, and slumped back to its original place. Gu Changqing laughed and scolded. Don't be depressed. I'll take you to a dry fight the day after tomorrow. You'll have to fight for it then. Upon hearing about dry fighting, Meng Lan immediately came into the spirit and nodded heavily to him. Boss Gu. At this moment, Zhang Li walked quickly. Gu Changqing turned his head to look and asked, You're Meng Lan's nanny, right? Zhang Li smiled. Yes Boss Gu. How are you getting along with Meng Lan? We get along well, don't we? Meng Lan? It nodded with a low growl. That's good. Then Meng Lan you should follow Boss Gu well oh. I'll visit you when I have time. Zhang Li could finally rest assured. There was some reluctance in Meng Lan's eyes, but it still nodded. It also knew that by following this man, it would be able to go and fight even more powerful fey beasts on its own. Chapter 58 Ancient Mysteries Ancestral Star Empire Killing the 10,000 Races Wither Away Zero, three chapters, the night was like ink, and the blood moon hung high, the blood triangle region, where the technology city was located, facing the light shining down from the blood moon. Everywhere one could see ultra-tattooed people wearing ultra-tattooed armor, sitting on their knees on the ground, or in the air, cultivating. None of them knew when the city would go in, fearing that they would lose the first opportunity. They simply all stayed behind and waited. In a certain corner, Su Yue and that black-robed man, were also cultivating here. Right at this moment, a woman wearing silver-gray armor and invisibly diffusing an extremely powerful breath slowly walked out of the darkness. Which plume, you finally come. The black-robed man abruptly opened his eyes and looked at the person walking in front of him and asked, Who else has come down besides you? The ancestral star's recovery time is too short. I came down alone all consumed quite a lot of cost. The woman wearing silver-gray armor stood in front of the black-robed man near the front and said, Teacher, you came down for so long and you still haven't found the sealed ultra-tattoo armor? The place where I sealed my ultra-tattoo armor has yet to be asked. How can I find it? The black-robed man slowly stood up raised his eyes to the city in the distance and said, Do you know what this city represents? The woman in silver-gray armor, wooling, sniffed and turned to look along with him, asking, I wasn't born on the ancestral star, so how would I know? What does it stand for? Su Yue heard the conversation between them and curiously ended her cultivation, listening quietly. The black-robed man said quietly, This is the ancestral star's central city, and what it contains is amazing. Hearing this, Wu Ling hesitated. I've seen something about the Ancestral Star's central hub city in the clan's ancient books. This central hub city is the core city of the Ancestral Star Empire. Haven't they sealed themselves inside the Blue Star's otherworldly space? If that's the case, why has the Empire's hub city appeared, and there are no Imperial powerhouses in sight? The black-robed man laughed in a low voice. The Void Curse. Do you know about it? Which Plume was surprised when he heard this. Ah, uh, teacher. Are you trying to say that in the battle of the siege of the ancestral star empire by all the races back then? Although the ancestral star killed all the races withering away with his own strength, he was also tainted with the void curse of the void emperor race, which led to the demise of the entire empire? The black robed relief laughed. Not bad. Back then, the void emperor clan was the main force that attacked the ancestral star empire. And even though they were killed by the empire's powerhouses and almost exterminated, their void curse can be unsolvable. Now that the Empire's central city has come into existence, it means that the Ancestral Star Empire has long been destroyed under the Void Curse. The Ancestral Star Empire, which was once extremely brilliant and suppressed all races in the starry sky, was overthrown. And this hub city, 
is now ownerless. If we are able to recognize the owner, all of the ancestral star empire's ultra tattoo inheritance will belong to our ultra witch race. What does this represent? Do you know? Hearing this, Witch Plume's heart surged, but he also had the self-knowledge to say, with our strength, can we fight our way in? The black-robed man laughed in a low voice, we definitely can't, but there is a person that has a high probability of being able to kill his way in, if he can really kill his way in, he will be seriously injured, and then we will strike to finish him off, I have divined a fortune, the probability of that person being able to fight his way in is as high as 60%, which, Plume was surprised, the empire is overthrown, and there is this kind of existence among the new humans, the black-robed man said in a deep voice, don't underestimate the new humans, the ancestral star was unsealed in a very weird way, all the new humans with tattoos engraved on them were awakened to become super tattoos overnight, and all the plants and animals have produced strange changes, this can never be a change brought about by the unsealing of the ancestral star, but rather a mysterious force from outside, this force is not even divinable by me, it's very bizarre, the rising new humans are somewhat unstoppable, especially that man named Gu Changcheng, give him some more time an ancestral star may ask for another empire that will overwhelm the stars, thinking back to that year, how glorious the ancestral star empire had been, almost causing the 10,000 races in the deep space of the universe to come to court, unfortunately, back then, the imperial humans were too brutal and unkind, treating the 10,000 races of the universe like ants, abusing, bullying, and exterminating them with all sorts of condescension, resulting in being attacked by the group, although with his own strength, killed back countless strong races siege, but the empire also suffered an indelible trauma and sealed itself off, their super witch race was also born in the ancestral star, but because they are not human, resulting in being slaughtered by the empire for the most part, and exiled for the lesser half to the edge of the universe, back then, the strong and unresolved ancestral star empire could only be described in three words, strong and invincible, even if the 10,000 races came to attack, also killed each other in pieces, and ran away with a cold heart. The black-robed man really didn't expect that the ancestral star empire would be destroyed under the void curse. However, from Gu Changcheng, the black-robed man again seemed to see the shadow of the rise of a peerless empire. Remembering the past, the black-robed man whispered, judging by that man's character, if he is allowed to create and build another empire, I'm afraid that it will be another disaster for the starry sky races. Wu Ling, however, shook his head and said, with the recovery of the ancestral star, now in the starry sky, I don't know how many pairs of eyes are staring at him, he doesn't have a chance to rise, the black-robed man was silent, even he couldn't calculate that man's destiny, that's why he was so fired up about the ultra tattoo on him, even at any cost, dawn soon broke, under the shroud of haze, but unable to see the sunrise, Pacific Ocean, the place where the meteorite fell, the dark blue meteorite was still surrounded by densely packed sea beasts that were here to exhale the energy emanating from this meteorite, dang, 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 right at this moment, the interior of the meteorite suddenly emitted one dong sound after another, like the sound of a heartbeat. The sea beasts gathered here heard the sound and opened their eyes, staring with suspicion. Click click, coaching. A moment later, cracks began to fill the surface of the meteorite's body. It was as if something was coming out of it. Seeing this scene, the sea beasts here were all rapidly moving away. Only when they were far enough away did they stop and watch. I don't know how long passed, the sky has completely bright. This meteorite also from 300 square meters of huge, shedding only a few dozen square meters. Boom. After the meteorite was shed to the extreme, a sudden boom rang out. The entire meteorite exploded, sweeping out a terrifyingly terrifying azure-colored energy. The sea beasts that were closer all exploded into blood mist under the sweep of this force. When the riotous scene dissipates, where the original meteorite is located, there are two figures standing. Before they can see clearly what it is, they will be transformed into two lights swept out of the deep sea, and flew straight to where the blood triangle is, the speed of the speed, not much time will have descended to the blood triangle this side, chapter 59, dark sage super stripe, creating an invincible monkey team, legion, blood triangle, the city of the empire's center, boom, suddenly at this moment, a loud bang came out from it, buzz, subsequently, the entire hub city began to swell, and other parts of it broke out from beneath the ground with a great sound, what's going on, run, the countless overworlders present were startled by this sudden scene, looking at the city before them and the other parts that had broken out of the ground, all of them running in horror, rumble, the surface of the ground cracked open, and the entirety of the empire's central city came into being, fortunately, the super tattooed present all ran fast, or else they really didn't know how many would have to die, in just a few minutes, the entire blood triangle region, and even the surrounding areas, 
were covered by the rest of the central city that had broken out of the ground, covering an area of at least 300, 000 to 400, 000 square kilometers. It was no longer possible to see the city's interior, and the towering sci-fi walls could not be seen at all. Even through satellites, only a white haze could be captured, making it difficult to see inside by any means. A Soul City gate faced the eastern land, all of the sea beasts present, and the overworlders were rushing towards that side when they saw it. Not long after, including the sea beasts, more than a whole million beings were focused on this space. As far as the eye could see, it was black and pressurized. My god, what's the situation this is? What is the origin of this science fiction city? The ultra-tattooed ones and sea beasts in the room were all shocked as they looked at this huge thing in front of them. The Ninth Order whale shark foolishly said, Big brother, should we rush? Behind them, there were densely packed half-human, half-beast sea races that could not be seen to the end, hundreds of thousands to say the least. The Thunderflame armor man's eyes flashed, and he said in a low voice, Let the humans go in to explore the way first. Jamie, what do we say? On the side of the M Country Camp, Thousands of peak 6th order to 7th order overworlders were gathered here under the leadership of Jamie Kohler, and Athena said in a low voice, Boss Goo hasn't even come, so what's our hurry? As he spoke, Jamie Kohler didn't forget to glance at the dragon countryside, saying, Look at them, they're all so calm. On the dragon countryside of the camp, the 128 peak 7th order pandas, and the 72 peak 7th order dragon king groups, were all quietly watching, the world powers of country D, country E, Country Y, and Country F, with thousands and thousands of ultra tattooists, also had no intention of being a standout. On the side of Country E's camp, there were close to 9, 0006th and 7th rank super tattooists, led by Pose Tan Ricky. Potten Riparian was glad that the city was open, so Gu Changqing had no time to trouble in for the time being. The above world powers didn't even go in, so how could a small country with only a few hundred powerful super strikers dare to take the risk? Roar! Just as all the sea beasts and super strikers were in disbelief, waiting for others to go in and be the head of the pack, a heaven shaking roar came from the dragon country's camp. All the sea beasts and super tattooed people present turned their heads to look at the sound. The first thing that caught their eyes was a huge behemoth, giant panda menglon vibrating the earth with every step. High above the sky, more than 150 members of the demon alliance followed behind the Shura throne, stopping above the dragon kingdom camp. Above the Shura throne, leaning sideways, Leaning against it sat a man with a domineering aura that was so powerful that it pressurized the entire sky, with the twin dragons ghostly behind him. The black dragon, Shora, and Hades god triple royal armor was added to his body, presenting red, black, and gray armor, domineering in cool. Outside of the Shura dragon helmet, the red, black and gray eyes were extremely intimidating, showing as much contempt as they could as they looked down on the entire field. With his arrival, the millions of sea beasts and super tattooed people present all felt a powerful sense of oppression come over them. Is that him? In a certain corner, Wuling looked at Gu Changcheng, who had descended with a mighty pressure over the entire field, and said in a low voice, being so far away from each other, the sense of oppression brought to me is so strong, and in a heavily injured state, I'm afraid that he'll be able to maul me to death as well. How could there be such a strong and invincible existence among the new humans? I'm as weak as an ant in front of him at the 10th rank. There's no way to fight. Teacher, why don't we just give up on him? Gu Changqing's stance on the Shura throne brought her unrivaled pressure. In front of this man, not to mention fighting him, it was hard to even raise the will to fight. The black-robed man's eyes flickered, but he didn't know what he was thinking. At the top of the clouds, two figures stood, a man and a woman, both wearing the sea god emperor armor, the blue-colored eyes. Looking at the figure on the Shura throne, seemed to have a gloomy color flashing through. The man said in a low voice, don't offend him for the time being, our goal is the ultra pattern inheritance that was once plundered by the empire, it should be within the empire's central city, the ancestral star empire back then was a living tyrant, I don't know how many ethnic groups had been plundered by them of their own ultra tattoo inheritance and used it to research stronger ultra tattoo armor, now that this empire had been destroyed, they naturally wanted to take back the inheritance that belonged to them, the lord of the empire back then carried 36 layers of almost invincible super grain armor, most of which were researched and manufactured from the super grain inheritance among the starry sky races. His strength was so terrifying that in the battle back then, he had killed the top 10 clan lords with his own strength. Ultra pattern inheritance was the technology for researching ultra patterns. As long as one has the technology and corresponding equipment, one can research a powerful super pattern that can be fused by anyone. There were even some techniques that could produce heaven defying super grains that could be fused together with dozens of super grains. The empire possessed such a technology, 
and thus was so strong that it could almost sweep across the starry sky's ten thousand races. Roar! Suddenly at this moment, the sound of a monkey's roar swept from the distance, raising one's eyes to look. One's eyes suddenly froze, only to see that on the eastern land, a two hundred meter giant monkey king, wearing the dark demon king armor, holding the dark golden hoopstick, leading hundreds of thousands of monkeys, also wearing armor, swept across the sky. These monkeys, what's the situation? My goodness, how come they're all wearing super striped armor? What's the situation this is? Fey beasts can also be possessed by ultra tattoo armor? Hiss, that monkey king's super patterned armor is so divine and martial. Why does it look so much like the dark sage of the dragon kingdom's myths and legends? Those present were all a bit numb when they saw this, and all of them looked at the scene in front of them with their eyes wide open in disbelief. Rumble, the monkey king wearing the darkness great saint armor, carrying a golden hooped rod, landed and stood not far behind the giant panda menglon. It led more than 400,000 monkeys army. Also neatly in the back stood, are a hundred meters of huge, monkey armor plus body, horizontal in the magic alliance behind the ground. Yesterday, Gu Changqing had made a trip up a May mountain, and with the power of the dark great sage super stripe, he had subdued this eighth order monkey king behind him. Then, taking his own great sage super stripe, he hauled it to this monkey king. However, for some unknown reason, after the monkey king got the dark great sage ultra pattern, it actually triggered the resonance of the entire monkey group, and all of them were able to have the monkey armor added to their bodies. It was an unexpected blessing. The reason why Gu Changqing had given the Darkness Great Sage Ultra Tattoo was because it was useless to him, and basically unusable. Chapter 60 The World's Attention Attacking the Hub City, 3, 000 Word Chapter Cosmic Deep Space Super God Platform This platform was a powerful force in the universe, involving many neighboring domains, live broadcasting, wormhole teleportation, auctions, and star malls, it was a power that was transcendent and did not participate in the battles between the races in the starry sky. At this moment, the Super God Platform's Light Network live streaming room was in full swing. The number of people watching online reached 100 billion plus. Don't think it's an exaggeration. It's a small amount. The Blue Star has a population of 7 to 8 billion. Looking at the deep space of the universe, how many galaxies have more living beings than the Earth? The picture within the live broadcast is exactly the scene of the Blue Star blood triangle there. Isn't this the center city of the Blue Star Empire? How did it come out of the world? My god, the tyrannical Blue Star Empire. Didn't it say it had sealed itself off? How did its hub city come out? Does it mean that the Blue Star Empire, which has sealed itself for hundreds of millions of years, is about to announce its strong emergence? It doesn't look like it. Let's see what's going on first. Inside the live broadcast room, pop-ups that could only be sent once every 20 minutes. All sorts of puzzling pop-ups popped up one by one. Inside the Overgod platform. Inside a luxurious office, general manager, look at the Blue Star Empire. Is it announcing that it's going to return to the stars? A female secretary here, looking at the images inside the live broadcast room, asked rather curiously to the man in front of the desk, the man who was handsome and upright, with a bountiful god like Jade. The man leaned back in his office chair, lightly sipping his half-empty coffee, and laughed softly. You're overthinking it. If this hub city doesn't appear before Blue Star is completely unsealed, then it proves that the Blue Star Empire is still around. But now that the Blue Star has only been unsealed by a tenth it appears, indicating that the once mighty and unrivaled Blue Star Empire no longer exists. Its appearance should be an attempt to cultivate the new humans before the Blue Star is completely unsealed. It's that I don't know if there's a chance. Buzz. As soon as the man's words fell, a small projection of a woman surfaced on the desk, only to see her say with a face full of shock, General Manager. The beings on that throne, the various strength indexes are out. Seeing this, the man smiled faintly and said, Oh, how is it? Looking at your expression, it should be pretty good. The woman within the projection, said in a very unsettling manner, This being, with triple super stripe armor added to his body, his classes are two early 7th order, one peak 7th order, three imperial levels of evolution, and a potential index of 10, 000 stars. What? The man who was leaning back in his office chair sat up when he heard his assistant's words, Say that again. How many stars in the potential index? Against all odds. 10, 000 stars. His female assistant. All felt dreamy and unreal. I also suspected just now that the testing instrument was malfunctioning. But no matter how many times the result was the same. Good lord. The humans of the blue star. Are they the heavenly destiny race of this universe? The man was extremely unsettled. A potential index of 10, 000 stars. Saying that would scare countless communities. Back then. The empire's three giants who had suppressed the starry sky had a potential index of only four, 
000 or 5000 and the lord of the empire only had 7000 and they were already able to kill the starry sky's various races withering away and this guy's potential was as high as 10000 stars simply shocking the man's gaze staring at the live broadcast on the throne that stance the assistant asked general manager should we announce it in the live broadcast room don't announce it for now let's see what he's going to do first the man shook his head his gaze still not leaving the live broadcast blue star the city of the empire's hub was white mist to avoid the sun but the god ring of the overgod platform could capture the images of the city inside making it very familiar to all the races of the starry sky the appearance of the monkey legion stunned the millions of beings present especially since they were also all wearing super striped armor it was simply outrageous to the heavens on the shura throne Gu Changqing looked down at the entire scene in a ghostly manner. Below the throne steps, the Taotai of the Nine Dragons pulling coffin armor, the Vermilion Bird of the Vermilion Bird King armor, Zhao Feng of the Inferno Dragon King armor, and Zhang Hu of the Demon Emperor Tiger armor stood separately, all of them being the top few existences amongst the new humans. Except for Gu Changqing. This guy, Zhang Hu, was only out yesterday due to his dip in Gu Changqing's favor, his Demon King armor revolving to the royal rank and his Black Tiger armor revolving to the king rank and his strength was so strong that he only came out yesterday. Boss Gu, you're finally here. Yi Ling Tian, the leader of the Dragon King group, flew over and said respectfully, how should we fight? It's all up to you to command. Gu Changqing's armor sheathed fingers gently tapped the armrest and said lightly, how to fight? Go in to find out. There are some people who need to be cleaned up before I go in. As he spoke, his deep eyes turned to where the E country super tattooist was. Poseidon ripped his body, filled with despair looked up and said in a loud voice, Boss Gu, I'll kill myself, can you spare a bunch of my E-Country's ultra tattooists? In front of this man, he didn't even have the courage to resist, it was ridiculous to want to hunt him down before, Gu Changqing said lightly, I don't need you to commit suicide, bring your people in to explore the path, if you can come out alive, then we'll talk about it, good, Poseidon didn't hesitate for a second, and with nearly 10,000 ultra tattooers behind him, he flew towards the hub city, refusing would only lead to death, but going in might still have a chance of survival. Not long after, they all disappeared inside. I wonder if they can come out alive. I hope one or two can come back alive and tell us about the situation inside. During the waiting period, quite a few discussions resounded from the scene. As time passed, most of the half hour passed without anyone coming out from inside. Zhang who cursed with some impatience. That bastard wouldn't be deliberately hiding and not coming out, right? Zhao Feng nodded and said. We can't rule out this possibility. Boss, what do you think? Gu Changqing was silent, but his gaze fell to the sea race's side. Why is he looking towards us? The sea race man in whale shark armor winced in agitation. Ha, huh? isn't that the thunder flame clan from the hell star? Why is he inside the blue star? At this stage, how did he get inside? It seems like this thunder flame clan, there's a way to be able to get in. So I'm going to take a walk later. When the overwatch platform live streaming camera, locked on this side. A lot of puzzling pop-ups floated out from the live broadcast room. Just as the live crowd and sea beasts were all suspicious, Gu Changqing said, almost in a commanding tone, All of you, sea race, go in. By what right? The whale shark armored man stared deathly at Gu Changqing, his eyes full of rage as he droned. Gu Changqing stared at the latter slyly and spoke indifferently, just based on the fact that none of you present are my match. Is that enough? You. The whale shark armored man opened his mouth but didn't know how to speak. His gaze turned to the Lei Yen armored man from that portal. Go! He didn't say much as he turned around and walked towards that magnificent city gate. The strength of the man oppressing him, coupled with the army of over 400, 000 monkeys behind him. If they really resisted, they would all die here. Going in there is still a way to live. More or confront to take advantage of the first opportunity. From the city to obtain incomparable benefits. Hundreds of thousands of sea beasts. Vastly into the city. Just going in took a lot of time. After they all disappeared inside, there was no movement once again. They didn't know what was happening. But the more than 100 billion beings within the Super God Platform's live broadcast room were all watching with great interest. So miserable. That domineering man on the throne. Why isn't he going in yet? If the hundreds of thousands of sea beasts continue like this, it won't take long for the entire army to be wiped out. Will he be able to suppress those 10 Super Emperor armored machines if he goes in? You're overthinking it. It looks like the Blue Star Empire has really been destroyed. All that's left are the robot units of the former Battle Legion. This city only allows you to enter and not to leave. Those sea beasts are really desperate. The scene inside the city was tragic. Ten Super Emperor armored robots that were dozens or hundreds of meters tall. 
hacking and slashing their way through the lives of 400, 000 sea beasts, the three of them, the Thunderflame Armored Man, the Whale Shark Man, and Poseidon Drain Dry, were only able to hold back two Super Emperor Armored Robots, outside, after a half hour, it was like a mud cow entering the sea, not seeing any of the ultra tattooed, sea beasts coming out, could it be that there's no danger inside, and they're all looking for a chance, it's very possible, otherwise if so many sea beasts went in, if there was danger, wouldn't one of them not be able to escape, whatever, let's go in too, after waiting for an hour, the ultra tattooed people from all the countries waiting outside were unable to hold back, and one batch after another went in towards the city, in less than half an hour, only Dragon Country and M Country were left outside and had yet to go in. Boss Goo, can we go in now? At this moment, Jamie Kohler flew over and inquired in a low voice. Gu Changqing's eyes flickered as he said in a faint voice, There's no rush, wait a little longer. It wasn't that he was a wimp, it was that he hadn't figured out the situation inside yet, and Gu Changqing didn't want to rush in with his own people and open the way for others. Good. James Teller nodded and greeted the ultra tattooists under his command. After waiting another half hour or so, Gu Changqing said, Go, buzz. As his words fell, the Shura throne quickly flew towards the magnificent city gate. Roar. Manglan led the 127 pandas following closely behind, their enormous size shaking the earth with every step. An army of 400,000 monkeys, led by the monkey king, followed closely behind. This shrunken head turtle with such a big pussy is finally going in. Can the platform release the overall parameters of the one on the throne? Push grave full? I'm curious about his strength and whether it's worthy of his pugnacity. Yes, I'm begging the platform to release the details of this person. Inside the Super God platform's live broadcast room, looking on as Gu Changqing finally brought his man in, they were all asking the platform for information on his parameters. Gu Changqing's aura really made many beings inside the live broadcast room in awe, but his timid behavior was looked down upon. General Manager, do you think we should publicize it? Inside the Super God platform office, Looking at the pop-up screens full of people demanding information about Gu Changqing's parameters, the female secretary asked in a low voice, These brainless people dare to call an existence with a potential index of 10. 000 stars timid and a shrunken head turtle? The man sneered. Old me wouldn't even dare to scold them like this. Publish his parameter information. He he, putting his potential index out like this. I can't believe how many clans want to kill him, but it has nothing to do with us. What was the potential index? The higher the potential index, the stronger this being's ultra tattoo armor battle power was, and the more powerful ultra tattoo armors he was able to fuse. Looking at the vastness of the starry sky, a potential index of 1000 was considered to be at the genius level, a breakthrough of 2000 was at the heavenly pride level, a breakthrough of 3000 was at the demonic level, and a breakthrough of 4000 was at the hegemonic level, and 10,000. What kind of concept is that? Chapter 61 Unsolvable Battle Power Shocking thousands of billions of living beings, 3. Thousand word chapter, requesting full book subscription for this book. The hub city, on top of a mountain outside the city gates. The black robed man, Wuling, and Su Yue, were watching the live broadcast of the Overgod platform through the Overgod platform's super brain, which Plume marveled. I really didn't expect that the ancestral star hub city's introduction to the world would make the Overgod platform pay attention to it. Now there's a good show to watch. It just so happens that we don't need to go in and risk our lives. We'll go in and kill Gu Changqing when he's seriously injured. Disciple, don't let your master down. The black-robed man smiled grimly and looked towards his good disciple. Wu Ling, teacher, if he really is seriously injured and dying, I will not let you down. Wu Ling bit the words seriously injured and dying very heavily. If the injury was not serious, she would definitely not go in. Teacher. What is the potential index? Ah, the pop-ups in the live broadcast room are all asking the Overgod platform to release Gu Changqing's potential index. Su Yue, who had been exposed to the cosmic stars, was undoubtedly shocked in her heart. Before the heavens and earth had changed, who would have dared to think that there were so many powerful communities in the cosmic starry sky? Wu Ling said indifferently, isn't it obvious? It refers to one's potential and battle power. In fact, she was also curious about how many stars that man's potential index was. In her mind, it was at least 4,000 stars to start at the overlord level. Like this, Su Yue nodded her head and continued to watch the live broadcast. Right at this moment, two blue rays of light on the clouds entered the empire's central city in a flash. The speed was so fast that the black-robed man didn't even notice. Buzz. At this moment, within the Overgod platform's live broadcast room, a top-ranked, splendid announcement suddenly popped up. Throne being, triple seventh order royal armor added. Potential index of 10. 000 stars, after even hundreds of tests, all with the same result, 
What? 10,000 stars? Are you sure you're not kidding? Super God Platform, have you made a mistake? Don't scare us, don't talk so big. How dare you say 10, 000 stars in the potential index? I don't believe it. I heard that the Lord of the Blue Star Empire had a potential index of just over 6, 000, and this guy has 10, 000 stars? Who believes that? As soon as this announcement came out, the live broadcast room was all abuzz, not seeing a single pop-up screen to believe. Potential index of 10,000 stars? Teacher, do you believe it? Wooling, who had already dispersed her helmet, was filled with skepticism and shock on her exquisitely beautiful face. You think the Overgod platform would make a mistake? With a potential index of 10, 000 stars, I don't see any problem. The black-robed man, who had delved into a frenzy over the ultra tattoo on Gu Chang's body, said, Apprentice, if you don't dare to go and kill Gu Chang, later on, you'll give me your ultra tattoo, and Master will personally go and claim his life. After we return, Master will give you another one from the clan. With his means, each super grain could only be transferred once. Good. Which Plume agreed without the slightest hesitation. Kill them, don't be afraid, we have no way back. We can only kill to the deepest part of this city. Kill. Rumble. After Gu Changqing and the others entered the city gates, they found that the gates that should have been open actually appeared to be closed, and the dimly lit city road was very quiet, an unknown number of meters outside the city road. The sound of shouting and killing could be faintly heard. Still fighting. In the end how? How intense. Zhang Hu sniffed and said, Boss, I'll go over and take a look first. Saying that, he unfolded his Tiger King wings and quickly swept straight to the outside of the city road. In the blink of an eye, he had already reached the end and left the city road. Rumble. On the open earth in the distance, eight tens or hundreds of meters of giant armored robots were slaughtering the sea beasts and overstrippers that were besieging them. The ground was littered with corpses, and many of them were even trampled into mush. Various long-range attacks, like meteors breaking through the sky, rained down on the robot armor, but it was difficult to cause effective damage. The robot armor held a technological battle knife in one hand and a hot weapon that did not belong to this era in the other. In his hand, the battle knife swept across the enemies in front of him, and the hot weapon shot the enemies in the distance. The sea beasts plus the human overstrippers, which numbered at least a million, were now slaughtered with most of them still remaining. Boom! Rumble! Poseidon Dystopia! The whale shark armored creature, and the thunder flame armored man were furiously surrounding and killing a robot armor. Their combined strength was undoubtedly powerful, and the robot's armor spread cracks in many places. Poseidon Poseidon, who possessed the undead ultra tattoo, ripped off the main attack while the whale shark tyrant armor and thunder flame armor man used various powerful killing moves remotely. In these two hours, with the other ultra tattooed and sea beasts holding them back, they took out two robotic armors. The main attacking Poseidon Poseidon ripped off four respawns, and now they were nearing their limit. What a fierce robot armor! Zhang Hu looked at the tragic scene in front of him, and then looked at Poseidon Riparian's side. The three of them were actually having so much difficulty joining forces. The thunderstorm armor man was at the 10th level. The whale shark armor creature was at the ninth level, and Poseidon ripped through the eighth level in the past few days. It seemed like such fierce people like them were struggling so much to fight an armored robot. Demon Emperor Sky Breaking Slash. Seeing that they were about to run out of strength, Zhang Hu let out a loud cry and supported Poseidon and the others, putting aside personal grudges and all that, and settling the armored robots after that. Boom! Zhang Hu joined in with a hundred feet of berserk blade, ruthlessly slashing at the back of the robot's armor immediately causing more cracks to spread on its already broken armor. Robot has no sense of pain. Feel the attack behind the back. Reaction speed is very perverted. In the hands of close to 20 meters of technology machete straight to greet swept away. Just launched a strike has not yet stabilized the form of Zhang Hu. By it this hit hard knocked out hundreds of meters tumbled to the ground. Armor are appearing a few cracks. A strike from the peak 10th rank imperial level armor. If he didn't have the demon emperor armor, he would have exploded and died just now. This brother from the Demon Alliance. Be careful. You don't want to eat its attack. You won't be able to block it. Poseidon Riparian and the others were all surprised to see Zhang Hu enter, and seriously instructed him. Zhang Hu had come in. Was that man behind him as well? Roar. As expected. At that moment, the sound of Meng Lan's raging roar came. In the city road, under Gu Changqing's leadership, 400,000 monkey legions, 128 pandas, 150 members of the Demon Alliance. 72 members of the Dragon King's group, and 7 to 8,000 ultra stripes from the pretty country came out in great numbers. Brothers, support is coming. Run. Right. These robot armors, are not. Be something we can deal with. Finally, we've waited for Boss Gu. 
Boss Goo, help, Boss Goo, if you can lead us out alive, we'll all be willing to look up to you in the future. The sea beasts that were holding back the seven robots that were besieging the ultra tattooed one saw Gu Changqing arrive, and as if they had seen their savior, they all ran toward them while still shouting for help. On the Thule throne, Gu Changqing's eyes were bland, and the black dragon behind her was ghostly, not stopping these running sea beasts, the ultra tattooed ones. Driving them up was just sending them to their deaths, and there might be a use for them in the future, so it was not good to die out now. Buzz, the electric gazes of those seven robot armors landed on Gu Changqing's side. Afterward, the powerful thermal weapons in their hands aimed over and pulled the triggers, firing like Gatling, shooting out countless energy beams as thick as water tanks. Boom! Gu Changqing got up and lifted his step, and then he had disappeared from the Shura throne, blocking in front of the sweeping energy light speed close by. A red, black, and gray light -like curtain buzzed in front of his body, blocking them all out in a burst of explosions. Brother Zhang, let me help you. Underneath the Shura throne ladder station, the Tao Tai with his nine dragons pulling coffin armor, sacrificed his Tao Tai war halberd and ferociously rushed over. Gu Changqing faced the seven machine armors alone, seeing that the laser light weapon was ineffective against him. The seven robot armors carried their technological battle blades and blasted across the sky towards him. Boom! Gu Changqing struck. The blood spear in his palm emerged in his hand, killing across the sky to a robot armor near him. The blood spear in his hand blossomed with a hundred feet of thunder, ferociously suppressing and killing upwards. A loud sound, this slow reaction of the robot armor, by his strong blow blasted away. At the same time, the two robots next to him chopped across their swords, their blades flowing with tyrannical energy lasers, and in the blink of an eye, they chopped to the front of Gu Changqing's sides. On, the twin black dragons behind him whistled biting down hard on their technological machetes, and then violently exerted themselves to fling them out. Boom! Getting rid of the two robot armors nearby, Gu Changqing's body intertwined with the three colored forces of Black Dragon, Shora, and Underworld God, and swept straight towards the robot armor that he had just blasted away. Broken pole, Black Dragon's blade, subdue, Gu Changqing's majestic bellowing voice resounded, the three colored power raging to its peak, the black thunder of the blood spear in his hand carrying the might of extermination suppressing towards the robot armor that had just crashed to the ground. Rumble. A loud sound rose up. Unparalleled power erupted, and the blood spear penetrated the robot armor while blowing its entire chest to pieces. Die. Suddenly at this moment, the two robot armors behind Gu Changqing chased after them, and a berserk slash that could destroy an outside city blasted down. On. Gu Changqing didn't even turn his head back. The twin dragons behind him crossed the sky, their mouths flickering with tyrannical dragon breath and after biting into their technological battle blades, the dragon breath in their mouths erupted with a roar, shocking them away and sending them out by more than 10 meters, a domineering mess, cultivator robbing light, Gu Changqing openly turned around, his left hand raised between the palm of the cruel and bloody, killing and destroying the breath of the ghastly robberies of light, seems to be able to illuminate all the material in the world burst out and go, rumble to sound, extremely gorgeous demonic robotic light, hard through the two robots armored body, Hiss, what kind of fierce person is this, a 7th order killing a 10th order peak, and so easily, my god, simply not too fierce ah, what makes him able to kill a peak 10th order imperial armor with the 7th order so easily, I'm beginning to believe that he has a potential of 10, 0, 0, 0 stars, this is incredible, this is incredible, it seems that the super god platform wasn't wrong, if he didn't have a potential of 10, 0, 0, 0 stars, how could he have so easily killed three imperial armors that were close to four ranks higher than him? Inside the Super God Platform's live broadcast room, more than 100 billion viewers were shocked by Gu Changqing's display of strength, and all sorts of shocking pop-ups floated all over the top of the screen. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. Chapter 62 Battle Ends Exploring the First District City Gu Changqing's manifested strength shook the 100 billion viewers of the Overgod Platform. Gradually, some beings began to believe that he truly possessed a potential index of 10, 000 stars. Otherwise, how could he kill an emperor class robot that was nearly four classes higher than him with his triple supergrain armor? This sensational news immediately spread throughout the starry sky. It drew those top clans and overlord clans to join the live broadcast to watch. Rumble. Gu Changqing's battle still hadn't ended. Finishing off the three emperor class robots, he fought with the remaining five. His berserk stance was unrivaled and his various divine killing moves were even more than these emperor-class robots could block. Boom! In less than three short minutes, Gu Changqing's powerful and unparalleled spear ruthlessly penetrated the last emperor-level robot's armor. After killing them, Gu Changqing took out a piece of core containing huge amounts of energy from their bodies. There were seven pieces in total, 
and they were thrown to the black dragons behind them to eat. The two black dragons chewed with great flavor, crunching and crunching. Boom! After they finished eating, Gu Changqing's added triple armor, as well as the blood spear in his hand, were both raised to the peak of the seventh rank, while the black dragon ultra tattoo stepped into the middle of the eighth rank. What the hell? This can even be upgraded? My god! What kind of monster is this? How can this be so outrageous? I've never seen it before. I've never heard of a being that can advance by directly taking a super power core. Is this a horrible being with a potential of 10? 000, 000 stars? It's fucking unbelievable. I'm completely convinced that he has 10. 000, 000 stars in his potential index. Otherwise he would never be so perverted. When he grows up. Who in the starry sky will be able to compete? Right. 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 I'm afraid it'll be the rise of a new blue star empire. Inside the Super God Platform's live broadcast room, Gu Changqing's perversion ruthlessly refreshed countless beings' third view, especially those top-tier, hegemonic communities. Their eyes revealed murderous intent, and they would never allow another empire to emerge from the Blue Star to overwhelm the starry sky. Thinking back to the years when they were ruled by the Blue Star Empire made them feel chilled and angry. General Manager, what do you think of this person? Inside that office of the Super God Platform, the secretary woman's small mouth was slightly open feeling incredulous for what she saw before her, who cultivated Ultra Tattoo wasn't one step at a time, and for him to actually be able to directly ascend, this situation was truly frightening, potential index of 10, 000, 000 stars, don't look at him as if he were a normal being, maybe it wouldn't be so shocking, although the GM man was also unsettled, he was not that shocked when he remembered that the other party was an unprecedented existence with a potential index as high as 10, 000, 000 stars, ah, uh, what you said, General manager, is not bad. The secretary woman nodded her head, feeling that the manager's words made sense. An existence with a potential index of 10, 000, 000 stars. What was wrong with being a bit against the odds? Was there anything unreasonable about it? The general manager man laughed. When the blue star is unsealed for a while longer, there will inevitably be many strong clans going down to hunt him. With the perversity that Gu Changqing had displayed, this was something that anyone could have predicted. Inside the hub city, Gu Changqing ended the battle, but Zhang Hu and the others, were still struggling to surround the robot armor that was covered in wounds. From there, it could be seen how big the gap between them and Gu Changqing was, the reason why his strength was so powerful, it's, one was the bizarre mark in his palm, and the greatest credit went to it, secondly, it was the super stripe, if not, Gu Changqing's strength would have taken a big hit, after resolving the seven robot armors, Gu Changqing had no intention of going to help them leaning back sideways on top of the Shura throne and quietly watching, worthy of being the strongest existence of our blue star, two fierce, the surrounding sea beasts, the super tattooed people from various countries, all looked at Gu Changqing's expression at the moment, all of them were filled with admiration, they couldn't even break their defenses, yet he was able to kill them in just a few minutes, looking at Zhao Hu and the others, they were still fighting so hard, all of them felt a deep sigh of admiration for Gu Changqing's strength, boom, right at this moment, Tao Tai bellowed, and the Tao Tai war halberd in his hand erupted with infinite light, ruthlessly penetrating the chest of the last robot armor. Phew, the Poseidon dystopia drain drain, the Thunderflame clan man, and the whale shark man, who were close to exhaustion, fell limp on their asses. Boss, this guy is hard enough to deal with, this just came in and encountered such a powerful robot armor, how can we fight behind? Zhang Hu dug out the football sized core from the robot armor's body, flew to Gu Changqing's body, sent the core up and said with some gravity, Gu Changqing said lightly, it's hard to start everything, it's not always this powerful robot armor inside, this area, there should be no danger, the right black dragon behind his back probed out and bit into the core in Zhang Hu's hand to eat it, Zhang Hu nodded and said, should we send someone in to explore first, there's no need, let's make it quick, Gu Changqing dispersed the cultivator throne and said faintly, I'll go in first to take a look, if there's no battle movement, you guys come in as well and carpet search, with that, a boom disappeared in place. The city filled with technological colors looked incomparably desolate. There was only mansion after mansion, building after building. Standing coldly, Gu Changqing headed straight for the center of this outer city, and a moment later, a 300-story mansion came into view. Outside the gate into the mansion, a legion of robots stood guard. When Gu Changqing approached, ready to strike, they made way and made no move to attack. Seeing that they didn't make a move, Gu Changqing stepped into the astral ring-covered mansion. Welcome to the Sector 1 Hub Mansion, just as he stepped inside, a robotic woman, indistinguishable from a human at the lobby counter, smiled at him and stood up, Gu Changqing could tell that she was a robot, and stepped forward to inquire, this city, 
What is its origin? He didn't have the supermind of the super god platform and didn't know that much, so he could only ask these robots. This female robot, always maintaining a smile, said, Hello, this is the city of the Blue Star Empire's hub, the first city center building. Within the 300th floor general office, there is everything you want to know. Gu Changqing sniffed and asked no more questions, walking in towards the elevator not far away and pressing down the 300th floor. The elevator started, closing the door and then quickly moving upwards. It didn't take long to stop, and the elevator's doors slowly opened. What came into view was a four-way corridor, with signs on the walls that led straight to a certain place. Gu Changqing followed the signs and headed for the main office. After a few moments, it came to a stop outside a large door. Tick. A light suddenly emitted from the electronic device next to the door and enveloped Gu Changqing. Identity verification successful. Race, new human, welcome. As an electronic voice emanated, the door to the main office slowly opened. What met his eyes was a technological office with a bedroom, a battle simulation room, and a retreat room. Buzz. As Gu Changqing walked in, the light brain on the desk flickered and suddenly projected a handsome man in a black military uniform who was not angry. Chapter 63, You Guys Retreat and I'll Take the Stage. The Blue Star Empire Will Never Be. Extinguished, 4 Chapters. Request for Subscription. Outside the first district city, Zhang Hu and the others were still waiting. Zhang Hu and the others waited for more than 10 minutes and no movement could be seen coming out. There's no movement from the battle for more than 10 minutes. We can go in and carpet search. Zhang Hu shouted. Monkey King. Hmm, can we go into the city now? The Monkey King came up carrying the golden band, and after fusing the darkness great sage ultra tattoo, it could also spit out human words. Zhang Hu nodded. Yes, lead your monkey army into the city and start a large-scale search for anything useful within all the buildings. Then gather in the center of this city. Good. The Monkey King agreed. Then let its monkey monkeys and grandchildren into the city in great numbers. Let's go in as well. Go go go. It took nine deaths to survive. It's time to take the chance. The ultra tattooists and seed beasts present. After the monkey army went in, also swept into the city right after them. Zhang Hu also greeted the crowd and entered the city. Soon, the place was empty. Has the blue star empire really been destroyed? How come we haven't seen a single imperial human? There are no imperial humans in the center city. The probability of it being destroyed is extremely high, but how exactly was it destroyed? If the Blue Star Empire was really destroyed, would they have left their super pattern behind before they died? If they really left their own super grains behind, that would be terrifying, especially the Lord of the Empire, with 36 invincible super grains added to his body. If he let that 10, 000 star potential index existence just now merge, he wouldn't dare to imagine it. Inside the live broadcast room of the Super God platform, Close to 150 billion viewers were puzzled by what caused Blue Star to perish. This was a cosmic level number of viewers. Don't think it's exaggerated. This is considered little now. Sector 1 Hub Building. Inside the main office. Gu Chengqing dispersed his helmet and walked in. Looking at the imposing middle-aged man projected by the desk's optical brain. And sat straight down in the office chair. Hello, new human. I am the Imperial 12 Star Battle Emperor Chu Beichuan. Gu Chengqing just sat down and the middle-aged man on the projection. His gaze fell on him, knowing that the other party was just a residual data projection. Gu Changqing didn't say anything and just watched quietly. For you to be here, it means that the ten robots guarding the first sector have been taken care of by you. For an existence like you to appear among the new humans, our people and powers of the old empire who died under the void curse are all gratified. The void curse that can overthrow our entire empire. I'm sure you'll be very curious. Next. This majestic middle-aged man in a black 12-star military uniform informed of how strong and glorious the Blue Star Empire had once been in succession. Gu Changqing couldn't calm down for a long time after listening. Wan did not expect that the once Blue Star was actually that brilliant. All the races in the starry sky had to bow under its pressure. At this moment, he continued, After understanding the might of the Empire, I know you are shocked. During the era when we ruled, everyone within the Empire, from the subjects up to the Lord of the Empire, was inflated as a result, treating all races as monkeys, bullying, trampling, slaughtering, and plundering, not treating it as an intelligent civilization at all. Finally, evil retribution has come. The ten most powerful races in the starry sky, who have been bullied by our empire for tens of thousands of years, the ten great races of the stars that were bullied by our empire for tens of thousands of years, called on the ten thousand races of the stars to attack. The battle was so tragic that one tenth of the Milky Way was left and an unknown number of 99-step emperor tattoo overlords fell. But we, the imperial powers, still killed them in pieces, and finally fled with our tails between our legs. Although we won this battle, 
the imperial powers also fell to the ground, and we intended to develop ourselves for tens of thousands of years before coming out again, but, unexpectedly, the lord of the empire, in the battle with a dozen or so lords of the imperial race, after decapitating ten of them, was too distracted by his injuries, and was killed by the lord of the void, who sacrificed 80% of the void imperial race's living souls as the price, planting the most insoluble void curse of prehistory. This curse is incomparably bizarre, especially still on the lord of the empire, and in just less than three months, it spread to the empire's six, eight billion humans. We know that extinction is unstoppable, and we left the fire of humanity in the outside world before we sealed ourselves, and to see that you were able to come in here, if we are alive in heaven, we will surely feel very relieved. The empire has someone to follow. Gu Chanqing listened quietly, not as calm as she appeared to be. The strength of the empire once was so strong that it was able to kill off 10,000 races coming to attack by itself. If it wasn't for the Void Emperor clan casting the Void Curse at any cost, they would still be able to rise after tens of thousands of years of self-sealing. Within Gu Changqing's heart, a hot blood gradually boiled. The old empire was overthrown. So could he create a new one? You should be the leader of the new humans, right? After hearing these words of mine, do you feel a surge of hot blood? Is it that you want to create a new empire to rise? If you really have this mindset, make sure to fight your way into the core city and enter the empire building at any cost. If you are strong enough, you can inherit the empire's hub city, and what we have left for you, although it won't allow you to take a leap to go fight against those powerful races in the stars, it will definitely allow you to have the power to defend yourself before the blue star is completely unsealed. The imperial hub city, there are a total of nine districts. This is the first one, inside all the residential buildings. There are super lines left by our subjects before they died, but they are all only of the 10th order. There are also some powerful drawings for the creation of thermal weapons and so on. What's here can also usher in a metamorphosis for the new humans. But if you want to truly rise to power, you need to take the 9 district cities, and then fight your way into the core city, inheriting the center city of our empire. You only have 2 months. If you cannot fight your way in during that time, the hub city will detach from the ancestral planet and self-destruct in order not to be used by the foreigners. This space ring on the table is my gift to you, inside is a super pattern of me, and the powers under my command. There are also some extreme crystal cores for cultivation and so on. As the old empire falls, it is my sincere hope a new empire rises. Alas, even though there are 10,000 things that I don't want to let go of, they will eventually turn into the dust of history. Work hard, new mankind. With his last heavy sigh, the projection slowly dissipated. Gu Changqing looked at the dissipating projection, took out a cigarette and lit it inhaling deeply. When a cigarette was finished, Gu Changqing's eyes flickered as he said in a low voice, Gentlemen, all rest in peace, I'll take the stage when you guys retire, and the Blue Star Empire will never be extinguished. Afterward, his gaze fell on top of the black and gold ring next to the optical brain. Gu Changqing picked it up and tried to probe a dash of spiritual energy into it. At that moment, the spiritual energy realized that it came to a vast white space. A row of brightly glowing ultra ribbons lined up horizontally and as far as the eye could see there were thousands of them to say the least. In the second row, there were only a hundred. The third row, only ten. In the fourth row, there were only two. The fifth row, only one. On top of that, in this space, there were millions of basketball-sized energy crystals piled up. The energy contained within was extremely large and pure. There were also some unknown fruits that emitted divine light and such. Chapter 64 White Emperor Xian Nuas Ultra Tattoo Emerges sensationalizing the ultra god platform the empire's central city the first city district blue stars ultra tattooers the sea beasts were frantically searching all the residential buildings and other places the monkeys that were huge in size were changing to the size of ordinary people under the super grains enchantment otherwise they wouldn't be able to enter the search at all with the monkey tattoo armor they could also change their body size at will ultra tattoo there's actually an ultra tattoo ha 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 Wow, these super grains are so powerful. Tenth order, actually tenth order. My goodness, we see beasts confused too? Ha ha, from now on, I'll be hanging out with Bosku. Right, even though we're sea races, we can turn into human overworlders under the enchantment of the overworld. The entire first district city was filled with the sounds of excited and thrilled laughter. After the sea beasts fused the ultra tattoos left behind by the old empire's subjects, all of them that were originally half human and half beast could completely turn into humans and they were all still of the 10th rank, which made them incredibly excited. Second brother, our clan's ultra tattoo inheritance will definitely not be in the outer city. It should be in the Blue Star Empire's central mansion. With our power, as well as our identities, I'm afraid that it will be difficult to go in. From the deep space of the universe, 
the two of the Sea God clan, secretly searched all the important places in the first urban area, and came out. The woman wearing the Sea God imperial armor said in a low voice. The man nodded. Hmm, follow in secret first. Father has left me a backhand. When the one from the human race takes the Blue Star Empire's center of success, he will definitely be injured. At that time, I will directly use the ultra tattoo projection given by father to finish him off. Saying that, they concealed themselves in the dark. The 72 members of the Dragon King group, they didn't go searching for residential buildings, but instead went to the various research departments in this urban area, taking away the technological research techniques and such inside. Only after taking all of them did they go to look for the chance. First district hub building, inside the main office. Gu Changqing stood in front of the huge floor-to-ceiling windows, looking down on the entire first district city, looking at every overstriker and every sea beast overflowing with excitement and excitement. Gu Changqing was ancient and unperturbed. The twin dragons behind him were eating several large piles of crystal cores on the ground. Gu Changqing didn't know why, but after the black dragon's super strike evolved to the imperial stage, they could enhance their own super strike simply by devouring things that contained pure energy. It definitely had nothing to do with the ultra stripe and Gu Changqing thought that it should be the credit of the bazaar mark in his poem. Boss. Just then, Tao Tai, Jiang Hu, and Vermilion Bird came in quickly from outside. Ah, uh, boss, what are these you're eating? Upon seeing the two black dragons behind Gu Changqing, fragrantly eating piece after piece of crystals of varying sizes on the ground, Tao Tai was curious. Crystals, the true cultivation things of the overworlders, the crystal cores in the bodies of foreign beasts are no match for them. Gu Changqing turned around lit a cigarette for himself, and said, you guys came at the right time, here are some super grains for you. After saying that, Gu Changqing handed over the white emperor and Xian woman super grains under Chu Beichuan's command, the right and left vice generals, to Zhang Hu and Zhu Bird, the two ultra tattoo imprints floated in the air, sometimes transforming into ultra tattoos, sometimes transforming into armor. These two super grains, both fused a dozen kinds of super grains, the strength of their former masters, when looking at the starry sky races, mentioning the white emperor and the Xian lady could make them fearful. This, what a strong super grain. Zhang Hu looked at the white emperor's ultra tattoo in front of him, feeling the breath that flowed through it. A look of surprise appeared on his face. Without saying a word, he directly used his spiritual power to pull it into his brow center and sea of consciousness. Ah, no way. What an overbearing power. Boss, I feel like I'm going to be finished. Suddenly, Zhang Hu's eyes widened as his potential index was too low to withstand this powerful white emperor ultra tattoo, and his head and body cracked, turning into a bloody man in the blink of an eye. This, vermilion bird, who was about to fuse the Xian woman super tattoo, was shocked by Zhang Hu's tragic state and took two steps back. Boss, quickly save Zhang, he's going to die. Tao Tai was also frightened as he watched Zhang Hu disintegrating, his body bursting with blood, although he didn't know that Gu Changqing was harboring a bizarre mark. He subconsciously felt that he could save. Don't be rude. Gu Changqing frowned slightly as he stepped forward and lifted his hand on Zhang Hu's shoulder, urging the bazaar seal in his palm to inject wisps of bazaar power into his body. With a dozen or so super grains returned to a single white emperor super grain, without a potential index of three or four thousand stars, anyone who dared to fuse it would be looking for death. As Gu Changqing injected the bazaar power into his body, Zhang Hu's screams slowly stopped, and his broken body stopped. Only after seeing him stabilized did Gu Changqing pull his hand back. Roar. It's done. Ha ha. Thank you, boss. A moment later, Zhang Hu let out a refreshing roar. And all of a sudden, the white emperor's armor possessed him. The silver white armor was dazzling and powerful enough to make people tremble. The surface of his body was streaming with light, seemingly containing unearthly greatness. Crap ah. So damn powerful. Zhang Hu let out an unbelievable exclamation of surprise. Although he was only at the peak of the 10th rank. The strength of this body, however, was unrivaled, making it impossible for him to express it in words. Gu Changqing smiled faintly and said, In that case, go and try attacking the second city district. If it doesn't work, I'll go over there again. He had just now, also fused the Blue Star Empire's 12-star battle emperor Chu Beichuan. The 22 Ultra Stripes returned to one Imperial Dragon armor. If he didn't fuse it, relying on his own strength, even if he utilized the Luo Throat demonic patterns, he was only afraid that he wouldn't be able to kill his way in. When he killed the core hub building, the old Imperial Lord's super stripe armor might be waiting for him. The current universe and stars had up to this point recognized that his set of ultra tattoo armor was the strongest. All right, I'll go now and practice first. Zhang Hu let out a hefty laugh and left quickly in his white emperor armor. Boss, I want to fuse as well. Help me out. Vermilion Bird said with some impatience. Gu Changqing nodded, signaling her to tug into her brow. 
Vermilion Bird did as she was told and tugged the Xian new super grain into her brow. As she was about to scream miserably, Gu Changqing's hand rested on her shoulder, lifting for Vermilion Bird. Gu Changqing appeared to be struggling a bit. Tao Tai looked on, so envious, but he felt that the boss would definitely not be generous and would definitely give him a dangling super grain as well. On the other hand, Zhang Hu left the first district central mansion and flew straight to the second district quickly. However, as soon as he appeared, surprised pop-ups immediately popped up within the Overgod platform's live broadcast room. My god, this is, the White Emperor's armor? Hiss, this, this, this is really the White Emperor armor. In the battle of that year, I had personally seen the Blue Star Empire's White Emperor armor showing off its ferocity. That scene is still fresh in my mind. What's going on? White Emperor Super. Can anyone fuse with the White Emperor's tattoo? Could this man in the White Emperor's armor be the man with a potential of 10, 0, 0, 0 stars? Don't say that there's absolutely no one else besides him. Buzz. Just as various shocked pop-ups floated in the live broadcast, a top announcement surfaced. This man has a potential index of 4,050 stars, peak of the 10th stage of the White Emperor's Super Stripe Sacred Rank. Not the man with a potential index of 10, 0, 0, 0 stars? What's going on? Among the new humans of Blue Star. In such a short period of time, an existence with a potential index of 4, 0, 0, 0 stars can appear? Why? No, we can't let Blue Star rise again, or it will be a disaster for us. Where are the 10 strongest clans in the stars? Why don't you hurry over through the Hell Star? Zhang who appeared in his White Emperor armor, which really scared many communities in the starry sky, frantically eyeing the accounts of the 10 strongest clans on this platform. They would never allow the Blue Star to rise another empire. The brutality of the Blue Star Empire was still fresh in the minds of many old and powerful people in the live broadcast room. Rampaging, slaughtering, butchering, and pillaging at the drop of a hat. How could this kind of brutal ethnic group be allowed to rise again? It wouldn't even be too much to exterminate them. However, just a few moments after the Overgod platform boiled over, Vermilion Bird, wearing her Xian new armor with perfect lines of silver, gray, and blue streams of light, walked out of the mansion with quick steps. After coming out, she lifted up straight into the air and headed over to the second city district. Shen. Shen. Shen Nun Armor? Oh my god, the Blue Star humans, are they really the heavenly destiny race of our universe? Such a tyrannical race. What gives them the right ah? Overwhelming heavenly emperor race, gentlemen. Rush to the Blue Star. If the human race is not destroyed, the universe will not be at peace. As the live broadcast room was abuzz, a golden pop-up screen was displayed above all the pop-up screens. Good. As long as you the ultra-amazing imperial race, are willing to take the lead, we can all go down with you, yes, overthrow the human race and return peace to the starry sky, plus one, seeing the top 10 ultra-amazing imperial races in the starry sky speak, pop-ups popped up all over the place willing to follow to the blue star, a prehistoric storm was raging towards the blue star, whether Gu Changqing could completely take down the hub city in the meantime was crucial, if it could be taken, then there would be no semblance of pressure, inside the main office, Gu Changqing sat in his office chair and looked at Tao Tai across from him, smiling faintly. When we take down the second city center, I'll fuse an awesome super strike for you. In his hands, he really didn't have any white emperor or Xian maiden level super grains right now. The second city district's central building should also have a projection left behind by one of the empire's 12 star battle emperors. Gu Changqing's current bazaar imprint could only help them raise their potential index by around 3000, with potential indexes as high as 4000. Shu Bird and Zhang who had a thousand themselves, Gu Changqing said, by the way, when the time comes, I'll take your nine dragons pulling coffin super stripe. The imperial dragon super grain was the fusion of 22 various dragon super grains into one. With the addition of his black dragon, and the nine dragons pulling coffin super grain on Tao Tai at the back, that would be 25 dragon super grains merged into one. It's fine, as long as you can take it out, boss. After seeing how powerful the white emperor and Xian Wei armor were, Tao Tai wasn't as fond of the nine dragons pulling coffin ultra tattoo on his body. Gu. Changqing nodded her head and prodded the light brain on her desk, projecting back the view of the second area that Pu. If Zhang Hu and Zhu Bird could fight their way in, then they should be able to do so in several other urban areas. At that time, all that was needed was for him to make a move and take down the city of the core. Then the city that was the center of the empire would belong to him. Rumble. The projection light screen had just manifested, when a booming sound was heard only to see that within the projection light screen, on the open land that entered the second district, Zhang Hu was holding the white emperor's gun, his back ascending 18 ultra-tattooed divine rings like a bolt of lightning, and he was fighting with three robotic armors that were no different from human beings, 
The three 12-step humanoid robots wearing saint-level black armor were many times stronger than the ten that guarded the first district. However, in front of Zhang Hu, who was wearing the white emperor's armor, all three of them were suppressed by him without the ability to fight back. The battle was fierce, but it was Zhang Hu's personal show. The white emperor's spear technique was out of this world, and each of his spears was filled with hundreds of variations. This kind of overbearing gun technique that contained countless variations. Back then, I don't know how many 99 ranked war emperors died in its hands. Bang, bang, bang. In less than a hundred rounds, Zhang Hu killed them one by one. In these short minutes of fighting time, he didn't see the slightest hint of him falling into a disadvantageous position. In the Super God live streaming room, close to 200 billion viewers were all shaken by his strength. I'm afraid that the top 10 clans in the starry sky were all discussing how to descend to Blue Star to slaughter them. So cool. Easily decapitating these three robots, Zhang Hu let out a long whistle that was refreshing to the extreme. The power brought to him by the White Emperor's ultra tattoo armor made him incomparably intoxicated and enthralled. Not long after, when Vermilion Bird arrived, the battle here had already ended. So strong, in the know, one city district's main office. After watching Zhang Hu's battle, Tao Tai was filled with envy. Gu Changqing laughed in a low voice. You'll have it too. Go over there first. I'll be there later. He planned to fuse the Emperor Dragon Super Stripe with the Black Dragon Super Stripe first. Good. Tao Tai agreed and quickly stepped out of the office, heading straight for the second city center. Chapter 65 Evolutionary Emperor Dragon Super Stripe Helsing Thunderflame Clan Man came to cast his lot. After Tao Tai left, Gu Changqing dispersed the Black Dragon Armor and then activated the Emperor Dragon Armor. Buzz. Accompanied by a buzzing sound, a set of domineering Emperor Dragon Armor possessed itself between a burst of red, black, and purple light surging around Gu Changqing's body. On the surface of the Imperial Dragon Armor, there were 22 lifelike dragon patterns that surrounded his limbs and bones as if they were living creatures. The dark golden emperor patterns were like flowing lines of light running through the entire dragon armor, shining with the breath of domination over the living world. The hideous and godly dragon helmet had two separate dragon horns, one red and one black, and the surface of his body was haunted by channels of thunder. The pupils were black, black, purple, and dark gold in color, and the light of their eyes alone sent shivers down one's spine. The terrifying breath that escaped around his body was far too powerful than the White Emperor in Xi'an Maiden armor. I wonder if urging the Bazaar Seal in my palm and fusing the Black Dragon Ultra Tattoo and will allow this armor to achieve a metamorphosis. Gu Changqing whispered, as it had never let him down. His current Emperor Dragon Armor Super Stripe had yet to come into contact with the Bazaar Power in his palm. With this in mind, Gu Changqing urged the power of the Bazaar Mark with a single movement of his mind, slowly fusing the Black Dragon Ultramarine into the Emperor Dragon Ultramarine. Under the grayish white light wrapping around it, the black dragon ultra mark on Gu Changqing's left shoulder disappeared. Boom! Accompanied by a roar, Gu Changqing's body shook violently, and the back of the dragon armor underwent a sea change, buzzing with the growth of two black dragons covered in dragon scale armor, resembling machines, more technological in color, with a hideous dragon's head full of fangs, and a golden and a red dragon's eyes, filled with an incomparable tyrannical color. The original black dragon ultra tattoo armor, the two black dragons behind it were just in a normal state. But now, as if they had evolved, the breath they emitted was also much stronger. Other than that, the body of the Emperor Dragon Armor did not change, but above the power defense, it had more than doubled. Without the addition of the weird mark, it would never be possible to increase the Emperor Dragon Ultra Tattoo by as much as double just because of the addition of one more Black Dragon Ultra Tattoo. To be able to raise it by one tenth might have topped it. The strength of this peak 11th rank Emperor Dragon Armor was even stronger than before he had this armor, when he had used a Luo Throat Demonic Pattern. If he were to utilize a magic pattern now, he didn't dare to imagine how far he could ascend. Creepy Seal, what exactly is your origin? Gu Changqing was genuinely becoming more and more curious to know the origin of the mark in his palm. It was so powerful and mysterious that it had brought him too many surprises. I'm getting more and more excited about the Lord of the Empire's set of Ultra Tattoo Armor now. Gu Changqing whispered and was about to leave when a voice came from the light brain on the table. Detected a god ring eye outside the domain that is capturing the scene inside the city of the hub. Is it shielding the city from it? What? Gu Changqing's eyes flickered under her dragon helmet as she heard the voice. You're saying that there's a horde outside the domain that's spying on it? The light brain returned, yes. Is it shielded? Gu Changqing said in a cold voice, shield. He really didn't expect to be treated as if he was being viewed like a monkey by extra domain beings. Received. Boom. As the voice of the light brain fell, the star ring that enveloped the first region's hub, the great, summer, a terrifying light erupted from the star ring, instantly enveloping the entire imperial hub city. What's going on? What's wrong with the screen? This, 
deserves to be called the Blue Star Empire. Even the eye of the God Ring of the Super God Platform is able to isolate it from the prying eyes of the Super God Platform. We can't see what's going on inside. So it's no fun. Come with me to the Hell Planet. Let's go to the Blue Planet and hunt down the human race inside. Right. Let's go. Count me in. As the Super God Platform's live streaming room splashed, the number of viewers receded like a tidal wave, leaving less than 2 billion viewers in just a few minutes. All of them were ready to follow those top clans and overlord clans into the Blue Star. Light Brain, do you have the ability to help me locate someone on the Blue Star? Gu Changqing never forgot Su Yue. He was not thin on him. This bitch dared to be stabbed. Killing her 10 times would not be too much. Sorry, this Light Brain can only see the view of this urban area. If you want to search for someone globally, or even throughout the universe, please use the main light brain within the core hub Dasha. That's fine. Gu Changqing nodded and left. After carrying this dragon armor, he wasn't worried about breaking into the core city anymore. If he didn't have the trick mark, it would be as hard as hell to fight his way in. The threshold set by the old empire was simply too high, but they weren't to blame. If the threshold wasn't too high, if they let the extraterrestrial communities come down and take over, they would be fueling their enemies. Hello boss Gu. Gu Changqing had just come out of the central building when he met several Sea Race Ultra Tattooers. All of them were wearing Ultra Tattoo armor. Seeing him come out, the crowd's spirits were lifted, only to salute and greet one after another as they felt boundless pressure. The Imperial Dragon armor that Gu Changqing was wearing made their legs feel weak just from the aura alone. You can search everywhere else as much as you want. This central building is off limits. After saying that, Gu Changqing looked at the robots guarding the outside and said, Without my permission, no idle people shall be released. Yes, they let out a mechanical, resounding sound. Just now, he had recognized the light brain inside the main office and became the master of the no. One city district. These robots naturally had to follow his orders. Seeing them agree, Gu Changqing was about to leave. Boss Gu, I just gotten word that there are many groups in the starry sky that have descended to my race's Hellstar, and all of them want to descend to the blue star through that portal. The man from the Hellstar's Thunderflame race came quickly at this time. Oh, why are you telling me? Gu Changqing's four colored pupils looked at the latter with a ghostly expression, because now that they want to come in through my clan's portal, they need to sacrifice multiple clansmen to do so. The Thunderflame man said hatefully, I just gotten word that they're already on a rampage to capture my Hellstar's clan in preparation for a large-scale descent into the Blue Star. And then, Gu Changqing quietly looked at the other party. Puff, the Thunderflame man suddenly knelt down on both knees and said, I want to follow you and avenge my Hellstar's clansmen. They will definitely kill all of my Hellstar's clansmen in order to come in. I want to avenge them, but I know deep down that with my abilities, I will never be able to do so in my lifetime. I implore you to take me in. I, Lei Yenos, am willing to die for you from now on. After I die, when you become the Star Hegemon, just help me exterminate those beasts as you please. After hearing his words, Gu Changqing said in a faint voice, What is your worth? I know a lot of things in the starry sky. You don't understand the situation in the starry sky yet so I can tell you whatever you want to know, please. Saying this, he couldn't stop thumping Gu Changqing's head. I really don't know much about the situation in the starry sky, so follow me for now. Gu Changqing gave the latter a deep look, feeling that there had to be someone who could tell him about things in the cosmic stars. Chapter 66, Meeting the Old Crazy Man in the Second City, Suspected Imperial Powerhouse, Requesting Subscription, Outside the Hub City, On Top of a Hill, Which Plume looked at the splash screen in the live broadcast and said, Teacher, the White Emperor and the Xian Lady Armor have both come out. Do you still want to kill Gu Changqing? I'm sure you know better than anyone how strong these two pairs of Ultra Tattoo Armors are. The black-robed man's body trembled. His fists clenched in resignation. Taking out a few witch coins, he divined a fortune. Put. The result that came out was that he sprayed a large mouthful of blood furiously under his mask. What's wrong teacher? Su Yue and Wu Ling were both startled. I can no longer divine Gu Changqing's fate. Alas. The black-robed man sighed deeply and said. Give up. Let's go. Go and take a look at the place where the master's ultra tattoo armor is sealed. The words were said, but he was not dead in the water yet. If he could find the sealed ultra tattoo armor in a short period of time, he would definitely make a comeback. After saying that, he left with Wu Ling and Su Yue. See what kind of person is the existence you're messing with? Fortunately, I still have a true soul fruit. Otherwise you would have been doomed long ago. Above the clouds on one side, there stood a woman in Xi'an Phoenix armor and White Star. This person, actually didn't die. Gu Changqing had divided all his corpses into eight pieces, and now he was actually standing here alive. Bai Xing was puzzled as he looked at her and said, I exposed you, why do you still want to save me? Because you are the chosen one of my Xianling clan, 
and there is a set of ultra tattoo armor waiting for you. If not, humph. At the end of her words, the woman in the Shin Phoenix armor let out a cold snort. Ancestral star? Are you also a blue star? White star looked at her hesitantly. The woman's eyes were gloomy as she said. Precisely. But back then, because I was not a human race, I was exiled by the ancestral star empire. Not a human race? White star was filled with surprise. Once upon a time, the blue star, not only your human race, but they are powerful. Just because we do not look at us favorably, that we do not deserve to live on the same planet as them. So all the foreign races on this planet were exiled. The woman said indifferently, those people who left just now were from the ultra sorcerer race, and had also been born on the blue star, and are our arch rivals. White star said suspiciously, this, the former blue star empire, was it really this overbearing, not even willing to give you a piece of land to survive? More than overbearing, they didn't even have the entire starry sky communities in their eyes. The white emperor in Xi'an new armor just now, back then, they alone killed many powerful races with fear. Of course, these are also what I have seen in the ancient books. That era was too long ago, and those who can live until now are all over 50 orders of super stripe. In the ancient books she had seen, all the information recorded about the Blue Star Empire were all negative accounts of brutality and unkindness, arrogance and arrogance, and egotism, and she had never seen a single thing that was half good about them. From this, it can be seen that the Blue Star Empire back then was really the enemy of the world. However, people did have the ability to do so. White Star was silent for a moment and said, Let's not talk about this right now. You just said that there is a set of ultra tattoo armor waiting for me to recognize it? Go! The woman did not say much and led him away. The city of the center. The. Second city district. Crap. Living people? The three of them, Zhang Hu, Xu Bird, and Tao Tai, who were entering the city, suddenly saw that on the street in the distance, there was a cloaked, tattered, and motionless person lying on the ground. A person? From the fact that this person had a head full of white hair up to his waist, it looked like an old man. Here, there are still living people? Tao Tai revealed a look of astonishment as he stared intently at the figure not far away. Go over, and take a look? Vermilion Bird hesitated, to be able to encounter a living person here. It made them all feel a little scared. Zhang who was terrified. Why don't we, wait for the boss to come? It was unknown whether it was a human or a ghost. Anyone who saw it would feel hairy in their hearts. Well, suddenly, the man rolled over and made a dreamy sound. Crap, really alive? That messy and long hair covered his entire face, and it was impossible to see what it looked like. Senior, may I ask who you are? Vermilion Bird carefully and very politely inquired. Ha ha ha, come on, the majesty of the empire is inviolable. Kill all you uncivilized monkeys. As Vermilion Bird's inquiring voice fell, that old man suddenly stood up as if he had gone mad, staggering towards Zhang Hu and the others like a stern ghost. Crap, the three of them shrieked in shock their figures instantly retreating a few hundred meters away from the madman on the opposite side. Come on, you monkeys, I can kill you all by myself, ha 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 dash. He was truly like a severe ghost, with a cloak of hair, and his voice was hoarse and low, as if he was deep in some ringing illusion. Is this a madman? Tadai looked at him as he hissed in place and laughed maniacally, his heart fluttering. Vermilion Bird said in disbelief, he seemed to be saying that the majesty of the empire is inviolable just now. Could it be? Zhang whose eyes flickered as he said, maybe, it's really someone who is not dead in the empire. What? At this moment, Gu Chongqing's voice came, boss, look, there's a madman here who seems to be a strong person from the empire. Upon hearing this, the three of them turned their heads to look, and when they saw that it was the boss in a set of unfamiliar super striped armor coming over, they all dodged over to look at the old man in the distance who was still madly shouting kill, kill all you monkeys. Gu Chongqing looked along with their gazes. And when he saw that there really was such an old man, he asked, Are you sure that no one else came in before this? He couldn't believe that there were still strong people alive in the empire. At that time, the one in the projection, said very clearly that all six, eight billion humans in the empire had died under the void curse. Zhao Hu said, Boss, I can guarantee that we are definitely the first ones to come in. Just now, he kept shouting under his breath that the majesty of the empire was inviolable, like he was in an illusion. Maybe, it's really a strong person from the empire who survived, but is mentally deranged. Gu Chongqing felt the other party's majestic vitality, and was also somewhat skeptical in his heart. Inside this old lunatic, it also seemed like a terrifying force that could destroy a galaxy was lying dormant. Vermilion Bird whispered, Boss, what should we do? Kitagawa boy, is that you? Your breath isn't right. Suddenly, that old lunatic looked up and stared straight at Gu Chongqing. Ha ha ha, is it a breakthrough? Good, very good. Come, 
follow me to slaughter all these monkeys who have yet to be enlightened. Then, he continuously waved his hands in the air. As Gu Changqing listened to the names he shouted out of his mouth, his eyes under the dragon helmet flashed as he said in a low voice, this old lunatic, I'm afraid that he's really an imperial powerhouse, and his state seems to still be stuck in that battle back then. At this moment, he had to be skeptical, to be able to survive the void curse, how strong must he be? And daring to call the empire's 12-star battle emperor Chu Baechuan a kid, this old lunatic's status and position was afraid to be not simple. Chapter 67, Enemy from Outside the Domain, Slaughtering Four Human Cities in a Moment, City, Atlantic Ocean, Hundred Curtains Triangle, Boom, Just Today, Under the Deep Sea, A Loud Boom Suddenly Came Out, Afterwards, A Violent Figure Was Seen Flying Out of the Ocean Against the Chaos, My God, This Is, The Song Tian Hegemony Armor, Hiss, Sang Wentian of the Superstar Academy, Has He Come Too Quickly, Song Wen Tian, Looking at the Starry Sky, in the younger generation, there are no more than a handful of people who can arm wrestle with him. Did he see the live broadcast from the superstar platform and pass through the hell star to get there? As that berserk figure appeared, the image that the eye of the super god star ring had originally captured here had been following him. This powerful figure. The first thing he traveled to was not the hub city, but went straight to the nearest country. M. The speed was so fast that it soon descended on a city of 10 million people in M country. Standing above the cloud haze. Song Tian Hegemony Armor, a powerful armor that could be ranked in the top 10 in the universe and space. The Song Tian Ba clan was once one of the 10 strongest clans in the starry sky. But back then, because they disobeyed the Blue Star Empire, almost the entire clan was exterminated by the Blue Star Empire, and only a branch outside escaped the killing of the Empire's butcher's knife. After countless years, the Song Tian Emperor clan, in this generation, finally appeared in extraordinary existence successfully awakened the strongest Song Tian hegemony armor of the Song Tian hegemony clan. Sang Wendian looked at the human city in front of him, slowly raised his right hand above his head, a purple gold energy ball of light in his palm coalesced, getting bigger and bigger. In the blink of an eye it was already as huge as a water tank, and it was even expanding, and it finally transformed into an energy sphere that was a hundred zhang in size. After reaching the limit, casually dropped it towards the city, not even intending to look at it. He turned around and flew to the next human city. Once he, the Tsong Tian hegemony clan, had tens of billions of clansmen killed by the Blue Star Empire, there was reincarnation in the heavens. Who had Tsong Tian spared? What's that? With a stellar ball of energy light, carrying several thousand levels of gale force winds, it fell with a great sound. Shat Fark. Run. Many people in the city looked up, and when they saw its terrifying sight, all the overstrippers were scared out of their wits and were cursing the beast to run away. Boom, Ron. However, under this ball of energy light, their fate had already been sealed. With a monstrous roar, the endless purple golden energy suddenly transformed into a two colored mushroom cloud covering hundreds of miles, and the energy storm that extinguished everything swept across the entire city in just over a dozen seconds, instantly turning it into a sea of fire. The tens of millions of people living in the city, none of them survived. They all went up in smoke. The burning sea of fire seemed to set the entire sky on fire. Hiss, this guy, He's really ruthless. This city has at least 10 million people, right? It's all gone in a flash. Ha ha ha. I'm so happy to see this. This is the way to treat these humanoids. Only by exterminating them will there be no aftermaths. Good. Even though it's detrimental to heaven's gain to do so, treating the beasts should be done in such a brutal way. The viewers within the Super God live streaming room, looking at the city that was like a sea of fire, did not see a single compassionate pop-up screen. All of them clapped their hands. At this time, Song Wendian descended into the sky above another M country city. As he did, dropping a ball of energy light and leaving, he dropped a ball of energy light and left. The front foot has just left. With the deafening sound of the explosion behind, we can see the extreme fire lit clouds. Countless human beings in the city disintegrated. Even cannot send out screams. The whole city was wiped out from the blue star in an instant. The sins created by the old empire were now to be repaid by the new humans? Damn it. A mysterious powerhouse destroyed three of our cities in a row. Quickly, quickly go report it to the vice speaker. M Country Satellite Studio. When the staff here, looking at two cities in a row were destroyed, the whole studio was in chaos. A hundred thousand fire urgently dialed the phone of a certain palace. A certain palace. Inside the office of the deputy speaker. John Rippon was dealing with official business. When the phone on the table rang, he answered and asked, What is it? On the phone, an urgent voice came out. Speaker John, suddenly there is a mysterious strong man who, in just a few minutes, exterminated three of our cities and close to 20 million people lost their lives. What? 
Hearing this, John Ripon stood up and yelled, Can the satellite capture the murderer? Which of our cities is he planning to exterminate now? He, he, he's coming towards our capital. The voice on the phone suddenly turned terrified and desperate, coming, coming, coming. He has descended above the clouds of our capital and is condensing energy light balls in his hands. Listening to the trembling voice on the phone, John Rippon's heart was chilled. Without saying a word he dropped the phone, his super-striped armor attached, and flew out of the window, leaving at the fastest speed possible. Rumble. However, John Rue Bien just left this area. We'll see the end of the sky, above the clouds, a purple and gold, like the sun like a blazing ball of light, with the destructive power of falling. Boom. The next moment, in the capital of M country, under the gaze of countless human beings filled with fear and despair, the sphere of energy landed on the ground. In an instant, the extreme light, wrapped in a storm of energy that destroyed everything swept out. No, don't ah. John Ruebing hissed and turned around to run, but he couldn't run away from the energy storm that swept over him, and the moment he was miserably submerged, he directly turned into ashes and dissipated. Such a beautiful city was turned into a sea of fire under the burial of countless humans. Ha ha ha, what a firework feast. I'm so happy to see this. Go on, why isn't it moving? Within the Super God Platform's live broadcast room, countless firework pictures floated out as if they were reveling in the imminent demise of the human race. Sanguinian continuously released such four huge energy light balls. Not much power was left in his body. He took out a few bottles of Ultra Tattoo Potion and took them to recover the consumed power in his body. After taking them, they still needed to be slightly refined. Meanwhile, the Hub City. In the second battle zone, Gu Changqing looked at the crazy old lunatic not far away, unable to see through this person at all, and could only vaguely sense the dormant unrivaled power from within his body. Zhang Hu said, Boss, what to say? Should we knock him out first, then settle down and ask slowly later? Knock him out? Ten thousand of you wouldn't be able to do that. Gu Changqing pondered for a moment and said, Ignore him for now. You and Vermilion Bird go to the third war zone first to see if you can fight your way in. If not, I'll go over there again. Perhaps the light brain within the main office knows some information about his identity. This old madman was too mysterious, and Gu Changqing didn't want to get in touch before figuring out his identity. Good. Just leave the next war zone to Vermilion Bird and I. Zhao Hu excitedly agreed and greeted Vermilion Bird as he left. Buzz. The two of them had just left with their front feet when suddenly, from the side of the first war zone, a light screen was projected. The scene playing on its split screen was none other than the four cities in the outside world where the M country had been destroyed as well as Tsung Wentian's figure as he was swallowing the Ultra Strike Potion to recover his strength. Chapter 68, Starry Sky 9 Super Tattoo Schools, Gu Chengqing strongly descending, to the front of the, the Superstar School Palace, was one of the nine great school palaces of the Starry Sky. Ultra tattooed people also needed to cultivate, needed guidance, and needed inheritance adventures, and the Starry Sky's nine great school palaces are where countless geniuses and demons aspire to be, and the potential index is high or low. The execution is whether you can join. Some people awaken powerful super lines at birth, and their potential would also be high. Sang Wendian belonged to this category, and his potential index at birth reached 3,500 stars. However, the potential index could also be cultivated through acquired cultivation. The nine great ultra tattoo school palaces in the starry sky had inherited this secret method of cultivating the potential index, but their threshold for recruiting apprentices was also extremely high. Only those who were born with a potential index of 1500 stars or more were qualified to enter the nine great ultra tattooed academic palaces to cultivate. Apprentices who practiced in the nine great super literary palaces had never graduated with a potential value lower than 2500 stars throughout the ages. In addition, the nine great ultra literature palaces ultra tattoo inheritance. As long as your potential index was high enough, you could choose an ultra tattoo armor that was stronger than your own ultra tattoo within the ultra tattoo inheritance tower. Most of the super grains were inherited from parents and families, but in the cosmic stars, there were also quite a few beings who were born with an extremely high potential index, but had not awakened their super grains. These types of beings were also the targets of recruitment for the nine great ultra tattoo school palaces in the starry sky. In the nine great ultra tattoo school palaces, as long as your potential is high enough, then you will be able to obtain the corresponding powerful ultra tattoo armor. The prerequisite is that after graduation, there is a call to return. All of them have to sign the Super Grain Blood Contract. As a result, the prestige of the Super Grain 9 University Palace in the Starry Sky could be said to be higher than the top 10 ethnic groups. After all of them, there were quite a few of these ethnic groups that came from the 9 Great Universities Palace. Song Wentian was the personal disciple of the Palace Master of the 9 Super Grain University Palaces, the Superstar Palace. Among the younger generation, 
there were absolutely no more than a handful of people who could rival him, and his potential was even as high as 4,800 stars. Now, he descended on Blue Star with the fury of vengeance, and tens of millions of people from the M country went up in smoke in his hands. Super God Platform, General Manager's Office, General Manager, the Superstar Academy Palace Lord, really dare to put him on Blue Star? Aren't you afraid that he'll be killed by that 10, 000 star guy? The Secretary Woman, looking at Song Qiantian, who was above the clouds, swallowing the Ultra Strike Potion to recover, didn't understand why the Ultra Star Academy Palace dared to let him go down. Who knows, maybe it's not certain if he sneaked down there. On the Super God Platform, General Manager Tranlak, who was responsible for managing the Eastern Universe, sipped fragrant tea while looking at the scene in the live broadcast room as if he was watching a good show. If he doesn't run now, I feel dead. The secretary woman laughed. Not to mention that 10, 000 star fierce man, even if the white emperor and Xian new armor join forces he won't be able to defeat him. Song Wentian's ultra tattoo level wasn't high, it was only the 11th rank, and it had only evolved to the sacred rank at the moment. It belonged to the same level as the Blue Star Empire's Shin Maiden and White Emperor Ultra Tattoos. Tranlak laughed faintly. We'll just watch the show. Besides, if that fierce person with a potential index of 10, 000 star shows up wearing the Divine Abyssal Emperor armor of the Lord of the Blue Star Empire, we can contact him and secretly give him some help. The secretary woman sniffed and said doubtfully, General Manager, forgive me for not being able to understand the reason you're doing this. If you let the headquarters know, we are business, people. Profit is above everything. Understand? Tranlak glanced at her lightly and said in a low voice. This is called investing in advance. Back then, our super god platform also did not participate in the siege of the Blue Star Empire. Not to mention being bullied by them, and even the one we have right now, and the Lord of the Blue Star Empire, all have a period of unknown past events. Whether they rise or not, what does it have to do with us? What? The secretary woman sniffed, as if she had heard some great gossip, and said in surprise, Lord Tillet, with the Lord of the Blue Star Empire has a leg up? Tranlak said to her seriously, if you dare to say anything about this matter, you definitely won't live to see tomorrow. Dare not dare, absolutely dare not. Seeing the general manager with such an expression, the secretary woman was stunned. Tranlak didn't dare to reveal that much more. He also knew that Lord Tillet had secretly helped the Blue Star Empire back then. This matter was known to only so many people in the Overgod platform, and Tranlak was one of them. Buzz. Right at this moment, on the ultra brain in front of Tranlak's desk, his assistant's voice came out, General Manager, the Superstar Academy Palace Lord wants to talk to you, talk to me? Tranlak revealed a playful smile, I'm afraid he doesn't want to beg me to forcibly open the ultra divine wormhole and teleport her good beloved disciple away from the blue planet. The female assistant nodded her head and said, well, that should be the case, if you want to meet, I'll connect you over. Tranlak smiled faintly, connect over. The cost of opening the super god wormhole is not small. Let's see if she can afford it. All right, I'll turn over here. As the female assistant's voice fell a few seconds later, a cold and majestic female voice came out from within the ultra brain. Manager Tellen. Hello? Tranlak responded with a faint smile. Lofty smoke palace master. Long time no see. My disciple has descended to blue star privately. Can you help me open a super god wormhole and forcefully teleport him away? The other party directly opened the door and said, whatever you need. Manager Tran just asked. Telen Rack smiled and said, Liao Yin Palace Master, the cost of opening a super god wormhole, I think you know it better than anyone else. It requires 999 ranked emperor star cores, and the blue star is still in a self-sealed state. It has to be doubled. Can you afford it? What is a star core? It was the life source of a starry sky beast. What was a starry sky beast? A killer in the universe. Not to mention 999 imperial great star cores, even one would be a sky high price. Hearing Tranlak's words, the Lore Smoke Palace Master was silent for a moment and said, I can give you 18. Superstar Academy Palace Inner Palace Apprentice Spots. How about it? The Superstar Academy's apprentice quota was also a hard to find. Tranlak flatly refused. Impossible. We use Star Cores to open the Super God Wormhole. If I help you open it, I might be arrested and returned to the headquarters tomorrow to be investigated. You'd better take something else of the same price to trade. He didn't mean to joke around. If he really wanted to help her open the Super God Wormhole for the sake of the 18 Superstar Academy Palace Inner Palace Apprentice slots, he would be dismissed not to mention that he might also be exiled. The other party hesitated. All right, let me think about it. Tranlak said. I don't think you have this much time to think about it. That 10, 000 star slammer. There's at most 10 seconds left to reach. No, he's here. On. As Tranrak's voice fell, 
Two dragon whistles that shook the entire heaven and earth suddenly emanated from the live broadcast room. Boom! Where Tsong Wentian was, a domineering and unparalleled figure in dragon armor descended with a terrifying aura that shook the entire heaven and earth. Damn, how does this look like the Blue Star 12 Star Battle Emperor? Chu Beichuan's Imperial Dragon Armor? From the looks of it, but it's even more powerful. The Low Smoke Palace Master's low cursing voice came out. Tranquila reminded, You don't have time to think about it. Liao Yin Palace Lord. Request for tickets. Thanks for the reward. Chapter 69 If you want to force me to be a tyrant, I'll be a tyrant for you. I'll be a tyrant for you. In the capital of M country, a rolling sea of fire lit up the entire sky. San Wendian had just finished recovering himself and was about to get up. Boom! Suddenly, a terrifying figure that seemed to be able to press down the sky descended. The dragon-shaped tyrannical armor, flowing with the power of 23 different dragon patterns, and the two black dragons covering the lin armor behind it whistled long and loud, shocking the boundless sea of fire in the distance with a tumbling and surging. San Wentian's heart was startled, and he turned around openly to look. The presence that met his eyes caused his eyes to suddenly freeze and the gusts of raging oppression that came to his face caused him to feel an unprecedented pressure. This city, you, exterminated it? Under the Emperor Dragon Demon Armor, Gu Chaiching's voice that sounded like a death knell from hell came out, and the four-colored eyes under the dragon helmet seemed to have a horrifying scene of the universe collapsing and the starry sky being silent sweeping by. Not bad, it is precisely me. All of you human races, you should die to extinction. San Wendian looked at the person in front of him, and offered a bastard war halberd in his hand pointing at Gu Changqing from afar. Today, you will also fall here? Gu Changqing's voice was low and cold, good, very good. You, these extra-dimensional beings, no matter what clan, dare to hurt a single life of my human race, and in the future, I'll make all of your starry sky clans pay back with billions of lives. You're afraid that you don't have the ability to do so. San Wendian snorted coldly. Today, I'm going to kill all of your races, just like how you once treated my race. Die for me. He let out a loud shout his eyes blooming with a terrifying divine aura, his body surrounding him dominating the heavens and earth, like a monstrous force of a supreme hegemonic king approaching the dust swirling around him, his body was berserk, rushing across the sky towards Gu Changqing, and between the surging light of the infinite light of the hegemonic war halberd in his hand, it seemed like the shadow of the heavens was emerging, and the pressurized air was turned into a white mist bursting open, with an unrivaled might, and it was straight for Gu Changqing to kill him in the head. Gu Changqing looked at the other party with the dominating the whole piece of the sky with a strike bombarded and killed, slowly raised his left hand, bang, accompanied by a thumping sound, hegemonically clasping the other party's halberd that came down on his head, not even shaking his body a bit, how can this be? San Wendian looked at his powerful strike, but was easily held by the other party with one hand and did not move, he simply could not believe it. Gu Changqing stared at him coldly, and when his hands violently exerted force, he pulled San Wentian's body closer to him. Then his right hand formed a fist and slowly raised it. The entire arm seemed to roar with 10,000 dragons, splitting the atmosphere in two as it struck out. Boom! The unparalleled fist violently struck on Song Wentian's chest armor. A horrifying power erupted. Song Wentian was defenseless, was blasted by this force as if a cannonball flew backwards. Song Wentian was horrified. The armor in front of his chest shattered a large part of his body, as if all the bones in his body were shattered by the other party's punch. Slaughtering my tribe. I won't let you die so painfully. I will let all of your extra-dimensional tribes know that the human race will always be your masters, and you will never be able to escape the human race's control in this lifetime. In front of my human race, you monkeys, you will never be able to raise your heads. If you guys want to force me to be a tyrant, I'll be one for you. Gu Chaiching's blood-flickering eyes were filled with an incomparable tyrannical color, and with a loud bang, he threw the hegemonic heavenly war halberd in his hand towards the flying tsung in the horizontal flight, asked heaven to throw it over. Tens of millions of people were killed by this beast. Gu Changqing was really angry. Originally, he didn't want to follow the old path of the old empire, but these extraterrestrial groups didn't give him a chance. Rumble. Unrivaled power was attached to the overwhelming heavenly war halberd, splitting the dense air in two wherever it passed. Bang. Ka Ching. In an instant, the heavenly war halberd struck Song Wentian's body, and as the sound of clicking sounded, his armor instantly turned into countless fragments and exploded. Whoosh. Seeing this, Gu Chang Cheng, a displacement appeared in front of Song Wentian, who was still flying backwards and spraying a few mouthfuls of blood furiously from his mouth, and his large hand that was covered in dragon armor ruthlessly pinched his neck, with a joyful color like you, how dare you enter my blue star's territory to kill people. Put. After Gu Changqing's cold words, the left black dragon bit off his left arm hard and chewed it in his mouth with relish. Ah. 
As an afterthought, Song Wendian let out a heart-rending scream. Gu Changqing looked up at the sky and spoke in a cold voice. You monkeys from outside the domain, open your eyes and watch carefully. In my eyes, you are all food on the table. Ka Ching, the moment the words fell, the right black dragon bit off Song Wentian's right arm and feasted on it in its mouth. Sang Wentian's original body was not a human, but it's Song Heavenly Beast race. Such a tyrannical human race. If we don't exterminate them, it may be us who will be exterminated in the future. Song Wentian is miserable. He met such a tyrant. Yes, too tyrannical, but he's really terrifying. The super striped armor worn by this human race. Who knows its origin? This seems to be the imperial dragon armor of the Blue Star Empire's 12 star battle emperor Chu Beichuan, but it's different. And when worn on this man, it seems to be even more domineering and strong. What? Imperial dragon armor? Hiss. This set of super striped armor. If we look at the universe and the stars, those who can fight against it are definitely not out of a handful of people. In the Blue Star Empire, the nine 12 star war emperors were terrifying. And it was rumored that the strongest of the nine was the Emperor Dragon Ultra Tattoo. No wonder Tsang Wendian was defeated so completely, directly crushed. This blue star human race, is it really impossible to exterminate? The pop-ups within the Super God Platform's live streaming room boiled to the top. Countless beings from all races who were watching the live broadcast felt a deep sense of powerlessness after knowing the origin of the armor on Gu Changqing. It was a pity that Tsang Qian Tian had met such a tyrant. He might have the power to fight when he met the White Emperor and the Xian Woman armor. But in front of the Emperor Dragon Armor, he would probably be undefeated even if he burned his own super stripe. Kill me. Have the guts to kill me. Song Qian Tian, who had lost both of his arms in pain, had his face twisted as he let out a hysterical roar. Super God Platform. Inside the general manager's office, Tranlak looked at the image in the live broadcast and smiled faintly. If you don't think about it, your good disciple will be tortured to death. The voice of the lofty smoke palace master was incomparably low. What do you want before you're willing to open the super god wormhole? Tranlak smiled faintly. That depends on what you can come up with. The opposite party took a deep breath and said, How about a 12-tiered super grain armor? Hearing this, Tranrak laughed loudly. Worthy of being the superstar academy, you are indeed rich and generous. Deal. However, to be ugly, if the Blue Star Empire's central city interferes, whether or not it can be saved, I won't give you a guarantee. The lofty smoke palace master said in a deep voice. As long as you open the super god wormhole, whether it can be saved or not, I'll admit it. Tranlak smiled. Very well, I'm relieved with your words. Lan Shi, go open the super god wormhole. The female secretary sniffed and nodded. Good. Saying so, she quickly left. Ask for some votes. Thanks. Chapter 70 I. On behalf of all the humans of Blue Star, hereby welcome you. Chapter 70 I. On behalf of all humans of the Blue Star, here to welcome you. The scene of Gu Changqing's strong suppression of Song Wentian shocked all the starry sky beings. Song Wentian, whose arms had already been eaten, couldn't stop his mouth from emitting a miserable scream. Ka Ching. At that moment, the twin dragons behind Gu Changqing's back viciously bit down on both of his calves, causing him to faint in pain before waking up and then screaming miserably. Gu Changqing also intentionally used his spiritual power to seal the blood flowing out from him. This kind of means cannot be said not vicious. What to let him live and watch his own body bit by bit to be eaten and die. Too ruthless. Blue star human. Really can't stay ah. Uh. Yes, if we let him rise and create another blue star empire, I'm afraid it will be even more brutal and unkind than the old empire of the blue star. This guy's potential index of 10, 000 stars, if he is allowed to fuse the divine abyssal imperial armor of the blue star empire's lord, with the imperial dragon armor, I can't dare to imagine it anymore. Don't worry, the 10 strongest clans in the stars will never allow him to grow up. At this stage of Blue Star, no one higher than the 12th Order can get in. Who can stop him from rising? Are you kidding? With the Blue Star's depleted resources alone, can it provide for his rise to power? Inside the Super God Platform's live broadcast room, the viewers, who had added up to 60 to 70 billion viewers, looked at the ferocious Gu Changqing and all felt a bit chilled. What? That's all you're capable of. Who gave you the courage to come down and hunt my human race? Gu Changqing's intimidating eyes were like looking at a mole cricket staring at Song Wenian who was wailing in pain in front of him, stretching out a forefinger covered in sharp dragon armor, brutally gouging out one of his eyeballs. Ah, bastards, you human races are all beasts. Song Qian cursed and screamed madly in pain. This scene was chilling to the countless starry sky beings, just looking at it made them shiver coldly. And how desperate must the person in question, Song Wentian, be? The Dragon Kingdom, on top of Mount Wu Wa. This man, so ruthless, the ultra sorcerer races which plume. Watching the images within the Ultra Brain live streaming room, 
had goosebumps all over her body. Su Yue watched, her body trembling a little. One didn't dare to think about what kind of a fate would befall them if they fell into his hands. Just the thought of that kind of scene already filled her heart with fear. The black-robed man, on the other hand, was holding a disc in his hand, walking and flying all over this mountain range, as if he was searching for something. Meanwhile, within the central city, Zhang Hu and Zhu Bird were like a crack, having fought their way to the sixth battle zone, and it was believed that it wouldn't take long before they could completely take the nine battle zones outside the core city. Brother Wen Tian, inside the Superstar Academy Palace, a stunning young girl, tears streaming down her face, watched the live broadcast, her body trembling terribly. At this moment, it was unknown how many powerful people in the stars and demons of the younger generation were watching the live broadcast on the superstar platform. Put, after Gu Changqing snapped off one of Tsang Wentian's eyes, he gouged out his other eye as well and said coldly, whether it's during the time of the old empire or the time of the new humanity, the blue planet is not a place where you, these extraterrestrial monkeys, can go unchecked. Enjoy the next joyous time, when the new empire I created rises. Your good days will come to an end. He had long known from the light brain of the first war zone that at the current stage of the blue star, those truly powerful people from the extraterrestrial starry sky, none of them could descend, no matter what the cost. Only when the blue star was sealed and unsealed layer by layer could stronger existences descend in turn. Don't say that he was making mindless threats, it was foolish behavior. Could it be that by not threatening, they would spare the new humans? This son must die. Hearing such arrogant words from Gu Chanqing, the Overgod platform's live broadcast room was filled with such pop-ups. Buzz. Just as Gu Changqing gouged out Song Wantian's second eye, an immense and incomparable black vortex suddenly surfaced above the firmament, slowly rotating in an extremely intimidating manner. Eh? Gu Changqing raised his eyes to watch, when a voice came from the light brain. This is the Super God platform's Super God wormhole. The cost of opening it is very huge. Is it sending a support message to the main light brain to break this teleportation wormhole? I haven't recognized it yet. Will the main light brain help? Yes, the light brain said with certainty. The master light brain will never allow any teleportation channel to penetrate into the blue star realm. In that case, send a support message to it. Gu Changqing would also never allow any beings that plagued humanity to leave this planet alive. The voice of the light brain came. Message conveyed. Shu, Shu, Shu. At the same time, within that horrifying vortex above the firmament, nine black chains suddenly interspersed and rolled straight towards Tsong Wendian whose legs and feet had been eaten by two black dragons. Gu Changqing watched silently, knowing that he could not stop it by making a move, and could only wait for the hub city's main light brain to make a move. In the blink of an eye, nine super divine iron chains wrapped around Song Wendian, pulling him swiftly towards the swirling black hole. Gu Changqing looked at Song Wendian as he was about to disappear into the wormhole, and regardless of whether he could do so or not, he was prepared to send out his strongest strike to try to see if he could exterminate the latter. Ever since the moment this vortex surfaced, a powerful force had enveloped Song Wentian's body. Gu Changqing didn't have the slightest bit of certainty that he would be able to break it. Is this the Super God wormhole that the Superstar Academy Palace, at any cost, allowed the Super God platform to open? It sure is. Worthy of being the Super God platform's Super God wormhole, I heard that even a 99-step emperor-level powerhouse couldn't stop the person it was trying to save. What's wrong with the blue star, in front of the Super God platform? It still comes and goes as it pleases? Ha, huh, you're being funny. Do you know how much it costs to open this super god wormhole? There's no doubt that the blue star empire was powerful during its time. So don't try to show off your mouth here. Agree with the words upstairs. Rumble. Just as the viewers within the overgod platform's live broadcasting room were thinking that Song Wendian would be able to leave the blue star peacefully. Suddenly, in the direction of the imperial hub city, a horrifying gray black beam of light broke through the void. In the blink of an eye, it cut through the sky and pierced through the wormhole vortex. As it pierced through, the wormhole vortex collapsed and slowly dissipated above the sky. Ah! Song Wendian shrieked in shock, whistling as he fell from the heights. Aang! The left black dragon behind Gu Chanqing broke through the air and extended its body, lifting him back with a bite on his shoulder. As I said, it may be easy for you to come down, but it's a luxury to want to go back alive. Looking at the tortured Song Chen Tian in front of him, Gu Chanqing let out a cold snort then headed straight for the Bermuda Triangle in the Atlantic Ocean. In less than half a minute, Gu Changqing landed in the air above the part of the ocean where the Hell Portal was located, sacrificing the Cultivator Throne. He threw the dying, miserably wailing Song Wentian onto the top of the station under the throne steps and indifferently said, Come, extraterrestrial monkeys, come over to your heart's content. I, on behalf of all the humans of Planet Blue, I hereby welcome your arrival. His Emperor Dragon Demon Armor was added to his body 
and he leaned sideways on the Shura throne in a domineering manner. A majestic voice that shook the heavens and earth resounded in the Overgod platform's live broadcast room. In the years of every viewer. Chapter 71, Immortality? Come down and kill me if you dare. Super God Platform. Tranquila's office. What's going on? Is this your super god wormhole? Would it be too unbearable? On the desk's supercomputer, the low smoke palace master's low voice came out. Tranquila laughed bitterly. Low Yin Palace Lord. I told you just now that if the Blue Star Empire Central City intervenes, the super god wormhole can't do anything about it. And I've long since told you to be mentally prepared. If you think I'm punking you, please go complain about me. If you don't believe that this is the super god wormhole, there's nothing I can do. The lofty smoke palace master was silent for a moment, took a deep breath, and said, Sorry for losing my temper. May I ask, is there any other method that you, the super god platform, can use to save my disciple? She had poured most of her heart and soul into Tsongwantian, even the 29 tier superstar emperor armor, which could only be fused if it reached a potential index of 5,300 stars, was prepared for him. If he were to let him die like this, the loss would truly be too great. With incomparable hatred, Knowing that there was an existence with a 10,000 star potential index in the blue star, why did he have to go down there? If he could get him back, don't doubt that the lofty smoke palace lord wouldn't hang him up and beat him violently. The super god wormhole doesn't even work. There's basically nothing in the starry sky that can save him. Lo Yin palace lord, give up. Tranquila sipped his tea and said, this disciple of yours is really pissing off this blue star. If he can't be taken out before he can rise, it will be another disaster in the starry sky. The lofty smoke palace master was silent for a moment. Can the hyperstrike projection kill him? Tranquila said disdainfully. How many orders of strength can you project down? At most 14 orders. Do you think your own 14 orders of projected strength can beat him? You can't save him. Give up. Heaven's sins can be survived. But self-inflicted sins can't be survived. Back then, when Blue Star sealed himself, it was by lifting the power of the entire empire. Even if you were a 99 ranked war emperor, it would be impossible to fight your way in for the time being. The lofty smoke palace master was still very unwilling and said, You super god platform, don't you have any other methods? Tranquila smiled faintly and said, Yes, you contact him and see if you can spend a large price to redeem your good disciple. This is the only way. Good, please, you super god platform, contact him for me. The lofty smoke palace master didn't hesitate to agree. This was really the only way. Atlantic Ocean. Hundred Curtains Triangle. That part of the ocean where the hell portal was located, the Thule throne crossed the sky, and the imperial dragon demon armor's Gu Changqing sat on it in a domineering manner. At the bottom of the steps, Sang Chin Tian on the platform, his limbs and eyes were lost, and he kept wailing and convulsing in pain. Gu Changqing wouldn't let him die in pain. Tens of millions of humans had died in this man's hands. If he was allowed to die that quickly, it would all be a gift to him. Buzz, boom. Suddenly at this moment, beneath the deep sea, a dozen 12-stage extraterrestrial supergrainers came up across the sky, wearing various colors of ultra-tattoo armor, but all of them were of the 12th rank. Eh? After they flew out of the deep sea, they suddenly felt a tyrannical, overbearing, and ferocious pressure come upon them. When they looked up, they saw that high above the sky, there was a throne with blood patterns flowing all over its body. There was a person leaning sideways on it, making them. Breathing seemed to be restricted by a terrifying figure. These overworlders? who had been in Hellstar earlier, hadn't bothered to watch the live broadcast of the Overworld platform, and thus didn't know that so many things had happened in these few short little moments. May I ask how this lord is addressed? Of the 13 people in the group, the ultra tattooist at the head of the group, who was wearing lightning armor, carefully inquired to Gu Changqing, who was seated. Aang. Whoosh. What answered them was the left black dragon behind Gu Changqing's back extending its body to break through the air. Faster than thunder and biting off the head of this ultra tattooist with extreme cruelty. Even his armor couldn't protect his head, and his headless body spilled blood as it fell through the air, its huge body manifesting after falling into the sea. Run! The remaining twelve extraterrestrial overstriker were horrified in their hearts when they saw this, and without saying a word they scattered in all directions, running as fast as they could. Aang! The two black dragons behind Gu Changqing were both breaking through the air in pursuit. The speed was terrifying. It was simply not something that these 12-stage super stripe makers could run away from. In just less than a minute, their heads were all bitten off by the two black dragons catching up with them. The end of the day, it was ferocious. His emperor dragon magic armor is the early 12th order, evolutionary level, god level, epic, king, emperor, saint, god, and emperor level. The emperor dragon armor was originally 99 steps of the emperor level, but after detaching from Chu Beichuan's body, 
the rank directly dropped to the early 12th step, and the evolutionary level also dropped from the emperor level to the god level. When the imperial powers dug out their own ultra tattoos before they died, they all lost their power severely. Buzz, right after Gu Changqing killed the group of extraterrestrial ultra grains, an ultra brain void suddenly surfaced in front of him. Eh? Seeing this, Gu Changqing's eyes looked on calmly. Immediately afterward, a clear, cold voice emanated from within the ultra brain's shadow. Hello, I am the palace master of the Superstar Academy Palace, Miao Luoyan. Sang Wendian is my disciple. I am willing to pay any price to implore you to keep him alive. Gu Chanqing listened quietly and said, Any price? The other party returned. Yes, Gu Chanqing teased. Then let someone bring your head over for a replacement. My god, this guy is so arrogant. The Superstar Academy Palace Master personally came out and didn't even give him any face. Funny, why should I give him face? If I were you, I wouldn't give it to you either. If you have the ability, you can go down and beat him up, provided she can go down. Indeed, this man is now absolutely invincible on the blue planet. Whoever can take him down will surely be famous in the stars. Who dares to go? If he dares to come out, he would have died many times before. Gu Changqing's arrogance caused countless viewers in the Overgod platform's live broadcast room to yell at him for not knowing what's good for him. Miao Luoyan's ancient, wave-free voice came out, If you promise to release Song Wentian, I will swear on behalf of all of the Ultra Star Academy that I will never make a move against you in the future. Gu Changqing said indifferently, One less of you is not less, one more of you is not more. If you want to save him, have someone bring your head over and exchange it. Hearing this, Miao Luoyan's voice was slightly colder. Are you sure that oil and salt don't enter? Before you've risen to power, you're nothing. And with the vastness of the starry sky and the number of powerful clans, you can only reign supreme in the blue star now. Gu Changqing said lightly, even if there were more powerful communities, weren't they still suppressed by the ancestral star empire back then? They're all just uncivilized monkeys. Miao Luoyan's chilling voice came out. Good, very good. If Tsang Wendian dies in your hands, I, Superstar Academy, will not rest in death with you. Immortal or not, if you're capable, come down and kill me. Gu Changqing said indifferently. The right black dragon behind his back crossed the sky, and with a poof, he bit off a large chunk of flesh and bone from Tsong Wentian's body. The latter let out a hoarse scream in pain. Chapter 72 Black Hell Hall. Haokian Emperor Armor. Five chapters. Request for bookings. Read. Gu Changqing stood alone atop the hell portal, frightening the countless starry sky beings who didn't dare to approach. Miao Luoyan snorted coldly and left a threatening remark before completely giving up on saving Tsong Wentian. Before disconnecting the call, she didn't even say a word to Tsong Wentian. The Academy Palace had poured so much effort into him. But what about him? But he didn't tell anyone and travel to the Blue Planet privately to die. Angry, Miao Luoyan's heart was dripping blood. Liao Yin Palace Master, if you really can't be angry, go directly to ask the assassins from the Black Prison Hall to kill him. On this side of Tranquila's office. He saw that the other party didn't end the call or speak, and sipped a mouthful of tea and said this. The Black Hell Hall was the number one assassin organization in the stars, with the tenet that as long as you could afford the price of assassination, killing anyone would not be a problem. Say it again, Miao Luoyan said coldly, taking the initiative to end the call. Die laughing. After the call ended, Tranquila let out a low laugh. His secretary, Lan Shi, was puzzled. General manager, Aren't we trying to befriend this person? Why are we helping the Superstar School Palace? The impression we have in this man's mind now is definitely not very good. We are businessmen. Profit is above everything. If he holds a grudge because of this, then there's nothing we can do. Tranclavia frowned and said. However, he is truly arrogant. Blue Brook whispered. But he has the qualifications. Right? Tranquila nodded. Indeed qualified. But it just makes me look bad. Over on the Hell Star. How many overstrikers have gone over there? Do they still dare to enter Blue Star? Blue Brook returned. There are hundreds of thousands to say the least. Basically all of them are of the 12th rank. And that portal in Hellstar only supports the 12th rank to go over now. From the information coming back from over there, it seems like they want to swarm in and besiege Blue Star this one. Tranquila sniffed, but laughed. Siege, can they break the defense against this man? A bunch of fools who are being used as guns by the Ultra Celestial Emperor Clan. Buzz. Just as his words fell, the ultra brain on his desk, transmitted an assistant's voice, general manager, the above just issued a directive for us not to intervene in the affairs of Blue Star, especially opening the ultra divine wormhole, or else we'll suffer the consequences, got it, Tranquila's eyes flickered as he whispered, it seems like she's also paying attention to Blue Star, Blue Star was surprised, you mean Lord Tillet? Tranquila laughed, who else could it be but her, it seems that she still can't get over that man from back then, 
And even if it's a new human, she still wants to help. The Imperial Hub City, the Ninth War Zone, outside the 10, 000 meter bridge of technology leading to the core city. Vermilion Bird and Zhang who fought their way here. The technological bridge in front of them was a full 10,000 meters long and more than a thousand meters wide, and it was unknown what kind of material was used to build it. Underneath the bridge was an abyss so deep that even spiritual power couldn't probe to the end. Under the entrance of the core city, there stood a humanoid robot wearing gold-colored armor. Divine and majestic. If the armor that this robot was wearing were to be seen by those powerhouses in the starry sky, they would definitely be shocked. 30 weight Houtian Emperor Armor. An existence that was second only to the Imperial Lord Divine Profound Emperor Armor. Brother Zhang. This robot? Well, like it's not something we can deal with. Just from the gusts of oppression coming from its body, it makes me feel my legs go a little weak. Vermilion Bird looked at the magnificent figure at the end of the bridge and said with some trepidation. Zhang Hu nodded his head with eyes full of gravity and said, That kind of aura, gives me the feeling that it's simply untouchable. I still need to call out for the boss to come over. Vermilion Bird said, Let's go then. Go find the boss. Go. Zhang Hu greeted her as she left. The existence of the one at the end of the bridge, they really didn't have the courage to go hard. They didn't even dare to put out a test. With the fastest speed possible, they arrived at the No. 1 war zone. Since the capture of this war zone, the city gates had been opened. The two left and headed straight for the Atlantic Ocean. Like two streams of light crossing the sky, they came to this side of the Bermuda Triangle's waters in a short time. The Shura throne in the distance caught their eyes. Knowing that the boss was over there, the two flew over and landed on top of the throne. First, they curiously glanced at the half-dead, Lim and Iles. Wailing Song Chin Tian below, before addressing Gu Changqing, Boss, Vermilion Bird and I have taken all the battle zones, but the one in Core City is not something Vermilion Bird and I can defeat. Just the aura it exudes makes us feel invincible. Vermilion Bird nodded and said, Yes boss, that robot, clad in majestic and inviolable golden armor, makes one dare not even think of making an enemy of it. Hearing their words, Gu Changqing rose from his seat and said, I'll personally make a trip over there to take a look. You guys keep an eye on the portals under the deep sea from here, but any extraterrestrial super striker that comes up here, kill them without pardon. After saying that, he left across the sky and disappeared into this space in the blink of an eye. At this moment, the overgod livestream was abuzz. Golden armor? My god, could it be the Houtian Emperor armor? I doubt it as well. In that battle back then, I had seen the Houtian Emperor armor with my own eyes, the very same majestic and inviolable golden armor. Hiss, the Blue Star Empire's second-ranked Houtian Emperor armor has also come out? Damn it, all the things left behind by the Blue Star Empire are really too outrageous. What do you think? Those who have never experienced that era will never be able to imagine the power and terror of the Blue Star Empire. It's a pity that we can't see the scene of the Empire's central city. I wonder if the one just now can beat it. It feels like it's a 4-6 split. The one just now was only 4. I really hope he dies at the hands of the Houtian Imperial armor. Right, in that case... The human race is no longer much of a threat. Inside the Super God Live broadcast room, from the Blue Star Empire ruling that era to the present strong person, just from the description of Zhu Bird and Zhang Hu's mouth, we know that it is definitely the Blue Star Empire, ranked second in the Houtian Emperor armor. This set of imperial armor, only the potential index, reached 5,600 stars of the living soul, only qualified to merge, but whether or not it can succeed, it's hard to say. The probability of death is extremely high. You are the beast that slaughtered tens of millions of my humans? Zhang Hu looked at the half-dead in Wailing Song Chantian, lifted his foot and ruthlessly trampled on his head, and laughed evilly. Next, it's my turn to torture you. Second brother, here's our chance. The pair of Sea God Clan siblings hiding in the hub city, the first battle zone, were watching the live broadcast of the Overgod platform, and they were both dumbfounded. The man's eyes flashed as he laughed. If we can carry Gu Chengqing's head out, we'll surely be famous in the stars. The woman nodded and laughed. That's the Houtian Emperor armor. How can the Emperor Dragon armor be defeated? Even if we can win, I'm afraid we'll lose most of our lives. Boom. Right at this moment, Gu Changqing's berserk figure returned, heading straight for the ninth battle zone. Go. Seeing this, the man greeted and brought his sister to follow closely behind him. Chapter 73 Powerful Battle Against the Houtian Emperor Armor You want to chop off my head? Six chapters. Request for subscription. Dragon Kingdom. Wuhua Mountain. Ha ha ha. I've found it. I've found the place where my ultra tattoo armor was sealed. Suddenly at this moment, the black robed man's maniacal laughing voice continuously echoed in this area of space. Whom? Which plume and Su Yue, who were watching the live broadcast of the Overgod platform, heard the sound and while giving a lightum, 
They flew towards where the black-robed man was, not far from this side, underneath a mountain pit. The black-robed man's body trembled as he laughed loudly, the disc pointer in his hand constantly rotating and buzzing. Teacher, did you really find it? At this time, Su Yue and Wu Ling fell from the air and said with full of surprise, Not bad, my evil sorcerer's super tattoo is underneath this earth. The black-robed man slightly calmed the agitation in his heart and laughed, as long as it is infused with my blood, it will resonate with my master to break the seal. Wu Ling also said with some excitement, Can you hurry up, teacher? Gu Changqing has gone to fight with the Houtian Emperor armor. Even if he can defeat the Houtian Emperor armor, he will be seriously injured, and then we can reap the benefits. HM, the one guarding the core main city is the Houtian Emperor armor? The black-robed man froze, then burst out laughing. Ha ha ha, it's truly heaven's help, give me half an hour. However, after being sealed for so long, I don't know how much of the power of the Ultra Tattoo has been lost. After saying that, he collected his laughter and sat on his knees on the ground at his feet with some concern. Then, slashing the palm of his right hand, he catalyzed his spiritual power and frantically dripped blood into the ground. Under the traction of his spiritual energy, the blood dripping out of his palm, madly fell towards the earth below, turning into blood chi and dispersing. At the same time, Gu Changqing arrived at the ninth war zone, in front of the bridge leading to the central main city. Raising his eyes, he looked at the magnificent figure standing under the entrance to the main city, felt the breath permeating his body, and in a burst of light surging in his palm, he sacrificed his blood dragon spear. With a robot, there is nothing to say. Lifting up all the strength in his body, he rushed over with a loud bang. Divine ability. Emperor's pole, dragon spear's blade. Above the blood dragon spear, there seemed to be 10,000 dragon shadows hovering. 23 different dragon powers intertwined, carrying the momentum of destroying everything, instantly killing in front of the Houtian Emperor armor. Buzz. The eyes of the Houtian Emperor armor robot abruptly lit up with light, and with a gentle step, a buzzing sound resounded behind it followed by the emergence of nine gold-colored Houtian Emperor swords. It raised its hand to hold one of the Houtian swords, and with a rumble, it raised its sword to stab on the piercing blood dragon spear blade. At the same time, the eight Houtian Emperor swords behind it were also like lightning, their golden sword light suddenly flashing as they pierced towards Gu Changqing in eight different directions. Clang! In a matter of moments, the spear blades and sword tips collided with each other, rubbing out sharp sounds that pierced through gold and cracked stone. Bang! Boom! On! At the same time, the twin dragons behind Gu Changqing collided and entangled with the eight Houtian Emperor swords that were strangling them. Boom! Wrong! Gu Changqing and the Houtian Emperor armor robots pulled off a furious battle that didn't belong to the 12th class level at all. Spears clashed with swords, black dragons entangled with emperor swords, armor collided with armor, and divine abilities blasted against divine abilities. The terrifying aftermath of the battle was like hundreds and thousands of large artillery shells blowing up in this area. However, in the outside world, a strike that could destroy a city could not even break apart the earth here. Not to mention their 12-step battle. Even if 30 or 40-step overworlders were fighting here, they wouldn't be able to break through the city's buildings and earth. On the surface of Gu Changqing's armored body, 23 types of dragon power turned into extremely brilliant light flames burning, and there seemed to be 23 tyrannical dragon souls roaming around his body, and each of his strikes was an aptitude that could crush the same rank. But the robot wearing the Houtian Emperor armor was equally strong. Every sword and every strike was like an emperor judging the filthy earth. The golden-colored sword light was blazing and unparalleled, seemingly able to cut through all the matter in the world. Overbearing, strong, and majestic. Boom! Ron! They fought from the ground to the sky and back to the ground, crisscrossing the high altitude of the hub main city, on the connecting road, on the building, killing each other. Their silhouettes soon disappeared deep inside the city, and outside, only the roaring sounds of the battle could be heard coming out. But with this level of fighting, they were unable to destroy a building at all. It couldn't even break the glass. All so strong. On this side of the bridge in the ninth battle zone, the pair of brother and sister from the Sea God Clan, looking at the figures of them fighting and gradually disappearing into the city, the eyes under the Sea God Emperor armor helmet were filled with horror. The younger sister said strangely, Why is the Emperor Dragon Armor able to fight with the Houtian Emperor armor so indistinguishably? The elder brother said, I just recorded a 10 minute video of them fighting, and posted it on the Overgod platform to ask what's going on. He was also puzzled as to what made the 22 weight Emperor Dragon Armor so indistinguishable from the 30 weight Houtian Emperor Armor. As he spoke, he had already passed through his super brain and uploaded the 10 minute video he had just recorded to the video software of the Super God platform. The video software of the Super God platform was the same type of thing as the Douyin on the Blue Star. After uploading the video, 
His brother posted a pop-up screen of him uploading a video of the battle between the Emperor Dragon Armor and the Houtian Emperor Armor within the official live broadcast room of the Super God platform. The beings in the universe would also swipe videos to pass the time when they were bored, and even open live streams to earn star coins. The Sea God clan spent a great deal of money to send them down. That meteorite? I don't know how many divine crystals they used. The sounds of fierce battles in the main city were still coming out of it unceasingly. With the pop-up screen posted by the brother of the Sea God clan, within the official live broadcasting room of the Overgod platform, not only was the live broadcasting room abuzz with pop-up screens, but even the number of plays, and the number of likes of his video, were all rising at a terrifying number. It was full of shocked comments. When did the Emperor Dragon Armor become on par with the Houtian Emperor Armor? Outrageous, outrageous to the heavens. Is the Emperor Dragon Armor that strong? The one who posted this video, can you open a live stream for us to see? I'm a survivor who once participated in the Battle of the Blue Star Empire. The Emperor Dragon Armor that man is wearing is definitely advanced, not the original 22 weight Emperor Dragon Armor. That's why it can be on par with the Houtian Emperor Armor. This comment had a very large number of likes and replies. The Neptune Clan brother, however, didn't have the heart to read the comments under the video. His gaze dead set on the inside of the main city. He was afraid that Gu Changqing would defeat the Houtian Emperor Armor with minor injuries, and he was also afraid that the Houtian Emperor Armor defeating Gu Changqing without any injuries, in which case all the costs they had come down with would go down the drain. It was best if both of them lost, so that they had no losses. Time passed little by little. Their battle had been going on for most of half an hour, and it still didn't seem to be over. Boom. However, at this moment, an extremely violent figure within the main city, like a meteorite, fell from the sky above the main city towards the ninth battle zone. With a loud bang, the figure ruthlessly smashed on top of a square in the ninth battle area and didn't move, with a Houtian Emperor's sword sticking out of his chest, nailing him to the ground ruthlessly. Take a look. The elder brother of the Sea God clan greeted, and with the fastest speed, he looked at the place where the figure had just crashed down. Whoosh. With his sister, he watched from a mansion towards that square. Upon seeing who the figure was that was ruthlessly run through the square by a Houtian Emperor's sword, the brother and sister pair both laughed. Strangely enough, the Emperor Dragon Armor that was penetrated here, how all the colors turned black, large and small cracks were densely covered, and outwardly bubbling with rolling demonic gas, but no matter what, looking at the person in front of him, his life breath dropped to the extreme point, definitely the best time to kill him, even the two black dragons behind him, one of them had its head chopped off, how could one let go of such a good time, sister, let's go over. The moment of fame has come to the stars. The older brother flew over with incomparable excitement and landed on the square, looking at his sister beside him, saying, record a video for me. I'll chop off his head with my own hands. Ah, second brother. Suddenly, the younger sister shrieked out with eyes full of fear. What's wrong? Seeing this, his elder brother turned around in confusion, which instantly caused him to die, only to see that Gu Changqing had already risen from the ground slowly pulling out the Houtian Emperor's sword that had run through his entire chest with one hand, and was staring at them with an eerie gaze. Put. Gu Changqing pulled out the sword from his chest with one hand and stared at the man with a tyrannical gaze, his voice like a hellish death knell as he asked, you're going to chop off my head? The man, suppose he, also stared at Gu Changqing in death, and when he saw that he was still so miserable, with no intention of recovering, he immediately sneered, not bad. Today I'm going to chop off your head and use it as a urinal for the races in the stars. He didn't believe that he, a peak of the 11th rank, still couldn't defeat an early 12th rank who was seriously injured in dying. Is that so? Gu Changqing's faint voice came out from underneath his dragon helmet, which had broken off one of its horns. Whoosh. Then, it disappeared in place. Poof. When Gu Changqing appeared, the Houtian Emperor's sword in his hand had already penetrated the man's supposed heart. Ah. He stared at the man in front of him with wide eyes looking at the person in front of him with utter incredulity, not understanding how he still had such terrifying strength when he was seriously injured to this point. Isn't it good to hide well? Even if I'm seriously injured, it's not something you, a mole, can shake. Gu Changqing said quietly, violently pulling out the Houtian Emperor's sword that had penetrated the other party's heart, and then chopping off his head with a flash of sword light. At the broken neck, blood sprayed like a gushing spring. Killing this fawn, Gu Changqing's gaze fell on the man's supposed sister. No, I was wrong. Don't, don't, don't kill me. Her eyes were filled with fear, and she trembled as she kept retreating backward. The ultra brain in her hand attracted Gu Changqing's gaze. Gu Changqing didn't say a word, shifted forward and chopped down with a sword. A woman in her flowery season, so her head was separated from her body like this. Between beckons, 
the super brain fell into Gu Changqing's hands. Bang! However, this super brain just fell into his palm, but even self-destructed. Looking at the ultra brain in his hand, which dissipated into points of light, Gu Changqing didn't care. Turning around, he headed for the central main city. The Houtian Emperor armor was indeed strong, and when it exerted its full power, Gu Changqing had to use a Luothro demon marker to destroy it. Even before it died, it was strong and incomparable enough to stab Gu Changqing. Chapter 74 Unprecedented The first person to open heaven and earth. Dragon Kingdom. Wuhua Mountain. Underneath the deep pit, the black-robed man sat cross-legged in mid-air. The ground was densely covered with blood. He was frantically urging his spiritual power to resonate with the ultra-tattoo armor that was sealed in this side of the earth. Which Plume frowned slightly and said, Half an hour has passed. I don't know if the teacher is too late. Buzz. However, just at the moment her words fell, bloodlight suddenly rose up under the deep pit and boomed, drowning the black-robed man in the twinkling of an eye. At the same time, a terrifying breath, like a hurricane swept across the space. Countless mutated flying birds and beasts fled madly under the shroud of this terrifying breath. What a strong breath. Su Yu Wei revealed a shocked look. What did you expect? The teacher's sealed ultra tattoo armor is a 14 weight. 93 rank god grade armor. And even though the power of the ultra tattoo will be erased a lot with the passage of long years, it's at least 20 to 30 ranks. Which plume laughed in a low voice. This is still teacher's original ultra tattoo. If Gu Changqing is truly seriously injured, then the Empire's central city will be our ultra witch races. At that time, you will still need your human identity to control the light brain of the main city. The reason why the black-robed man had kept Su Yue by his side all this time was that he was waiting to kill Gu Changqing, so that she could recognize the main city's light brain and take complete control of the central city. They were of the ultra sorcerer race status, and they simply couldn't enter the main office of the central hub building of the main city. Buzz, when the blood light lasted for less than a minute, it gradually and slowly converged. When the blood light disappeared, the black-robed man, who was kneeling in midair, had already put on a set of armor that was blood-colored, with black sorcerer patterns flowing on the surface of his body, which was very evil and hideous. The breath that permeated from his body, six or seven hundred meters apart, made which plume feel oppressed. Ha ha, the black-robed man, which evil yen, let out a maniacal laughter that shook the entire sky. I don't know how many years it's been, but I've finally gotten you back. My original ultra tattoo. After living for such a long time, he had never been so happy, delighted, and excited as he was today. Which plume was also happy from the bottom of his heart and laughed. Teacher, your innate ultra tattoo. How many classes are left now? Whoosh. In a flash, the black-robed man appeared in front of the two women, his terrifying aura shocking them back a few steps. It's too long ago. It has now fallen to the 21st rank of saint. But it's still easy to kill Gu Changqing. Underneath which evil Yan's hideous evil helmet, his rather magnetic voice came out, and after retrieving his original ultra tattoo, he seemed to have become younger as well. This was a very normal thing. The higher the rank of the ultra tattoo and the more vast the spiritual power, the longer one could live. Spiritual power could make the soul immortal, and the ultra tattoo could make the physical body immortal. Which plume laughed. Aha, it's a pity, but it's really enough to deal with Gu Changqing. Wu Xi and Scarlet Eyes flickered as he inquired. Has the battle between Gu Changqing and the Haoyan Emperor armor ended yet? Which plume shook his head. There's no live feed, so there's no way to know. In that case, let's go and go directly to the central main city to take a look. Which evil Yen was now incomparably confident. Although he had fallen off the rank very badly, as long as he was given some time, he could quickly cultivate back. Immediately, he brought the two women and rushed to the central hub city at the fastest speed possible. In the central hub city, Gu Changqing killed those two old sea god race. Rats before coming to where the corpse of the Haoyan Emperor armor robot was, the remnants of the mechanical body fell to the ground in pieces. When Gu Changqing beckoned, at the robot's heart, the small seal that flowed with golden light, sometimes transforming into super lines, sometimes transforming into armor, fell into his palm. There was no doubt about the power of this Haoyan Imperial armor. And if he didn't use the power of a single magical mark, Gu Changqing really couldn't finish it off. The threshold that the Empire had designed to enter the main city was simply too high. Gu Changqing now only knew that this ultra tattoo was very strong, and didn't know that it was the Haotian ultra tattoo, which was ranked second in the empire. Putting this imperial streak away, Gu Changqing took a deep breath and finally took the central city of the empire. He was very interested in the imperial lord's super sign. Immediately, he traveled to the main city, the central hub Dashia, at the fastest speed possible. The 600-story mansion stood crane-like in the center of the city. Two huge blue golden circular astral rings shrouded it emitting a dangerous light. Outside the gate, 
Two thirty-stage robots stood guard, seeing Gu Changqing arrive. Their electronic eyes swept over him, realizing that the visitor was human. They did not attack. Gu Changqing had already dispersed his tattered armor, and this battle with the Haotian Emperor armor was the toughest battle he had ever fought. Damage to the super grain armor, or being broken, did not harm the super grain and could be repaired by simply absorbing the pure energy contained within the crystals. He shot a glance at the two robots guarding the main gate, then quickly entered the main city's central hub. Da Xia. Buzz. Gu Changqing had just stepped in with his front foot when a burst of data light surged in front of him, transforming into a virtual woman wearing a tight gray and black outfit with a very Nessie appearance and figure. She smiled at Gu Changqing and said, Hello, my name is AI. You are the first new human to come here. Congratulations. Gu Changqing glanced at her and said lightly, Take me to the main office. Xiao AI smiled. Although you have defeated the Imperial Houtian Imperial Armor, you must pass the precise test of the instrument and pass the potential index in order to enter. The general office, which represents the top of the empire. Gu Changcheng swept in, then take me to the test. All right, please stand over here. Xiao AI came to the hall on the first floor, the circular instrument close by, and signaled Gu Changcheng to walk up to it. Without any nonsense, Gu Changcheng followed the other party's instructions and stepped onto the station of the circular arc instrument. Buzz. As he came up, the circular arc instrument emitted a soft blue light that slowly swept over his body. It lasted for about a minute before ending. Tick tock. At the same time, within the screen above the circular arc instrument, a string of beep 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 sounds suddenly resounded, followed by the emergence of a few lines. Race, human. Gender, male. Potential index, 11, 253 stars, unprecedented. The first person to open up the heavens and the earth. Superline, Imperial Dragon Magic Armor. The rest of the super tattoos. Undetectable. Class, Imperial Dragon Demonic Armor, 12th Order. God level. This. When AI saw the string of numbers of the potential index, her entire body froze in place for a long time. Although she was a digital avatar, she had all the thoughts and such that humans should have. 11,000 stars. It shouldn't be too little. Right? Gu Chang Chung, who didn't know the inside story, but appeared calmly stepped down from the stage and asked, can you qualify to enter the main office of the main city center? AI, who had returned to her senses, hurriedly said, Yes, 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 if you don't even have this qualification, then looking at the universe and stars, will not be able to find a single being who can enter. My lord, please. Saying so, she headed over to the elevator, making a gesture of invitation. Gu Changqing was indifferent, lifting his steps towards where the elevator was, requesting for tickets. Thanks for the support. I'm an owl. Go write another chapter. Chapter 75, Don't be merciful to the extraterrestrial groups. Chapter 75, Treating extraterrestrial groups. Don't be merciful. Main city, central hub Dashia. The elevator slowly stopped at the 600th floor. Exiting the elevator, AI took Gu Changqing and headed straight for the main office. The four-way corridor was too long, and after a few minutes, they finally arrived outside the main door of the main office. This time, there was no need for the gate's electronic equipment to scan it. And as Xiao AI and Gu Changqing approached, the heavy technological portal gradually opened. What came into view was an extremely large and luxurious office. The space here was really very large, boasting a tea tasting room, a coffee room, a game room, a dining room, a relaxation room, an office room, and a scenery room. In addition, there were also bedrooms, battle simulation rooms, supreme meeting rooms, retreat rooms, and so on. AI smiled. My lord, from today onwards, this is your residence and office. Is it satisfactory? This side is the office room. She opened the door to the office room and said, The main optical brain of the central main city is inside, as well as the projection of the lord of the empire and the things left for you. Gu Changqing looked around, then entered the office room, which was not a small space. AI saw him go in, closed the door behind him, and quietly waited outside. The reason why he was forced to test the potential index when he came up was because the imperial lord had left behind many projections. Each projection was different in what he had to say. Gu Changqing came and sat down in front of the huge desk, and behind him was a huge stretch of floor-to-ceiling windows that provided a view of almost the entire hub main city. Buzz. As he sat down, the main optical brain on the desk buzzed with light, and then projected a middle-aged man wearing a black military uniform with three imperial star medals on each shoulder. He is a very great features knife-cutting axe chiseling. Between the eyebrows all show not angry from the way. Eyes deep seems to reach the depths of the soul of any living thing. Upright posture. Like the sky collapsed down he can also only hand top back. His line of sight, slowly falling on Gu Changqing, smiled and opened his mouth. Hello, new human. 
The fact that you were able to come here and trigger this projection of mine means that the potential index is at least 6,000 stars or more. Very impressive. This is just a projection I left behind. You and I can't talk to each other. I don't think I need to say more about how the empire was overthrown. If I can be given a chance to start over again, I still won't be merciful to the starry sky races. In this world of the weak and the strong, only if we are so powerful that the entire universe, united, cannot shake us, then that is called powerful. We, the old empire, came so close to doing that. If I could be given another 10,000 years, it would be the time when the universe would usher in a great unification. But unfortunately, there are no ifs. Alas, if it wasn't for me, the empire wouldn't have perished. Speaking here, he let out a deep sigh. From this sigh, Gu Chengqing could hear too much resignation, guilt, anger, and regret, but only no regret. At this moment, he only heard him continue. Back then, I fought the ten strongest ancient ancestors in the starry sky alone, fighting and entangling with them for three whole years, fighting through serious injuries to eliminate seven of them. In the end, our physical and spiritual consumption is too great, coupled with their own injuries. By the void ancient ancestors do not hesitate to spontaneously combust, and sacrifice 90% of their clansmen, into the void curse into the body. This is a specialized, curse of extermination. Any inheritance of a community's destiny of the existence abstained, through the ages do not see any exceptions. The final outcome is destruction. If you were born in my era, we should be able to fight side by side and sweep through the deep space of the universe. Of course, there is also the possibility that we will kill each other. After all, one mountain cannot accommodate two tigers. All right, on to the important matters. I know you're attached to the empire's strongest divine abyssal imperial tattoo, but I'm sorry, before I died, I've already raised my country's power to raise it to 42, and I'm afraid that you won't be able to fuse it with your potential of 6,000 stars, but you have infinite potential. It's only a matter of time before you cultivate to 8,000 stars to fuse it. Use the Houtian Emperor crest in your hand first. The 42 weight divine abyssal emperor armor is within the spatial ring on the table, before you reach 8,000 stars, don't try to fuse it, or else you're taking your own life, kid, although I don't know what your name is, I believe that you will be able to lead the human race to rise again, I still have many, many things I want to say, alas, but don't know where to start, in the future, if you are able to meet a woman by the name of Tijuana, be sure to bring me a message to her, I'm sorry for failing you, saying this, he fell silent, seemingly thinking about what else he wanted to say to Gu Changqing. A moment later, a look of unwillingness appeared on his face as he regretfully said, failing to rule the cosmic deep space, I really don't want to die so quickly. The man stared at Gu Changqing with a burning gaze, kid, how about fulfilling this wish for me, for the entire old empire humanity, whether you answer or not, I'm going to admonish you, treat the extraterrestrial races, don't be merciful, or else you're being cruel to your own people. Well, having said that I have nothing more to say, when you recognize the hub master light brain, you will know at a glance what this hub master city has. Farewell. As his last words fell, the projection slowly dissipated into points of light. Don't worry, I am in no way merciful when it comes to livestock. Gu Changqing whispered, as if responding to the other party, taking out a cigarette and lighting it, watching a generation of lords come to an end. Gu Changqing's mood was somewhat complicated. One day in the future, will he also fall like this? After smoking a cigarette, Gu Changqing placed his hand on the optical brain in front of his desk. Buzz, just as his right hand touched to the ladder, it glowed brightly. Identity confirmation complete. Welcome master to you Xiaoshu. If there's anything you don't know or understand, you can ask me about it. When the light disappeared, an ethereal voice resounded in his ears. Gu Changqing ignored it for the time being, his gaze falling on the spatial ring next to the light brain. Just now, the lord of the empire had said that a 42-tiered divine abyss imperial tattoo could only be fused with at least 8,000 stars of potential, and with 11,000 stars. Wouldn't it be simple and easy for him to fuse it? Master, it has been detected that two ultra sorcerer beings have intruded into the hub main city and are approaching the hub mansion. Is it time to send out the imperial star guards to wipe them out? Listening to the voice of the main light brain little concubine, the eyes of Gu Changqing, whose good deed had been disturbed, turned cold and said, project over and see who it is. Buzz. As his words fell, the main light brain projected a virtual screen. Upon seeing the person on it, Gu Changqing smiled. The people who had barged in were none other than Su Yue, Wu Ling, and Wu Xieyan. Is the Imperial Star Guard deployed to clear it? Xiao Shu inquired once more. Gu Changqing's eyes showed cruelty as he faintly said, Trap them first, when I fuse the Divine Abyssal Emperor armor, I'll personally stomp on these three ants. He really didn't expect Su Yue, this bitch, to send them to his door. 
As you command, little concubine respectfully agreed and gave the emperor star guards the order to surround them. Chapter 76, Fusing the Emperor Abyss Dragon Armor, Gu Chongqing Falls, 2, Chapters in 1, Please Subscribe, See Bo Galaxy, See God Star, How Could This Happen, Xiao Shi and Xiao Luo are dead? The one thing that was expected, must have failed to assassinate that man and was counter-killed, consuming billions of divine crystals to send them down, nothing in return? In the Sea God Clan's highest conference hall, beside the long conference table, sat six blue-haired majestic men and women, looking at the dimly extinguished soul seals in a projection on the table. Their faces were all ugly. One woman pondered. I heard that over on the Hell Star. The Ultra Celestial Emperor Clan and the Ultra Amazing Emperor Clan are organizing the Ultra Tattooed in the Stars to massively rush into the Blue Star through the Hell Portal. Should we send a few of them over there as well? And blend in to wait for an opportunity to move? I think it's feasible. The Blue Star is currently in the initial unsealing stage. We can't get into the central city, but when it's gradually unsealed, other cities and mountain ranges are popping up, and there will probably be quite a few divine trees in all of them. All right, then send a batch over there and have them all hide and not venture out for the time being once they enter. Good. I also agree. There's no telling how many benefits await in the sealed space of Blue Star. Then it's a deal. Let them bring along a camouflage potion and take it immediately after entering the Blue Star. Hide amongst the human race. As long as they don't enter the hub city, they should all be fine. The disguise potion was a potion to disguise the identity of a race but could be scanned and detected by many instruments. However, in today's Blue Star, other than the hub city, there was basically nothing that could poke through their identity. Not only the Neptune race, there were many other races that had the same idea, preparing to run away immediately after coming out of the Hellgate, finding an uninhabited place to take a camouflage potion and pretend to be a human race to blend in amongst them. In the hub main city, on a street not very far from the hub mansion, which Evil Yen was leading Wuling and Su Yue to the hub mansion, Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. However, right at this moment, three Emperor Star Guards suddenly appeared on the street in front of them. They were all humanoid robots, wearing nine levels of Emperor Star Armor and 31 levels of Saint Level. This was the weakest batch of Emperor Star Guards. The Emperor Star Armor they wore had Imperial lines flowing through it, and the power of the stars lingered. Eyes filled with the color of sternness stared silently at which Evil Yen and the others. Damn it, it's the Emperor Star Guard. Gu Chengqing has already managed to take down the central main city. When Witch Evil Yen saw who the visitor was, he let out a horrified cry of alarm and brought along his two daughters to turn around and run away. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. However, how could they outrun the three Emperor Star Guards, who surrounded them in the center in a flash? Teacher, what to do? Su Yue revealed an incomparable look of fear. Gu Chengqing had, however, learned from Lin Chen that she had also participated in dealing with him. She didn't dare to imagine how miserable she would end up if she fell into Gu Changqing's hands. It's over. I didn't expect Gu Changqing to be that fast. We're kind of throwing ourselves into the net now. Which Evil Yan slumped to the ground on his butt and said bitterly, Shouldn't have come here. Shouldn't have come. I've only just gotten back the Essence Ultra Tattoo. Am I going to die here? He really didn't think that Gu Changqing would be able to take down the central main city so quickly. Otherwise, he wouldn't have dared to come in even if he had a hundred guts. In the central hub main. Building. Gu Changqing looked at the three people outside who were paralyzed and shivering on the ground through the projection screen, not bothering with them for the time being. Picking up the spatial ring on his desk, he probed into a sliver of spiritual power to check it out. Eh? There's still a panda-type super stripe? Inside this spatial ring, Gu Changqing actually saw nine panda-type super grains, which made him a bit surprised. Xiao Shu replied, Giant pandas are the empire's divine beasts. And the Panda Legions killed the Starry Sky races in the battle back then. When they met the Starry Sky Beasts, they were also creatures with the power to fight. The nine Panda Emperor tattoos within the space ring were all left behind by the Empire's strongest nine divine beasts that year. The Imperial Legion's Ultra Tattoos, and the Ultra Tattoos of the Subduing Divine Beasts, are all placed within the Ultra Tattoo Inheritance Tower. The last one within the ring is the strongest Divine Abyss Imperial Tattoo of the Empire. The resources and such that the Empire left behind for you are all inside the warehouse. Gu Changqing was relieved when she heard this, because inside this spatial ring, there was only one divine abyssal emperor pattern, and nine panda emperor patterns. Other than that, there was nothing else. With a movement of his mind, the divine abyss imperial tattoo emerged from his palm. It was a black and gold colored, 42 emperor rings lingering, flowing with a frightening breath, seemingly containing an unearthly greatness of the emperor tattoo. Gu Changqing pulled it into his brow with a thought. He had a very crazy idea that after hauling it into the sea of consciousness in his brow, he would directly activate the bizarre seal in his palm, allowing the divine abyss emperor pattern and the emperor dragon demon pattern to fuse. 
Buzz. The two emperor patterns in the brow sea of consciousness slowly fused together under the wrapping of the light gray bizarre power, because Gu Changqing hadn't fused it into his body yet. He couldn't feel the furious collision of the two emperor patterns as they fused right now. Around 10 minutes or so, Gu Changqing was pleasantly surprised to find that he was actually able to fuse them together. Immediately, with a slight movement of his mind, the 65-tiered emperor abyssal dragon pattern, emitting an unparalleled breath, floated between his palms. It was still a black gold colored emperor pattern, with 12 emperor rings lingering around and 23 dragon soul shadows roaming about, escaping an aura that was far, far too much more powerful than before. The main light brain, little concubine, flickered in shock, master, you, you, how did you perform the fusion? Even with the empire's current technology, at most, it can only fuse to create a 42-tiered super grain. Gu Changqing gazed at the emperor abyssal dragon tattoo in his hand and smiled faintly. How many star potentials would you say it takes to fuse him into your body? Xiao Shu was extremely shocked. At least 10, 000, 000 stars, or even more than that, master, with your 11, 000, 000 plus star potential index, you might be able to fuse it in an unprecedented way. Gu Changqing smiled faintly. Then try it. Saying so, he directly pulled it into his brow and fused it into his body through the sea of consciousness. Boom. Gu Changqing had just taken the step of fusing it into his body, when an extremely terrifying force surged up and exploded within him, impacting his figure and causing him to stumble. Under the raging power, the clothes he was wearing instantly turned into pieces. At the same time his body was spreading cracks, and the overflowing blood instantly turned him into a bloody man. Hiss. The pain of an imminent body explosion tormented Gu Changqing as he viciously sucked in a mouthful of cold air. This power. It's so domineering. Dao. It seems like it's a bit too much to handle. Gu Changqing's eyes were bloodshot, and his butt fell limp in his office chair, as if his veins were bursting, and the vastness of the power in his body was like a flooding beast trying to devour him. His vision began to turn blurry, his spirit began to turn into a trance, and it seemed that there was a large hand viciously clutching his neck, so that he couldn't even make a miserable sound. His cracked body was constantly trembling and convulsing in the chair, and he was now completely turned into a bloody man. Seeing this scene, Master Lightbrain Little Concubine said loudly, Master, no, you can't withstand it. You have to stop quickly. If you continue like this, you will explode and die. Hurry up and stop. Don't continue. You'll really die. Ah, uh, stop. Stop. Can't stop. Gu Changqing said with difficulty, losing even the strength to hold up his eyelids as he slowly closed them. The shock that the Emperor Abyssal Dragon Armor had given him was simply too great, and it didn't even give him the time to activate the bizarre mark in his palm. Damn, how could this happen? Master, you can't sleep. You mustn't sleep over. Master, don't ever sleep. You will definitely be able to get through this. Don't give up. Xiao Xu felt Gu Changqing's life fluctuations drop to the extreme in the blink of an eye. It panicked and didn't know what to do. It could only keep yelling in his ears. Don't. A moment later, little concubine let out a wail. At this moment, it completely failed to feel Gu Changqing's life fluctuations. How could this happen? How could this happen? 11,000 star potentials. How can it die here so easily? How can it? Master, wake up for me. Wake up. Don't sleep anymore, master. The vast starry sky is waiting for you to conquer. Hurry up and wake me up, master. Master, master, master. Really don't sleep completely. Unable to accept this outcome, Xiao Shu kept yelling in Gu Changqing's ear, fantasizing about waking him up. Buzz, the star ring that enveloped the main city's central building, with Gu Changqing's death, its newly brightened light, gradually dimmed. The three imperial star guards that were surrounding Wu Evil Yen and the others all went back to the imperial star mansion to stand by at the same time due to the death of their new generation master. What's the situation? Which plume looked at the three emperor star guards who had left, and was filled with doubt. Whatever the situation is, let's run for our lives first. However, without saying a word, Wu Xiyan led them away from here at the fastest speed possible. Damn it, how could this happen? I just saw hope and it was snuffed out for me like this? The central main light brain, feeling the master's recognition information disappear from the light brain, fluctuated with very strong emotions. Gu Changqing's consciousness had come to a pitch black space where she couldn't see anything. Not only could he not see anything here, he couldn't even feel his body. This was, the world after death? Gu Changqing wanted to speak, but realized that she couldn't do so either other than still having a mind. There seemed to be no difference from a dead person. Is it because I'm relying on the mysterious seal, and I'm too arrogant? Did my life fall like this before it even started? Why am I still conscious when I'm obviously dead? After death, I still have to be tortured? Little tiger, tau tai, vermilion bird, demons and ghosts, whether humanity perishes or rises, it all depends on you. 
His consciousness, quietly floating in this space of all silence and eternal darkness, was slowly swallowed by the abyss. Boom, rumble, just today, at the top of the blue star Taishan Mountain, along with a thunderous roar rising up, one could see boundless light, instantly flooding the entire range where Taishan Mountain was located. What is the situation? Could it be that there is some kind of treasure coming out? The human overworlders who were hunting foreign beasts in the vicinity looked at the raging light in the distance that covered an unknown amount of land, and all of them looked over there with curiosity. The extremely brilliant light reflected the entire sky. After a few minutes, the light slowly dispersed. Is that a city? When the nearby overworlders saw that after the light dispersed, a city occupying the entire area where the original Taishan Mountain was located emerged, they all couldn't help but open their eyes wide and flew over there one after another, ready to find out what was going on. This city, there is no city wall, only a city abyss that covers the entire city. A few kilometers of the city bridge extends outside, above the entrance of the city. The four big words city of Xi'an spirit flashed. The impact brought about by the unsealing of this city left a huge vortex above the dome of the sky. Xian Ling, you said that forcibly unsealing the city of your Xian Ling clan would bring about a great impact to the blue star seal. So why are you still doing this? Deep in the city, outside a sci-fi nine-story giant tower, White Star and that woman from the Xin Ling clan were here, and White Star was puzzled as to why she was doing this. What does the survival of humans have to do with us? I can't wait for them to become extinct as soon as possible. The Xin Ling clan woman said indifferently, This is a prehistorically rich planet, and there are countless heavenly treasures within the sealed space, and there are even quite a few that can enhance one's potential. Saying that, she cast the Xin Ling clan's forbidden technique. At that moment, the scene of the vibrant sealed space surfaced in the sky, with clusters of pristine mountain ranges stretching horizontally and horizontally, powerful flying birds and beasts running rampant, and all kinds of divine trees covering the sky one after another, with the fruits on them crystal clear and emanating divine radiance. See, this space that is like a fairyland was birthed from the corpses of the Blue Star Empire 6, 8 billion human corpses. The sooner we unseal this planet, the better. The supreme pattern within this tower is very important to you. Let's go. The Xianling clan woman said, leading him into the nine-tiered giant tower. I'll go. Is this 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 the sealed space of the blue star? Hiss. It's even more fertile than I imagined. Ah, that vortex in the sky. Is it possible for us to go in? Go, 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 go. The blue star sealed space is like a fairyland. Let's go. Just now, I saw several reverse diving godfruits from the forbidden art cast by that woman, each of which can increase one's potential index by several hundred ah, worthy of being the earth birthed by the six, eight billion strongest people of the blue star. It's amazing. I also went over. I don't know how many orders that vortex restricts going down. If I really can't go down, I'll just cut my own level. Yes, 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 let's go. The live broadcast camera of the super god platform switched to the side in time. Just in time to see the Xian Ling clan perform a forbidden art, projecting some of the scenes within the sealed space. At that moment, it caused the live broadcast room, countless viewers to boil over and embark on a wormhole teleportation to rush to the Milky Way. General manager, should we send strong people down there as well? The land of the blue star sealed space. It's too fertile ah. In the office of the general manager of the super god platform, the secretary, Lan Shi, was also all full of fire. In the scene that the Xianling clan woman scratched out just now, she saw no less than 10 divine pattern fruits alone. Tranquila pondered for a moment and said, yes, but seriously instruct them to make sure not to harm the human race's supergrainers, and expel any violators from the platform. The fertility of the blue star sealed land surprised him. At this moment, it was truly unknown how many ultra tattooists were in the starry sky, all rushing towards the galactic blue star. Chapter 77, once Gu Changqing fell, all clan's chrysalids came down. Whoosh! Right at this moment, Wu Xiyan brought his two disciples and came out from inside the central hub city, landing on top of a mountain peak. Only after coming out here did Witch Plume say, Teacher, I seem to have just seen the star ring of the main city's central hub mansion go out. Could it be that Gu Changqing's fusion of the divine abyssal imperial tattoo had an accident and fell? Which evil Yan's eyes flickered as he said, I saw it just now as well, but it's not very daring to be sure. It's possible that Gu Changqing really died. It's possible that he swindled his way to death. Then we are now. Su Yuwei listened to their conversation. The fear of Gu Changqing in her heart instantly vanished. Which Evil Yan let out a heated laugh. Following which he took out his super brain and entered the Overgod platform's live broadcasting room. Editing a pop-up screen. Gentlemen, the existence of the blue star that is as high as 10. 
0.000 star potential index. Because of the simultaneous fusion of the Houtian Imperial Armor and the Divine Abyssal Imperial Armor bursting into flames, is what I saw with my own eyes, should come to the Blue Star as soon as possible to come over Ah. What? Really? Are you sure? I'm going. Fusing the Houtian Emperor Armor and the Divine Abyss Emperor Armor at the same time? He's too arrogant. Isn't he? Is he really dead or is he faking it? If he really fuses those two Emperor Armors at the same time, he might really die. Just in time. I was just about to head to the Milky Way to descend on the Blue Planet. If he really falls, there will only be two sets of Ultra Tattoo Armors, the White Emperor and the Xi'an Maiden, on Earth, and they won't be able to turn over any waves. Ha ha, the heavens are helping us. I was hesitant to go just now, but now I'm completely determined to go over there. Wichibu Yen looked at the pop-ups in the live broadcast room and smiled grimly. Gu Chang Chang, I don't care if you're swindling yourself to death or some kind of conspiracy. When the large-scale extraterrestrial hordes descend, let's see if you can still lie down. The star ring of the main city's central building suddenly went out, as well as the three imperial star guards surrounding them, who also left at the same time. With the star ring suddenly extinguished, he truly felt that Gu Changqing, with an 80% probability, was already dead. But having just walked on the edge of death, even if up to 80% of the other party was dead, he didn't dare to gamble with his life. Let's leave here first. Some time ago, my master divined that a sealed space was about to open, and it's just a few days away. Saying that, he led them to leave at the fastest speed possible. Boom, boom. Not long after, Zhang Hu and Vermilion Birds Berserk to the extreme figures returned from afar, and after entering the hub city, they headed straight for the main city's hub mansion. Just a short while ago, they received bad news. The boss, dead. With 10,000 disbelief, they arrived at the main city hub building, boarded the elevator, and went straight to the 600th floor of the main office. Entering the main office in a hurry, they only saw Tao Tai and Zhao Feng sitting on the sofa with wooden expressions. Zhang who looked at the two of them with that wooden expression, his nose turned sour, his eyes turned red, and he said loudly, where is the boss? Are you lying to me? I also thought that the boss was joking with us, but he really, really, died. Zhao Feng fell into tears, his fists clenched. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Where's the boss? Where is he? He must have deliberately lied to us. Vermilion Bird was in tears, biting her jade lips tightly, her voice choked as she asked. Tao Tai pointed towards the bedroom, forcing back tears and said, Boss, the remains, are inside. We've already cleaned the blood from his body. Upon hearing this, Zhang Hu and Vermilion Bird rushed straight to the bedroom and pushed the door in. When they saw Gu Changqing, who was pale and bloodless, lying motionless on the bed, the two of them had a roar in their heads, as if they had lost their gods, and their entire body was paralyzed on the ground. How can it be? Just now still good. Why? Why suddenly? Vermilion Bird murmured in disorientation. Tears could not stop flowing out of her eyes. At this moment, her sky had collapsed. This matter of the boss's death must not be known to the outside world or else the overworlders coming down from beyond the domain will wantonly slaughter humans without a care in the world. Tao Dai came in at this time with red eyes, looking at the remains of the boss. His heart ached as if he had lost someone close to him. Tears could no longer be held back as they rolled down. Damn it! Damn it! Zhang Hu tilted his head and let out a roar, only to feel a heavenly spin, unable to accept it, fainted. Tao Dai carried Zhang Hu out and placed him on the sofa. In the bedroom, Vermilion Bird's sobbing hadn't stopped. They all looked like they had lost their backbone, bewildered and at a loss. Outside, night quickly enveloped the land. The Hellgate was located. At 8 o'clock in the evening, the portal hummed, and dozens and dozens of millions of extraterrestrial overstrippers swarmed out. When they didn't see Gu Changqing blocking them, they were all somewhat convinced that Gu Changqing had fallen. However, before they could see the body, or be completely certain that he was truly dead, these extra-dimensional beings that had come out of the Hell Portal didn't dare to slaughter the humans on the Blue Star. The vast majority instead took camouflage potions and blended into the human cities. Gu Changqing's deterrent effect on these extra-dimensional beings was so great that even the super-tattooed ones of the Ultra-Celestial Emperor Clan and the Ultra-Amazing Emperor Clan didn't quite dare to go slaughter the human race. They all felt that the most urgent thing to do was to blend in with the humans first, so that they could wait for the Blue Star sealed space to unseal out, and go in to seek opportunities. The next day, early in the morning, the vortex above the city of Xianling also descended a large number of extraterrestrial overworlders. In just a few days, an unknown number of extra-dimensional beings descended. These extra-dimensional beings might bully humans, but before they had gotten the news that Gu Changqing had indeed fallen, they would never dare to massacre on a large scale. On the side of the hub city, the city gates were still open. However, 
Not a single extra dimensional being dared to enter. Central hub main city. 600 floors of the main office. Jiang Hu, Wu Rue, Zhao Feng, Tao Tai, Vermilion Bird, Wang Rong, Little Tuan Duan. Demons and ghosts from the Demon Alliance were all here. Wang Rong had cried her tears dry in the past few days. Gu Chongqing was considered to be something she had seen since she was a child. And to suddenly leave her, that feeling tore at her heart and lungs. Currently, only they knew the news that Gu Chongqing was truly dead. Other than that, not a single outsider knew. Wu Rue, of all the extraterrestrial beings that have come down recently, have any of them killed humans on a large scale? If there are, make a list out for me, and I'll go and finish them off myself. Beside the long table in the Supreme Conference Hall, Zhang Hu was filled with a cold face, no longer hanging on to his previous position, and said coldly, the painful loss of his boss this time had made him mature in a few days. Wu Rue said in a low voice, there is no such thing happening, they all don't know whether the boss really died or faked it, so far they are all peaceful, even to the point of buying things and giving money. Zhang Hu nodded his head and looked gloomy, saying, it's best if there isn't, pay more attention. If something really happens where there are extraterrestrial beings, mass slaughtering humans, make sure to inform me and Vermilion Bird at the first time. Wu Rue whispered, We, when should we bury the boss? Going on like this isn't a solution. Can't be buried. The spirits and demons who still held out hope said in a deep voice, As long as the boss's body does not decay, I will never allow you to bury him. I also forbid you to bury the boss. Little Dumpling and Vermilion Bird, at this time, said in unison, They, too, both had fantasies. Fine. Then we'll wait until the boss's body starts to decompose before burying him. And I also hope that the boss will suddenly be able to wake up one day. Zhang Hu took a deep breath and said, During this period of time, you guys seize the opportunity to cultivate your own potential index. There are a lot of powerful ultra stripes waiting for you to fuse. Humans, it's up to us. Chapter 78 The first sealed space opens. Gu Chongqing awakens. Time rushed by, and a month passed in the blink of an eye. During this period, Countless extraterrestrial beings descended. After careful selection and potential index testing, the members of the Demon Alliance also expanded from over a hundred to over ten thousand. Those with less than a thousand star potential index were not accepted. And after they joined the Devil Alliance, under the cultivation of the Empire's potential index cultivation secret method and resources, ten thousand members of the Devil Alliance all had a potential index of around two thousand stars. The members of the Magic Alliance with a potential index of two. Zero 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 stars have all fused with the Empire's nine Imperial superscripts, and their overall strength is very impressive. Back then, the Empire had left behind many divine objects that could raise the potential index, as well as the top secret cultivation methods. During this period, Tao Tai and Demons and Ghosts cultivated to three, eight hundred potential indexes, and respectively fused with the Empire's one of the best, on the same level as the White Emperor and the Xian Maiden, the Red Sky Imperial Armor and the Heavenly Shadow Imperial Armor. As for Wu Rue and Zhao Feng, they had cultivated to a potential index of three, three hundred stars, and were fusing the Heavenly River and Divine Wind Imperial patterns, which were one step weaker. Wang Rong, Little Tuan Duan, both had only 2,900 stars, and could only fuse the Imperial 12-fold Green Phoenix. Luan Feng, Shu Bird and Zhang who potential index cultivated to 4,900 stars, and just the other day, they both removed their own Xian Nu by D from their bodies through the Empire's Ultra Ripple Traction Device. Then they fused the Empire's 12-star Battle Emperor, 22 Heavy Divine Koan Emperor Tattoo, Divine Phoenix Emperor Tattoo. Now the two of them, on the other hand, were the two strongest in the Demon Alliance. No, they weren't exactly the strongest. Moonblan was the most dickish as of now. It had survived nine deaths and managed to fuse the 30 Heavy Explosive Heavenly Emperor Crest of one of the Empire's nine Great Divine Beasts, the Martial Void. However, it had been listless lately, perhaps because it couldn't see Gu Changqing, it didn't even want to go out the door, and spent the entire day eating crystals and cultivating. During this month, all nine war zones in the hub city began to bustle with activity. All of the scientific personnel of the Dragon Kingdom were now gathered at the Scientific Research Institute, drilling and familiarizing themselves with the Empire's technology and so on. Shen Yuan Wang Rue and the others were now responsible for transferring the people of the Dragon Kingdom, batch after batch, into the hub city. During this month, more than 200 million people had been transferred in. As a result, the current hub city was no longer as dead as it was before. The nine war zones were bustling with activity. The streets were filled with pedestrians, and many stores, hotels, restaurants, and other places were open. In addition, Country M had also moved in, and they were separately on the fourth war zone side, bringing in all their resources. 
Other countries were applying to move into the hub city, but they were all tossed aside by Wu Rue for the time being, especially Sakura, Stick, and Country E. They didn't even take a look at them. The current blue star was infested with extraterrestrial beings. The top 10 communities in the starry sky also had quite a few 20 step, 20 plus heavy super stripe armor beings down. However, at this stage, only those around the 20th rank were allowed to come down. A week ago, the first sealed space of the blue star was introduced, and countless extraterrestrial beings chrysalis into it, fighting for all kinds of divine fruits, divine medicines, and heavenly treasures. Not only do you have to defend yourself against the super tattooed ones, you also have to defend yourself against the powerful foreign beasts. Although there are many dangers, there are also many opportunities. The divine fruits that were hard to find in the starry sky had been captured by quite a few super strikers in just a week. There were also those who took reverse diving divine fruit that could increase one's potential index, and many heavenly treasures that could evolve one's super grain. Zhang Hu, Wu Rue, the demons and ghosts, little Duan Duan, Tao Tai, Vermilion Bird, Zhao Feng, and Wang Rong were all currently inside, with Meng Lan guarding the house. Anyone who dares to make a move is taking their own life. Dragon Kingdom, Western Desert. This place used to be an infinite desert land, but now it was shrouded in boundless haze, and there was a huge and incomparable blue-white vortex floating high in the sky. From within this huge vortex, from time to time, one could see the super stripe people flying out and disappearing, fearing to be robbed halfway. From time to time, groups of ultra-tattooed people could be seen traveling in pairs. The space inside the vortex was very different from the outside world. The boundless primitive mountain ranges were like dragons and snakes hovering between heaven and earth. The air that contained a high level of energy factor caused one's pores to dilate with the slightest inhalation. The ancient trees that covered the sky reached the clouds, and the mountains were filled with evolved plants, covering the entire sky. Boom! Rumble! Above a certain side of the vast sky, wearing Wanfeng's 18th rank sink great armor, little Tuan Tuan was being chased by a 21st rank iron armored eagle. With its huge body, every time it spread its wings, it was like tens or hundreds of gusts of wind raging. The long whistling sound emitted from its open mouth pierced through gold and cracked rocks, capable of rupturing the eardrums of low-ranked ultra-tattooists. Little Tuan Tuan had just snatched three divine grain fruits from the mouth of this iron-armored eagle, and as a result, he was chased by it for half an hour and refused to let go. Divine Pattern Fruits, a fruit that could evolve one's own ultra-pattern level, and each one was sold at a sky-high price on the ultra-god platform. Brother Zhang, come save me. I'm being targeted by a 21st ranked iron armored male eagle and I can't get away. Seeing that the iron armored eagle chasing after him was getting closer and closer, and was completely unable to get rid of it, little Tuan Tuan had to contact Zhang Hu. You find someone else to ask. I can't get away right now either. I'm fighting with the one from the ultra amazing imperial clan. For a flower of dawn, this flower might be able to save the corpse's uncorrupted boss. No matter how much it costs, I have to snatch it. On Zhang Hu's side, his voice came along with the roaring sounds of battle. The ten strongest clans in the starry sky had almost all descended on one or two super striped armors of twenty weights or more. To be able to become the ten strongest great clans in the starry sky, the strength of their heritage was immeasurable. And from the time the Blue Star Empire was self-proclaimed until now, their super grain fusion technology had never stopped moving forward. Thirty-four weight super grain armor were available, even thirty-six, but it was hard to say if any living being could fuse it. The Blue Star Empire's technology on the other hand, was still stuck in the period back then. It was not unlikely that it had already been surpassed. Good. Then, Brother Zhang, be careful. I'll contact Sister Vermilion Bird to ask. Boom. Just as little Tuan Tuan was about to contact Vermilion Bird, suddenly a bright and dazzling sword light crossed the sky and chopped off the large head of that iron-armored eagle with a poof. Who? Seeing this, little Tuan Tuan searched for the place where the sword light chopped out and looked only to see that it was a man wearing a flowing sword armor with a majestic and sharp aura that was unfathomable. Demon Alliance. Little Tuan Tuan? The other party revealed a teasing glint in his eyes, staring at her in a very playful manner, saying, Is Gu Changqing really dead? Otherwise, with his character, there's absolutely no way that he could hide and not come out at this time. Hearing this voice, the little group's eyes, light condensed slightly. Your white star, why are you still alive? He couldn't believe that this person could actually appear here alive. Bai Xing smiled coldly and said, I did die once, and it was a miserable death, but now I'm resurrected, and since Gu Changqing is dead, let me send you down to meet him one by one. For an entire month until now, no one had seen Gu Changqing show his face, and the vast majority of the overworlders suspected that he had truly fallen. As a result, the humans during this period of time were living in a state of panic, with many people inexplicably being killed. A few days ago, 
There was even a town where hundreds of thousands of people were slaughtered. The three initiators were subsequently found by Zhang Hu with the Master Light Brain, and at that time, the global live broadcast chopped them into mush. Ha! Who is our boss? You all die out. He can't die either. If you have the ability to kill me, definitely can't live more than an hour. The small group sneered and laughed, not seeing the slightest panic signaling the other party to come and kill themselves. Don't fool yourself. If he's not dead yet, why is he delayed in showing up? Bai Xing sneered, still testing the waters. To be honest, his fear of Gu Changqing went deep into his bones. The little troop mocked. Ha, you need the boss to personally deal with ants like you? Don't you think too highly of yourself? After saying that, she turned around and left, her figure not seeing the slightest bit of panic, relaxed and at ease. Bai Xing's eyes flickered, and until her figure disappeared from view, he did not even make a move. From the tone of the little troop, he could not see half the crack that Gu Changqing was dead, making him completely afraid to make a move. But if he could hear half a hint of panic in her tone, little Tuan Duan would definitely not be able to leave alive from in front of him. After little Tuan Duan left, the Xianling clan woman appeared here. She said in a faint voice, Are you still afraid? White Star's eyes flashed as he said in a deep voice, An existence of 10, 000 star potential index. Aren't you afraid? If he is still alive, once I kill this woman, as she just said, I won't survive for more than an hour. Not only was he afraid, all the extra-dimensional beings were scornful. If he really came out wearing the Divine Abyss Emperor armor, who could stop him? God blocked God and Buddha killed Buddha. You are my clan's heavenly destiny. It's right not to take risks. This 26th Sword God Emperor armor has a lot of room for growth. Rise up first before taking revenge, the Xianling clan woman said indifferently. I found a few Divine K vines. Go and behead them with me. White Star nodded and left with her across the sky. Blue Star had only unsealed one sealed space so far, and it had made many overgrown tattooers earn a lot of money. It had almost become the entire starry sky, the place with the greatest opportunities nowadays. The extraterrestrial beings that came down were still flowing. Hub main city, 600 floors of the main office, here is empty without a person. All went to the sealed space to find the opportunity. Inside the bedroom, on top of the large soft bed, Gu Changqing's face was bloodless and pale like a corpse. However, there was not the slightest sign of decay. However, right at this moment, the mysterious seal in his palm emitted wisps of bizarre power flowing throughout his body. At this moment, Gu Changqing's pale skin actually gradually became red and moist. In just a few seconds, not only was his complexion rosy, majestic vitality also spread throughout his body from deep within him. Gradually, he began to regain his breath, and channels of terrifying breath escaped from his body. Even though he had yet to be attached to his super grain armor, the aura he was invisibly emitting at this moment was even more terrifying than a 15 or 16 rank super grain warrior's full force outburst. A moment later, the fingers of Gu Changqing's right hand moved. Afterward, he slowly opened a pair of eyes that were as deep as an abyss, seemingly capable of swallowing people's souls. Looking around the bedroom, he felt his own state. There was no expression on his very great face as he whispered to himself, finally made it through. Shortly after his consciousness drifted in that empty abyss, a flash of grayish white light had been guiding him. Undoubtedly, that splash of grayish white light must have been from the mysterious mark in his palm. Chapter 79 Flower of Dawn, Unrivaled in the World, Western Desert, Sealed Space, Pristine Mountains Stretching Across, Rumble, Inside a Certain Large Canyon, the scene here was wildly chaotic as two powerful figures were fighting and killing without reservation. One was wearing a 22nd Divine Stage Heavenly Amazing Imperial Armor and the imperial amazing that seemed to be able to burn the sky around him was like a fire god roaring. One wore the 22nd divine rank divine koan imperial armor, an imperial armor that intertwined and flowed with yin and yang. From time to time, the shadow of a rock could be seen emerging, and from time to time, the shadow of a great koan could be seen floating. The black and white colors of yin and yang power intermingled. In his hand, he carried a heavenly koan battle halberd, crazily bombarding this one from the ultra amazing imperial race. These two were none other than the amazing Wujie of the ultra amazing imperial race, and the demon alliance master Zhang Hu. This was a relatively evenly matched battle. The two of them had all sorts of divine abilities coming out in an endless stream. You and I colliding together. The terrifying aftermath of the berserk energy. Impacting this grand canyon was collapsing and disintegrating. Alliance master Zhang. You want the flower of dawn on me so badly. Do you want to take it to save your boss? Amazing Wujia let out a maniacal laugh as the flaming battle blade in his hand swung out a tyrannical blade aura that was several hundred meters long. Rumble. The powerful blade aura forced Zhang who back more than ten steps hard. If you don't leave the flower of dawn behind today, you won't be able to leave. Zhang who drank furiously. His eyes were intimidating, 
The yin and yang power around his body reversed the chaos of the Qianquan, and with a roar, he rushed over fiercely, the war halberd in his hand blasting across the sky, the tyrannical yin and yang power on it sometimes transforming into a kuan, and sometimes transforming into a rock, and it pressed down on the entire Grand Canyon. Here, ha ha ha, amazing Wu Jie laughed out loud, not wanting to entangle with it any further, waving his hand to throw out the flower of dawn, and then vanished far away in the air. He and Zhang who were here, wasting a few hours. If the fight continues, if not a few days and nights cannot be divided into winners and losers, it would delay him from finding other opportunities. It was not worth losing an entire forest for a flower. And from the way Zhang who cared so much about the flower of dawn, he was certain that Gu Changqing had long been dead. This was the biggest gain of his trip, finally determining that the greatest threat to the human race was dead. He could next deal a death blow to the human race. Seeing this, Zhang who did not go after him and flew to snatch the dawn flower that was about to fall to the ground in the air. Its body filled with ghostly blue light. Boss, I hope it can bring you back from the dead and extradite your soul back from the nine hells. Zhang who carefully put away the flower of dawn and disappeared far away across the sky, vanishing into the sky in the blink of an eye. Ha, sure enough, it's dead. Ah ha 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 The amazing Wu Jie, who had pretended to leave, listened to Zhang whose whisper just now and excitedly let out a loud laugh that shook the side of the Grand Canyon. The flower of dawn can only save freshly dead beings. Your boss has been dead for a month. It's useless. Yan Wujia laughed lightly and turned to leave, preparing to inform the news of Gu Changqing's complete death. Once this news circulated, it was bound to shake the entire starry sky. Central main city. 600 floors of the main office. Inside the bedroom. Gu Changqing woke up unnoticed and came to the huge floor to ceiling mirror, only to see that the blood spear at the center of his brow had disappeared, turning into an abyssal emperor's seal that shimmered with ebony light. The blood spear, on the other hand, appeared between the palms of his left hand. This fusion of ten deaths and no life had caused the Shura Ultramark, Shilin Ultramark, Underworld God Ultramark, Death God Ultramark, Skeleton Ultramark, Neza Ultramark, and Neza Ultramark to disappear from his body. Skeleton Supergrain, and Neza Supergrain, were all absorbed by the Emperor Abyss Dragongrain. As a result, Gu Changqing's current Emperor Abyssal Dragon Mark was not the original 65 levels, but 72 levels, rank 22 steps of the Divine Rank. The Emperor level didn't evolve that well, and it was impossible to evolve without more than 80 steps. Gu Changqing's current body had the lifelike and unresolved Luo Shu on his back, and on his chest was an abyss that seemed to bury the rings of the heavens. With a slight movement of his mind, the Imperial Abyss Dragon pattern on his chest shone brightly, covering Gu Changqing's entire body in the twinkling of an eye, and then transforming into a terrifying armor that was unparalleled in the magnitude of its oppression. The Emperor Abyssal Dragon Armor, which took on a half-dragon form, had dragon lines running across the surface of its body, imperial lines hidden, blood-colored shura lines flowing, and the five elements of the unicorn inlaid on its chest, which was cool and incomparable. Behind the double black dragons covered with the abyssal dragon armor, under the hideous dragon head, a pair of eyes that looked like they came from hell flashed with the light of tyrannical bloodlust, the left arm of the god of the underworld totem, the right arm of the god of death seal, the hideous and martial dragon abyss helmet, the left eye is as black as the abyss, the right eye is as colorful as the sea of blood, just the eyes alone will be able to withstand few living beings. Gu Changqing had actually counted on dying once to obtain this set of ultra tattoo armor. The power contained within it could be said to be unparalleled in the world. Just the aura emanating from the invisible world could shock the same level into losing their battle intent. It was so strong that even Gu Changqing felt intoxicated and enamored. Gu Changqing slightly surveyed himself this set of armor, then dispersed into the bathroom. After soaking comfortably inside for half an hour and coming out, Seeing no clothes to wear, Gu Changqing opened the closet. Immediately, he saw several sets of black military uniforms, with three imperial star insignia worn on both shoulders. Without a doubt, this was the exclusive uniform of the Lord of the Empire. Gu Changqing took out a set and put it on slowly and methodically, and actually found that it fit surprisingly well, as if it had been tailored for him. The perfect lines of this set of uniforms on him were even more majestic, domineering, and cold than if he had worn a suit. Gu Changqing nodded with great satisfaction as he took a glance in front of the mirror. He then walked out of the bedroom and went straight to the office room and pushed the door in. Ah, master? Gu Changqing had only just stepped into the office room when the incomparable astonished, surprised, and incredulous voice of the master light brain, Xiao Shu, rang out. The light brain on the office desk was constantly flickering. Gu Changqing sat straight down on the office chair, picked up the cigarette box on the table, took out one and lit it, took a deep breath and asked in a faint voice, how long have I been asleep, and what is the current situation of Blue Star, 
The main light brain little bastard flashed with colorful light. In addition to not having a body, but having all the emotions of a human being, it really couldn't use any words to express the excitement at this moment. Gu Chengqing didn't say anything, quietly waiting for it to calm down in its excitement. It was only after several minutes that the light brain's constantly flickering light slowly changed back to a dark golden color. Master, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm really thrilled that you've woken up, because of your death. The information that you recognized before, has disappeared. Please recognize your master again. Master, this uniform is really too majestic and domineering to wear on you. Towards the end, it looked like a little fangirl. Gu Changqing placed her hand on top of the optical brain, and in a flash, Xiao Shu's voice came out. Welcome master you small concubine. Any of your questions, small concubine can answer for Jello. Blue Star's current situation. The number of extraterrestrial beings. Up to 1. 135. 210. 000, 000 more. Because of your deterrence, most of the extraterrestrial beings don't dare to smear the human race. Eight days ago, Blue Star opened its first sealed space. Xiao Shu informed the big and small things in this month, in the simplest way possible, and said, Master, we must not let these extraterrestrial beings take our Blue Star's resources and leave. I can seal all the entrances and exits in such a way that they can only go in and out, and then pit all these extraterrestrial beings against each other. Chapter 80 Starlight Brightens Revival of the Hub City Just today, a sensational piece of news from the ultra-amazing Imperial Clan spread throughout the cosmic stars. The content was simple. The greatest threat to the human race, Gu Chang Cheng, has fallen. This news is true, and it came from the mouth of the human race's demon alliance leader, Zhang Hu, himself, who wanted to use the Flower of Dawn to save Gu Chang Cheng. Everyone, deal with the human race as you should. No need to worry anymore. This news is confirmed to be true? I'll go. The super amazing imperial race don't trick us into sending us to our deaths. If you have the ability, you'll slaughter a city of the human race first before I dare to believe you. Right. The current human race, Gu Changqing can kill us even if he doesn't get out. If you want us to believe, you'll have to come up with actual actions. I remember that someone was tricked into killing hundreds of thousands of human race before, and the end was so miserable that it was chilling. Anyway, I'm not going to go and be a standout. The comments under this threat of the super amazing imperial race all held a half-hearted attitude. More importantly, with the blue star sealed space unsealed, who had the heart to kill a race? Opportunity was the top priority. The fertile sealed space was littered with all sorts of exotic fruits and such, and even a single divine grain fruit could make countless low-ranked ultra-grainers rich. Not to mention, there was also the inverse divine fruit, which was even rarer than the divine pattern fruit. This thing could raise the potential index by several hundred when taken, and every single one of them had a price without a market. As long as you got one, you wouldn't have to worry about anything in your life. Under such a temptation, who could resist? There were even quite a few 30 or 40 ranked super stripe people who went so far as to chop their super stripe down to around 20 ranks in order to come down. Rumble. Sealed space. Between a certain side of the mountains and forests. Three core apprentices of the Superstar Academy were hunting a 21st rank storm armored dragon rhinoceros here. These three, all wearing the Superstar Academy's 15 step purple star armor. With purple starlight flowing through them, one held the star moon divine ball for long distance attacks. One held the Star Moon Divine Shield to shake the Storm Armored Dragon Rhinoceros, and one held the Star Moon Divine Sword for wandering attacks. Under the combined attack of the three of them, this tyrannical armored dragon rhino couldn't hold out for half an hour, and its huge body collapsed to the ground. This fellow, so hard to kill, the one holding the Star Moon Divine Bow flew in and let out a low curse. It's all worth it for those three blue silver divine vines. The one holding the Star Moon Divine Shield let out a hefty laugh and looked towards the vine man not far away wrapped on top of the boulder with the blue and silver colors flowing through its body, and the amazing divine light, and said, this stuff, each of these plants is worth 4 or 500 million star coins, the blue planet is really a piece of feng shui treasure land, buzz, suddenly at this moment, the super brain inside the woman holding the star moon Excalibur vibrated, she took it out to have a look, only to hear the voice of the palace master coming out, Gu Changqing is dead, quickly meet up with your senior brothers outside the first sealed space entrance of the blue star, and give me a big slaughter of the human race. Hearing this, the three here looked at each other. The man holding the star moon shield said in a deep voice, We don't care first. There are so many good things here. Go kill some human race. The woman holding the star moon divine bow also nodded her head and said, Right, the human race can be killed at any time, but the chances here are taken one less than the other. Good, then let's leave it for now. The woman in the lead also felt that killing the human race was not as important as the opportunity here with their opinions in agreement. 
They didn't care about the palace master's orders and went up to collect a blue silver divine vine respectively. When they were about to leave, the woman's supercomputer sent another message, Senior Sister. The remains of the city in this sealed space have been found. There is a heavenly god tree with 12 heavenly god fruits. Don't care about the palace master's order. The location has been sent to you. Come quickly. Hiss. Heavenly god tree? My god. 12 heavenly god fruits? Each one is worth a fortune. Go. The woman in the lead had her heart pounding and quickly greeted them as they headed to the location. The heavenly god fruits. Under 3000 star potential indexes, taking one could increase the potential index by 1300. But each person could only take one in their lifetime. The super god platform currently only has two for sale. And the price is so high that countless beings are discouraged. They don't even dare to think about it. As we all know, the higher the potential index, the slower the subsequent cultivation. Those 4000 potential index of the old undead. Cultivation for a long time. Also do not see an increase of 1 or 200. Central main city. Core mansion. Buzz. Suddenly at this time, the two huge star rings that shrouded the core mansion which were dull and lightless, suddenly lit up with brilliant starlight, and suddenly broke through the atmosphere of the blue star and went straight to the outer domain. Such a great commotion, startled the center of the city. Countless people looked up in shock. What is this situation? Crap, how did the star ring of the core mansion of the main city suddenly light up so brightly? This, I don't know. There was a burst of dimness earlier. The people living in the nine outer cities were all filled with doubt as they looked at the golden starlight that reached straight to the outer domain. What happened to the star ring of the core building? Inside the main city scientific research building, in a certain office on the hundredth floor, the three of them, Xian Yuan Wang Rui, Huang Mengua, and Long Zhanghua, were having a meeting, and at this time, they looked at the scene over at the core building, and were similarly filled with puzzled colors. Other than those few people, none of them knew about the news of Gu Changqing's fall. With star ring's sudden outburst this time, no one knew that someone had become the master of the hub city. Whoa, mom. What's that? It's so beautiful. On an amusement park in the 9th city district, Lin Yuayao and Lin Shuayao were bringing Gu Yan Yan to play here. Gu Yan Yan looked at the starlight that was rising up in trepidation, and on her delicate and cute face, her big black gem-like eyes fluttered, her small mouth slightly open as she looked up to watch. Um, that's, who, who recognized the city of the center? Kud, Kud, could the boss he, outside the city, Zhang who had just returned here with the flower of dawn, and when he saw the city breaking through the splendid starlight outside the domain, while he was puzzled and shocked, the color of excitement gradually appeared on his face. Even more so, his body was trembling. Other than the boss, he couldn't think of anyone at all who could make the main light brain, little flower, recognize his master. Ha ha ha, Zhang who let out a wild laugh that shook the entire heaven and earth, and then entered the city at the fastest speed possible. Main city, hub building, general office, inside the office room. Gu Chang Cheng, who had learned that he had been sleeping for a month, was quietly standing in front of the huge floor-to-ceiling window, his deep eyes looking down on the entire hub main city from above. At this moment, he lightly opened his thin lips and faintly said, Where are Su Yu Wei and the others? Did you kill them when I fainted that day? Xiao Shu whispered, I'm sorry, master, after your death, the recognition information also disappeared. I have no right to control the empire's imperial star guards, they only take orders from the lord of the empire. Gu Changqing said in a faint voice, Dig three feet into the ground and find her trail for me. This woman deserves to die. As you command, Xiao Shu promised and began to scan the entire blue star. Bang! Boss, is that you? Right at this moment, Zhang Hu barged in with immense excitement. Chapter 81 Heavenly God Tree Revealed All parties converge. Super God Platform General Manager's Office General Manager, what's going on? The starlight that suddenly erupted from the Blue Star Empire's hub city startled their god ring eyes, capturing the scene over there. Lancelot looked at the Blue Star Empire's revived hub city. His eyes narrowed slightly as he said, Someone has claimed the hub city. Gu Changqing is already dead. Who on earth is capable of this? He had also read that post from the Ultra Amazing Imperial Clan and thought that since the other party dared to say it, then they must have gotten the exact news. Furthermore, the revival of the Blue Star Empire's hub city at this time gave people a feeling that there was no silver in this place. Lan Shi also thought of this aspect and said in a low voice, General Manager, do you mean that the humans of the Blue Star are covering their ears because after being exposed, they are intentionally looking for someone to recognize the hub city, wanting to use this as a deterrent to foreign enemies? Tranquila analyzed, that's basically it. If Gu Changqing was still around, and Blue Star was the first to unseal the space, how could he possibly let extraterritorial overstrippers go in and rob their planet's resources? Lan Shi flattered. Well, general manager, 
your analysis makes too much sense. In the meantime, in the overmind, the voice of Tranquila's assistant came, General Manager, in the Blue Star Seal space. A heavenly god tree was asked for, with twelve heavenly god fruits growing on it. Tranquila heard this and said in a shocked voice, What? Heavenly god fruits? Or twelve of them? The assistant replied back, Yes, our overstriker who is on the blue planet has just returned with the news. Cam, heavenly god fruits ah, quickly have star god Wuji go down and make sure to snatch a few of them. Tranquila said in a very unsettled manner, This blue star is really a piece of feng shui treasure land, only opening up a sealed space and there are even heavenly god fruits, which is really unbelievable. At this moment, not only was he giving the order to fight for a few heavenly god fruits, but all the starry sky races that knew about this were sending their own absolutely powerful existences of around 20 orders to descend. As ordered, the assistant said, ending the call and contacting their super god platform, the star god Wuji, who was hard to find an opponent within the 20s order. Lun she regretted, it's a pity that we can't see inside. Tranquila sipped a mouthful of tea and said in a low voice, Have the eye of the divine ring? Don't leave the imperial hub city. I want to see if the one who has just claimed the hub city will head to compete for the heavenly god's fruit. He was curious to know who among the human race had claimed the hub city. In his opinion, even if it wasn't as powerful as Gu Changqing, it wouldn't be too weak. Boss, is that you? In the main city's central hub mansion, Zhang who was incredibly excited as he pushed the door into the office room. When he saw the slender and magnificent figure standing silently in front of the floor-to-ceiling window, Zhang whose body trembled terribly, and the expression on his face was both pleasantly surprised and unbelievable. Gu Changqing slowly turned over at this time, looking at Zhang whose complex expression of excitement and surprise, smiled faintly. Tiger, what? Really thought I was dead? Just slept. See how scared you are. Zhang who wiped a handful of wet eyes, snapped and gave himself a hard slap, after realizing that it was not a dream. He stood in a daze and said with red eyes, Boss, without you in this period of days, I have no spiritual support. My heart is always empty. Now see the boss you live and stand in front. I'm fucking really afraid to be dreaming, because I have done too many such dreams in this month. Seeing that he had uncontrollable tears about to fall, Gu Changqing laughed and scolded, Don't act like a little bitch. Put away your tears. Come on, boss, give me a bear hug. I want to feel your warmth. Zhang Hu excitedly came over with open arms his eyes red with snot falling out of his nose, scrammed to the side, don't disgust me, Gu Changqing kicked him away, then inquired to Xiao Shu, did you find it, find who, holy shit, boss, this attire of yours is so damn domineering and majestic, like it was specially designed for you, Zhang Hu sucked back the snot that was about to fall out of his nose and resumed his heartless, hangdog look, only then did he realize that the boss and the clothes he was wearing were so fitting and matching, Gu Changqing said lightly, Su Yue, this bitch, repeatedly joining others to try to kill me. It's time for her to go to hell. Upon hearing this, Zhang Hu cursed, Grass, I almost forgot about this little bitch. Found it, master. She's inside the open sealed space. Buzz, as little bitch's voice rang out, it projected a virtual screen. On it, Su Yue, which evil yen, and which plume were rapidly rushing over in one direction. Teacher, Gu Changqing is finally dead. When do you plan to pit and kill Zhang Hu and the others? and take down the hub city in one fell swoop, between flying in the sky, Su Yue inquired to which evil yen in a low voice, the post that the super amazing imperial clan had posted, they had also read it just now, which evil yen laughed coldly, there's no rush for now, let's get a few heavenly god fruits first, then we'll unite with the ultra amazing imperial race and the ultra celestial imperial race, and get rid of all those guys from the demon alliance who are in the way, damn, if I had known that there were such three stinky rats, I would have gotten rid of them a long time ago. Listening to the conversation between them, Zhang whose face was filled with fury, itching to go over there right now and chop them into pieces. He really didn't expect that there would be such three rats in the dark. Zhang who was furious, Su Yue, this little bitch, boss, you treat her so well, you can't see it on the surface, but you're such a snake and scorpion. What's the point of being angry with such a dead man? Gu Chanqing said faintly, little concubine, what's the heavenly god fruit they're talking about? Xiao Shu replied, it's a fruit under 3000 stars of potential index that can increase the potential index by 1300 stars when taken, it's very rare, Zhang who was surprised, crap, there's such a good thing, buzz, right at this moment, Zhang whose light brain vibrated, and the voice of little Tuan Tuan came out, brother Zhang, not long ago I met white star, I don't know why he didn't die, luckily the boss's residual power deterred him, otherwise I would have to meet the boss, but if I can meet the boss after dying, then I can accept it. Hearing this, Gu Changqing revealed a few surprised colors, 
The people who were dismantled by him at that time were able to come back to life? Zhang who returned. Where are you? I'll go find you. Here, the positioning was sent to you. I'm afraid he's still following. I haven't moved since I was here. Zhang who's light brain, received a positioning message. Okay, stay there and wait for me to come over. After saying that, Zhang who ended the conversation. Boss, I'll go pick her up for a bit, then we'll meet up over at the heavenly god tree. Zhang who let out a hefty laugh and said. I won't reveal your identity for now. Let's see if anyone can recognize you then. After the words, he quickly pushed the door out. Zhang Hu's heavy suppressed mood for a month was gone the moment he saw Gu Changqing. Gu Changqing said, Xiao Shu, locate White Star. He wanted to see if this person really wasn't dead. Chapter 82 Ruthless people from all sides everywhere. In front of my boss, you, are all happy colors. Zhang Hu left the city of the center, then rushed to the western desert at the fastest speed. Tranquila watched Zhang who just entered the city not long ago, and left in a hurry to head to the western desert somewhat puzzled, but also overly concerned. Before he even returned, someone had claimed the city of the hub, and it was obvious that it wouldn't be him. Inside the office room, Xiao Xu searched for a few minutes before finally finding where the white star trail was and placing it on the virtual screen, only to see two figures, also rushing in the same direction as Su Yue and the others at top speed. Sister Zi Xian. There must be a lot of strong people vying for the heavenly god fruit. Is it necessary for us to go over there and vie for it? Bai Xing felt that it was superfluous. Both of them had potentials beyond 3000 stars. There was no need to take the risk of snatching it. Xianling Zixian looked at him with a sideways glance and said in a faint voice, I've noticed that you've become less and less bold after dying once. It's always right to be cautious. Not to mention that we can't use it. Since Ku Changqing is already dead, it would be better to go after little Tuan Tuan. All I want to do now is to send the ones around Gu Changqing, one by one, down to meet him. After being dismantled by Gu Changqing once, Bai Xing had indeed become more and more cautious and prudent. People can be killed at any time. Although we can't use the heavenly god fruit, we can take it and exchange it for other things we can use. Xian Ling Zi Xian said with hatred, Take your previous confidence to me. You are now carrying a 26 heavy sword god emperor armor. Look at this sealed space. Can arm wrestle with you? Not out of the number of hands. What are you afraid of? All right, then rob. Bai Xing cursed in a low voice. Even my nightmare is dead. What do I have to fear? Ever since he was resurrected by Gu Changqing's dismemberment, he had indeed become Bai Xing's nightmare, even sometimes dreaming about it from time to time. You don't cherish your life once more. You have to make a fool of yourself. Gu Changqing's eyes were deep as he listened to the conversation between them, and said, Xiao Shu, transfer the screen to the location of the heavenly god tree. As his words fell, the image above the virtual screen shifted, and a dilapidated city appeared. In the center of the city, there towered a giant tree that was a thousand feet tall, shading the sun and covering the sky, with divine light enveloping the entire sky. Below the giant tree, lying on their backs were a male and a female, as high as a thirty-stage explosive giant ape. They were only about a hundred meters in size, and when they grew to a certain rank, the size of all foreign beasts would return to their original form. Outside the crumbling city, Streams of light crossed the sky and landed on top of those collapsed and dilapidated buildings stopping to watch. On top of the collapsed buildings outside the heavenly god tree, there were a lot of overwatchers watching. There were groups of three to five, all with burning eyes. Which evil yen, su yue, and which plume were already waiting on a building that was farther away. The top ten strongest clans in the starry sky arrived one after another. The ultra amazing imperial clans amazing wujie and his elder brother, amazing wuji, as well as a dozen of their own clans ultra tattooed were gathered on top of a building. As time passed, more and more ultra tattooists appeared near the heavenly god tree. Whoosh, an extremely powerful existence descended from the ultra god platform camp at this moment. He wore the star god infinity armor and carried an infinity emperor sword on his back as he met countless scornful gazes as he descended. Star god, I didn't expect you to come as well. The purple haired, stunningly beautiful woman at the head of the super god platform, seeing who the visitor was, a flash of adoration flashed within her beautiful eyes as she stepped forward and smiled. Star God Wuji, was the young generation within the super god platform, the male god of countless women. Not only was his strength powerful and his potential limitless, even his temperament and appearance were rarely equaled. Star God Wuji nodded slightly to the woman, and his gaze turned to the two explosive giant apes under the heavenly god tree. Boom! Right at this moment, White Star and Xianling Zixian arrived forcefully, wearing the sword god emperor armor. White Star, under Xian Ling Zi Xian's enlightenment, the self-star that had been knocked out by Gu Changqing finally returned. It landed very dominantly in the C position of the entire arena, instantly attracting countless gazes to gaze at it. 
this person should not be underestimated. In the Ultra Heavenly Emperor Clan's camp, the man at the head, who wore a 25-tier Heavenly Emperor Divine Armor, looked at Bai Xing with a flash of scorn in his eyes. Senior brother, you recognize this person? In the camp of the Superstar Academy Palace, among the three people who had previously hunted and killed that storm-armored dragon rhinoceros, the woman holding the Star Moon Divine Sword, Star Luaha, saw her senior brother next to her, staring at Bai Xing with burning eyes, and inquired with some curiosity. This is the 26 Heavy Sword God Emperor Armor, the Xianling Clan's Town Armor, which also belonged to our Superstar Academy back then. The Man Star Daoji, who was addressed as Senior Brother by Star Luaha, said in a low voice, Boom! Just as his words fell, the third top 10 group in the starry sky, the Underworld Emperor Clan, came, a group of six people, the leader of which was also a powerful existence with a blue-gray Psy Emperor armor that exuded a strong sense of oppression, landed on a side of no man's land. Of the ten strongest clans in the starry sky, there were only three in the southern universe, the Ultra Heavenly Emperor Clan, the Ultra Amazing Emperor Clan, and the Underworld Emperor Clan, and all of them were now present. The Blue Star Empire had been self-proclaimed for countless years, and the ultra-tattooed Imperial Armor, which was invincible in the starry sky back then, had all been caught up. If the Blue Star Empire was still around by now, then the Xian Lady, the White Emperor Armor, would never be the current 17 or 18 weights, but at least 30 weights, Starry Sky 9 University Palace. Currently, only the Super Star Palace came, and did not see the other two palaces' super tattooers appear. It seemed that didn't want to participate in the Blue Star matter. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Shortly after the arrival of the Ghost Emperor Clan, a few streams of light flew in from the sky and landed on top of an open space not far from the Heavenly God Tree. Eh? Seeing who had arrived. Countless gazes were cast towards them, the arrivals were none other than Tao Tai, Zhao Feng, Wu Rue, Vermilion Bird, Demons and Monkeys, Wang Rong, Little Tuan Tuan, Zhang Hu, Monkey King and the others. They still dare to come, do they not know that we already know that Gu Chengqing is completely dead? Kind of interesting, are they here to throw themselves into the net? TSK, TSK, why don't we finish them off first? As the group of people from the Demon Alliance and the others came over. Quite a few whispers rang out from the scene. In the Super God Platform Camp, Star God Wuji glanced at the Demon Alliance and the others, then looked at the purple-haired beauty by his side and said indifferently, The general manager asked you to use your light brain and broadcast the scene here live. Good. The purple-haired woman sniffed and took out her ultra brain to enter the platform system, then opened the official live broadcast. Little Tuan Tuan, knowing that I'm going to kill you, why do you still dare to come and die? Seeing them, the first one who couldn't sit still was Bai Xing looking over there in a cold and ghostly manner. Don't cause trouble for now. Xianling Zixian pulled him back and said in a deep voice, If we get into a firefight with them now, how can we rob them later? Come on, whoever wants to make a move against my demon alliance, come on, I just hope that when my boss comes over later, you all don't flee with your tails between your legs. Zheng who slowly walked to the front of the crowd, looking around the entire field with eyes full of disdain, sneering, do you really think that I'm saving my boss by robbing the flower of dawn? All of you dirtbags are nothing more than joyful colors in front of my boss. The one at the head of the underworld emperor clan snorted coldly. Arrogant. When I obtain the heavenly god fruit, then I will exterminate you human beasts. They were now not afraid of the blue star empire at all. Still stuck in the class heavy number of ultra tattooed armor from back then. Chapter 83. Destroy the demon alliance first. Then take the heavenly god fruit. 3. 000, 000 words. Chapter. Super God Platform, official website live streaming room. At this time, the screen turned, and even switched to the seal space, the scene on the side of the heavenly god tree. Wow, finally switched to the scene inside the seal space? Boy, so many starry celebrities. Star God Wuji, the holy son of the underworld? Star Daoji, amazing pride? And Ing Wufei of the ultra heavenly emperor clan? Why are all these starry eyed demons here? Hiss, is that, the heavenly god tree? My god. No wonder they're all gathered over there. So it's for the heavenly god tree. Ha ha, there's bound to be a big battle later on. I'm curious as to which of them is stronger or weaker. I'm still more optimistic about star god Wuji. This person is mysterious and unpredictable. Superstar Academy star Daoji is no slouch either. It seems like there's also the human demon alliance. Why don't we take them out first? As the official website of the super god platform went live and switched the screen here, the originally calm live room immediately all boiled over. These little guys around the 20th rank in front of them were all existences that basically had few opponents at this stage. Now that several of them had gotten together to grab the heavenly god fruit, they were bound to usher in a big fight. Inside the office room, Gu Chang Cheng, 
who was dressed in the Lord of the Empire's military uniform, looked at the scene over at the Heavenly God Tree and revealed a brutal smile. Since we're here, don't even leave. Little concubine, set the ceiling space entrance and exit to only enter but not leave. After sleeping for so long, it's time to move some muscles. He had said before that anyone who dared to come down and make trouble would never be able to leave alive. There will be a massacre. Not a single piece of Blue Star's resources would they be able to leave with. Xiao Xu's voice rang out. Setting complete. In this acre of Blue Star, it was almost omnipotent. It continued. The Empire has been stopping for so many years. And all these groups in the stars are slowly catching up. If we hadn't stopped, the 12 battle emperors would have at least 30 weights of ultra tattoo armor. To fall behind was to be beaten. And it was the same when looking at the cosmic stars. It's okay. I'm here. Gu Chongqing didn't take this matter to heart and pushed out the door by putting the little concubine inside his body. Possessing the mysterious seal, he would be able to subsequently help Tao Tai and the others. Raise some of their potential indexes. Then using the empire's fusion technology. He would fuse and upgrade their ultra tattooed imperial armor. Gu Chang Chang went out. He had to check on Menglan first. He had just learned from Xiao Shu that it seemed to be in a very low mood recently when it couldn't see itself. Ah, master, it's really you. Gu Chang Ching had just come out from inside the first floor hall when the avatar Xiao Ai, who was sitting in front of the counter, was pleasantly surprised to see him and went forward to greet him. She had guessed a thing or two when the star ring was revived just now. Gu Chang Ching nodded to her and quickly stepped out of the center building. Xiao Ai looked at Gu Changqing's departing back, looking at the overbearing majesty of the Lord of the Empire's uniform on his body. Even as a virtual character, there were a few moments of adoration showing in her eyes. The Lord of the Empire's military uniform worn on him, really seemed like it was specially designed for him. Main city, Panda Barracks. The buildings here were generally huge. Gu Changqing came straight to the number one military building, only to see that inside, the 20 meter or so Monglan, was leaning against the side of a pillar stuffing one energy crystal after another into his mouth, eating with a crunch. After fusing the 30th explosive heavenly emperor pattern, it could also change its body size at will. However, 20 meters was already the limit. At this time, Menglan suddenly sensed something, and the crystal stone in his hand at the edge of his mouth stopped, his eyes staring outwards. Afterward, Gu Changqing's figure slowly entered its field of vision. Seeing this, Menglan let out a happy roar, got up and pounced towards him, coming in front of Gu Changqing, he lowered his head and rubbed against him. Gu Changqing stroked the fur on his head and laughed softly. Missed me? Meng Lan barked in agreement. Be good. I'll go out to do some errands first. And next time I'll definitely take you out for a dry run. Gu Changqing vigorously rubbed its head. Before heaven and earth had changed. He had loved Meng Lan. This jailbreak mischievous spirit. It was too good at organizing jobs. Meng Lan nodded his huge head and gave a low purr. As if to say don't lie to me. Gu Changqing guffawed. Won't lie to you. There'll be a time for you to show off your bare strength. He fooled around with it for a few minutes before leaving in a hurry. Gu Changqing wanted to give the extraterrestrial beings a big surprise, so it wasn't right to bring along Menglan. The tiger didn't come out of the mountain, but these monkeys dared to call themselves the king. It was truly ridiculous. Boom. When a boom swept over the central city, Gu Changqing had already left the city wearing his emperor abyssal dragon armor. When he came out he looked up at the sky, his left eye black as the abyss his right eye demonic as the sea of blood, his dual-colored eyes, flashing a few disdainful colors. Then, with a bang, he disappeared in place. Eh, who is this? Tranquila's office. He tottered from his seat and stood up. Secretary Bluebrook's beautiful eyes widened as she said. What kind of ultra-tattoo armor is this? Even the projection across it gives me fear. Assistant, where is the data? Tranquila connected to the assistant's side and inquired in a deep voice. The assistant's extremely unsettling voice rang out back to general manager. His data just came out. The one who showed up to head to the sealed space just now. His potential index is as high as around 13,000 stars, 72 weights of super stripe armor, and 23 ranks of god. What? Hearing the assistant's words, Tranquila's eyes widened in disbelief. Are you sure there's no mistake? 72 layers of super grain armor. What kind of concept is that? The assistant replied, there is no mistake. The real data, there is only a difference of about a thousand stars between the top and bottom of the potential index, and 72 pounds of super grain armor is the exact number, Tranquila gulped furiously and said in a creepy voice, the ultra tattooers inside the sealed space, they're all finished, Gu Changqing personally made a move, they all have to die, I'm the one who harmed star god Wuji, Lan she said creepily, general manager, let's quickly let star god Wuji and the others leave, maybe it's not too late. It's too late. This person is definitely Gu Changqing. He actually didn't die. 
we've been cheated badly by the ultra amazing imperial clan, and with his character, I'm afraid that he won't be able to even think of exchanging them back at a heavenly price. Tranquila's face was filled with bitterness, and his gaze fell onto the projection in the live broadcast room as he said, the star over strikers who are on the blue star are probably all going to be buried inside. The imperial light brain must have been sealed by all the entrances and exits that only allow them to enter and not to leave. They all have to die. This Gu Changqing is really ruthless, deliberately releasing the news of his possible death, luring down a large number of starry sky super tattooers to go down and hunt. Terrifying, Tranquila all felt fear from the bottom of his heart towards this man. Sealed space, where the heavenly god tree was located. The five camps of the super god platform. The super amazing emperor clan. The super heavenly emperor clan the Xian Underworld Emperor Clan, and the Superstar Academy were the absolute contenders here. The Xian Underworld Saint Sun, who was the leader of the Xian Underworld Imperial Race, ghostly scanned the Demon Alliance's group of people and opened his mouth to the Ultra Amazing Imperial Race, Ultra Star Academy, Ultra Celestial Imperial Race, and Ultra Divine Platform. Gentlemen, fighting is not good for anyone. There are 12 Heavenly God Fruits, how about we split it equally among the five forces? Let's take the heavenly god fruits first, then settle these ants from the human demon alliance, and each of us will go and look for other opportunities, and all will be happy. Hearing the other party's words, White Star sneered. What? Didn't put me in your eyes? The ultra amazing imperial clan's amazing simmering, swept his contemptuous gaze at the latter and drank. What kind of thing are you? What am I considered? I'm considered your father. White Star raised his eyes and went toe to toe with him, saying, If you're not convinced, come out and fight. Star Daoji, from the Super Star Academy, spoke out to persuade him to make peace. Why do we need to be so drawn out? Twelve Heavenly God Fruits, how about two for each of our six parties? This one is wearing the 26th Heavy Sword God Emperor armor. He is qualified to share away too. Bai Xing sniffed and cast a friendly look at the other party, saying, I'm not greedy for more. Two is enough. Whoever doesn't want to give it, then come out and fight with me. What? The Sword God Emperor armor has also come out? No wonder he dared to contradict Amazing Aura, so it's not a weakness for him. I said it looks so similar, so it's really the Sword God Emperor armor. This era is really full of demons, it seems they can't fight. The whole person share too, it seems there is no need to fight to the death. The Sword God Imperial armor had also been a formidable name in the starry sky, and there were very many beings who knew about it. The leaders present from the Ultra Amazing Imperial Race, the Ultra Divine Platform, the Ultra Heavenly Imperial Race, and the underworld imperial race all acquiesced when they learned that it was the sword god imperial armor that was on white star. None of them were certain that they could claim victory over the sword god imperial armor. Teacher, they're going to split the heavenly god fruits equally, won't we have no chance? Above the mansion in the distance, Wooling frowned slightly. Not only them, but the other ultra tattooists present who wanted to take advantage of the chaos to pick the heavenly god fruit also gave up with bitter smiles and prepared to leave to seek other opportunities, which evil Yan's eyes flickered as he said. Don't be in a hurry. Those two 30th ranked explosive giant apes under the heavenly god tree aren't that easy to deal with. Only to see that the two explosive giant apes under the tree over there had long since awakened, and their violent gazes were staring at the ultra tattooists surrounding them. Seeing that they had all agreed to share two heavenly god fruits with him, White Star's teasing gaze fell straight onto Zhang Hu and the others and laughed. Gentlemen, before picking the fruits, why don't you first exterminate this group of people from the demon alliance? Keeping them around is always a threat. Star Dioji nodded. Agreed. Let's kill them first. The sacred son of the Xian Di smiled grimly. I agree as well. Then let's kill. Yan Ao took a step forward. Just exterminate them first. Keep them in the way. The overwhelming heavenly emperor clan, Ying Peerless, looked indifferently at the demon alliance and the others. Star God Wuji said indifferently. You guys do it. I, the overwhelming god platform, don't get involved in any grudges. What to do? The people of the devil alliance looked at these beasts from outside the domain all staring at them with murderous intent, and looked towards Zhang Hu, feeling a little tricky. Boom! However, suddenly at this moment, a terrifyingly loud sound roared from the distance. It was wrapped in a terrifying pressure of extreme dominance, cruelty, blood, and strength. Who, under this aura of pressure, even Star God Wuji, White Star, and the others all showed great horror in their eyes, feeling a deterrent that penetrated deep into their souls. The countless gazes present were all staring at the place where the dust rose not far away. When the surging dust dispersed, the pupils of all the overwatchers could not help but contract, only to see that in that area, there was an armor that was standing still, emitting an invincible aura from head to toe. Chapter 84, shocking the entire scene, a sensation in the starry sky, a mole cricket trying to shake a giant, dragon, 
5, 0, 0, 0 words long chapter. Sealed space, under the heavenly god tree, accompanied by a roar, dust splattered everywhere here. This is, who, white star's gaze, dead set on the terrifying figure that slowly unfolded after the dust dispersed. This, what a terrifying armor. Who recognizes this as a set of what kind of ultra tattoo armor? Just that body aura alone. Why is it able to make me unable to even bring up half of my battle intent? Ing Peerless of the Ultra Heavenly Emperor Clan stared at the horrifying figure under the field with his legs a little weak. When did such a ruthless character appear in the cosmic stars? Star God Wuji's body trembled slightly. In front of this armor, not only could he not even raise his battle spirit, he was even tempted to run away at the first opportunity. From that person's body, gusts of oppression raged, causing the ultra tattoo armor he wore to tremble uneasily. What? What kind of existence? A color of fear surfaced within the eyes of the ultra amazing emperor clan's amazing simmering, and even his speech was a bit unsteady. What kind of monster is this? The underworld saint sun's gaze evaded, not even daring to look directly at it. Senior, senior brother, do you, do you, recognize who this is? On the superstar academy side, star luaha looked at the existence that had crossed the field, his legs trembling terribly, even his hands were shaking, incomparably terrified. Don't, don't, no. Never. Seen before. Star Daoji's speech also trembled a little. And his right leg was trembling slightly. Hiss. This existence. What place does it come from? That aura. I. Can't. I'm going to kneel down for him. My heavens. I can't top it either. I'm going to kneel down and worship. What kind of existence? A terrifying monster. Just the aura that permeates invisibly can make us kneel and worship. It's too outrageous. Many of the Super Striker onlookers in the Four Wilds were so weak in their legs that they uncontrollably knelt on the ground, their eyes filled with horror and trepidation. The Overgod platform similarly exploded at this moment. Who? Who is this? There is no old generation out to say say? My goodness. The live broadcast makes me feel scared. How much pressure must those who are on the scene have? Where are the seniors? Come out a few seniors. Give us a sermon. This is a Super Striked armor of what level? Right. Come out a senior. Such a terrifying super pattern armor. It's impossible that you haven't heard of it, right? Dual dragons on the back. I remember that when I look at the universe in space, there is only one who exists. Who? Curious pop-ups came one after another. The human race. Gu Chong Cheng. How can that be? Isn't he dead? Yes. It can't be him. Since it can't be him, I can't think of anyone else. Ask the super god platform for his stats. Super god platform. It's time for you to come out and talk. Plus one. General manager, should we, inside the office, Lan Shi looked at the pop-ups and whispered, ignore them for now, Tranquila's gaze, too, was keeping his eyes on the screen within the live broadcast, right at this moment, the voice of the assistant of the super brain on the desk came out, general manager, the above also wants to know, the data of this person in the live broadcast screen, Tranquila sniffed, not surprised, and said, send it up, killing such an invincible existence out of nowhere, if it couldn't even alarm the above, then it would be strange. Brother Tiger, this existence, so terrifying. Taotia's body was also trembling terribly as he looked at the figure that stood still in the distance. Zhao Feng's voice trembled as he spoke. If, if, he, he's an extraterrestrial being, I, we can't even run away. The two black dragons born on his back are so similar to the bosses. The vermilion bird's gaze flickered. Wang Rong nodded her head and said in a low voice. Yes, I think so too. It gives me a familiar feeling as well. He appeared so promptly. The demons whispered to themselves. Bai Xing listened to the conversation of the Demon Alliance's crowd and knew that the visitor could never be Gu Changqing, and he breathed a huge sigh of relief in his heart. The symbol of two dragons on his back had really scared the living daylights out of him just now. Teacher, what kind of terrifying existence is this? Above the building in the distance, Su Yue's eyes flickered, thinking in her heart that if she could hug such a thigh, which Evil Yen said with some trembling, Never seen or heard of it before. If we let this guy grow up to 99 steps of the emperor level. Wu Ling shivered and said. What kind of terrifying existence? What kind of power in the starry sky could cultivate it? Star God Wuji whispered to the purple haired woman beside him. Quickly ask the headquarters for this one's stats. Oh, good. The purple haired woman nodded in panic. At this moment, Gu Changcheng slowly turned around. His eyes, which resembled an abyss and a sea of blood, looked around the room. Those who were met with his gaze all had their hearts and minds trembling, almost kneeling down for him. The two bursting giant apes from the heavenly god tree were prostrate on the ground at this moment, not even daring to raise their heads to look at him. May I ask your excellency, what is your name? I'm the Xianmei Saint son of the underworld emperor clan. Can you share one of this heavenly god fruit with me? 
Between the flickering light in his eyes, the saint's son of the underworld forced himself to endure the horrifying sense of oppression from the other party, flew over, cupped his fists and smiled, Big brother, if you can share one of these with me, in the future, your affairs will be the affairs of my underworld emperor clan. Gu Changqing raised his eyes to look at the latter, and a hoarse and majestic voice came out, Like you, a mole like you, are you worthy of calling me big brother? Boom! As his words fell, he suddenly disappeared in place, displacing himself in front of the holy son of the underworld, clasping his face with one hand, and then under the gaze of countless horrified gazes, he snorted, crushing his entire head like a watermelon. Hiss, the horse's ass that this saint son of the underworld patted is patted on the horse's hoof? This one is so ruthless, killing at the drop of a hat, is the face of the underworld emperor clan not given at all? A power that can cultivate this being, do you think it's afraid of the underworld emperor clan? He's right. I'm really curious about his identity. Why doesn't the super god platform come out and say something? As strong as the holy son of the underworld, he's so weak? How terrifying is this guy? The viewers of the super god platform's live broadcasting room, looking at the scene of the underworld saint's son being pinched alive and bursting his head, were all dumbfounded and shocked for a while. At the scene, there was a dead silence. Many ultra-tattooed people were scared and wanted to leave the place, but they found that their legs had no strength at all. Who still wants to call me brother? Gu Chongqing's deep, bloodthirsty eyes swept over those present one by one, but wherever his gaze reached, no one dared to meet him head on. Finally, his line of sight rested on the four people from the Underworld Clan. Underworld Clan's four people. Puff, facing his horrifying eyes, the four people from the Underworld race could no longer withstand the pressure of fear in their hearts, and they fell to the ground on their asses as their legs weakened. Aang, the twin dragons behind Gu Chongqing's back roared with a ferocious aura violently swept across the sky, their speed was unparalleled, and in the blink of an eye, they bit off and devoured the heads of the four ultra-tattooists from the underworld emperor clan, who were all wearing 17th to 20th order ultra-tattoo armor, hiss, when the crowd present saw this scene, they all sucked in cold air in their hearts, what kind of ferocious existence was this, at the scene, there was no one in sight who dared to make a sound, even their breathing was subconsciously shielded, fearing that if they made the slightest noise, they would be abused by this existence. A burst of oppression, like the suppression of life levels. The arrogant star god Wuji's eyes were dodging when he looked at that figure. It was all like a small child encountering a great terror. The oppression made them want to pee their pants. However, the next moment, it was even more frightening to pee countless people. Zhang Hu, who had already dispersed his helmet, grinned a heck of a smile and walked towards Gu Changqing, saying, Boss, you've come at the right time. These assholes still want to kill our demon alliance before taking those heavenly god fruits, they're really going to laugh me to death. Boom! As Zhang Hu's words fell, both those who were present and those who were watching through the live broadcast, their heads all shook and boomed at this moment. What the heck? He, he, he's Gu Changcheng? Hiss, if that person is really Gu Changcheng, everyone there has to die. Hiss, didn't you say he was dead? How did he become so scary? It's a lie. It's all a lie. Luckily, I didn't go down there. Now the blue star is afraid that all of them are blocked by Gu Changqing, ready to start hunting. What a deep mind, deliberately letting the starry sky race's super striker go down there and then eliminating them all in one pot. This man is so ruthless ah, shivering, it's a good thing I don't have the courage to cut my own super tattoo and go down. Otherwise, super god platform, you should release his data information, right? Buzz, just as there was a stir in the live broadcast room, a line of gorgeous large letters surfaced on the top. Human race, Gu Changqing, potential index 13, 000 stars plus, 72 weights and 23 steps of the divine super stripe, 72? Sure, is this going against the heavens? Impossible. Looking at the starry sky, there is absolutely no ethnic group that possesses the technology or equipment to fuse out 72 heavy super grains. I don't believe it either. 13,000 star potential index. I remembered it was only 10,000 stars before. What the hell is going on? How can there be a 72-tiered heaven-defying super stripe? Blue star, we can't go any further. Whoever goes will die. The data released by the super god platform shocked all the viewers in the live broadcast room for 10, 000 years. All three views were ruthlessly refreshed a few times. Run. Without saying a word, the star Dao pole of the Superstar Academy turned around and vanished at the fastest speed possible at this moment. Run. The three of the ultra amazing emperor clan, the ultra heavenly emperor clan, and the Ultra Divine Platform also fled in all directions with their clansmen at the first opportunity. Those other extra-dimensional beings present also dispersed like locusts at this moment. Ku Changqing didn't go after them. The entire sealed space couldn't be exited. 
it would be more effective to let them experience endless despair before hunting them down. Go! White Star was chilled and greeted Xin Ling Zixian who also wanted to run. Boom! But only just as they turned around, a terrifying pressure came from behind that left them paralyzed on the ground. No! Don't! I know I'm wrong! White Star, who had collapsed to the ground, his body trembling incomparably, his eyes filled with the color of fear as he looked at Gu Changqing, who was towering over him, his feet stomping straight as he continuously retreated backward. Xian Ling Zixian's delicate body was also trembling terribly, her eyes full of fear and despair, looking at the man who regarded them as if they were dead. It was you who revived him? Gu Changqing's intimidating eyes landed on Xian Ling Zixian's body, and a very magnetic and majestic voice came out from within his helmet. I'm sorry, I was wrong, I shouldn't have saved him, please give me a chance. Xian Ling Zixian knelt in front of him, trembling her delicate body and begging for forgiveness. HM, you guys want to run? At this moment, Gu Changqing discovered the three which evil yin people in the distance who turned around and wanted to run away. With a cold snort, he disappeared in place. Boom! In the next moment, he had already appeared where they were. And from behind them, he clasped Wu Ling with one hand and Wu Xian's neck with the other, and ruthlessly threw them towards the place where Bai Xing, Xian Ling, and Zixuan were. Boss, long time no see. Su Yue forced herself to hold back her trembling body in fear as she greeted Gu Changqing with a smile. Gu Changqing stared at the latter like he was looking at a dead man and said faintly, Why do you want to kill me? This is something that puzzles me. Su Yue explained in a pitiful manner. This, how could I want to kill you? Boss, boss, you mustn't listen to those words of Lin Chen's at that time. He was trying to pull my back. Ah, suddenly, she screamed miserably. It turned out that it was the left black dragon behind Gu Changqing's back that had bitten off her left hand so hard that it was dripping with blood and shocking to the eyes. To kill a filthy woman like you, I don't even want to do it myself. Tiger, come and disassemble her. Gu Changqing shook his head. Back then, he was really blind. After saying that, a displacement. Back to the Bai Xing who had already been scared to pee close to him. All right, boss, I'm going to take care of that bitch. Zhang who promised at this time, and flew towards Su Yahweh's side with a murderous spirit. Ah, no, don't, ah, ah, Zhang who had just arrived over there when the sounds of Su Yue's miserable screams kept coming, don't, ha ha, come, let me remove this long leg of yours, ah, bastard, you're an animal, Gu Chang Chang, you will not die a good death, I won't let you go even as a ghost, Su Yue's heartrending, creepy sounding screams were endless, Bai Xing's body went cold as he listened, as if recalling that day when he was dismantled, Gu Chang Ching looked at Bai Xing, who was scared shitless, and with one foot, he stepped through the armor he was wearing, shocking it into serious injury, and faintly said, Tuan Tuan, come here, coming, boss. Little Tuan Tuan heard the sound and cheerfully came over. Her face, which had already dispersed its helmet, was red and full of excitement. Gu Changqing patted her fragrant shoulder and said lightly, Didn't he try to kill you before? Come, use your means to finish him off. Don't let him die so painfully, otherwise it would be a mercy for him. Having killed someone once, Gu Changqing didn't want to kill him a second time. Fine, I won't let him die so quickly. Little Tuan revealed a wicked, devilish smile as it stepped forward to drag away White Star, who was wailing on the ground and had been pleading for a quick death. No, don't ah, ah. Not long after, by Xing's hissing, and Su Yahweh's miserable screams were like a symphony echoing through the place. Big Brother Gu, we didn't do anything. Which evil Yen dispersed his helmet and knelt in front of Gu Changqing, revealing a sickly white face full of smiles. Ka Ching, put, responding to him, Gu Changqing ruthlessly stomped on his chest. At once, the armor shattered, the chest collapsed, and it was a bloody mess. Ha! Ah. Which evil Yen lay on his back on the ground, his mouth constantly spitting out blood, his body twitching all the time, his eyes gradually lax. You, you'll die too, Gu Changcheng. Which evil Yen squeezed a sentence out of his mouth with great difficulty, as long as they, father and daughter, dared to come within two meters. The soul suppressing seal would be triggered just the same after his death. Below the 60th rank, there was no one who could block the soul suppressing seal. I'm puzzled. Like you mole crickets. Where did you get the courage to mess with me? Griffins, you're trying to shake a dragon? Always thinking of something unrealistic. Is it bad to live well? Gu Changqing was indifferent, lifting his foot to explode the latter's head. Ah, Gu Chang Chang, you beast. I won't let you go even if I become a ghost. Ah, ah. Su Yahweh's miserable to the core curses came from over there with increasing weakness. Bang! Xian Ling Zi Xian's heart and guts were all chilled, in order not to be tortured. She even shattered her own heavenly soul cover at this moment and died. The dead body fell limply to the ground. Seeing this scene, Wu Ling let out a bitter smile. 
had he known that he wouldn't have volunteered to come down to the Blue Star, and at the same time follow Xian Ling Zi Xian's example of shattering his own skull and dying. Young master, boss, Wang Rong, Vermilion Bird, Tao Tai, Zhao Feng, Wu Rue, Monkey King, and spirits and monsters came over, all in tears, looking at Gu Changqing with incomparable miss. Gu Changqing nodded slightly to them and said, During this period of time, it's been hard on you all. Beneath the exit of the sealed space, the open land, what to do, can't get out? Damn it, is Gu Changqing trying to wipe us out? Animal, he's just an animal. One to two million extra dimensional beings had gathered here, only to find that they couldn't leave through the exit. At once, all sorts of curses were heard resounding through this space. Star God Wuji's eyes were gloomy as he thought. Could it be that we can only use that method? After contemplating for a moment, he rose above the sky and looked down on the entire field and spoke aloud. Gentlemen, don't panic. I have a way to deal with Gu Changqing. I just don't know if you can accept it. Yen Ao heard this and looked up at the other party, saying urgently, Brother Wuji, what method? As long as you can live, there's nothing that can't be accepted. Right, as long as we can live. Star Dioji and Ing Wuji also concurred at the same time. No matter what the price is, if we can leave here alive, we are willing to pay it. The one or two million extra dimensional beings present couldn't care less, and their gazes all looked toward Star God Wuji high in the sky. Star God Wuji took a deep breath, his eyes flickering as he said, I once obtained a supreme star formation named 10,000 stars returning to one in a starry sky relic. As long as I cast this formation out, and you are willing to integrate your own supreme patterns into the formation, you will be able to raise the weight of my supreme pattern armor. However, from here on out your ultra tattoos will disappear, and I also run the risk of bursting in dying. If we want to live, I can't think of any other way out other than this. Gu Changqing so strong that even if those of us present were to join forces, we wouldn't necessarily be able to break through his defenses. Gentlemen, whether life is important or the ultra tattoo is important, there's not much time left, so weigh it yourselves. Saying this, Star God Wuji stopped speaking. After hearing this, Amazing Ao said loudly without thinking, there's nothing to consider, I'll be the first to agree. Right, as long as we can get out alive. Star Dioji and Ing Wui also had no half hesitation. Brother Wuji, please cast the star formation, you can still go by a fusion if you lose your super stripe. If your life is lost, it's really gone. There were close to 2 million extra dimensional beings present. All of them had grim faces and were ready to give up their lives. Good. With these words from you all, I'll also risk exploding my body and dying to fight Gu Changqing. Star God Wuji clenched his teeth fiercely and landed from a high altitude, beginning to set up the 10,000 stars returning to 1. Chapter 85, 67 Heavens. Only at this level? Under the heavenly god tree, the two exploding great apes were prostrate on the ground, not daring to move. Su Yue was divided into eight pieces by Zhang Huan exposed on top of that collapsed building. The intact head. The facial expression is hideous and twisted. The suffering of the torture before death is written on the face. On the white star's side, little Tuan Duan also chopped him up. In this chaotic world, the small group of people have become ruthless. After Gu Changqing finished catching up with the crowd, his gaze fell on the heavenly god tree not far away. When the two bursting giant apes saw him looking over, they both dodged their gazes and let out a low swallowing voice of submission. Boss, it is said that this heavenly god fruit, taken under 3,000 potential indexes, can directly increase 1,300 star potential. Wu Rue was depressed. I'm at 3,500 stars now. It would be good if I were more than 500 stars lower. Wang Rong pursed her lips and smiled. Luckily for me and little Tuan Tuan, we are both still at 2,900 stars. She was wearing a green phoenix armor that covered her plump and buccaneering petite body showing off its proud curves to the fullest. Auntie Wang is right. You guys better not be envious. Little Tuan Tuan snickered. Zhang Hu said in a depressed manner. Boss, our super tattoo weights are still too low. It might have been great back in the day, but the empire's footsteps stopped too long ago. Tao Tai also said. Right, the empire's current super grain armor is indeed a bit inadequate. It needs to be upgraded by another wave. Gu Changqing nodded slightly and said. What should be there will be there. When the extraterrestrial beings within the blue star are cleared out, gather all the resources within the sealed space again, we'll need to develop for a while. I guarantee that you guys will follow up and definitely be able to put on the 30 heavy imperial armor. Saying that, as he beckoned, the 12 heavenly god fruits from the heavenly god tree broke through the air and flew in, floating near him. Gu Changqing hauled one to Wang Rong and little Tuan Tuan respectively. The others were given to Zhang Hu, saying, Tiger, you keep it and it will be given according to contribution in the Demon Alliance. This thing, Gu Changqing didn't need it at all. Good. Zhang Hu nodded and put it all away. 
rubbing his fists and saying, Boss, it's time to start hunting the extraterrestrial beings in this sealed space, isn't it? The Monkey King said, Yes boss, my old grandson can't wait. This guy was very hungover. The Dark Great Sage Super Stripe was on it, and it was currently more powerful than the 21st Super Stripe, and it was truly metamorphosing into a Dark Great Sage. Gu Changqing glanced at it, then looked at the crowd and said, There's no need to hunt them. They're all gathered where the exit is right now, and are casting some kind of 10,000 stars returning to a pang, wanting to use this boost to deal with me. Your own awakening of the super pattern. Also don't delay not to cultivate. After reaching a certain class, Su will have unexpected benefits. He really suspected that the tattooed awakened super tattoos during the heaven and earth alteration might be terrifying in the future. Gu Changqing's Luo Throat Super Tattoo, then, had not been assimilated by the Emperor Abyssal Dragon Armor. Indirectly, it showed that it was counterintuitive. Good. Everyone nodded heavily when they saw that Gu Changqing had specifically instructed that they should cultivate their own super grain. Vermilion Bird, on the other hand, whispered, Boss, since you know they're casting star formations, why don't you go and destroy them? Gu Changqing said faintly and disdainfully, No matter how much a mole cricket is elevated, it's no, than a slightly larger grasshopper. By this time, he should have finished ascending and is looking for someone to practice on. After saying that, Gu Changqing led the crowd and headed straight for the exit. The two bursting giant apes lying under the heavenly god tree also left the place as fast as they could after seeing them go. In the open space below the sealed space exit, a starry, 12-pointed starburst formation that covered the entire height of the sky shrouded the area. Nearly 2 million extra-dimensional beings on the ground, and now they were all paralyzed on the ground. Their bodies ultra-ripple being absorbed by the star formation in the sky. High above the sky, star god Wuji was bathed under the extremely splendid starlight. Truly like a star god who dominated the deep space of the universe before the dust. The star god Wuji armor he wore had millions of streams of light on its surface, as if it contained an entire starry sky flickering with billions of stars. It must succeed. The extraterrestrial beings sitting on the ground looked on with nervous faces. Right now, they were pinning all their hopes of staying alive on star god Wuji. If he couldn't withstand it and burst into flames, it would basically announce their deaths as well. Inside the Overgod platform's live broadcast room, it was still broadcasting the footage here live. The Eye of the Divine Ring, which had been in the live broadcast room, was refreshing star god Wuji's current data. 64th weight, 23rd ranked god level. 65th weight, 23rd rank god level. 66th weight, 23rd rank god level. Ah, after his star god Wunderkin armor was raised to 66th gravity, the star god Wunderkin let out a loud roar of incomparable pain. 67 weights, 23rd rank god level. Ah, this time, he screamed even more painfully. Even the surface of his armored body began to fill with cracks. Star god Wuji, stop now. It's okay. Amazing AO was afraid that he couldn't withstand it and his heart was scared as he yelled for him to stop. Boom! With a roar, Star God Wuji stopped fusing. It was clear that his own limit was the 67th weight. If he dared to increase it by another weight he would surely die. Rumble! As he dispersed the star formation, a terrifying aura that swept across the entire sky emerged from within him, bathed in the light of the 10,000 Star God. He was as majestic as a god or goddess descending into the world. It's only the 67th gravity. What can I take to fight Gu Chanqing? It's a pity. Although it's very strong, it's only 67th gravity, not to mention that it's still relying on external power to enhance it. I'm afraid that it's not a match for Gu Changqing. Indeed, they still don't have a chance to live. Indeed, the viewers within the live broadcast room were all shaking their heads and sighing. The breath that permeated this 67 weight star got infinite armor. They felt that it was not even one tenth as good as Gu Changqing's set of emperor armor. It simply could not give them the sense of terror and oppression that resembled Gu Changqing's set of emperor armor. Oh, 67 weights are only at this level? In that case, even if you were to ascend to the 72nd level, you wouldn't be able to make any waves in front of me. Suddenly at this moment, Gu Chongqing's magnetic and majestic, domineering voice came out. When those present heard it, their hearts tightened, and they looked at the voice with fearful eyes. He saw Gu Chongqing, a lord of the empire's military uniform to cover the body, slender and magnificent stature of the heavens and the earth, very great face, calm and indifferent posture as if defying the ants and the ant colony of unsuspecting of the mole crickets. This is, the legendary Gu Changqing? That's, the lord of the empire's military uniform. My, it's as if it was tailor-made for him. It's too majestic and overbearing ah, scary man, to be honest his charm is undeniable. I'm a male or very that, unfortunately destined not to become his fans. Right, this man from the inside out, all exudes a soul, transcendent, convincing charm, if we and he is not an enemy. 
I will definitely become his fans. When the viewers in the live broadcast room saw Gu Chanqing's true face, they all felt unprecedentedly stunning. Never in a million years did they expect him to be such a strange man. Chapter 86, The Apex of the Power of the Super Tattoo. Have you all seen it? Gu Changqing used to be covered in armor in the past, and he didn't even dissipate his helmet. Now, the viewers in the starry sky who were watching the live broadcast, looking at him appearing in his true form, all felt incomparably astonished. That stance, a born overlord, Tranquila squinted as he looked on, also feeling perfect for Gu Changqing's perfect skin and temperament. Is that the Lord of the Empire uniform he's wearing? It just fits so well with his temperament. On Lan Shi's face, she said with a bit of a flowery look, not only her, but many of the women in the starry sky who were watching the live broadcast were like this. In the central universe, at the headquarters of the super god platform, at the top of a large technological hall, there stood a magnificent, cool and dusty woman with an unparalleled and unassailable posture. Her majestic eyes, which were like a vast expanse of clear water, were looking at the images within the live broadcast room of the super god platform. Are you the lord of the empire of the new humans? Regardless of strength or temperament, it is indeed more stunning than him, and I hope you can continue his splendor. Her gaze fell on Gu Changcheng and she murmured to herself in a low voice, I really didn't expect this fellow to be so stunning. The Superstar Academy Palace's palace master, Miao Luoyan, was also a stunning woman who could hardly find one in the starry sky, and as Gu Changcheng's enemy, she couldn't help but marvel at this man's perfection. Yo ho, little senior sister. What are you looking at? Look at the piece of nymphomania on your face. On top of the rooftop of a teaching building in the Heavenly Gods Academy Palace, a bright-eyed and white-toothed young girl was watching the live broadcast with her eyes glued to the ground when a voice suddenly came from behind her, startling her. The person who came was a woman wearing a fiery red dress, with an enchanting floating posture, and a face like a charming jade. The style of the imperial sister was ten thousand kinds of women. This person's identity was not simple. It was the daughter of the Heavenly God School Palace's palace master, Firelink C, with a potential index as high as 5. 500, carrying the 29 Heavens Fire Emperor armor. He he, which male god is this? At this time, Fire Spirit Shi, who had just come out of the gate, saw the image of Gu Changqing in the live broadcast room, and a look of astonishment immediately appeared on her bright face. Junior sister, who is he? No wonder you can make you face full of infatuation. Senior sister I also have some eyes on him. Senior sister, I don't have eyes on him, don't talk nonsense, the bright-eyed and white-toothed, pavilion-standing young girl said with a red face, the matter is like this, wow, such a big thing happened that I missed it, but it's okay, if I didn't miss it I definitely would have gone to the blue star as well, after hearing this, fire spirit she was shocked and grateful, her eyes burning as she stared at the heartwarming male god inside, the entire southern universe, and even other universes, were watched by countless super strikers, sealed space, Gu Changqing looked at the 67 weights of the Star God Wuji armor added to the Star God Wuji and shook his head with some disappointment. He wasn't pretending, it was that it was truly too weak in his eyes. Even if the opponent was at the same level, Gu Changqing could easily suppress it. Arrogant, Star God Wuji's eyes, which were as intimidating as the starry sky, stared dead on at Gu Changqing as he raised his hand and slowly removed the heavy divine sword on his back. Hubris, have you all seen the apex of the power of the overwrought? Boom! As Gu Changqing's bland voice fell, his Emperor Abyssal Dragon Armor instantly attached itself, unreservedly releasing the power within his body. At that moment, only the winds and clouds changed, the sun and moon were lost, and several hundred levels of fierce winds ravaged the heavens and the earth. Rumble, the black clouds that turned the sky and the earth grew out of nowhere, covering the entire sky of the sealed space, on which the black thunder that looked like it came from the abyss suddenly flashed and raged, intertwining like a spider's web. At the same time, Above the dome of the sky, a fearful pressure seems to be able to destroy the world's domineering pressure. Under this horrifying pressure, star god Wuji's body trembled slightly. Nearly two million extraterrestrial beings on the ground were crushed and unable to move, and even breathing was difficult. Gu Changqing's feet were as black as ink as the power of the abyss surged. The shadows of ten thousand dragons circled around his body. His back rose to the sea of Shura blood. His body surface was like a living creature of the emperor's pattern intertwined and the Kirin carousel inlaid in front of his chest flickered with the light of the reverse rebellion of the universe, and the two dragons behind him whistled so long that it seemed as if the heavens would all be roared down by him. Hiss, this, what kind of greatness is this? The prostrate extraterrestrial beings on the ground, all of them were freezing cold, despairing before their eyes for a moment of dizziness. My god, this, this is what he said in his mouth, the apex of the power of the overwhelming tattoo? 
it really isn't pretending. What kind of fucking power is this? How can a mere 23rd rank erupt with such power that resonates with heaven and earth? It's beyond anything we've ever known. The apex of the power of the super tattoo. He really wasn't wrong. This is something that only he alone can do when looking at the entire universe and stars. The live broadcast room of the Overgod platform was simultaneously abuzz with pop-ups after pop-ups of feeling disbelief. Wow, not only is he a male god, his strength is also so perverted. I love it so much. The heavenly god school palace's fire spirit she, looking at the scene in front of her, her heart flickered inside her charming eyes and her heart was about to come out. He, deserves to be a monster with a 13, 000 star potential index. The woman at the super god platform's headquarters flickered with horror within her eyes worthy of being the boss, little Tuan Duan and Vermilion Bird, as well as the demons and ghosts, all trembled in their fangs, most of the women who were watching through the live broadcast were unable to keep a beating heart, where could one find such a perfect man when looking at the starry sky, damn it, making enemies with such a monster, Miao Luoyan felt creeped out and her face was extremely ugly, she now extremely regretted that she shouldn't have bothered with Tsang Chen Tian in the first place, it was too much of a loss to set up a perverted enemy for this reason, how, still think I'm arrogant? Gu Changqing's eyes, which were like a sea of blood and also like an abyss, silently stared at star god Wuji. Kill, the star god Wuji, whose body and mind were trembling, suddenly shouted to dispel the fear in his heart, and the heavy divine sword in his hand erupted with an infinite amount of starlight as he summoned up the courage to blast his way straight at Gu Changqing. Bang, rumble. However, at the next moment, he was suddenly struck by a heavy blow, his body covering armor shattered and his entire person was like a meteorite falling into the mountains, blasting open a gorgeous mushroom cloud. Gu Changqing's figure had already appeared where the star god Wuji had been, and the people present had not seen half of his trajectory, but had only seen him appear there after the star god Wuji had been struck down. Buzz, when Gu Changqing waved his hand in the air, the bloodied and dying star god Wuji was detained in front of him, not to mention that you're a mere 67th gravity, the 80th gravity is no match for me, Gu Changqing said indifferently and as his palms closed, star god Wuji snorted, and his entire body exploded into a cloud of blood mist. Next, it's your turn. After crushing star god Wuji, Gu Changqing lowered his eyes, like a tyrant dominating the living beings, towering over the nearly two million extraterrestrial beings in the great underground, and opened his mouth in a ghostly manner. Before you die, it's an honor for you to see the apex of the power of the overwrought, purgatory abyss, rumble, as Gu Changqing's majestic and tyrannical voice fell. The earth where nearly two million extra-dimensional beings were located cracked open, and boundless black light surged forth, transforming into a mouthful of blood-colored thunder intertwined with the abyss, devouring them all in one gulp. In just a few seconds, nearly two million extraterrestrial beings were all wiped out under the abyss. The live broadcast on the Super God platform went black at the same time. Blue Star, it can't go down any further. I won't even look at it from now on. Terrifying man, a great terror. In the future, I will definitely not be an enemy of the blue star human race. You guys can do whatever you like. Right, never be an enemy. If I can meet a human in the starry sky in the future, I'll call him big brother directly. Scattered and scattered. No one will be able to get their hands on the ceiling resources of the blue star. As the black screen of the live broadcast room went black, one viewer after another left a pop-up screen that never messed with the blue star's human race before leaving in droves. All of them were scared out of their wits by Gu Changqing's strength. Although he was only at the 23rd rank, with his potential, and Blue Star's resources, there was absolutely no problem in supporting him to cultivate until he came out at the 80th rank or so. The extra-dimensional beings who were currently still within the Blue Star were blackened with despair when they realized that they couldn't leave. Gu Changqing didn't realize that the power he had just displayed had scared the guts out of countless extra-dimensional beings, gently beckoning, close to 200 spatial rings, breaking into the air like meteors from under the abyss. Chapter 87 Rise of an Empire The Era of Universal Superstrike Prepares to Arrive 3000 Word Chapter After Gu Changqing had cleared the first sealed space, he took Zheng Hu and the others back. The extraterrestrial beings, since this day, hadn't seen a single one dare to come down. The extra-dimensional beings currently in Blue Star, after Xiao Shu's calculations, amounted to about a billion or so. This number was undoubtedly terrifying. The reason why there were only less than 2 million extraterrestrial beings in the first sealed space was because there were many dangers inside, and almost all of them were foreign beasts above the 17th level, and most of the extraterrestrial beings that came down were 15 or 16 orders, beings that were at the lowest level in the starry sky. When they came down to the blue star, they couldn't get along in the starry sky and wanted to dominate. If it weren't for the demon alliance deterring them, it was impossible for them to be that honest. The super god platform, 
On this day, also stopped paying attention to Blue Star. With Gu Chongqing in Blue Star, it was impossible for anyone to get their hands on the resources within the sealed space anymore. On that day, Gu Chengqing summoned everyone back and was currently in the central main city. Within the conference hall of the general office, those present, Zhang Hu, Tao Tai, Zhao Feng, Vermilion Bird, Wu Rue, Wang Rong, Demons and Ghosts, Little Tuan Tuan, and the Monkey King. The Monkey King was wearing a darkness great sage armor, and its body type could have long since turned into a human-like body type, and there was absolutely no difference between its armor prototype and the darkness great sage. Gu Changqing sat on top of the first seat, and the others sat on either side of the long conference table. Gu Changqing's long, slender fingers gently tapped on the table as he said in a dignified voice to the crowd. First, let's talk about your personal potential indexes, as well as the number of super stripe weights on your bodies. Today, he was going to raise 2,000 star potentials for the crowd, and then fuse their ultra tattoos to the limit. White Star's 26 weight Sword God Emperor tattoo and the Xian Underworld Saint Sun's 25 weight Xian Underworld Emperor tattoo were all taken away from him. In addition, the number of various kinds of super grains within the Imperial Super Grain Inheritance Tower was also extremely high, but most of them were around 15 weights. But it was enough. Gu Changqing wanted to help them upgrade their own super grain weights, and after he returned, he went to the Super Grain Inheritance Tower and took a batch of the stronger ones. The strongest ones, Zhang Hu and Zhu Bird, with their 22 weights of Divine Koan Imperial Crest, and Shu Bird's Divine Phoenix Imperial Crest weren't enough, and had to be upgraded again. The others were the same. If they didn't upgrade, they wouldn't be able to leave the Blue Star in the future to mix outside. The effect of the mysterious seal in Gu Changqing's hand was just too outrageous, and it would take months or half a year to upgrade the heavy super grain using the Imperial Super Grain equipment. But in front of his mysterious seal, it could be done in minutes. Zhang Hu was the first to say, Boss, my current potential index is 5, 000 stars, and what I have on me is an Imperial 22nd Heavy Divine Koan Imperial Tattoo. He he he, boss, how many weights of Emperor Marks do you think I can ascend to? He looked at Gu Changqing with impatience, having recently encountered too many beings carrying 25 or 26 weights of Super Stripe Armor. He was truly resigned to the status quo. With 5,000 potential indexes, there should be no pressure to raise to the 33rd gravity. Gu Changqing gestured, Come over here, I'll directly give you a fusion boost. All right, Zhang Hu got up and came to crouch down in front of Gu Changqing. Gu Changqing flipped his hand and took out an 11th gravity supreme pattern and struck it into Zhang Hu's brow and sea of consciousness. Then with a finger against his brow, he catalyzed the power of the mysterious seal and fused this 11th gravity supreme pattern that fused it with Zhang Hu's 22 grade divine Koan imperial pattern. Boom! A moment later, a terrifying pressure violently swept out from Zhang Hu's body. In less than five short minutes, the 33 gravity divine Koan emperor pattern was complete. Crap! Bull! Boss! You are truly divine! Simply omnipotent! Zhang Hu's face was filled with incredulity as he felt the strength of the 33 weight god Koan emperor line in his body. Go down! Vermilion bird you do it! Good! Vermilion bird's delicate face was filled with excitement as she came to crouch down near Gu Changqing. Gu Changqing did as she had done, fusing her body Phoenix Emperor tattoo to the 33rd level. Tao Tai, spirits and monsters, you two come over here and I'll boost your potential indexes a bit. Good. The two nodded expectantly and came to Gu Changqing's left and right respectively. Both of them had a potential index of 4,000 stars, and Gu Changqing gave them a boost to 5,300 stars. Then, he took out the Red Heavenly Emperor pattern in Tao Tia's body and fused the Hout Yan Emperor pattern, which he had already fused to the 34th level to Tao Tai. Then, he helped the demons and ghosts Chi Yuna, fusing her heavenly shadow emperor pattern to raise it to the 33rd gravity. Next, one by one, Gu Changqing helped Zhao Feng, Wu Rue, Wang Rong, and Little Tuan Tuan, raise their potential index to 5003, and then raise their heavenly river imperial crest, divine wind imperial crest, green phoenix imperial crest, and Luanfeng imperial crest to 33 weights. Phew, helping them raise their fusion. Gu Changqing's entire body seemed to be emptied. His gaze fell on the Monkey King. Boss, if you're tired, it's fine if I can be late. The Monkey King could tell that his boss was probably at his limit and said with concern, No harm done. Come, let me take a look at your Dark Great Sage Ultra Tattoo. Gu Changqing raised his hand, signaling it to come over. The Monkey King nodded and came to crouch close to him. Gu Changqing used his mysterious seal to inspect it, and was surprised to find that due to the Monkey King's bloodline, it had completely revived the Dark Great Sage Ultra Tattoo, and its potential was limitless. Monkey, you have great potential. Even though your Dark Great Saint Ultra Tattoo is only at the first level, but after I help you boost your potential some more, 
the 35th level won't necessarily be a match for you. Boss, I actually feel the same way. The monkey scratched its head. It wasn't pretending. Just by just cultivating like this, it felt that it was able to sweep the stars. He was now the higher the potential index, the higher the power his own dark great sage ultra tattoo could be utilized. There was no need for any heavy numbers at all. Gu Changqing nodded slightly. The future is promising. Saying so, Gu Changqing helped it raise its potential directly to 5,500 stars. Feeling the added power, the Monkey King bowed and thanked. Thank you, boss. After giving it a boost, Gu Chang Cheng, already feeling a bit dizzy, looked at the crowd and said in a faint voice, I'm going to rest for some days. And with my authority, I dispatched all 5 million Imperial Star Guards to sweep the blue star for extraterrestrial beings. Next, if any other seal unsealing spaces open up, just send the Emperor Star Guards in to sweep. First, Rectify the situation on the blue star and restore it to the point where the heavens and earth have not yet changed before setting our sights on the deep space of the universe. The number of emperor star guards was as high as 5 million in number, all of them with 9 heavy ultra tattoo armor plus, above the 30th rank, and able to recognize races. Zhang who got up and nodded heavily, okay boss, you go rest first, and leave the next matter to, to me, rectify the resources. From today onwards, rename the demon alliance to the imperial alliance. All Imperial Alliance member potentials, unable to cultivate to 3,000 stars within half a year, all expelled from the Imperial Alliance. Gu Changqing got up and said lightly, Imperial Alliance, does not raise waste. After saying that, he turned around and left the conference hall. Alright, next, let's talk about how to rectify Blue Star. After Gu Changqing left, with Zhang who was their leader, they began the meeting. Tao Tai said, the current Blue Star is too chaotic, there is no longer a need for any countries. From now on, all humans on Blue Star belong to the Imperial people. This must be implemented as soon as possible. Wu Rui also nodded his head and said, Tao Tai is right. Our future goal is the cosmic stars. The rise of the empire cannot be slackened. It's time to usher in unification. And it's time for the human race to return to the stars. Zhao Feng said, Let's leave these things to Xin Yuan Wang Rui and the others. We're good at fighting and killing. But in this area, we're really not. In the future, let them manage the empire's finances, population, and other aspects, we just need to deter foreign enemies and conquer the stars. Zhang Hu nodded his head, agreeing with Zhao Feng's proposal and said, it's indeed appropriate to let them manage all of this, let's move to the central meeting hall and invite them to discuss it together. Good, let's go. The group got up, left the main office, and headed to the central hub conference hall. Gu Changqing returned to his bedroom and had just changed into a pair of pajamas when he suddenly remembered the old lunatic in the second city district and inquired to Xiao Shu. Xiao Shu, do you know about that old lunatic in the second city district? Little concubine replied back. Known master, he is the third imperial lord. Because of the fusion of the 40 heavy super lines mentally problematic, back then sometimes awake, sometimes crazy, after the battle of the 10,000 races, his spirit completely deranged. As for why he was not attacked by the void curse, this I cannot find out the reason. I see. Gu Changqing released. Right now his state was too poor to want to pay attention to anything. And he quickly fell asleep as he lay down on the bed. The exertion brought to him by giving them a boost in fusion was just too great. In the central conference hall, Zhang Hu invited Xin Yuan Wang Rui, Huang Mengua, and Long Zhanghua to discuss the end of the meeting, and prepared to summon the global heads. Not long after the end of the meeting, five million emperor star guards, sound out of the center of the city began to clean up the extraterrestrial beings on the blue star. Within just one week, the extraterrestrial beings who were unable to leave the blue star were all harvested by the imperial star guards in incomparable despair and fear. At the same time, five days ago, the heads of various countries gathered in the main city's central meeting hall. When this meeting was over, they all announced the dissolution of the country at the first time. And from then on, the humans of the blue star all belonged to the people of the empire. And at 10 o'clock in the morning three days later, the Empire would hold a press conference, and the Lord of the Empire, Gu Chang Cheng, would personally show up and announce that the Age of the Empire, the Age of the Universal Overworlder, had arrived. Once this news came out, the three, two billion people of Blue Star were all excited beyond measure. Today was the day of the press conference announcing the establishment of the Empire, the main city's central building, the 12th floor of the vast media hall. There were more than a hundred reporters in the hall, and many cameras in the hall with 360 degrees of deathlessness pointed at the stage. At the scene, 950th Order Imperial Star Guards stood guard. At the time period of 9.48 in the morning, almost everyone on the blue planet, either on their cell phones, computers, or TVs, 
or paying attention to the imperial platform. The era of the empire's universal super tattoo was coming, and everyone had unspeakable excitement in their hearts. Who hadn't fantasized about being able to possess power so strong that they could fly through the sky? I'll be able to see Big Brother Goo soon. I'm so excited. In the future, it will be the Lord of the Empire. Can we still call him Big Brother Goo? If we can't call Big Brother Goo, what should we call him when we ask questions later? Yes, that's a question for all of us to think about. The reporters present were all very excited, but were troubled about how to address Goo Changcheng later. It couldn't be addressed as Boss Goo, Big Brother Goo again, could it? A group of people were all using their brains. Forget it, we can't think of anything right now. Let's just ask Big Brother Goo directly how we should address him later. These reporters really couldn't think of any appropriate name to call him. They all felt that it would be better to ask directly later. Chapter 88 A New Empire is Formed Super God Platform Tillit Nashio Contact Blue Star Today seemed exceptionally quiet. All companies, factories, and other places were on vacation. And the vast majority of people were at home, preparing to watch the Empire's press conference. Hub Building 12th Floor Media Hall all the lights had been turned on, and the reporters who were still whispering, seeing that it was about to be 10 o'clock sharp, all stopped their conversations. At 9.58, Gu Chang Cheng, who was dressed in the military uniform of the Lord of the Empire, his slender and magnificent stature came into view, with Zhang Hu, Tao Tai, Wu Rui, and Zhao Feng behind him, he walked out from the backstage passage. The four of them, all wearing the uniforms of the Empire's 12-star battle emperors, had upright postures and were not angry. When Gu Changqing and the others sat down near the podium, imperial channels around the world that were originally broadcasting commercials were all synchronized to the scene over there at this moment. Everyone who saw this looked on with unblinking eyes. Gu Changqing sat on top of the first seat and said in a faint voice, The heaven and earth have changed. Humanity has suffered heavy losses, coupled with the ravages of extraterrestrial beings. Those of you who are fortunate enough to have survived until now, I know that you all haven't had a very good time in these past half a year. Today, I, Gu Chang Cheng, inherit the will of the old empire and establish a new empire that belongs to our era. And the suffering you all have endured during this greater part of the year will not happen again from today onwards. Along with the establishment of the new empire, our blue star will enter an era of universal overstrike. Being born in this era is your suffering and your fortune. Reporters below, if you have any questions, you may speak. Each person has a maximum of one question. Gu Chang Cheng said, signaling the reporters present so they could start asking questions. Upon hearing this, a female reporter leaning forward stood up and said, Boss Gu, you are now the lord of the empire. How should we address you in the future? Address? I don't really care much about the so-called appellation. The new empire was founded. It's not my Gu Changqing's empire alone, but the empire of millions of people. Gu Changqing raised her eyes and said in a dignified voice, If you insist on adding a seal or something, like that to me, then, Star Emperor, it means, Star Emperor Lord. The old empire could overpower the cosmic stars back then, and the new empire, in my Gu Changqing's hands, will one day be able to greatly unify the cosmic stars. All right, Coronation Star Emperor, thank you for your answer. This female reporter respectfully and politely finished and sat back in her seat. Immediately, a male reporter stood up and respectfully asked, Coronation Star Emperor, you just said the era of universal overstrike. Is it convenient to reveal how it can be implemented? This matter is very simple to implement. The number of ultra tattoos left behind by the old empire is twice as many as the current number of blue star humans. Gu Changqing said in a faint voice, From today onwards, anyone over the age of 16 and under the age of 60 from all over the world can go to the hub city, the potential test mansion, to have their potential tested. Anyone with a potential index up to 500 stars or more can go and receive a super stripe. The higher the potential index, the more powerful the super stripe they can receive. Physical qualities above the age of 60 will hardly be able to withstand that power when fusing a super stripe. The empire had left behind 6 to 7 billion low-ranked ultra grains, enough to supply the entire human race. All right, Coronation Star Emperor, thank you for your answer. The male reporter finished his question and sat back in his seat as well. A female reporter stood up and asked a question full of admiration and respect. Coronation Star Emperor, after the era of universal ultra tattooing has begun, do you have any plans to build an ultra tattooing academy palace? Gu Changqing nodded. Yes. In the future, the members of the Imperial Alliance will all be selected from the ultra tattoo school palace. Well, thank you, Coronation Star Emperor, for your answer. After saying that, she sat down. A male reporter stood up and asked a question. Coronation Star Emperor, some time ago, you slaughtered more than a billion extraterrestrial beings. May I ask if you're ready to make enemies of most of the starry sky beings? 
Gu Changqing nodded slightly and said faintly, the empire is ready to be an enemy of the entire starry sky, coronation hegemony, thank you for your answer, the male reporter sat down, a female reporter stood up and asked, may I ask coronet, do you wear colored glasses and look at people of different skin colors and treat them specially, in my eyes, all are human, treated equally, Gu Changqing paused here and continued, of course, treating them all equally, speaking of people, not animals, it was self-evident who these words were referring to, he had no intention at all, to treat the Japanese pirates of Sakura country equally, don't say that the old empire back then, wasn't also as brutal and animalistic as the Sakura country, to clarify the situation, one is to treat foreigners, the other is to treat the same race, if you're not of my kind, you're not of my kind, the people of the Sakura country who were watching the live broadcast had ugly faces, I see, thank you, coronet, for answering, this female reporter, bowed to Gu Changqing on the seat before sitting down, a male reporter stood up and asked a question, coronation star emperor, I would like to ask for the people at large, how long do we need to develop before we can step out of the blue star and step into the cosmic stars, Gu Changqing said faintly, if it's the empire's top end combatants, they can set foot within a year or two, for all of humanity, maybe 10 years, maybe a hundred, it's not easy to say, all right, thank you coronet for the answer, the male reporter finished and also bowed before sitting down, as he sat down, for the first time, no reporter was seen standing up, as if they were all thinking of questions, waiting for a moment, no one was seen asking questions, Zhang Hu said, gentlemen, what else do you want to ask as soon as possible, a female reporter rose at this time and asked, coronation star emperor, in the era of universal super strike, if super strikers kill each other, do they need to be sentenced, Gu Changqing smiled faintly at his words, Good question, if it is ascertained that both parties have a not so small amount of hatred, then no sentence is required, if one dares to kill innocents indiscriminately on the basis of one's powerful strength, all will be sentenced to capital punishment, next, a new law will come out, no need to worry, good, thank you, coronet, for your answer, the female reporter bowed and sat down, in the aftermath, there were many reporters asking various questions, Gu Changqing answered them all, mom, I, I, Miss dad so much, is it because after Yen Yen misunderstood dad that day, dad didn't want Yen Yen anymore, I want to say sorry to daddy, ninth city, a set of hundreds of square meters of luxury house inside, sitting on the sofa Gu Yen Yen, looking at the TV inside, is answering the topic of one reporter after another Gu Changqing, black jewel like big eyes in the tears in the spinning, exquisite cute face, full of worry about being abandoned expression, although she was just over three years old, since she hadn't seen her dad come to see her since that day, she had started to get scared and slowly started to figure it out, so what if daddy was a bad guy, that was still her own dad, she so wanted to go and say sorry to her dad in person, looking at her, Lin Yueyao smiled bitterly and said, girl, your dad is just busy all this time, and he doesn't have time to come see you for the time being, she didn't know if Gu Changqing would come, so she could only be so comforting, on this side of the press conference, Gu Changqing answered for about half an hour, and when he saw that there were no more reporters asking questions, he left and let Xian Yuan Wan Rui and the others come in. After Xian Yuan Wan Rui and the others came to the press conference, they kept on announcing the future development of the empire and so on, speaking for more than an hour before the end. After the press conference ended, the Imperial Star Mansion sent out many Imperial Star Guards to leave the hub city. The mission that these Imperial Star Guards that left the hub city were performing was to drive and captive the alien beasts from around the globe. The main office, inside the office room, Gu Changqing sat in front of his desk, having just finished reading the Empire's future planning book. Suddenly thinking of something, he asked, Xiao Shu, I remember your previous words. It wasn't due to the unsealing of the blue star that led to the mutation of plants and animals, as well as the awakening of the tattoos. So what exactly was the cause? Xiao Shu replied, All the problems may be above that blood moon, but right now master you can't go up. It's covered with an incomparably powerful magnetic field. The 99 ranked battle emperors may not be able to go in. There must be a big secret hidden inside. Hearing you say that, the moon might really be hiding a heavenly secret. This mutation came too suddenly. Gu Changqing became extremely curious about what lay dormant above the blood moon. Xiao Shu was suddenly surprised. Well, master, the over god platform's general overbrain is requesting a call. Should I answer it? Super god platform. General overbrain? Yes. It's the supercomputer with the highest level of the super god platform and as far as I know it's always been in the hands of Tiawanishur. Connect. I'd like to see what she's looking for me for. Okay. As Xiao Shu's words fell, a cold and majestic voice suddenly emanated from within the light brain. Hello, 
I'm the ninth generation helmsman of the Super God platform, Tiju Nashi, Gu Changqing faintly said, long time no see, long time admirer, Tilho Nashi was surprised, you know me, Gu Changqing said faintly, the previous lord of the empire, entrusted me to bring you a message, and I didn't expect you to contact me so quickly, oh, what words, Gu Changqing said faintly, he wanted to say to you, I'm sorry for failing you, Tilit Nashira was silent as she heard this, Gu Changqing didn't bother her, the two of them really seemed to be having an affair. A few moments later, Tilho Nashi whispered, It's all in the past. He didn't fail anyone. Gu Changqing lit himself a cigarette and said in a faint voice, I don't understand your relationship. Tell me what you're looking for from me. He didn't have any gossip. The words had been brought to him. What mood the other party was in had nothing to do with him. Okay, I'll get right to the point. Seeing Gu Changqing speak like this, Tilit Nashi didn't hide anything and said, Within the blue star sealed space, if there are subsequent flowers of the other shore that appear, I'm willing to acquire one at a high price. Master, this woman's purpose is somewhat astonishing. Xiao Shu was shocked to hear that the other party wanted the flower of the other shore. What makes you say that? Gu Changqing communicated with it mentally. Xiao Shu said, the flower of the other shore, the living dead condensing 10,000 souls, coupled with the reincarnation divine Tang, is enough to resurrect a living being who has been dead for many years. This woman couldn't be trying to resurrect Emperor Qin, right? Gu Changqing was surprised. Emperor Qin, the last generation of the old empire's imperial lord? Not bad. It seems that she has a doppelganger of Emperor Qin in her collection. And this is an attempt to resurrect him. Xiao Shu sighed. This woman is really affectionate. Just now she was saying that it's all in the past, but secretly she wants to resurrect Emperor Qin. How? Seeing that Gu Changqing didn't reply for a long time, Tiawanashir's voice raised a few points. Gu Changqing said faintly, Yes, if there really is this flower. I'll contact you. Many thanks. Do you need any help? Not at the moment. I'll contact you if there's any in the future. Good. Nothing else? That's all for now. Be my guest. Bye. The other party said and ended the call. Xiao Shu marveled. She really wants to resurrect Emperor Qin. In this woman's hands, she might already have a strain of reincarnation god Tang. If a flower of the other shore really asks for it within the blue star sealed space. Chapter 89 Soul Seal Outbreak. Ending his call with Tiawana Shur. Gu Changqing stood in front of the huge floor-to-ceiling window in his office room, a cigarette in his hand, quietly overlooking the lively and bustling hub city. After lighting a cigarette, Gu Changqing pushed out the door and prepared to go to the Ninth City District. He didn't know if his daughter could accept him now, and intended to go and see if she couldn't accept him yet. Gu Changqing didn't intend to see her again in the future. It was fine once, he wouldn't allow it to happen a second time. Gu Changqing arrived at the hub building, his private garage. Choosing a black and gold colored, perfectly cool hovering supercar with cool lines, he sped straight to the Ninth City District. Why did he drive when he could obviously fly there? Because flying over would be too high profile. Right now in the hub city, except for the Empire's top brass and military, it was forbidden to fly privately over the city. Gu Chang Cheng, who was the lord of the Empire, could fly as much as he wanted, but he didn't want to be too high profile. In addition, driving would also allow him to enjoy some of the bustling and lively hub city. The hub city now wasn't like it was before. There were pedestrians and vehicles everywhere. Law enforcement robots could be seen patrolling everywhere, as well as traffic robots directing the traffic. Half an hour later, Gu Changqing drove to the Ninth City District, under the 8th resident of the Qinglong District, and pushed the door to get off. This neighborhood was also very lively. With the laughter of small children everywhere, Gu Changqing looked around and walked straight into residential building number 8. The buildings here are all very luxurious. Each room has hundreds of square meters and is well decorated. Gu Changqing took the elevator and arrived outside the door of room number 4 on the 8th floor, ringing the doorbell. Who is it? Not long after, Lin Yueyao's soft voice rang out through the sound transmission device. Then, Lin Yueyao, who saw who it was through the camera, was surprised and hurriedly opened the door. Looking at the man standing in front of her, Lin Yueyao was in a bit of a trance and said in a low voice, You, came. She didn't seem to have left the house today. Wearing a rather refreshing nightgown that vaguely showed her internal scenery, Gu Changqing raised his eyes, scanned her and said in a faint voice, Where is Yen Yen? Can she accept me as her father now? If it's still not possible, then I won't bother. Lin Yuaya was busy nodding her head. Don't go. Yen Yen she misses you as her father. Just now when she saw you on TV, she thought that you didn't want to recognize her and cried. So what? Hearing her words, Gu Changqing cold and majestic, even on the face of Wei, only to reveal a few soft colors. Come in, I'll make you some tea. Lin Yueyao stepped aside and said with a smile on her lips. Gu Changqing nodded his head and carried his steps through the door. 
This hundred square foot house had a lot of space, and the decoration was quite luxurious. Ah, dad, Gu Yan Yan at this time, just as Lin Shui Yao finished her lunch from the restaurant, when she saw Gu Changqing standing there, after freezing for a moment, her delicate and lovely face was filled with the color of surprise in the blink of an eye. Dad, I'm sorry, that day Yan Yan shouldn't have said that dad is a bad person. It's all because Yin Yin is bad and made dad sad. She finished sobbing and took a step to pounce towards Gu Changqing's side with her little legs. Buzz. When between their father and daughter, close to two meters, Gu Changqing have not yet had time to speak. Suddenly Gu Yan Yan brow erupted a very scary witch light. Whoosh sound faster than lightning. Blinking. Not to have entered Gu Changqing's brow. Boom. Along with this flash of witch light entering his brow, Gu Changqing's body shook. Aang. A furious dragon roar came out from the sea of consciousness at the same time hardening the incoming witch light. At the same time, Gu Yan Yan's small body fell headfirst to the ground. Ah, Yin Yan, what happened to you? Lin Shui Yao's face turned pale with fright at this scene, and in a few steps, she rushed to the fallen Gu Yan Yan near her and crouched down to pick her up, only to see that Gu Yan Yan's little face was so white that she didn't see any blood color. Damn, Gu Chang Cheng, who had stabilized herself, looked at her daughter, whose face was bloodless, and then sensed her soul, which was about to dissipate. Gu Changqing's eyes filled with blood as he appeared like a flash in front of Lin Shuiao, snatching Gu Yan Yan in her arms, his large hand covering her chest, crazily injecting the power of the mysterious seal into her body. Ah, what's wrong? When Lin Yao, who came out of the room with the tea leaves, saw her daughter in this state, her legs were so frightened that she almost fell to the ground. Don't speak. Gu Changqing's voice was low, like an abyssal beast roaring, being roared at by him like this. Lin Yao covered her mouth with both hands and looked on with eyes full of tears. Who? In the end, I'm going to exterminate your entire clan. When Gu Changqing realized that the power of the mysterious seal in his palm could only stabilize his daughter's still dissolved soul, but could not allow her soul to recover. The raging power within his body was almost ready to break out, and the killing intent within his eyes seemed like it could tear the heavens apart. At this moment, Xiao Xu's voice rang in Gu Changqing's ears. Master, this is the soul-suppressing seal of the Ultra Witch Clan. The little master's soul has not completely dissipated at the moment. Don't worry, as long as we can collect enough soul nourishing items to nourish the little master's soul, she will be able to recover. Hearing these words, Gu Changqing's furious emotions were only slightly restrained, but they were still terrifying enough to make Lin Shui Yao and Lin Yue Yao feel fearful. Gu Changqing took a deep breath, slowly calming down the restless power and emotions in his body. Xiao Shu added at this moment, It's rather strange. The Ultra Witch Clan's Soul Suppressor Seal is something that must touch the Little Master's skin before it can hibernate and enter into her body. There's someone beside the Little Master who wants to harm you and the Little Master ah. Lin Yueyao's heart hung in her throat as she asked in a low voice. Chang Ching, daughter, she, what happened to her? Gu Changqing raised his head, his gaze extremely intimidating as he stared at Lin Yueyao, and said in a chilling voice, Who has Yan Yan been in physical contact with recently? Hearing this, Lin Yueyao frowned and said, my daughter has always been afraid of strangers, she rarely even plays with children outside, and lately, apart from being with my sister and I, she hasn't come into contact with anyone else at all, what about even earlier, did Su Yue live with you guys for a while, associating it with Su Yue who was with the ultra sorcerers, at this moment, Gu Changqing basically knew who the murderer was, Lin Yue Yao nodded heavily, yes, could it be that she victimized her daughter, it was exactly her, but she has been dismantled by me and died a horrible death, Within Gu Changqing's deep eyes, an extreme tyrannical color flashed. Ha! The Ultra Sorcerer Clan is it? If I, Gu Chang Cheng, don't kill you until you go extinct, I'll be the one to go extinct. His daughter had just recognized him, yet she gave him such a blow. This made Gu Changqing's originally wonderful. Mood. Instantly gloomy and violent to the extreme. Lin Yueyao carefully asked again. Yen Yen Shi. Is she alright? She was really afraid that from Gu Changqing's mouth, she would hear bad news that she couldn't accept. Don't worry, her life won't be in danger. She needs to sleep for a while. Gu Changqing carried her daughter to the sofa and set her down, looking at her pale face, gripping her heart full of anger with nowhere to vent it. Afterwards, he took out a few crystals, refining the pure energy inside and injecting it into Gu Yan Yan's body, providing what she needed for her daily consumption. How could this happen? What's going on? Why did that big Su Yue want to harm Yan Yan? Lin Yue Yao's heart was dripping blood as she looked at her daughter, hating Su Yue. Gu Changqing's emotions gradually recovered, but the expression on her face was cold, faintly said, the person she wanted to harm was me, Yin Yin was just incidental, dismantling her into eight pieces, it all feels too cheap for her, Lin Yueyao stared at him tightly and said, Chang Ching, is the daughter, 
really okay? Don't be afraid that I won't be able to accept it and lie to me. If I say she's fine then she won't be fine. Carry her to her room first. Gu Chongqing said this indifferently, sat down on the other side of the sofa, took out the main optical brain, and said, Little concubine, contact Tiawanishur for me. Yes, master. Little concubine promised and began to initiate a call request to Tilho Nashi's supercomputer. Lin Yueyao's face was filled with heartache as she hugged Gu Yanyan back to her room, and Lin Shueyao followed her in with both fists clenched. A few moments later, Tilho Nashi's voice came out from within the light brain. Star Lord Gu, it hasn't been long since I ended the call with you. Is there something wrong? Gu Changqing lit himself a cigarette, took a deep drag, and said in a faint voice, I want the habitat of the ultra witch race, as well as all the information on the strongest group of this race. Tilit Nashi was surprised. Oh, have they offended you? I'll have someone collected as fast as I can. Gu Changqing said lightly, their soul suppressor seal. Have you ever heard of it? Tilho Nashi's even more surprised voice came out. HM, the ultra sorcerer race used the soul suppression seal against you? With your strength of 23 steps, it doesn't make sense that you can carry it off. Was your daughter or son also revolted? Gu Changqing said in a deep voice. My 72 weight emperor profound dragon armor isn't just for show. My daughter nearly lost her soul because of this. And now she needs a large amount of soul nourishing items. Soul nourishing substances are extremely difficult to find? I'm really sorry. There's nothing I can do. Tilho Nashi said with an apologetic hug. Joking aside, if she wanted to resurrect Emperor Qin, she would also need a massive amount of soul nourishing materials. So how could she possibly give them to him? Right now, there weren't many of them on the super god platform. And even if there were, she was using them herself. Even she was currently acquiring all kinds of soul nourishing materials at high prices. Then check the ultra sorcerer clan for me. Gu Chang Cheng, who knew that the other party wanted to resurrect Emperor Qin, didn't make things difficult for her. Tilit Nishiro said, I've already ordered someone to check. Within 5 minutes there will definitely be all the information on the ultra sorcerer race, and I'll send it directly to your light brain at that time. Alright, then that's all for now. Gu Chang Cheng said, taking the initiative to end the call with the other party. Even the overgod platform couldn't come up with anything to nourish his soul. So Gu Changqing was only banking on it now. Inside the blue star sealed space, if there was very little inside as well, it would be a long way to go. Xiao Shu comforted. Master, in fact, you don't need to worry. The vastness of the cosmic stars, there are countless soul nourishing things. It's just a matter of time. Hmm, the information sent by Tilat Nashi is here. Buzz. As little concubine's voice fell, it projected a virtual screen. On it, it displayed the galaxies and planetary coordinates where the Ultra Sorcerer Clan existed, as well as the rank of the top batch of strongest people within the clan. The strongest batch, a total of three, were all terrifying existences of the 88th rank of Ultra Tattoo. This clan, in a short period of time, didn't seem to be too good to exterminate. This made Gu Chang Chung, his complexion somewhat gloomy. Chapter 90 The Old Madman Briefly Recovers the Ultra Witch race was indeed powerful and untouchable to the current Gu Changqing. In this acre of the Blue Star, he could be invincible to any living being. But looking at the cosmic stars, despite the fact that his own Ultra Tattoo armor was heaven defying, it also seems somewhat insignificant. Master, work hard on your cultivation and shut down for a while. With your potential index, the speed of cultivation will be terrifying. At this time, Little Concubine also advised him that it was time to cultivate for a while. The matters on the blue star were basically resolved, and no more extraterrestrial beings dared to come down. Enhancing his strength was the top priority now. Gu Changqing finished lighting this cigarette, extinguished it, and said in a low voice, Do you think, the old madman, is it possible to regain his sanity? He didn't want to wait a moment for the overthrow of the ultra witch race. He wanted to try to use the power of the mysterious seal to try to see if it was possible to restore the old madman. Even if it was only possible for one day, it would be enough. Xiao Shu said, it's hard, how do you know if you don't try? Gu Changqing's eyes were deep, as long as he could make the old madman recover for a day, personally descending on a trip to the ultra sorcerer race to kill all of its high ranking warriors, and subsequently, he could slowly kill all of the ultra sorcerer race on a manhunt, he was very confident in his own mysterious mark, and it might really be able to allow him to recover slightly for a period of time, in this way, it could also deter the starry sky races for a while preparing them to set foot in the cosmic starry sky soon. It was necessary to let the various races of the starry sky know that there was an extremely terrifying existence sitting in the blue star empire, so that when they set foot in the starry sky in the future to look for opportunities, they would be able to make the major powerful races of the starry sky throw in the towel. Chang Ching, have you eaten yet? Shall I make you a bowl of noodles? 
At this moment, Lin Yuayao walked out of the bedroom with slightly red eyes, and seeing that Gu Changqing hadn't left yet, she came up and whispered. She was only wearing a relatively fresh nightgown, under the skirt of the plump and charming jade body hidden, long black hair draped over the shoulders, both with a young girl's youthful beauty and with a young woman's mature beauty of the appearance of the beautiful and incomparable. Inserted cloud peaks gully and deep, smooth and jade moist slender legs curve perfectly. Gu Changqing looked deeply at her, whispered, don't worry too much. Yen Yen can wake up later. I now have something I need to go out. The noodles can be cooked first. I may come back. Said. Got up and left with quick steps. Okay. Wait for you. Lin Yuayao sent him out the door. Until his back disappeared from sight she went back. After Gu Changqing left, he had all the heart to drive again. And without wearing his super striped armor he had 16 or 17 orders of strength. And flew to the second city district at his fastest speed. If she didn't let the ultra witch race pay some price. Gu Changqing had no intention of practicing. Following the positioning given by Xiao Shu, Gu Changqing arrived at the second city district, inside an empty alley, only to see the cloaked old lunatic in that corner, curled up asleep there, and from time to time, he would inexplicably yell. Xiao Shu sighed. Alas, the Yellow Emperor was also a magnificent and powerful existence that suppressed the starry sky for an era, but there was an accident when he fused that 140 weight heavenless emperor pattern. This one in front of him was also once its master. Creation has brought him to his senses, so I hope I can bring him to his senses for a short while. As Gu Changqing spoke, he walked towards the old madman with light steps. Until he approached the old madman not far away, he did not see any movement. Gu Changqing squatted down and did not mind that the old lunatic was dirty and covered his shoulder with his hand. Then he fully urged the power of the mysterious seal in his palm and injected it into the old lunatic's body. Ah! Suddenly, the old lunatic let out a low roar followed by a constant wail of pain coming from his mouth, but it didn't shake away Gu Changqing's hand on his shoulder. As time passed, the wail of pain emitted by the old lunatic gradually decayed. A moment later, Gu Changqing's figure stumbled. Just now, in order to stabilize Gu Yinyan's soul, and now injecting so much seal power into the old madman's body had made him a little deflated. Still not working? After reaching his limit, Gu Changqing removed his hand and looked at the old lunatic who still hadn't woken up. He let out a light sigh and turned around to leave. Young man, what kind of power did you inject into my body just now? Just as Gu Changqing had turned around, an old voice sounded behind him. At the sound, Gu Changqing turned around with an open mind. He saw the old madman, who had already lifted the gray hair that had spilled over his face, revealing a very dirty, but rather majestic pale face. The cloudy eyes, from time to time, appeared with a terrifying essence. Really? Xiao Xu's shocked voice rang in Gu Changqing's ears. Gu Changqing stared. Sizing up the old madman who had recovered before him, the old madman was also sizing him up, and seeing that he was wearing the uniform of a lord of the empire, he softly hummed, are you the lord of the empire of this generation, why are you so weak, no, I should say the rank is weak, the potential and imperial lines are nevertheless both great terror like existences, Xiao Xu flew out of Gu Changqing's body at this moment and said, lord yellow emperor, back then, the entire imperial humanity was attacked by the void curse, why are you fine? Little concubine? The old madman looked at it, and between the flashes of his cloudy eyes, he said, it's because I was carrying the 40 heavy imperial crest. Back then, I was so muddled that I was only able to utilize the majority of my strength. Otherwise how could the empire be overthrown? Young man, that power you just gave me, is it still there? He stared at Gu Changqing with a burning gaze. If there's enough of it, it might be able to completely cure the hidden problems left behind when I fused the heavenless imperial ripple. And right now, I can only be awake for about two hours. Gu Changqing frowned slightly. Only two hours? Oh, what is it that you want me to help you with? The old madman seemed to be able to tell what Gu Changqing had in mind, and laughed out of the corner of his eye. Two hours is more than enough. So tell me as soon as possible what you need my help with. Just get me more of that power just now in the future. Seeing how confident he was, Gu Changqing didn't hide anything and said lightly, I'd like to ask you to help me overthrow the planet inhabited by the Ultra Witch Race. And if you can help me overthrow that planet, I promise to restore you to your former self someday. The Ultra Witch Race, Small Potatoes. The old madman laughed brutally. Not to mention the Ultra Sorcerer Race, as long as you can teleport me there. Even if it's one of the top 10 strongest races in the starry sky, I'll be able to cripple one of them for you. Little concubine, is there enough energy to open a wormhole teleportation? Don't think that he was exaggerating. With the 40th weight of the Heavenless Emperor Tattoo, Coupled with his terrifying strength of the 99th rank, anyone in the starry sky would have to retreat when they saw him. Xiao Shu sighed. Not for now. There's just been too much consumption over the years in order to maintain the hub city. 
Gu Changqing said, I'll have the super god platform open a wormhole. The old madman reminded, you have to open a super god wormhole, only a wormhole of this level can withstand an existence of my level. Gu Changqing nodded, I'll ask, little concubine, contact that woman. Yes, sir. Xiao Shu agreed and sent a call request to Tiju Nashi once again. After half a minute or so, Tilho Nashi's voice came out, Star Lord Gu, may I ask what else is going on? Gu Changqing opened the door. Open a super god wormhole for me over the Blue Star's central city. Coordinates. Super witch race. You're going to kill there yourself? Tilit Nishiro said hesitantly. Gu Changqing said faintly. I don't have that ability for now. Then who is it? Tilho Nashi was curious and didn't think that Blue Star, at this stage, possessed an existence capable of overthrowing the Ultra Sorcerers. You'll naturally know who it is when you open the Super God Wormhole. Gu Changqing didn't want to bullshit with it. He was in a bad mood right now. Good. Please wait. Tiawanisha rose with great curiosity and directly prodded her main supercomputer, preparing to open the Super God Wormhole towards the Blue Star side. 